on December 8th, 2023, I did a speed run of the All the Mod Star for All the Mods 8. My goal was to break my previous record of 30 hours with high hopes of getting it in just one single day. The rules for this speed run are pretty simple. No cheating, no duping, and no exploits, and make the star as fast as possible. To prove that I didn't break any of these rules, I live streamed the entire run on my Twitch channel. Come stop by at twitch.tv slash alfredgg. The seed, the world download, and my spreadsheet with all of the different splits that I use is all available in the description below for those who want it. With all of that, it's time to get started. Let's go. Speed run time's going. Let's throw this present in the trash can because I don't want to get anything special. Where are we at? How is this going? We literally spot a spot a lot water. We have that up there. What is that? That's a B. Okay, we're going. We got to go. How do I get down with here without breaking my legs? Oh, this is going to be difficult. Oh, okay, I'm just going to break my legs. That's fine too. Okay, we're going. Uh, this is a really huge tree. We only need 10 logs, so this actually works perfectly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do exactly what I always do, make a crafting table on a stick. I didn't actually set up the keybind for this, but that's okay. We need about that many. Oh, okay. I just picked that up and it went in my back. Okay, we're already screwing the speed run up. That's cool. So we need five of these. So bam. So we're going to put this up here. We're going to put these there. And we're going to make the starter boat. Okay. I'll see you later, buddy. All right. So we got our starter boat. There's an Enderman to the north of us, it looks like, which is good. We don't really need a whole lot of things. Can I actually use this water right here or do I need to go further to use the water? I don't know if this is going to be enough room. Oh, God. That's going to be the worst part about this if this is not enough room. Let's see. Switch back cavern. We have to use cavern, so I have to actually do this. And so let's go forward and see if we have enough room here. Let's rotate it. I don't know if we have enough room. Oh, no, we probably don't have enough room. We definitely don't have enough room right here. Okay, so we got to go somewhere else. This might be the biggest part of the water, though, that we have. Ooh, that's kind of a problem. Uh, we might have to do a little bit different or find some water. Oh, no, this will be fine right here. This is perfect. Okay, cool. We got some water. We got some room right here. Do look at me in your speed running. Don't worry. Okay, so we're going to rotate this. We're going to move it back this way so I can actually have some room towards me. Can I spawn it right there? Oh, God, we got to move back. Come on, one more. What is blocking this right now? Oh, my God, it's too, it's too wide. Is that, can I place it right there without having any problems? Okay, so basically, I just need to get rid of this stuff over here. So we're actually going to get rid of this stuff right here because it's just getting in the way. It's supposed to be not a fluid, so we got to get rid of it. What is, how is this not a fluid? Oh, it's sand. I'm just going to break all this. I mean, I need any, all this stuff anyway, so this works. Okay. I'm just going to break it all with my hand, and then I'm going to go back to the spot that I placed it in. Okay, so I need to place it right over there to get this to work right. All right, so we're going to place it down right here. The speed run, this is the worst part of the speed run. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This one sucks. Place in this dang ship, man. Can I place it there? Can I place it there? Can I place it there? Oh, sweet. Split. I need to make sure that that's splitting because that doesn't look like it's split. Resume, bam, split. So that way we have it. Okay. Let's go up here. We're going to do slash set home. And then I'm going to run in here and I'm going to grab some stuff out here. So first we're going to grab this. I'm going to use this to make myself some iron tools in the beginning. We're going to make, oh, we don't have any sticks. We're going to grab a bunch of sticks out. We'll grab this iron pickaxe, convert it over. We're going to make ourselves an iron axe. And I'm going to go ahead and make myself an iron pickaxe or a shovel as well. Usually I don't, but I say that and then I always do. Um, and then we're going to break all this stuff down. We're really just here for the chests and all the hoppers. Okay, that'll grab all those. And these guys as well. Okay, that got it all. Cool. We're going to break these two at the bottom so I can get the block of coal under here. And then I'm going to grab the block of gold. And then I'll just place some sand here just so I can have that. And then in this chest, we have my armor. I'll put those on. Don't really need anything in that one. And then I think we are going to need the hoe out of this one. And then I'm going to grab the bread. And this time I'm going to make the beef so that way I don't run out of food. We're going to grab this barrel right here. 
And I'm going to go ahead and make myself a dank. So we're going to grab some blocks of coal here. We're going to switch this up like this and we're going to make a dank. And then in said dank, I'm going to put up the sand. We're going to smelt this down, but I'm going to put this up. We're going to switch this to void and then this should be it. There's nothing in these barrels over here. I can make another dank with them, but I don't really care. Um, we're going to go, go over here. We're going to break all this up. Should be able to break all these. There's some starter melons and stuff like that. And this is where I'm going to start my uh, basic stuff. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to upgrade uh, one of these furnaces to iron. And, you know, I make a chance, I take a chance to upgrade this to gold, but I'm not going to this time. So we're going to place this here. We're going to grab these two chests out. So one here, place it here. And then we're going to set this to auto pull from the top and then output there. So I think everything should be fine. We turn this off, turn this to none, turn this to none. And then we're going to put half a stack in here. And then we're going to go ahead and throw the bread in there to cook that down. So I'm going to make sure I grab all the bread that I can here. And then we're going to throw the bread in here to smelt down. We're also going to be smelting down a stack of this sand. We probably should do multiple stacks. Um, the speed upgrade would probably be nice, but for right now, this is what we're going to start it as. It's got an auto input and auto pull, and then so that'll start smelting that. This can go in the trash can. This can go in the trash can. Love you, Shallow. On the top of the timer, you'll see all of those a little bit. I can add those, but you can see all those a little bit later. Uh, nightshade is poisonous, so we're not going to eat it. I'm going to eat a couple of these so I can have a different, at least a couple of different kinds of food in me. Uh, can I can eat the melon slice too, right? And we'll put this up for now. Okay, so the oak signs can be used to smell things, but I don't really care. I am going to put another ch or thing down right here so I can start smelting the sand down in here. Actually, no, I need to start smelting some oak logs so we can get some charcoal and get that going. So now we need some clay and stuff, and then now we have this. Can I eat this? I can't. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here. I need to grab some clay. Wow, that's easy enough. Okay, so there's 48. I want a little bit more than that. If I can get it, there's some gravel. We need the gravel. Do I have auto jump on? I know I don't. Is that auto jump that I saw? Uh, Controls, auto jump. Why did I auto jump? I'm tripping. I want some more clay than that. There's an enderman to the north side. I'm actually going to go use this gold here to make a gold sword, and I'm going to try and kill him. How much damage does this do? Okay, so this axe is better. We're going to go kill him right fast. And if he almost kills us, what is this? Fluffy plants that actually gives us a couple of things, but not what I want. Come here, sir. Is there a place I can get under? Yes. So I'm just going to hit him until he's almost dead, and then I'm going to kill him with this. Or not, but we still got an ender pearl, so I'll take that. Did we get anything else other than an ender pearl? God, I really wanted that ender pearl. I wanted more than one, but you know what? That'll take it. So get a unique food? I might. Uh, I may, I may not. We should just do slat. We'll, we still need some clay. So let's go find some more clay real quick. Is that clay down there? There's clay down there. Bro, I was supposed to kill him. Oh, there's another Enderman. I just, I see him spawned. Okay, cool. I know what you're thinking. Bro, you literally teleported two feet. Why did you just teleport two feet? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Uh, because I want to. So how much can we get here? We're going to do 15 here. So that should make three. And then we're going to need, you know what? Actually, let's just go ahead and make another stack. Uh, another five. So that's four. And let's go ahead and start smelting that down. So we're going to go ahead and get these smelted down. We're going to go ahead and get some of these right here. And so I'll take the sand out. The glass can hold for now. And then this is that smelted all of our food. All of our food should be almost done. Cool. I got a hearty meal. That's dope. And then so now we can put the ender pearl up for now. We'll have to come back and get that later. And so the hopper botany pots require those. So we're going to save those for later. We're going to put this up, put this up. We got to make sure that we chunk load this too. So we're going to go like this and then I'm going to chunk load like that. So that way we have them. So on our map, while it's loading right quick, we have this down here. This is an apotheosis tower. That's going to be something that we can use. I don't see any villages, which is actually a bad thing. Villagers are really, really important. So that's kind of not good, but that's fine. This uh, speed upgrade would be nice here too. Um, otherwise, we can go start mining while this is going. I would really like to get some of these. Oh, there's... Five. You know what? We'll just go start mining while we get these things going. We need another chest down, and then we'll get the stuff mining. We'll go mining real quick while we do it. 
We have uh, the flint and stuff. I kind of actually need to keep the flint and stuff on me. We'll put the melons up. We'll put the stone up. And the hoppers up. We'll put up. Got to get the flint. Can put the clay up. We'll put the food in here so we can cook that a little bit later. The ender tier can go up. One hoe can go up. And then this is my iron pickaxe. So this can go like this. All right. We got to go start mining. So we're just going to make a little mine over here. FDB maps is farther. Did that mess up your time? It could have possibly messed up my time. Yeah, there's no villages here. So that sucks. Okay, so I'm going to switch this to mining tunnel. We're going to mine down like this. And then just so you know, it is faster if you mine out in a way that makes it where you can go up like this. We really need copper. And this is where I am actually going to turn on shaders so I can have um, the lighting. Actually, I don't... Well, yeah, I'm going to turn on shaders so it's going to help me with lighting stuff. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves some torches. Um, and so that way I have some shading and some nice lighting here. We grab some iron here, which is always good to be in the beginning. Really, osmium is the goal here. Osmium is good. Copper is really good because we need to get copper smelting for doubling. I don't know if there's going to be anything more. Press it twice. There's this. Oh, yeah. There's a dungeon down there, but there's no village, which sucks. There is a cave down here. I see it. And it's a lava cave, which is actually incredibly dangerous because I wouldn't live going down there. So we're going to go this way. But that's actually a really good cave to have. So we're going to see if we can find our way down without getting murdered. Uh, this isn't it. We have some gravel. I can probably place the gravel down to make a place down, but it doesn't look like having a gravel. So let's go ahead and put our cobblestone up in here. Tough diorite granite. We didn't get any dirt. Oh, we did get dirt. Okay. Just basically the kivy or whatever can go in the trash. The scorchia can go in the trash because I'm not going to get more of those anyway. Um... And then I'm going to grab out some cobblestone for me to build out with. Really, I just want to make myself a way down without getting killed here. And also grabbing this copper because copper is going to help me replace my pickaxe. Tin can also do it, I think, but I could be wrong here. Uh, mining tunnel. This should be fine enough right here. Oh, uh, bam. Ah, uh, there's a turtle. Turtles are cool, but they don't actually do anything for us. They can actually give us some iron and stuff early, but that's pretty much it. I don't know why I'm focusing so hard on that. Oh, I want to kill this guy with not my axe. I want to kill him with my sword. I want that extra stuff he drops because it'll give us gold too. You son of a gun. The drops early in the game, getting a bunch of... Okay, so we just basically got enough now for us to get... Let's go ahead and go slash home. And so what I'm going to do now is nighttime. This is perfect. We're actually going to make sure that this is all smelted. So we're going to go ahead and grab out... Did we get any bricks smelted yet? Bricks have to be smelted next. We need to go find a squid. There's squids that way. Good. We're going to go get the squid that way. What up, Reynos? How you doing? Long time no see, man. Hope everything's been going good for you. You get more loot? Yeah, it's got looting on it. That's why. There should be a squid right here. Now, I've got to be careful not to slash back. Because if I slash back, I pretty much screw myself over. It comes with looting too, which is really nice. Can I please get this? Did I get the ink in it? I got three good. If I do slash home, I will pretty much screw up my slash back reference, which is not good. Yum, yum, yum. Well, it's good to see you, buddy. Hope you've been doing all right. 15 minutes already? 13. I, I wish I could slash home here, but I can't. So I got the squid. You can do a titanium kind of cheese, but I'm not going to do titanium. I'm actually going to do uh, just the squid. I'm just going to use that to make a drying rack. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and make two black dye. We're going to come over here. And we're going to do drying basin. We're going to make this real quick. And so this will turn our, uh, not the ink sets. This will turn our rotten flesh into what we need. And so now I can just put up the rest of the stuff. The tin can get smelted. We'll need that a bit, a little bit later. Zombie hearts give me more, which is good. Um, otherwise I don't really care to have anything else. Uh, uh, grave dust I hear can make some tablets of home, but I don't care for that. This actually is really important to smelt. So we got to make sure we smelt that down. 
And this will give us a backpack, which is what I'm I'm going for here. I don't want to smelt any of this iron and stuff down, so that's kind of important right now. So we have enough now with the hoppers and the chests. We should be able to make the hopper botany pots. Yep, I'm making those for the what do we call it? What are we missing here? So we're gonna just go ahead and make four of those. Making them for the backpacks. There's all four of those. Now we gotta grab the dirt out that I have in here. And so we're gonna go ahead and just do I have how much, much inferior do I have? Do I get a I got two? All right, cool. So where is that hoe? I think I put the hoe up right here. We got two inferior, which will actually help us get two inferior farmlands, and then we just get two normal farmlands. And then so now I'm gonna go ahead and make myself the four by four drawer. So this is this. I don't like using the easy recipes, even you know what? Because it's a speed run, I don't know why the easy recipes are like this, but it's a speed run, so I'm just gonna do it. All right, place this down. We're gonna do a hopper botany pot on top, like this. We're gonna put in the inferior farmland. And then I need to get out the oak sapling because I need to get some wood going. That's important. And then we should have another one of these. And then this will be for, you know, usually I do string. Did we get any string? I don't think so. Is useful later, later too. I also like um, using it a couple different ways. Uh, it's much more efficient. Uh, I don't know what the regular basin is. Okay, so did I get I, the, I got some string for this. That's cool. That's the important part. Fluffy seeds give you... They give you something else. Oh, perfect. You're exactly what I need to kill. Hold on, sir. Hold your horses. I'm going to kill you. Don't worry. I need your string. How much string did you give me? Four. Oh, my God. We literally got enough string to just make a backpack like right off the bat. Oh, my God. We literally got enough right off the bat to make this. I was going to grow string. I'm still going to grow string, but we got enough to get that. That's pretty dope. And so now I'm going to put the other two over here, and this is where I'm going to grow my food so wheat seeds did we do hemp in this one yeah we did hemp in this one and then i'll grow another um one of these for the time being like we already have enough now for us to grab oh there's flax seeds bro screw this we got flax seeds somehow flax seeds are the best they grow directly into flax string which is just string all right, so we got enough string to make a backpack. That means we can put this up. We can just delete this. We can put this up, put this up, put this up. Um, and then we got to smelt the rest of that sand. That's what we're going to put here. And then this is still smelting down. I would like to upgrade it, but it's a good choice for me to not, to not upgrade it. All right, so this will give me the leather that I need. I need that. That's enough. Hold on. We got to get that chest back out because that's what's going to make my regular backpack here. And then I'm going to upgrade this with iron. Can't upgrade it with gold, but that's fine for now. Hello? That's not where I put you. Okay, so now I can put up all this extra stuff. One of the things about the copper is the reason why I've got the copper the way I did is because the copper actually gives us... Uh, we can double things with it, but it's also how I'm going to repair uh, my stuff. So that's important. I don't think I need any, any of those things other than the glass, but that's all going to smelt down. So we're going to put all this stuff up. I'm just going to put everything up except for the food that can stay out. Hello? Quick and thank you for the 100 bits, man. I appreciate that. Why? But this is... Oh. That's the imposter seed. You're right. Good eye. Good eye. Can I, hold on. Can I actually use this one? Hold on a second. Can I use this to make rope or is it considered string? I don't think it's considered string. No, it's not. Con it's not considered string. That sucks. Okay. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye. That was good. Okay. So we really need some more copper. It's what I use to repair my stuff with. How much copper do we have smelting down? We'll have enough to double things, but that's not what I wanted for. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and take out the flint and I'm going to take out, I'm going to go ahead and combine this. We're going to grab two things of template boards here. We're going to go ahead and do like this. I'm going to do this. Oh, we don't have a stick. That's great. Okay. Repair kit. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some copper. And uh, this will be used to repair my pickaxe. And so we need to get to 
diamond as quickly as we can. These are all working right now. We have a backpack, so we're good to go. And so we can just put the stuff up in my backpack. I'm going to keep this out just in case I need it, but we're going to put this all up in my backpack and uh, hope that we have enough. We can keep that out. So everything's smelting here, so now I can go slash back. Okay. I don't know that I need to kill these guys with anything. Okay, so that was the first day. We're looking for Osmium here is one of the most important things. There's a spawner here. That has to be because otherwise these guys wouldn't be here. I kind of want to skip these guys because I need to go find Osmium and stuff. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff over here. Giant slaying. There's an axe. There's a gym. That gym's actually pretty good. There's nothing in that barrel. What is in this chest? I'm going to grab it all for right now and see what I got. This says Fortune 2 on it. You son of a gun. Sir, I'm really just wanting to find some osmium right quick. Screw fighting those guys. This is osmium, this is zinc. We don't need zinc for right now. There's a lot of redstone over here that I really actually need to get. We can mess with them a little bit later, but for now. Oh, that's not good. And there's a spawner right there. This is even better. That, that dude scared me right there. Can you not right now? I'm a little busy. Okay, this is not good. Can't shoot me from there. This is why I hate axes, dude. They're so annoying. Axes are actually so annoying. They're just not good, man. Where's all the osmium at? Redstone's really important, too, so I'll take it. I don't see any osmium at all. See these prosperity stuff? We can grab those just in case or later. I don't see any osmium. I know there was a spawner back there. Can you shoot one of these guys instead of shooting me? Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay. What is this? Deep slate uranium? Did they change that? I feel like that that got changed. Osmium. How much osmium are we getting out of this? Because don't tell me I just got literally four pieces. That's tough. Four armor, five armor. What do we have? Seven armor. We're going to put that on. This is two. It doesn't really matter. Do we have a better weapon? We have this. I don't know if this is actually good or not. I never know. Lots of osmium up there. And a monster box. I don't want to fight the monster box yet. I don't have osmium stuff to kill this guy with. I could get stuff out of that guy, but I don't really care. And there's a spawner up here as well. I see that spawner. Don't care for the zinc right now. Not going to use it for anything. Can you not right now? We also need to make... Oh, y'all are wasting my time. We need to make a couple buckets if we can. Let's go slash home. Let's go ahead and make a couple of buckets while this stuff is smelting. One of them is going to be for water. Okay. I'm going to uh, put this stuff up in my inventory. How much copper do we have total now? We need a total of 18. So I'm just going to go ahead and smelt this down. We'll get the 10 a little bit later. And uh, I just want to get 18 so I can double this stuff out. This can get deleted. This can get deleted. That is four knockback resistance plus a slot. I don't really care. I need the bones. I need the paper. I think if we had a couple of things, this p bones and paper stuff would really help. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I had to switch to modded as well. I couldn't do modded or vanilla. Okay, so now with this, I can actually double everything. So I can come over here. I hit shift K and that will automatically add, give it Give me two right here. Do I have sticks in my inventory? I do not. And so now I'm going to do this. This will give me that. And then now I can double this copper. Usually I don't double the copper, but I'm doing it right now because I need it. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and smelt down the osmium. We might eventually get to the rest of the stuff. The copper is more important than the iron at this point. And so we'll also double the gold, which it should leave me just a little bit left. 
and we'll get all that smelting down. We have a giant slaying axe. It's like a terrible attack speed. And then we have a golden axe with okay damage and okay attack speed. What is this? 1.1? We just use the golden axe for loot or a fortune, so I can just put this over here because the axe is probably better for fortune at this point. Okay, and so we can put the rest of this stuff up in my backpack while this all smelts down. So I need to get new pieces of gear. A helmet would be good. The pants would be good. So having f seven would be good for the thing, but we need to get a Paxel first. So that's got to smelt first. So let's just go ahead and go put this up. Let's grab the water real quick. And then we're going to grab some lava out of that first or later. So we're going to go slash back. And then I'm going to come over here. Ow. Can you not right now, sir? One, two, three. All right, sir. Your time is up. Gotcha. Okay. Lots of redstone here, too. We're going to try and get all this a little bit later, but for now, this works. You cannot because it's in, it's actually like stuck on the tool itself. It's like a, it's just like a default looting thing. Might as well grab this Inferium uh, or mess it up. That's, that's cool too. We need the lead. I messed this up in my last part of the run is because I ended up having to use more redstone than I wanted to. I know I see this guy up here. I don't know if he's going to jump down or not to fight me. He should. Or not. There's, ooh, there's a lot of water right there. Reason why I like seeing a lot of water is because a lot of times you can actually find like diamonds and stuff just sitting. This is fine. I do need that redstone though. Thing is, is Osmium is actually not, I want to say Osmium is not actually um, diamond level, but if we can get some obsidian, from something, I think it actually can mine obsidian now that I think about it. We'll see. On my old Mojang account. Oh, God, look at all that osmium. Okay. I want all this obsidian. Okay. We'll smelt that stuff down, too, but we're going to put this up for now. And we'll put the lead up. We'll put the osmium. We don't have to double that. That's fine as it is. You know, this grave dust, I feel like I can use for something, but I'm not going to. And then we got to put the deep slate up in that. So now this is smelting. We should have enough osmium. Do I have the sticks? I do. So we're going to do one, two, three. And then we're going to do one for the pickaxe, one for the axe, and then one for the shovel here. And then I'm going to go like this. Um, and we get the Paxel. And so what the Paxel is... The Paxel is a good weapon, but it's also, I want to say that it's a diamond level. I want to say that I can mine diamonds with it, but that'll be what we use to, we're just going to replace that. That's what we're going to use for now. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some pants. We don't need, I don't think we need a pair of chest. We do need a helmet. We do need the boots. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Delete this, delete this, uh, delete this. Okay, cool. Now we have all that. That can just go in the trash can. I don't need that. I can also go in the trash can. I don't need that. And uh, that's melting more osmium. Let's go ahead and replace this with copper, actually. We'll smelt the more osmium stuff down later. Okay. And then, so now I should be able to mine the obsidian. Nope, I need diamonds for this. Okay, cool. But this, oh, wait, that's because I'm a, I'm a dummy. Let me try that again. There's a spawner around here I should actually be looking at. This is, nope, it's still. But this is a really good weapon. One of the biggest reasons why I use it. That is a lot of Inferium right there. I I can use more of our Osmium later. Redstone is like the most important part of this early speed run. Oh, hello there, little guys. Where's that spawner? There was a spawner out over here. That's like one of the most important parts of the early game is like finding these spawners. That Redstone. Really, I'm just here for redstone. Like, the more redstone that I get, the better. That guy's glowing over there. I don't know what's going on with him. I can't mine this until I have diamonds. And so that's kind of a problem. I can check the map to see if there's anything around me. 
let's do follow. See what other options we have here. Okay. I just need to find I redstone's like the most important part of this. And that's kind of why you see me looking for redstone a lot. Uh, I really want wherever that uh, spawner was. The spawner is probably my best chance of getting cheap diamonds. And I could have sworn it was over here. Can I please jump in place? And for those who are wondering, I actually do have it set to the difficulty mode set to easy. There's no reason for me to do normal or anything like that. Uh, because, again, people will do the speed run just like I'm doing it, but they'll do the speed run with uh, easy and then claim it. So, Oh, diamonds. Cool. Bah, bah. Come on, dude. It's not hardcore. I thought about doing hardcore. Can I not get hit right now, please? Is there a spawner around here that I don't know about? I just want to break this real quick. Get back. There's got to be a spawner. These guys, there's too many people over here. We got to eat. Come on, bro. That I hate the baby zombies, dude. Baby zombies are the bane of my existence. Where's the spawner at? That dude's got an axe. Why do these guys have weapons and stuff? This is not fair. We got all that we need over here, so we're going to go back this way. I say as I take out my Osmium Paxel and beat them into the ground. There should be the... I don't know why we're still hearing, like, bird sounds or whatever. That's weird. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and make a diamond pickaxe with the three diamonds we got, which is perfect. And so now I'm just going to mine all this. Hold on, let me make sure there's no lava here. See if I can mine it all up. Touch grass laws. That'd be hilarious. Ooh, that could have been bad. How much am I getting here? I'm not really getting much, which is kind of depressing, but it's okay. Just want to make sure I pick it all up. That's what, four, four more pieces? I don't really care for that. Okay, so now that we have obsidian, we can actually do this. So this is a regular diamond pickaxe. This switch is over. Let's go ahead and take the template boards. Let's go ahead and go home so I can get some of the stuff smelting down. We don't have enough copper right now to... Oh, we do have enough copper to double again. Cool. Thank you for the follow. I, I, I don't know how to say your name. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea how to say your name. Do I not have any more sticks? I think we have enough stuff now. I think actually what we're missing is iron. Iron's probably the most important part. We'll smelt the rest of that. Yeah, we're definitely missing some iron right now, which is not good. Got plenty of this, so that's good. But I think we do have enough. Obs we pretty much have enough of everything that we need. So we're just going to go ahead, do this. We're going to go ahead and go this. And then I'm going to go to sleep because screw these guys. If you only were only, if only you would run into an iron or mega vein, that would be cool. This is eight though, by the way. So this is all the mods eight. And so we can keep the diamond pickaxe if we the pickaxe set if we need it. But for now, this is fine. And so now we can repair our pickaxe with obsidian. And so that's really good. And so now at this point, I just need a lot of iron. And so it's actually better to mine in a mountain if the, if it's nearby, but it doesn't look like we are near a mountain, which is kind of sad. You know what we're actually going to do? Let's see. Let's make sure that this is all smelting down. How much iron do we have total? We're going to need a lot more iron than that. We need to do a couple of things. We need to take one of these lava buckets. We need to take out the clay and we need to take out the coal. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and make myself the player transmitter and get that going because that has to be done. We also need to bust out and make some more ferni, plural, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and make all of those. And then I'm going to go ahead and make, with all of those together, we're going to go ahead and make the player transmitter stuff. So for this, we're going to need this right here. So there's that. Uh, do I have any more iron on me? Is that really all the iron I got? Because we're going to have to go with this. Okay, and so that make the dielectric pace or, or place, whatever. We're going to need to make these. I need two of those so I can make this. And then I need to make two of these. So I need a redstone block, which I put up because I'm genius. Okay. Okay. 
And so now we need an aerial pearl. And this is where we need a zombie for, which is kind of where I'm at right now. And so I should be able to make everything once I get back. Okay, so we're going to go slash back. I'm going to find a zombie. Let's see if they spawn, if they're going to spawn in a place that I can see them. There's a bunch of skeletons down there. Oh, there's a zombie behind me. Hello, sir. Good. And so we have no power right now, so it doesn't really do me, serve me any purpose right now to just kind of go and like farm some things like that. So we just got to kind of keep an eye out for iron. We're in a really a bad spot for iron, actually. We've been here already. I'm really just looking for spawners at this point. The gold's not important, but this over here is a really good cave for this. Oh, we need the amethyst for waystones. This is really good. Amethyst is really good in the early game for this. How many zombies are there, bro? There's got to be some kind of spawner around here. There's no way that there's not. Where are they spawning from? Platinum is good to get. I didn't expect to get that much. I just broke my leg. Uh, might as well grab this uranium. I'm not going to need it for later or until later, but we'll grab it for now. I'm really, really just keen on iron and a spawner right now. What up, y'all, man? I'm loving your videos, helping me learn to pack. Hell yeah. I'm glad to hear that, man. All the mods 9 is pretty much the same as all the mods 8. There's a couple of differences, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same. There's a couple more fun things about it. What is this? I don't know, but I just accidentally killed that man, and I felt bad. Nico, thank you for the follow. Where are all the spawners? Like, I swear, I usually get a ton of spawners, but I'm not getting them right now. Greg Tech is still in nine. Correct. Yeah, I'm thinking of the follow as well. Where are all the spawners at? I swear, I'm getting bombarded over and over, but I'm yet to find a spawner. Spawners are so important for the early game. Oh, it's a whole lot further than I thought it would be. If I could put luck on this pickaxe, I would absolutely do it. I feel so weird hearing these like birds chirping and I'm in the middle of a cave. Like, does anybody else feel that way or is it just me? I'm like, bro, why am, why am I hearing birds chirping? I need that redstone. With a pick and it gives you a mineral on its back. So yeah, I think it's, it's okay, but it's like just one thing, right? Okay, so spawners. Can I find a spawner? I think that's diamond down there. Am I really this unlucky with spawners right now? I'm really this unlucky with spawners right now. This is insane. Only reason I'm coming down here is because I'm getting this. And there's actually dark ore right here, which is really good. Did I actually pick that up? I did. We need to delete some of these things. And we also need to go ahead and make a player transmitter. We'll get this later, but I just want these diamonds and to kill this creeper. It's one block of diamond. Beautiful. Anything else over here? There's a lava down here for us to get more obsidian with. Can I just drop down there or am I going to die? We Cool. Can I not pick the water back up? Oh. That is an annoying mechanic. All right. Longest break ever. You're planning on doing it all in one mega sitting? I would love to do that, but I cannot do that, unfortunately. You can hear dinos in the overworld, so you hear a bunch of, like, dodos and RGs. It's super weird. I don't think I can do it all in one sitting. Okay, this should be plenty of obsidian now. Magnet win. I don't have the um I don't have the stuff for it. 
Uh, I don't have the ender portal for it right now, but that's one of the things that I need to get. Okay, so resume. All right, I believe in you, and I mean lots of caffeine. I'm not doing it all in one go, bro. That would be too much. I mean, crazy. Okay, so we're going to double all this iron and smelt it down. Thank you for the follow, Johnny. I appreciate that. My brother's name is Johnny. Brother. This thing, this poor thing, man. If only we had some more gold to smell down. That'd be hilarious. We can get the platinum stuff smelling down too. Got to turn that, convert that over. But we should actually have enough iron now. If I put all this stuff up, we have enough dark gems actually for us to make a, whatchamacallit, uh, fortune stuff. But I'd have to go kill a bunch of things for that to work out. So for now, we can put this power stuff up because I don't need it. We have one singular diamond. Okay, so now we need to put out all the iron that we have, which is not much. And we need to make some more sticks, I think. Okay, and then we're going to do jetpack. We're also going to need... Let's do the metallurgic infuser first because that it doesn't really matter if I make a jetpack if I have no way to make power. You know? Do I have any osmium smelted yet? I do. Get these furnaces, furni furnaces out. For those who don't know this trick, you can take and put redstone in the side here. We're going to need seven pieces of redstone here. And this left side, we need one osmium ingot going in. And then we need five. Why is that going? Oh, five pieces of iron for that. And then so the, the, this is, I'm going to throw this in here and spread it out. On record pace, too early to tell. It's, uh, I'm not doing as best as I used to do or I did the first go around, but it's fine. We're going to make a copper jetpack, so I got to make both of these. So that means we need, do we have enough leather for this? I just realized we might not have a le enough leather. We got a, we got plenty of rotten flesh for this. Let's go ahead and do that. Do we have any gold smelting down? We have enough to make whatever we need here. I think I need three pieces of leather for this, and then I'm going to need one iron nugget. So the biggest thing is I need 11 of these. So what am I missing for this? I've got nine. So it looks like I need some more iron, right? So let's uh, see. Oh, I literally have enough for, to make the wooden jet pack. So I need five of these. Do I have any more redstone? Do have a bunch of redstone. Cool. Okay. And I need oak. I need wood out. Do I have... One, two, three, four, five. And then now I should be able to make everything else for this. So we should be able to make this. And then I should be able to make two of these. And then there's our wooden jetpack. This wooden jetpack sucks. But the thing of the reason why I'm making this is because I can make a wind generator with this. So I can go, I need the gold out of my backpack, but I need six pieces of gold per. This is why I saved it. So I can do this. I don't need any, like, anything right now. I just need to do this like this, and then I'll throw this in here. We need to make a binding card. And uh, if we find an Enderman, that would be good. I don't think I actually care to find an Enderman right now. Okay, binding card. We're going to right-click it, throw this in here. And this, and then this should charge my jetpack once I place it on. Well, let me talk about this first. Before I do this, before I click go, the next goal would be to upgrade to copper, but I don't think we have the iron, so we might actually skip just from going uh, and, and go here and just go straight up and find... You know, actually, I think we actually actually should split this and skip this split because this is just to find the next jetpack. It depends on how fast this is and it depends on a couple of things, but we need the iron so we can make a um, nature's compass, and that's kind of where we're at now. Is the day counter to be trusted? Kind of, not really, but that's where we're at. So let's just go ahead and split this. And so that way I can go to make my nature's compass. So we do need, yeah. So we have some power going. Let's go ahead and make the nature's compass. So we need a piece of redstone in the middle, and then we're going to need four. Ooh, do we have four? Can I turn this on? Let's see how fast this is. It's faster than nothing. So I got that. 
Okay, so we should be able to do nature's compass here. What is this? What is the recovery compass? Can I not make the nature's compass? Am I tripping? Oh, I have to go get the wood out. Lost. Okay. Okay, so we can put this stuff up, put the red stem up. The iron, or the, that stuff is going to be to make a couple of different things. And we'll put this up because it's going to be for our copper jetpack. And then that's our food. Okay, so the next step for us to do is to find the deep dark. 781 blocks. Cool. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so 781 meters this way. And so I think... Ooh, we got to grab a bed. I almost messed that up. Come on, bed. You come with me. We're going to turn the shaders off so that way I can have the performance here. And then we're going to go this way. And then this is 700 and something this way. So I have power now. It's not enough power. Oh! Oh! Of course we're going to grab loot. I don't know what that is. I don't think I've seen that before. Is there? Please tell me there's a chest here. You got to be kidding me right now. We're going to eventually need this, but usually there's a chest there. Is there a chest up here that I can snag? I'm just going to cheese this. An emerald. Just a singular emerald. That's so great. That's all I've needed. Oh, there's another thing right here. Another chest. Please be another emerald. Okay, I'll just cry deeply in Spanish. Is this... The, okay, if this is... Oh, yes. This is exactly what I actually needed it to be. Because inside of here is actually what I need. We get a bunch of obsidian, but there's a chest inside of here. And inside of this chest is uh, a lot of times there's like diamonds and stuff. So I'll take it. Cheese is good. Uh, I think that could be allowed. I don't think that's a bad thing because we're talking about killing the warden. Ah, beautiful. Cool. Okay, this black stone we might keep. We are definitely throwing away the gilded stone or whatever. We're going to get rid of the red current. We're going to get rid of that stuff. But we got nether quartz. We got two pieces of diamonds. I'll uh, take it. Uh, I could grab the rest of the obsidian stuff, but I'm not going to. Where was I going? We're going this way. 400 and some blocks this way. Uh, I kind of want to keep an eye out to see if I can find a village. Is that a village above me? I don't think there's a village above me. There might be a village right there, but I just wanted to look to see. Because if there's a village, I can start an iron farm. I've yet to do that speed run cheese yet. We'll see. You hit the delete key. Delete key is the shortcut for sending things to the garbage can. This was added by Apotheosis, so I could just break this, and uh, I could just break in here. Also, if you didn't know, there's also some really cool parts of this. We're going to need all these books, so I'm actually going to be glad that I'm taking those. I'm going to grab that. Down here. There's, if you didn't know this, you could actually get some gems going up here. Uh, I'm going to take the Crack Looter gem. Do I have anything good here? Smite? I don't think that works against the Warden. If it did, I would care, but I don't think it works against the Warden. Um, there's... Uh, along these walls, there's gems here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab them. I don't know if people knew this or not. That one's actually a good gem. Flawless gem of the Warlord? Oh my god. That's actually not bad. That one just gives flat attack damage to a weapon, which is not bad. I found this out on accident. But these are pretty good gems. That flawless gem of the Warlord is actually a really good gem to pick up. Cool. Okay, where are we going? We're going this way. That's pretty good. So many Warlord gems. Pretty dope. Okay, so we're going to just dig down from right here. So we're going to go straight down. I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of this axe. Actually, the that drops that's for the warden, right? Oh, we have too much stuff in my backpack. We're just going to have to go back home here in a minute. Yum. I could have broke my legs, but I didn't. Yum, yum. It does work on the warden? Does it actually? I don't know. Can you put it on a sword? Or can you put it on a axe? I don't know that I have the uh, stuff for it or not. It says smite is good for a warden. Is it actually? Because if it's actually good for the warden, I will literally go get it. You know what? We got to commit. Oh, we're in bedrock. But it's considered the deep dark, so that's not good. So now we're just going to do large tunnel and see if we can find it like this. This is actually not good. That's redstone. I'll take it. 
if it is good for the warden, that'd be good. But the problem is, is it's already too late. So it doesn't matter at this point. God, we need to clean up our, do we have any gold? I don't know if we have enough just yet. Okay. Let's look at our map here. Let's do follow and let's see where the closest thing is. There's, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but there's a huge place to my left. And so we're going to go out that way. And instead of doing large tunnel, I'm actually going to do small tunnel and I'm just going to do it like this. That way I can just make a direct line there. We got some dark gems is actually good. Uh, gold's really good to get. I'll take it. This is in the way. It says it no longer does. Oh, that's depressing. Uh, it's, you know, I got a bad feeling. Yeah, I think it's above me. Places, please. We just got too much stuff in my inventory. So let's go back and let's put this stuff up like to smelt or whatever to have the smelting. And then we'll work our way towards everything. I don't think we need any of this stuff to be honest with you, but we just have too much stuff in my inventory. Like that can go in the garbage can. These gyms can come out, put up in here, but we're going to be together forever at this point, y'all. That's going to go in the garbage can, too. Going to need this. Save the TNT for later. Do I have any gold smelted? I don't have any gold smelted. I think I can go ahead and actually upgrade to a copper jetpack. The only reason why I care to upgrade is because upgrading to a copper jetpack is actually going to make me a little bit faster, and making me faster is a good thing. Thank you the follow, Christianator. So we need to grab out the redstone that I have, and then I need to grab... Is that all the redstone that I have? Oh, no the iron and then I need to grab the furnaces out and then the sticks and let's see if we can make this. I don't know if it's enough to make this, but we're definitely going to try it. Okay. Copper jetpack. All right. So that's the wooden jetpack. We don't want to make that again. We don't want to make the player transmitter again. So let's see here. We need to make 11 of these. Oh God. We got to make the copper too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Make sure we don't mess that up. I need to get some copper out too. How much copper do I have smelted? Do I have enough for this? Oh no. Oh, that sand's always trying to get smelted, y'all. Let me tell y'all. We might actually have enough copper for this. Which is not good because we kind of need the copper. Okay, so we're missing some copper there. We're missing copper there. So we're going to have to get some more copper smelted. Let's just go ahead and double the copper that we have. And then start this smelting down. That sand really just wants to go. Like, he really just wants to start doing some stuff. Yo, Laffy, thank you for the follow as well. Okay, let's just put this stuff up. We'll upgrade the copper jetpack once it's smelted, but for now, this is fine. Delete this. Shift K on the gold nuggets to turn them into gold. We can now upgrade my backpack. Definitely don't have the diamonds. I would have loved the diamonds, but gold backpack is going to help a lot. Uh, we're still not going to have enough copper anytime soon. So this will work for now. Can you cheese the warden with water? I don't think you can. So let's do slash back. Let's uh, make sure that I'm at a good spot here. Let's uh, Let's search for the deep dark here. This is 128 meters that way. The reason why I'm going here is because I should be able to find deep darks and stuff like this. I'll also be able to find spawners and stuff, but it should be able to find the deep dark relatively easy. I'm actually going to turn on shaders too, but I'm going to come up here first. I'm going to make sure it doesn't look like this one's a trap chest, diamonds, leather, iron pickaxe, dwarven. This is five, five max health. That's going to help a lot. So we're going to grab that. What kind of gym was that? and say I'm going to turn on shaders here you pass by some diamonds this fine shapeless take the sugar cane because why not now 
What type of pants are these? Blessed leather pants? They got max health, but I don't really care. Rabbit stew? Gives me comfort, but I don't know what comfort actually does. Okay, let's see here. There's some diamonds down there. I only really want this for my backpack. That's literally all the only reason I want the diamonds right now. I almost have enough for them too. And there's a spawner. It's a silverfish spawner too, which is annoying. We got a spider spawn egg. Loyalty doesn't matter. Uh, dark gems would be okay to have, but I don't really care for them. This reduces your hunger. Okay. Now, well, let's see if this is rigged. Nope. Attack speed holding increases the holding of certain items. Doesn't matter. Everything else kind of sucked. Flawless light weapons plus seven attack damage. Heavy weapons plus. That would be pretty good if I had a slot for it, but I'm going to just take it for the time being. Um, just going to see if I can spot any more spawners before we go and find the deep dark. Got that one already. Ooh. This dude is not dying. Knockback doesn't matter. Silverfish are... Oh, that's... Oh, my God. This is like a really, really good one right now. That's a really good spawner. I know there's diamonds along the ceilings and stuff, but these spawners are really good. Can you quit hitting me right now? Can you please quit hitting me right now? That anvil is actually a good pickup too. Slime is so good. We now have enough for a slime pearl, which is really good. This is such an open cave, dude. It's such a huge cave right now. It's specifically those spawners that I'm looking for because those are really good. It's really dark though. That's the only problem. And so the deep dark will spawn around here somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. A golden apple will help during that fight, so I might as well pick it up. What up, bro? Did you come from over here and there's a spider spawner down here? Nope. Does it lead out to the place we just came to? Okay, cool. We didn't get this one because there's the thing on top of it. Got him in a really annoying one. I'll take the silver fish eggs, even though that doesn't help me. Thank you for the follow time. I appreciate that. What up? That's a spawner. No, it's not. It's dry ice. Don't care. Lots of redstone and stuff. The problem is, is I'm not seeing the deep dark and stuff down here, which is no bueno. Lots of diamonds right here, though. Okay, so deep dark. Where is the closest deep dark? The reason why I'm doing multiple searches is because sometimes it'll search and it'll find one for you and you just won't see it for a little while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my map here. I'm going to double check to make sure there is a deep dark and or not a deep dark, but it looks like there's no good spots over here to my right. So I'm going to go to this. Hmm, there's some deep dark over here is what it looks like. So let's fly this way and see if we can search again and see if we can find one closer. Because I don't like using that. Um, find deep dark like that. Nope. Still says this one's the closest. So we're going to have to just commit to this one over here. We got to remember to put down the bread or the bed, the bread bed and, and do all that. So same thing. We're going to do a small tunnel here. Make our way this way. Said we were in the deep dark for like one second. It's like 68 blocks this way. I should be getting all this redstone and stuff, but I could easily get this later. 53 blocks this way. What does it look like on the map for us? Is this a bad deep dark? Because that's deep dark right there. But we'll have to find out. Yeah, I can upgrade that. I can do that, but I don't like doing that either. Okay, so deep dark, are you here yet? No. But I can easily easily find it if it's through here by flying around, which I can't. 
Oh, there's some deep dark right there. So here's the thing. Either I find, um, like this is still the deep dark, but it has to be, it has to spawn. Like all the money either has to spawn on the walls or it doesn't spawn at all. So like if it's considered the deep dark, it'll, it can spawn on the ceilings, but it can only spawn where there's air. And so it also has to be an all the Madia or a deep dark biome for it to count. I shouldn't be wasting my pickaxe, our pickaxe and my hunger like this, but I'm just trying to find a way through this place. Cause we're still in what's considered the deep dark. And it looks like there's more deep dark stuff up here, but I also just got rid of it. So there's that. Let's do small or large tunnel. Let's see if I pop this and go deep dark again, 286 meters this way to get to the closest. Let's look at the map. So according to the map, there's deep darks. Deep dark is right there. I think there's some right there. Let's just follow this and see what this says. We're bound to find some deep dark, right? Cause hopefully we didn't just get a really bad deep dark biome. That would suck. Inventory's full. Oof. And break these spawners, throw those away. We got a really good set of a couple of these things that I'm really happy with. I'm going to try and make our way towards, Ooh, an open cave. That dude shot me in the mouth. Oh, look at all these spawners. Blow up real quick. What? What? Can y'all not right now? Can't hear me. God, I hate these things. Can they infect these things? Is that what's going on here? That dude got juked. Oh, more slime balls. Two anvils? That's pretty good. Six max health? Dude, I'll take that. Worse armor, but six max health is something I will take. Okay, so the deep dark should be around here somewhere. It says there's 180 blocks this way, and so I'm going to see if I can find my way through this to see if I can find it. Let's search one more time. 143 blocks this way. Let's go down if we can. Can we go down here? We can. They cannot. What up, Fick? How are you doing, buddy? Bro, where is the deep dark at? Am I getting juked right now? Am I getting juked? That's what's happening is I'm getting juked. This sucks. What up, Candy Brock? Thank you for the follow. This is like the longest part of the run is finding a good deep dark. We're just kind of at a, the mercy of the deep dark. Is that deep dark beside me? I don't think it is. That's definitely deep dark right there. That is absolutely deep dark right there. If I can make it there, we'll be in a good spot. Snowy slopes. Oh, sweet baby. Okay, so here's the... This is what I would rather get right here is this. The problem is, is we can't get this unless we make a couple of things. So that's all the modium. I'd rather get the all the modium than kill this dude because then that's going to be a lot more, a hard, lot harder. So we either need to get two ender pearls. There's only a couple of things we can get. And so we either get, need to get netherite or we get two ender pearls. I think we can do the two ender pearls easier. So I really want to mine this. I'm going to have to mine this anyway. So let me do slash we do slash home. And it's of course it's not nighttime. So we're not going to get anything here. Let's empty out my backpack and let's see if we can find us a couple of things before we go. We can fight the dude anyway, but I would much rather prefer to actually like Ugh, this is tough. This is real tough because I have to mine all the modium anyway, and there's only a couple of ways to mine all the modium. And uh, I'd have to get netherite. And Crusher because three netherite scraps? Yeah, I just have to... I need four netherite scraps. So I'd also have to find ancient debris. So that's the problem. I would have to get... It's almost nighttime. So I'd have to get a couple of things for this to work out. So let's just go ahead and go fight them. To the war forest, yeah, that's the problem with that is that I'd have to, I'd have to do that. And so that's, that would not work out. Let's grab this hoe out so I can break this thing. So we're going to 
spawn right here. This is going to be our, we're not going to sleep through the night. I just want to reset my spawn point. And then I need to make sure that he can, is not muffled. Is the warden close or whatever? Explosion is the thing, I think. Let's turn that off. And then let's stop muffling every, everything for right now. And let's just summon this guy real quick. And so I can find him. Any flying dungeon? Maybe, but that would be tough. I still need to go to the nether, get some crimson stuff to get some crimson steel, but that's just going to take me some time anyway. I just want to spawn one. I don't know what the sound is, but we just got to make sure that I don't spawn multiple. And he was invisible last time. Okay, so now we could just cheese. This is where the cheese happens. So we just fight him until he dies. That hurts. Ooh. He's going to kill me, but that's fine. And so now we should spawn right beside him, as long as he doesn't break my bed. I can't see anything. We're actually fighting him a whole lot harder now, and I wonder what gear that I... I guess the extra hearts are why... Oh, can I not hit you one more time? I was waiting for that death. Cool. Thank you for the extra stuff here. I guess it's probably the extra hearts. Okay, Warren's dead. Easy. So the thing is now is that I still need an ender pearl so we can go to the bounty board and we can turn in kill the warden and this gives us our first piece of all the modium. And so I could use that, but I still need a piece of ender pearl for, to get this. So we kind of want to stay here. So I kind of still want to kill this, but there's no ender. Oh, there is an enderman on our map. There's actually a couple of endermen on our map over here. I don't know where though. I don't know if they're above or below us. If we find some more Alamadium, that would be good. But you know what we could do? We could use the Ender Pearl egg that we got to convert a spawner over. Let's do that. We'll find another Enderman egg. We can get one later. But we have an Enderman. We can just go ahead and take the Enderman egg and just convert a spawner over real quick if we can find one. We don't want to spawn another Ender, another dude. So we got to make sure we don't do that. But if we find a spawner, I'm going to use those waypoints as a way for us to get back. See if we can find a spawner. Makes it a lot harder. There should be a lot of all the modium here too. Like there's two right there, which is really good. So this is actually much better of a way for us to do this. We just gotta find oh, there's a spawner. And so I'm just gonna change this to an Enderman spawner. And so then that should spawn us Enderman. And then we can kill him with our axe here. So we should also be splitting this. Okay, are you going to spawn anything for me, or is this going to be... This is it. I would like to keep this spawner, too, because it's a good spawner. So what is it that we need? Z oh, okay, hello. Can I... Do I need to break out everything around it for this to work? Should be fine. Should be breaking. Weird. They're falling down. Oh, you got eyes? You got the eyes for it? Oh, that's our only our source of light right now. Where's my torches? What do we get here? Bloodthirst? Oh, what up, dude? Come here. Hold on. Come here. I wonder if I should... Dude, I need at least five ender pearls here. Okay, hold on a second. These guys are going to keep spawning. I should make out a little place here to hide. Oh, I'm going to break this thing. Hold on. I didn't mean to kill that guy, but cool. He's got an inner pearl anyway. I didn't mean to kill that guy. There's another ender pearl. If we just get like five or six, maybe seven, we should be fine. Is this guy looking at me? Yeah, he is. How many ender pearls do we get? There's three. And I think we could also do the bounty for the ender pearls too. That should give us five more. And so then that puts us at a total of eight. I would really like this spawner, but you know what? 
Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta go with what you gotta go with. I would really like that actually. See if I can get some more ender pearls. Can I get it with this axe? He broke something of mine. He broke something. I don't know what he broke. Bloodthirst. I think that just gives you Oh god, we got the humanoid flesh that we need too. Cool. We'll mess with this stuff later. I will uh, you know what? Let's go grab some brass. I don't think we have the zinc that we need though. That's the only problem. I don't think we didn't grab any of the zinc. That dude's got a backpack. Let's see if I can grab some zinc real quick. I don't even know. Ow. Imagine if I died to that real quick. Is there any zinc around here? Is it, who's hitting me? Oh, it's the Enderman. Poor dude. Mm, sawdust? Sawdust might actually be easier, yeah. Yeah, let's go do that. Because I want this spawner. So let's do that real quick. Um, all right. What do we get here? The bloodthirst can go down. Reward can go down. Okay, we got our ender pearls that we needed. This will make a couple of things. First off, we can grab this all the modium, convert this into nuggets, and then we can use that to make both of our... Where is my crafting table on a stick? They broke my helmet. I can't believe they did that. All right, and we can use these to make both of the things that are needed. So we got two ender pearls for this, so that'll make us both of the things there. We should be able to... Can I not have a spot for gravel in here? All right, so there's that. That makes us the dimension teleporter thing, booblers. So we're going to push this down, and we'll come back to this one later. And then we can put what type of gem of the warlord? That's crit damage. That's really good on certain things, but I'm not going to use it right now. Um, okay, so next up, we're going to put this stuff up. I can go in the trash can. We're going to put that in the trash can as well. And so now we need to make brass, or we need to make... Uh, let's do a pulverizer so I can get all the stuff for it real quick. So I hit A here. Uh, I need a machine frame, so this is where all that tin and stuff is going to be coming in handy. we got to get redstone out, gold, because I'm going to need that too. I don't think I need copper for this at all. Or did I smelt the tin down? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we're going to need this. Do I not have this? What's my glass at? Did I make this already? I did not. Okay. Now we need a piston. You did what in a cup? I love that joke. It's like one of, I know it's the dumbest joke ever, but it's like one of my favorite jokes. We still haven't upgraded to copper, and we still need copper, which is kind of wild. But you know what? That's fine. It's one of my favorite jokes, dude. You did what in a cup? Like that's it's from Cars, man, which is hilarious. Like why? Um, we're gonna just scoot this over for the time being. Let that start getting some power, and then I'm going to grab out some of these. Start pulverizing these down. And we should be good to go. Can we actually power this with redstone? Can I put redstone in here? No. Okay, cool. And then that'll give us the sawdust we need. We don't need all this sawdust. It actually makes paper, too, if you didn't know. But that's plenty. Okay, so next up, we're going to put this crying obsidian up. We'll take this helmet because they broke my helmet. We'll put this Warden Tendril up, too. We have plenty of diamonds, so let's go ahead and upgrade to our diamond, our backpack here. You can make diamond nuggets? Cool. All right, now we get that. Now we need to focus on being able to break that all the modium, so that's what the platinum is for, which I guess I put up already. Did I smelt the platinum down yet? Oh my god, why am I like this? Oh, it's not smelting anything down because it's out of coal? It's my favorite. Alright, so we need some platinum. So what I'm aiming for here is we're going to make enderium is what it's called. So you can make enderium dust. There's a couple of ways you can do it, but you can get four if you do platinum dust. Oh well, I actually don't even have to smelt the platinum down. That's hilarious. I think it's lead is the other one too. And what was that other dust that I needed? Uh, it was three lead dust, one platinum dust, two ender pearls. Okay, so let's go ahead and just break those down, break those down, and then we should be able to make enderium dust. And then I wrote us in here. We got to get all three smelted down. Oh, you got purge with a link. What does it say? What is that? Can I, wait, Mater said, oh yeah, yeah, you can link it. 
you I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Hold on, let me paste that in there for you. Okay, once this is done smelting down, we do want this to smelt down the platinum next. And so that'll be good. That goes in the trash can. We also need the copper to be smelted too, bruh. All right, so there's our three. So now what we can do is we can take out those template boards. We're going to go ahead and take out our sticks. And I'm going to use the sticks to make a pickaxe template. And then I'm going to use the pickaxe template to make the enderium pickaxe template head. And so we're going to replace this obsidian one real quick with the enderium one. This is going to make it where we can mine all the modium. And so now I can just throw this in here and just smelt that down. Same thing with the platinum. Uh, the tin doesn't need to be smelted down and go back in there. And then we could just kind of dip this up. And so we could do slash back now. And so that uh, Enderman spawner that we made right here, we could just take and break this now. Don't you look at me like that. He was mad and he wasn't even looking at me, man. Ooh, that's actually a good spawner to grab too. All that stuff. Cool. We'll switch back to Obsidian later, but this is great for right now. And then now we can go, we can keep our eyes peeled. There was a, uh, all the modium right here, right? Cool. I hope we don't summon another dude. That would suck. These are actually really fast pickaxes too. All right. So that gives us the, all the money. Is there any more all the modium on the walls over here? There's literally one right there. This is like one of the best luckiest runs ever. Why am I not breaking this fast enough? About to turn on hover. That was with hover. Oh my God. Okay. We didn't put our binding card back. But I put them. How you doing? Okay. We got to do that. Oh, did I put that in my backpack? Oops. So yeah, we got a good amount of all the modium ore there now. So we actually might actually have enough. Yeah, we'll have enough to make an all the modium pickaxe like right off the bat. Or right off the bat. Well, I said that wrong. Okay. So that should charge my jetpack. Let's see if we find any more before we go back to our spawn points and find them. They glow in the dark and they glow really well too, which is nice. These are a lot of redstone, a lot of gold and stuff. Um, that is gold. We'll have to go back to our death points to find the rest of them, I think. Thank you the follow, Limda. Did I see one over here? Oh, that's gold. Sometimes there, a lot of times they'll be in these pillars. That's gold up there as well. They glow like really bright. Oh, God. We don't want to spawn that guy again. We already fought him once. Oh God, now I really can't see the Alamonium. We're just gonna fly back through this hole over here because I know there's Alamonium over here. This is what the copper problem is. Is there two here or is it just one? It's just one. Oh, that sucks. Wonder if we can find some more. Probably shouldn't be chancing it because we can just go to the mining dim. But we actually need to go to the nether to pick up some stuff from the nether. Let's go to the nether. We've got we've got almost enough to make a pickaxe. Actually, I think we do have almost enough. We're going to need to upgrade this spawner or this uh, furnace here real soon. All right, so now we should be able to go to the nether. So let's grab out some obsidian and build the portal real quick. We got the flint in our inventory for this too. Okay. So what I usually do is I break these two out right here. Or three, because I can count. And then I just build it like this. So one, two, three, and then I should, can I just place this like, okay, yeah, cool. I have enough net, or obsidian that I don't really care. Then we'll delete that and then we'll pop this open. And then, so we're going to make a spot to the other here too. For more all the modium. I'm trying not to use as many quest rewards as I can. I don't really like using the quest rewards because I'm the quest guy. Uh, we actually spawn at a spot where we can get a ghast, which is really good. You think I can kill him in this? Oh, come on. I don't know if I got anything, any gas tears out of him. I needed, I need four gas tears. Oh, well, that's fine. Soul sand's actually really good to get here too. So let's grab out that other, what the hell just happened? Let's grab out the other teleport pad here. It'll take us to the other. There must've been another ghast out there. What up, datum? All right, now we can grab out this. 
and we can turn this off. We're going to do ours light and then we're going to do on. And so what this does is this makes it where I can actually, um, it works just like the shaders and it makes it where I have a uh, dynamic lighting. Adam, I'm thinking of the follow, man. Oh, I just realized we're in a different dimension. So I'm actually going to break my legs here if I'm not careful. It has a good harvest speed. Paxel of what? We need to replace this with stone here. Okay, so this is in a different dimension. So we actually should take the binding card and we'll go and eat. Do we split? I don't know where we're at in terms of splits. Let me edit the layout so I can actually see where we're at in splits. I'm still going to cut this to where you guys can only see. I don't want to do the list for you guys because that's going to cut up too much of my cam. Uh, okay, yeah, so that was... We're not supposed to split. I was not supposed to do the last split, so it extra it, it did an extra split the last time because we got to get all of my damn tools and stuff. All right. So let's see. Do, am I still muffling the explosions or pick up? Let's just unmute. Can I unmute everything here? Delete muffled list. Are muffling? Delete muffled list. Okay, cool. Uh, we still need to put this. No, we're going to use a binding card on an Enderman. So let's go back. And let's go up. Turn off hover so that way I'm not using more. Can I get to the top out here? Oh, God. Can I get up here before it breaks? There's a dude up here waiting for me. We just need to find one Enderman, which is funny because I literally have an Enderman spawner on me. Like, I could literally place the Enderman spawner. We need these blazes, though. Actually, you know what? That should charge up my jetpack, right? Can't. Does the Enderman spawner need darkness? I don't think it does. Let's go ahead and make a, a magnet. Pretty sure the regular magnets, like that. I didn't take out the redstone. Do I still have the same key for it? I do. Put that in our curio slot. Let's see if I can spawn an Enderman real quick. Just so I can right click this guy. Can do a soul lantern? I could, yeah. Or man, this would have been really cool earlier. Now we should be able to do everything all in one go. We should be able to teleport and empower my stuff in the other now. So that's basically what this is for. That's a dimensional binding card. And now I'll be able to build my stuff up in the other, which is what I wanted to do. I don't have looting, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So if I hit G, it'll refresh that. I just have to kill as much of these blazes because we need a bunch of blaze rods. And I'm just going to stay on fire for it. Don't I have my particles off? So this doesn't happen. I would love looting. You know what? Matter of fact, do I... Did I spawn beside something here? Lots of stuff here. Don't need the wither skeleton skulls. Literally just here for these guys. Excuse me, sir. Where's my food at? We got a good gym, though. I'll take it. See another enderman on the map. I really actually need to get some waystones before I continue my journey. I don't want to kill these big dudes yet either. So I don't really care to kill them right now. Oh, that's an arrow. Just want to get a couple blaze rods so I can use the gates later and then that should be it for now. 
The Osmium Paxel does 14 damage. Sorry, yeah, 14 attack damage. That's why I use it. Okay. We got a Flawless Splendor Gem. Just gives us five luck. I'll use that eventually. Delete all these things. Okay, so the next thing is to move to the Mining Dimension. So we're going to do that next. I think I have everything that I need. So we're going to move to the Mining Dimension. So I'm going to just go ahead and... Put all this stuff in my backpack. And then I'm going to grab out. Let me grab my cardboard box for this. We got all eight, all the money mingots, which is pretty good. Don't really need any of this. I need the glass, but that's pretty much it. Out of, out of those. I'd like these gems. The wheat's good for food. This is good for literally everything else. Um, we can always come back to this, but for the most part, don't really need the rest of this. I don't think black dye doesn't hurt. And then I could just break these. We should have plenty of space for the rest. These are the seeds or the things that we're missing. Okay. Gonna put this up. I'm gonna go ahead and make that. No, it's gonna give me too much, take too much room. These hemp seeds back. So we can pick this up. Pick this up. Pick this up. Did we pick that one up? Okay. So now I just need to open up my inventory space, make sure I grabbed everything here. I think I got everything that I need. We'll get the wool eventually, but we're gonna go ahead and go back. You're making good time so far? I'm actually doing pretty good, I feel like, but time will tell. Okay. Time will tell. Did we grab the furnace or am I tripping? We didn't grab the furnace. That's like the most important part right there. That's like really, really important. Cause like that's gotta be smelted no matter what I do. So we're gonna go ahead and claim these chunks, force load them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do just like I was doing before. We're gonna place this up top here. And then we're going to... Did I even grab any stuff to make some chests out? I hate those right... Oh my god, I just made a bunch of drawers. I hate these chests. I'm actually going to need some sugar cane growing, so I'm actually going to keep that going right now. Did I pick up the Inferium farmland, or am I tripping? We're going to replace it later anyway, so... Oh, it's right there in my inventory. I just was blind! That's the wrong one. This one needs the industrial hemp seeds. But you know what? It's growing there, so that's fine. So we'll just do this. And that'll get us food going. Okay. We got sugar cane growing, which is good. Put these gems up in here. We got to get all these gems out of my inventory. Really bad to be in my inventory like this. All these extra things can go out of my inventory, too. Mm, like the iron shovel can come out of there, iron axe, the hoe, these parts. How good is the Imperium pickaxe? Oh, it's not even that great. Okay. We kind of have to have it, though. So that's kind of where it's at. You know what? Let's change this iron pickaxe to the obsidian one. And so we can mine with obsidian for a little while, and then we'll use that. I think that's better. Or should we do diamond? I don't think it matters. Where is our wind turbine at? Did I pick that up? There she is. Okay. I place this weirdly most of the time, which is not a good thing. I need to actually make the lead pipe thing. Do I have any lead smelted? We didn't do auto. I'm going to have to switch this up eventually, but this works for now. Because I hate myself. That's a good thing, though. To, to, it's, it's fine. I would prefer, I know this is going to have enough power for now, so we're going to keep that like that. Come over here and put this here, and then that's smelting the wrong thing. We need this lead smelted. So 
it's been trying to smell glass for forever. And so let's go ahead and do iron to gold. Let's go ahead and make this, see what it takes. It takes a block of gold. We have gold, plenty of gold to smell down. I think we actually have enough gold to make this. We might have enough gold to make this if it was smelted down. Just got to smelt it down. I know we need some lead. What is it? This is for the flux ducts. So what I'm making this for. So flux ducts are two pieces, so that's fine. That'll start smelting that. We'll smelt that afterwards. So two, is it, was it a piece of glass plus redstone? Am I going too fast in terms of like the way it looks right now? Like, am I making it really fast? Like, or is my crafting or whatever really fast? Okay, so we're going to change this to, uh, we're going to switch this, but the thing is, is we don't have enough power for that. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not making that just yet. Because we need to make more of those. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't even realize that whole stack of redstone in here. We're going to do 14 here. We'll do everything else a little bit later, but we're going to do, we're going to get the rest of these going. So we need this, plus we need osmium. I'm going to need some more osmium here later on. I think I've got some smelting. This is the mighty dimension. We need faster. I'm working on it. We're going to need a brewing stand. Usually we find one, but we didn't have one this time. So we're going to take out this stone. We're going to go ahead and make a brewing stand. Is it, is it cobblestone? Do we actually need cobblestone for this? Interesting. I didn't know it was cobblestone. So brewing stand. Did I ever get those? We need to make a sink with a bucket of water that we got. Do I have the terracotta smelted though? I don't think I have the terracotta smelted for it. That's fine. Okay, so we got the brewing stand. So I need some, I need some buckets. So let me go ahead and grab the water bucket out. We'll just use this for right now. We'll go get some more a little bit later. Okay, one piece of redstone in here. We're gonna go ahead and break this down into blaze powder. And just like I say, every time I say this, people don't know this, but I know that you can um, get way more. Uh, I know I can make a charm out of this, but I'm not going to make a charm just yet because charms aren't going to do me any good right now. So that's why I'm not making it. We're going to put one of these anvils on a stick. Do I have a stick? Use that for enchanting later. We're going to need to go ahead and take this plus the diamonds. And then I believe, I don't think we need diorite, but we need the potions master um, mortar, which is bricks. I don't know if we have any bricks smelted. Do we have any bricks smelted in here? We don't. So we're going to just replace these real quick. Did I just put those in my backpack? I did. Okay, so I need four bricks for this plus a piece of stone, which I already have. So let that smelt. And so this is going to get these. We're going to need 10 pieces of iron here. And that'll make that. And then gonna, you have bricks in your backpack. Do I have bricks in my backpack? I do have bricks in my backpack. Cool. Thank you. Good eye. Okay. And so now we just need to make the pestle, which is two diamonds plus one nether rack. Is it? Is it? Wait a second. Is the pestle two pieces of... Ah, it's the opposite. Okay. So we need to go get some more nether quartz. That's easy enough. We're going to make a stop and get some more water anyway, because we need an infinite water source. So we're going to go back to the my our regular world. And the end for the Enderman. All right. And so the nether quartz, there should be in that flying ship around here somewhere. Where's that at? Right here. So I'm going to just go grab it. It's cold down here, y'all. Where's this flying ship at? There it is. I'm going to grab some of the things that are in here. So sometimes there's redstone stuff in here. This is really good to have. There's another one of those. I think, did we get that one already or no? I don't know if we got that or not. I need to upgrade to a copper jetpack. Like real quick. Is that iron? It's chiseled, chiseled quartz. Am I tripping? Where are my torches at? Did I put my torches up? Usually there's somebody here. There's somebody here I'm going to have to kill. But I don't see them this time. There's usually a chest up here too. 
That's a bad spawner, so we definitely aren't getting that. Look at all that redstone. Oh my god, that was a lot of redstone. Nothing in these suckers. Day six. Okay, he set me on fire. That drops a magma slime. I don't think I'm going to get anything out of that. We'll break these smooth quartz blocks down. Going to double check to make sure there's nothing more. It's going to trigger something. I don't know exactly what it triggers, but. What kills these guys faster? I'll take this experience. Anything good in here? Mana boost? Doesn't matter. Glass protection? I would have really enjoyed this to be giving me some other things. Schematic throwing knife. The condensed blood is usually good, but I don't need it right now. So we're just going to... What did I just throw down? Something just got thrown down here. Can y'all actually hit me from over there? Oh, no. It's this guy. Uh, let's delete this. Okay. And so let's go back home. And so the thing is, is like, this is fine for right now. We'll be able to break down this stuff into quartz. Not the chiseled ones, but we'll be able to do this normal ones. So we need something called a chisel. And so it's a thick chisel, this one right here. So we got to have a piece of iron for it. We'll put these redstone stuff up. The reason why I got them is because they're going to help me a little bit later. I go in the trash can. I need to save myself some time later. Let's grab this chisel. And so what you can do with this is you can take the chisel. You can put the smooth quartz blocks in here and turn them back into regular blocks of quartz. And so now I can make the cutting board. And I need four pieces of planks. And so we put this obsidian pickaxe. Actually, let's put this in my offhand. That in my offhand, we place this down, and then now we just take the pickaxe and we just break it into other quartz. What Pippo did with the Ender Farm, he did like a platform in the middle of nowhere, so it spawned them naturally. What for Endermans? Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I I'll have an I'll have plenty of Ender Pearls in like five seconds, basically. I should have done that to begin with. Oh my God. All right. So now I should be able to take this back to this place. We're going to do a delete home, set home. And now I should be able to make everything that I need. So we needed a lot of this nether quartz. This stuff needs to get smelted down too. So we're going to put that up, but we need a piece of diamond out here. And so diamond, it was diamond nether quartz. And then, so we're going to combine this with a piece of all the modium here. So all the modium. Oh, we need a piece of, we need an ender pearl first. How many ender pearls are we looking like? Five. We'll have to kill some more endermen. We got an enderman spawner, so it's not like it matters. We need this, this, and then they'll give us ender powder. Then we put the all the modium. We're going to have to smelt that down. Did we ever get enough gold now to upgrade this? We did. So let's go ahead and do iron to gold. This should shoot everything out. Nope, it didn't. Cool. I didn't even interrupt the cast of it or smelting. And then so now we can come over here, throw this in here. We're not going to need three, so I'm going to take these mundane potions out and I'm going to hold on to them. I would much rather hold on to them just in case we need it later because I am going to use it later. Um, and then we can put this nether quartz up. We're going to start a little bit later. We're going to start um, making a couple more things, but this works for now. Did this... Metallurgy confuser finished. This will give us more power. So we need to make more power real quick. So with the gold that we have, plus the... We got those two. Do we have any more osmium? We don't have any more osmium smelted, so that's not going to work for now. I'll have to let that smell down later. Yeah, no osmium smelted. That's fine. We'll mess with that a little bit later. We'll put these up for now. And then now we got to get started working towards... Um, this iron pickaxe head can go in like a garbage can. We need to make an infinite water source block. And I'll use that later and keep the buckets on me for now. We'll get a stack upgrade for this. I don't know if the stack upgrades are easy for this. I think it's just iron in the beginning, so we don't have all that. And so now I'd actually rather do fortune. 
So I'm going to speed this up. So we're actually going to do, we'd have to kill some things for it. So never mind. I was going to get a fortune uh, on my pickaxe, but this is fine. This is my Endearian pickaxe. I need to save it. So we're going to use this for now. And so we're going to go find some um, Alamodium. I'm going to pause this real quick because I need to turn my heater on. Why not make three potions to make the charm as you imply, uh, you can apply unbreaking. Plus you can turn it on and off as you need. I only need it for like two seconds. I'm not going to need it after that. Like once I'm done with that, like I don't need it anymore. So like, that's my thing is like, once I use the potion one time, I'm not going to need it anymore past that. Cause I don't need to find any more all the modium. I'm not going to struggle because at the next time that I'm going to need all the modium is when I'm using, um, the chunk destroyer. So I, five minutes is plenty of enough time. Can I see your speed run doc list? I'll, I'll have it all posted later, but yeah, so that's kind of where it is. You could put on breaking on it and you could do all these things, but like, I'm not going to search for anything. The only two things that I search for is I search for um, ancient courts and I search for our ancient courts, ancient uh, debris. And I search for all the modium and vibranium and unobtainium. I don't make a charm for any of those. I literally just get my first couple of pieces. I get enough to, I might make a charm for the unobtainium because it's easier to get later on in the game, like with looting, but that's just the closest that I'm going to get to it right now. I just need one piece and I can do that with a destruction gadget. So my current place right now is I want to make melon power, like get that basic stuff going, which is one of the things that I'm going to do here in a little bit. But the reason why I needed melon power is I'm going to take melon power so I can power. I'm going to make a destruction gadget and then I'm going to use a, destru a destruction gadget to make the looting easier in the other. What's the easiest early power to get into? For all the mods eight, it's uh, melon power into power. If it's your all the mods nine, the extreme reactors are really good. Um, I would still go power and all the mods nine. That's me personally, because power, you can scale easier. And so like the thermogens are really decent. You can also go the advanced generators route if you wanted to. Yeah, it's going to be afterwards that I, I show a full list. I have a full list going, but I can show you on stream real quick. I have it up to be able to see all this is my, that's my list. So this is my final speed run. This is what I'm doing right here. So these are my notes and everything with it. I'll show you the, like I can, I'm going to share the file afterwards. So this is the full list from the top. To the bottom. You might have to, I can zoom in a little bit for you. So this is where I'm doing. We're right here. So if I scroll down, it goes all the way to the all the mod star. So if you want to clip that and look at it, you're good to go there. Let's resume. Okay. So all the modium side charm is what I made. Did I grab, uh, I didn't grab any more water, but this should make me an all the modium side charm. And so we're going to go mine down with this. So I'm going to do mining tunnel here. And then we'll use our obsidian one now. So cool thing about this in the mining tunnels or whatever in um, the mining dimension, you can actually, you don't have to have a night vision potion because it's full bright pretty much all the time. It was really cool. Honestly, looting would be really good here, but I'll take what I can get here. We actually are going to need a bunch of coal, so I don't mind getting this. There's a bunch of iron and stuff on this level. I'm not going to find any all the modium here, but there is a bunch of iron here. And sometimes there's a bunch of diamonds too. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my thing here and I'm going to fill it with obsidian here. Because this will repair this pickaxe. Don't know if we have enough food for everything. That's my only thing that I worry about. That was a huge copper, or yeah, a huge copper vein there. I think we have enough food we can make. We don't need any more copper. So we're just going to make our way down until we get to, like, I need all this iron and stuff, but we're going to make our way down until we get to deep slate. And then once we hit deep slate, I'll be able to get... Um, all the modium. Dark gems actually don't hurt too, because that'll help us later down the road. Emeralds, we're going to need like eight. So we need like over a stack of emeralds, I think it is. Oh, I just broke that castle. Or interrupted it. Oh, God, I'm still wowing it up. Why am I still like this? Yeah, we're going to have to go back and get some food. Did you get the copper jetpack? Not yet. But that is something I'm going to get. Is this diamonds? No, but we do need the prosperity. We'll get that a lot later, too. 
He'll be playing WoW after this. I we I play WoW. Just haven't played today or recently. That's diamonds? Bro, that don't look like diamonds. What up, my angles? How are you doing? Is that how you say your name? What if your name was like my Angeles? That'd be kind of wild. Diamonds looking kind of wild. Okay, before I starve to death, I really need to pl make a place for all of this. Actually, matter of fact, we could just do shift K here and we could upgrade our dank. And then with our dank, we can store all the stuff that we need. So this, this, and the store, I can't remember what the total stack size is, a thousand. So yeah, we could absolutely store this stuff in here and have no problem storing it. We're just going to need more food. That's the only problem that I'm at right now. Deep slate, which is good. One piece of iron. Let me break it. All right. Before we get going for all the money, I'm going to go ahead and head home. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure I got some food going. Do I have some food going? Did I put all the food up in here? Did I? Okay, I did. Shift. I don't think I can shift K this one. I think I actually have to put this up here like this. And then that way you can start smelting this down. I think I have all the diamond stuff or all the pieces of diamonds that I use. Gold to diamond. I don't have the power right now. Nor do I have the glass on me or the gold. I do have the glass on me. What's the next step after gold obsidian, right? Should be a lot faster. There's are some food. Or no, it's emeralds next. Right. And then so now I can go ahead and do, 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 do. smelt this copper down. Cool thing is you can smelt it in blocks. So if I hit shift K, it'll turn it on into blocks. And then I'll smelt all the copper down into blocks instead. I don't know why it wants to smelt that sand so bad. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Now I can pop this all the modium side potion and then we can just focus on getting all the modium. Is there any? Oh, there's a lot this way. Redstone's good to get too. Emerald's really good to get. Really, I'm just getting this for a couple of different things. But we need enough all the modium to make an all the modium pickaxe. So I was, I'm a dumb, a dumb, dumb. And a sword and an axe. Oh, there's not enough obsidian in there. Interesting. Which I could just go ahead and go make the Alamanian pickaxe now, but I want to get use. I want to get all of the use out of my pickaxe or my side potion that I can. That was diamond, wasn't it? Man, we're finding some veins today. One problem with this pickaxe is it doesn't mine fast enough. That's the only issue that I've had with it is like the, it's just not fast enough. I'd love for it to be faster, but you know what? Gotta take what you can get. I don't think we're going to find enough emeralds any time soon. There's like three blocks up here that I want to get. Don't really need the urine at night right now. Let's see. It's 10 per tool, I want to say. How much longer do I have in my side potion? 34 seconds? Ooh. Maybe I needed more than one. I don't need the all the modium gear, so. so. 
but there should be one right here. I think I should have enough coal now. And then there's four right there. This should be plenty. Because I can now double this. Okay, so well, yeah, this is plenty. What are we looking like in my dank? Am I full on coal? Not full on coal yet. Like steel early game is easiest to be made with coal. And that's why I'm grabbing all this because you can make all the steel stuff that you need. Okay. And so before we go and make all the rest of this, we were mining down this way. I'm going to go ahead and mine down to the end or whatever, or not the end, the nether stuff. Because why not? It is faster, just so you guys know, to mine this top so you have, like, room where you don't bump your head. I don't know if y'all knew that or not, but I learned that. I don't need this. There we go. Okay, so we're just going for ancient debris here. Ancient Debra. Zinc would be for brass. I'm actually going to need brass later, so I might as well grab it. Where is my ancient Debra at? I actually don't even need to pick up gold. Once I get to the other, I'm literally just going to ignore everything. All right, I need one piece of ancient Debra. And then I'll use that to find more ancient Debras. What is it? Zinc plus copper, I think it is, makes brass. Okay, can't shift click that. Interesting. I'm calling Debra ancient? That's rude. What shall I call Debra then? For silk touch shoe? True that. Good point. Ancient debris, ancient Debra, it's all the same to me, you know? Bro, how am I not finding a single piece of ancient Debra? Like, what is going... I'm literally finding no ancient debris at all. Where is all the ancient Debra at? Do I need to do a different kind of way? Go up a bit? All right, hold on. Let me go back real quick. We need to go ahead and get some of this stuff out. We need to delete the netherrack. And then we can go ahead and get this smelting. Do I not have a uh, copper thingy here? Do I not have any copper to make this? I think I should have some platinum. Is that my platinum right there? Cool. So shift K again. Gonna go ahead and make all these blocks. And then hit A here. And then that'll make this. And then I can go ahead and break this down. And then I want to go ahead and smelt all this aluminum down. And then we'll make a pickaxe when we're done later. That's going to take forever. It literally made a six blocks already, which is good. So while this is cooking up, we can actually go ahead and take out the six and stuff that we have. What have we made so far? Do we have the 11 pieces? Do we have those 11 pieces? We have six and we have five of those. And then we just, okay, that's what it was. Cause we were going to upgrade our pack. This needs to get smelted as well. I hit shift K here. Put those up, grab out some food. Put that in there to get smelt it down. Deborah Sight Potion. That's what we're making. Wouldn't get Destruction Gadget. Uh, I don't have a way to power the Destruction Gadget just yet. But Destruction Gadget does get rid of that. So can't use that either. All right. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. So again, we're going to do copper. I don't... Did we make this? I don't think we made this. We need those two Ferni. Close. And then we need to make these two. One, two. And then we're going to go ahead and just upgrade it. So there's our copper jetpack. We could go to silver. We're just going to stay with copper for now. Okay, let's grab two mundane potions here, or let's grab the mundane potion. Let's get this prepped so that way I don't have to wait for it later. Let's grab out a piece of redstone here. Put that in there. And so when we find our first one, we should be good to go. We're going to delete that copper one and then go slash. Well, hold on a second. This cook up enough? It did. Cool. So now we got to go over here. We're going to use this. 
I'm gonna go here. We're gonna go. We gotta go like this. We need one, two, three. Um, that'll just do. That gets rid of our Enderium pickaxe here. It actually gets rid of both of those pickaxes. Thing is, I can still use this Paxel here. I don't really care to make the Alamodium, uh, what you call it, the Alamodium shovel, because I really just need those two. And so that means we can get rid of the repair kit too. We can get rid of all this, get all this, these parts and stuff out of there. Throw this in here so we can get rid of it. Keep it in there just in case we need it later. And then now we can go back and find some ancient Debra. Ancient Debra. Ancient Debra? As close as you can to Deep Slate? Is that where it's at? There's Nether Quartz there. I usually find it deeper than Deep Slate. Ancient Debra? Ancient Debra? What if I got the one bug that makes it where it doesn't spawn? We're gonna go down a little bit. Ancient Debra! This is four blocks right here. Cool. Ancient Debra. Okay. So I know what you're thinking. Alfred, please don't just throw one piece of ancient Debra into this. What did she ever do to you? Well, you're right. But I only need one piece so I can make the sight potion. So that means I'm going to need to take another ender pearl out. We'll save the rest of those three and we'll get those later. But for now, let's go ahead and make two of these potions just in case oh we already made the monday potion i'm dumb oh we gotta smelt that first i'm even more dumb the sand has been wanting to smelt since like 1942 where's body body's not in this one welcome ancient debster uh mess of world gen trying to get gt ores oh man that was a nice one it was it was a nice first one. Oh, netherite pow oh oh netherite powder so I could be doing things while I'm waiting on this, like using uh, those things that I found over here to make myself more. I need redstone and I need some more Oz. Do we have any Osmium smelted? Okay, we do. Okay, that's about to be real sad. One, two, three, four. And so now I should be able to make two more of these. I don't really need a whole lot of them, but it just helps. Why do I still have the repair kit on me? Eyeballing the flux ducks. Oh. I think these work with both of them, so I don't actually have to care. And so this should power the jetpack better now, but then mainly because we're going to do that a little bit later. There's our netherite site. We're going to do Shalaja Bike. And then we're going to drink this. So we need to get enough to... Oh my god. Ancient Deborah was everywhere this whole time. Ancient Deborah, you have fooled me. So we basically need enough to get four pieces of... So we basically need 16 at this point. I only want to get 16, and then that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to get enough to smelt 16 directly down. I think actually... Could be wrong here. Um, Might actually be better for me to not smelt 16 down. Right. You can put it in the, you can do the whole crusher enrichment stuff. I think that's actually the plan. So I might need to get some more redstone things going. Oh, ancient Deborah. She was everywhere. Am I the only one that calls an ancient Deborah or am I, am I the only one that's weird like that? I'm probably, I'm pretty weird. I'm not going to lie. Like I'm not weird, bro. I'm weird. Have you met me? I'm weird. 
Oh, look, we were up there. There's spawns of fours here. Man, my God. Would. That Lumion pickaxe was actually faster to use to break these things. So four pieces should be 16. So this is pretty much all I need. How much do I have right now? Three minutes. I only needed one. I don't know why I'm at. God, look at this spawn. What is, I ain't never seen one spawn like that. The special true. I never seen a, a, like any of this spawn like that. Okay, 32 should be perfectly fine. We'll do the whole setup later. I actually want to smelt these like normal. And then we're going to go ahead and get set up to do compacting. We're going to do the melon farm now. So compacting, we need the um, configuration tool. Where's my configuration tool? We need the... To set this up, we need the electrolytic separator. So we need to get that going before I go anywhere. So let me go ahead and get some iron and stuff going. So iron, uh, I don't know how much iron we're going to need. So I'm just going to make 10. Okay, let that start going. And then, so that's going to get us all of those. So we'll be able to crush those ores down if we need them later. And so then we need to go into a pressurized reaction chamber. So I'm actually going to need to grab this recipe first, this recipe, this recipe, then this recipe. And so that'll make that. And then we're going to go into, we're going to need a crusher. So that's going to be easy. We have the two lava buckets from earlier to make that. That's why I grabbed those. There's also why we need to grab steel, which is why a lot of this stuff is in my backpack here. So we grab out some coal here. Not that much coal. Good God. Um, do I have the platinum ore hammer in my inventory? Nope. Let's grab that. So platinum ore hammer. And I do the four things of steel or coal here. Oh, we got to get the coal or the iron ore. And then we'll do these four ish. And then that is out of coal, which is fine because we have plenty. And we're going to do steel dust here. Screw the copper. We need to upgrade this to a factory augment. So let's go ahead and do that. Do we have everything in my inventory to make a piston? We don't have the cobblestone. Of course, we don't have the cobblestone. Put these two up. Put this up to the power. Where's those two slices of paper? Okay, okay, so the thing is now is that I have to move this over here, and I don't want to move this over here. I kind of want to move this over here. Or I could just make some more flux stacks. Do I have some more lead smelted? I do. And then do I have glass in my inventory? Can somebody test to see if there's enough speed on these, like these don't run at a speed? I'm going to use this for a couple of things later, but can somebody test to see what the maximum output of the flux ducts are? I think that's important. What's the end goal of the speedrun? To finish the all the mod star. So if you do exclamation point um, speedrun, you'll see all of it. You know, the best thing is to follow. And so let's auto split this. Let's take all these out. And then that way we could just shove the copper back in there. And that should divide everything evenly, question mark. We can smelt the iron stuff dust or the iron down, but we also need the steel. So that's kind of important. Let's get that smelting down. I need a lot of iron too. So that works. Steel's really important for this too. Actually, I think we need a lot of iron too. So make sure iron dust is up first. Okay. So this is going to make us all of those. We're going to need a couple of osmium. So let's go ahead and do five and let's go ahead and do, we need redstone for this. So it's two pieces per, so 10 redstones. Perfect. That works. Speed run, you'll see all of it. If you do exclamation point C, speed run, comma, you'll see all of it. We did it. Oh, man, that's the original star. That's the OG. Okay, plenty of all the modding ingots if we need to make anything later down the road. We have those. We have a plenty of steel now. We have all of these to make the compass that I need. We can go ahead and combine. Do we have the gold for all of this? No. Okay, so we got to hold off on that. All right, let's get started making these. First off, let's make that crusher. We need a steel casing, so we need the glass that I put up. And then I, I want to say that I need like three of these, so I'm just going to make three of them. And then we should be able to make the crusher. I need to grab some more redstone out. Crusher. Then we need to make a 
pressurized reaction chamber. Oh, let's go ahead and see if I can make this. So that's going to take two of those. It's going to take five of those plus gold dust, iron dust. We smelled all the iron dust yet? Nope. So gold dust, do I have gold in here? I do have gold dust in here. And then osmium dust, do I have osmium dust in here? I have platinum, but I have some osmium I can make in dust. Okay, and so this will make me the infused alloy. So we're gonna actually need to make another one of these because this also makes the gas burning generator. So that's what we're gonna make eventually. We're gonna need one more. What up, Pierre, how you doing? So we'll go ahead and make another one of those, but we're going to need to make the separator first. This is what we need the sink for. And so this is making those. Do I not have any more of those? Three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. I know I'm going to need more than that, actually. Hold on. I think I have enough redstone. I can actually just throw all the redstone in there. Do I have redstone in here too? I do. We're gonna need the bucket. So I need a bucket of water, which I have one here, and I'm gonna need some terracotta smelted down. I need five pieces of terracotta, and that's not gonna make me five pieces of terracotta. That'll make me three. So we're gonna need a little bit more clay. Did I put clay anywhere else? I smelted it all down, that's tough. Did I put the osmium up on accident? I think I did. So we're going to need to get some more clay. Let's go run, grab some clay real quick while this is all cooking up. Alfred's in phase, bro. I'm in it. I'm, I'm running. I'm going fast. I'm in the speed run portion of this. Clay. Okay. All right, clay. Hello, clay. Cool. That's plenty enough. I have a lot of good Alfred songs. True. Be glad you missed scary bit streams. It's not like they're never coming back. I want to be able to do it later. Like, there's going to be more later. I'm not going to cook my toast again. There's my terracotta, so I should be able to grab another bucket of water and then make a sink. Sink recipes are pretty important to have because I like to make a bunch of them. I can put up the city because I don't need that anymore. This should make the sink. So that's part of the electrolytic separator. Set up, so we're going to make sure we keep those. I'm going to keep the clay just in case I need a little bit more later. We're going to grab these out. Is this out of redstone? I should make that. Okay, cool. And so let's go. Did we make the electrolytic separator yet? I don't think we did. Wasn't made that real fast. Bam, there's the separator. And so that's done. So now we need the enrichment chamber, which needs two pieces of iron. Do I not? Pe did I put that? Is that what I put up was the iron? Or am I out of iron? Do I have any iron smelting? Ooh, hello there, beautiful stack of iron. Richmond chamber, and then we're going to need to make a dynamic tank. We only need two of these. Uh, so we're going to need to make two of these. Need some more osmium for that. Do I have any more osmium smelted? Why? Should be splitting those. Okay, cool. Weird that it didn't split that right. Okay, cool. Um, then we should be able to make two of these basic chemical tanks. They don't stack, unfortunately, so the cobblestone's going on the ground. We can probably put these things up here. We don't need them right now. And then, let's see. Should we be able to make this yet? We got to make the... Do we not make the enrichment chamber already? Okay, there's that. And then we need a couple of pieces of osmium in here. And we need a couple of pieces of redstone. I'll let that go. With bit alert sounds that made scary noises and Alfred screams like a girl. Correct. Correct. That was that's something that happened quite frequently. Well, this should be smelting everything down at a good speed. Which is good. And we could upgrade these, but really right now I just need the enrichment chamber. Did we make it? I got a sw Okay, we made the enrichment chamber. Okay, so now we just need the pressurized reaction chamber. Okay, so I just actually have to have the recipe here because it's just dumb. We made this already. Hold on. Where is my enrichment chamber? <laughs> pressurized reaction. So we need these two. Uh, was it a dynamic tank in the bottom? Right, right, right. Pressurized reaction chamber. Oh, it was just one and then two plus one at the top. 
And so there's my pressurized reaction chamber. Okay, so now I have almost all of this set up. We can come over here off this backside because I'm going to run some power over here. We're going to do electrolytic separator. I'm going to need some more flux ducts eventually, so we're going to go run this this way. Okay, and so this is where the sink is going to come out. We're going to need some ultimate pipes here. I don't even have any pipes made yet, so that's going pretty good. So let's do pipes. A, I don't need the pipe wrench. We're going to grab something different. Universal pipes. Uh, I actually want the gas pipes, and I think actually I just want... Do I want the fluid pipes? Yeah, let's just get the fluid pipes. Fluid pipes, does it take water? No, it takes buckets. Cool. And I've got all of that. So, okay, separator's coming out, and so the sink is going to be in between it here. Twitch Bork, can you not refresh and it work? Okay, so we're going to have one pipe here, and this is where the water is going to pump in, and it's going to pump in from... I need, like, an ultimate... What do I need here? Because we're going to use flux ducts, and so it's going to pump out gas here, so I'm going to need a gas pipe. Uh, gas pipe. So this is the gas that's going to pump out here in the front here. So I'm going to do like this, and then so I'm going to put the sink. I'm also need the sink to run forward too, so that's why... I use the fluid pipes for that because the fluid pipes got to go here. So we can do like these. The sink can run here and then it can be pulled out right here. This thing's got to go right here. And then we got to grab the wrench from create. Create, 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 speed running, boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to pull out of here and then I'll go into here. This will create water. And then we want to output the, we want to output two. So this is a gas. So we want to do output two in the front here. And so it's not going to do anything. So we're going to boop. And then that should give it water plus ox. Pretty sure it's a water plus hydrogen equals ethylene. Right. So I might need to make the gauge dropper for this. Yeah. So I need to make the gauge dropper to get rid of this. Is it two? Oh, it's supposed to be one here. So let's go back to gases. Turn it back to one. And so we need to make the gauge dropper to get rid of this. So I got to get glass panes. There's the hydrogen. We want to make sure we set this to dumping excess oxygen. And so that way the hydrogen gets pumped directly into here. And so when this gets power, which will power everything underneath the bottom here using flux ducts. I don't know how many more I've got. Six. And so now we just need a crusher and the crusher is going to go in front of it right here. And this is just going to be a really poor setup right now. So the items are going to, oh my God, that scared me. Okay, so we're going to go, the items are going to output on the back here, and it's going to input from the left side. And so auto config, so the crusher should be able to break this down. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab that compacting drawer that I haven't made yet because I'm really good at this game. And so once it gets the stuff here, we'll put a drawer on top. Okay, compacting drawer time. I know I have some drawers already made, so let's take those drawers that I already have made. We're going to put this right here. We're going to do this. This is just a really quick setup. We're going to do output on the top, auto config here. We're going to turn this at input, and that should be fine. Okay. And so now we need to make some compacting drawers. So compacting drawers are actually, we need to make one of these two. So we've got to take one of our emeralds. I think it needs paper. That's why I like sawdust too. Sawdust makes you paper as well. I just got to find it. There it is. Don't know if you knew that or not. Can I make some more flux ducts? I'm just going to make the rest. Okay. What is that up there? What is going on? All right. Don't need a pulverizer anymore. Don't need enderium dust anymore. Don't need that anymore. Compact and drawer. We're going to make the configuration tool. This is to lock things. We're going to need uh, the compacting drawer. So we're going to need two pistons. You did what in a cup? Uh, we're going to need the oak planks out, and we're going to need cobblestone. Did I put cobblestone up in here? Did. Okay, so this dynamic tank can go up, the still case can go up. So two pistons here, one, two, and then we're going to make the compacting drawer, and this is where our melons are going to go in. So melons are going to go in right here. We're going to just grab the melons out of my backpack. 
right there. And we're going to grab one here and we're going to stick it in there. And then we're going to lock this sucker. I can't tell you how many times I've done this. And then so the item pipe will go out the side there. And so we're going to pipe this in using uh, item pipes, which we haven't made yet because I'm really good at this game. I think we need two droppers for this, right? So I don't know if I have the stuff for that two droppers or not. I do. And so that should make the item pipes. Uh, we don't need this anymore. And we don't need, we need that. Oof. We're going to need to make some more hopper body pots. Did I even pick everything up here? No. I'm also going to take one drawer here. I'm going to stick it at the end here. And this is going to be for the seeds that come out of here. Because it is going to give me seeds. So for the starters, we're going to go ahead and throw that in there. And then we're going to grab a piece of Inferium out so we can turn the inf this into an Inferium farmland. But that's not Inferium farmland. Inferium farmland. Bam. And this will grow us melons for now and it'll stock us up. So we also have to make sure we extract from the bottom here. And we're going to go ahead and make some more melon seeds real quick. Stick this in here, and then this way we can configure this tool, and then we can take our melon tools back out, our melon stuff back out. Now we need those more hopper body pots, more to hopper body pots. Gauge dropper can go up. Let's go ahead and turn these into melon seeds. I want to keep the sugar canes growing because actually, no, I don't need to, so we just use this one. Um, Go ahead and grab out the rest of the Inferium. So I can just go ahead and turn this into some more Inferium farmland. I could probably upgrade this. It'd be another thing that I do. But for now, this will be fine. Uh, tool, tool. And so this will give us some melons growing. And so they'll go here. Then we're going to take our item pipes. We're going to go here. We're going to take our create wrench. Bam. And so this will accept the melons here. This should crunch them all down. We're going to need to give this power. So it's going to need power in the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and just break this out with my Paxel power and now it all has power and now it's day eight good god okay so we're gonna resume but we're also gonna split because we have the melon power so that's good so we're gonna get apart so this is gonna get ethylene right here well technically we're still not close to done because we still need the gas burning gin so gas burning gin but we're pretty much almost there so that's what those two steel blocks were i only have one now i have two steel blocks do I not have any more Osmium? Do I not have any more Osmium, bro? Okay, gas burning gin. It's going to go right here. And that'll get ethylene. And then now this should give us power. We won't have wireless power for right now, but this just gives us power. And so what I can do with this is that's going to give power to everything. I could do wireless power here, but what I'm actually going to do is a trick that I haven't done yet. So I'm going to break this. This is a new trick for those who haven't seen it yet. We're actually going to upgrade this. I should have all the power stuff for this. So I should have the basic capacitors. I should have this and I should be able to upgrade this. I just need one more dielectric casing, which is kind of cool. I think I need some iron stuff out of it. Oh yeah, we needed to make one more hopper body pot. I think it's fine for right now. I think two should run us. If we need to upgrade it later, we can. We need to put a lot of this stuff up, though. God, I got too much stuff in my inventory. Like, that nickel could just be deleted. Sugar can be deleted, deleted, too. Okay, cool. Um, We need to make the upgrade for this, so we need to make one of these. So I'm going to need to make some of these. And this will make us the upgraded version of this. Once we grab this, this... And I'm going to throw this sucker down right here. And the reason why I'm upgrading it is because now I can make a destruction gadget. So let's resume. Okay. And so now that we have this going, the thing is, is this charges a lot faster. So now we can make the destruction gadget. And so the destruction gadget takes two ender pearls. Why did I switch that up? Hello. We're going to need to make that oh, thing work. So two destruction. Oh, plus one lamp. Completely. And we're going to need to make another backpack too. Okay, so destruction gadget. The reason why is because this charge is a whole lot faster now. Okay, so we're going to need another backpack while we're waiting. God, we have too much stuff in our inventory. Oh my God. All 
I need a lot more silicon, so I'm actually going to go ahead and smelt some of that. We'll get all the rest of that a little bit later. Just put this up for now. We're going to get all the things we're going to need later. But for right now, this is just basic stuff. So now it's charged. So now I can actually have a really good time when I go get all the stuff. But we need another backpack. Do we have enough leather is the question. I know we've got enough string, but do we have another leather? Leather, leather. I was looking for string too. We do. One, two, three, four. We're going to need out the gold. We're going to need out iron. We're going to need out the diamonds. Do I not have any more diamonds than that? Or not? Okay. I was about to say. Okay, so then that's cool. Uh, we're going to need to go ahead and make the structure compass out of the nature's compass that we had. So that means we need the... Did I put the ancient debris in here? No, I did not. Ancient Deborah. There you are. So we're going to go ahead and go like this. Okay. Do we have any more chests in my backpack or no? But we have all this, so that's fine. Okay, so we have the string, right? Yep. Okay, backpack. Love you, Shallow. Backpack. Iron backpack. Gold backpack. Diamond backpack. Our other backpack is diamond, right? Okay. Cool. Okay, so we need four of these pieces here. We need the nature's compass, and then we, I think it's, it might be netherite on the outside. There we go. Nature. Okay, structure compass. Split. Now we got to go to the other. I don't think I'm in too much danger of the other right now, but this will make everything easier. Okay, everything will be easier once we get there. Okay, so let's go to the other real quick. Um, I think I have everything that I need for the other stuff, so let's go ahead and go. Okay, so we need to go to the nether. There's a zombie piglin just chilling right there. Binge them all re again recently. Thank you, Hobus Jobus. I appreciate that. What is this in my inventory? Warp soul sand? I'm deleting that. All right. And this should take us to where I can't see anything. We should be a lot faster now. Potentially. Eventually. Eventually. Cool thing is, is it freezes or kind of pauses whenever you're like trying to find things. I'm going to fly up here and then I should be able to shift click and it should pause it. And then we, Oh, it did actually not do what I thought it did. I want to die to getting hit in the mouth. And the, oh, this is going to be fun because it's got to find this. I'm on fire right now, but I'm looking for it. We're just going to bounce back and forth and hope that it finds it. We're looking for the Alamodium dungeon. We're making good time here. All right. Is 3000 blocks directly this way. That is actually insane. And I didn't generate the other, so we might actually have some lag here. If we find a pyramid along the way, I can use that too, but pretty much I'm just doing this for a couple of things, but I'm just going to do a really quick loot run. I really need the spawners and stuff, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm going this way. I need to eat so I don't burn to death. If we see any um, waystones, I need to grab them because I haven't done any waystones yet, and waystones are actually really important. It'll save us some time teleporting back and forth. But I haven't actually seen a single waystone yet. Brandon, I haven't really gone to look. Them dudes just be shooting to shoot sometimes, man. Could have upgraded to a better jetpack, technically. Man, this is a long flight. I guess it's generating properly and not struggling as much to generate. That's good. Set warp. I'm not going to do set. Oh. So the problem is, is I got to be careful. Oh, that's the wrong button. I got to be careful doing this because if I, I can actually delete some of the things that I don't want to delete. Hold on. Is that not doing down? Am I tripping right now? Down. Okay. It should be going down. This is a really good find here. Look at all those spawners and stuff. I don't think these are fast spawners. That's the thing. 
but they are really good for loot. Unbreaking blindness, bursting vi uh, vitality, soulbound. These are just really good pieces of loot. Unbreaking, so we're going to put all this stuff in here. I just got hit in the mouth. Not right now, sir. I'm a little busy. Grabbing all your stuff right now. What do we have here? These guys do be slinging, man. I should have made the R's thing so that way I can take the teleport. Like I can actually grab these things and uh, delete them out from underneath them so that I can like easily grab this. Oh, I'm not, am I going to die from poison? We got to find out. There's a piglet right there. On the next episode of Does Alfred Die to Something Random? These aren't fast spawners, so I do still have to go to the other dungeon, but this just makes it where I can grab a bunch of gear beforehand. Can I stop getting hurt right now? I do can't make it up here. That's funny. Okay, so. All right, let's see what gear do we have. Do we have anything with um, the life thing? that Bursting Vitality is good, but this got Curse of Binding on it. I don't want that. There's also four netherite blocks up here. I've got to. I can come and grab. It's just underneath these skeleton spawners. Ooh, that actually hurt. And now I can just take and do this. These guys have figured it out. Cool. Now I should be able to just break these. This is why they turn it or turned off flying in the other because this is such a cheesy thing to do. Four blocks of netherite. That's really good. Y'all just ignore me for right now, please. I'm a little busy. I still need the spawners. It's like literally the whole reason why I came here. This is kind of not good. We're going to actually do a waypoint here, create waypoint. This is the pyramid, pyramid, because that's actually really good that we found one along the way. I always thought that it was going to be like busted if I found one along the way, but I was, I was right. I'm going to throw these in here for now because I know I'm probably going to have to get them later, but this will be fine. Okay. So let's grab out our cardboard boxes. I'm going to need more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the sawdust to make more. And so that will give me a couple of them. And this is what I'm going to run with for now. Do I get any good loot for this? Did I get any like bursting vitali vitality? Um, that one's really good. That's got mending on it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. I don't think I got any that's got like the really good uh, thing on it. Bursting vitality is good, but it's got curse of binding. This one's okay. Oh, that one removes the mining speed. So we're going to go ahead and put that sucker on. Uh, what do we have here? Soulbound, Bursting Vitality, Nature's Men. That one's fine. Oh, mind your business, bro. I'm busy. And what is... Oh, Instant Health. There there we go. We got one with Instant Health. That's eight. Speed, Ancient Knowledge. These are really good for getting um, a couple of things. But pretty much I just want these for mending and stuff. We got a bunch of swords and stuff. Scavenger, Knowledge of the Ages. Why would you put both of those on one? Severing, sharpness, ancient knowledge. They have a chance to be a loop pinata. That's going to be better than our Paxel, but not better than what we can use right now. So let's see. We have that chess piece. And so now all we need is some boots. Which boots do we want here? One has mending, one has unbreaking. We're going to go ahead and just do the one with unbreaking. So we can get rid of these. These don't really have a... We're going to save those for later. I'm actually going to put those in this because I'm going to need them to upgrade into the next step. That can just get deleted. And so we're good to go. All right. So now we just got to go back, back this way. What a draft. How you doing? Can't work because linker doesn't exist. Uh, I don't think you should use the rainbow furnace. That thing kind of sucks. Ooh. Hello there. So now I don't really have to worry about dying either. Not really the fastest loot run right now, but we're doing pretty good. I missed you. What up? 
<laughs> is it easy 50k FE? 50k is really easy to get though. 50k is super easy. Ooh, look, two waystones. Good. One of these are going to go here. You should use the biofuel generator in uh, nine. Yeah, that works. If I can get another waystone, that'd be really good because then I can start setting up a home network. I'm definitely going to put one here in case I need to go back here and get more spawners. Just going to keep my eyes out. Look at all these things spawning everywhere. There she is. How beautiful. Okay. So just going to slap one down right here. And this is going to be the, what is this called? This is the dungeon other. Okay. We're going to put that up for now. And then now I'm just going to go up to the top here. So I got to be careful. I can't use my, um, I can't use my thing that I normally do to break everything. Cause if I do it like the destruction gadget, it'll mess everything up. These spawners all suck. So I'll also break them all. Just got to be careful because these guys actually hurt too. So I just break them all. These spawners suck though. And so now I can just break these in the middle. So the reason why I want these is because eventually I'm going to need these for a lot of things. At the very top, there's also blocks of diamonds, but I don't need those for right now either. So. Those spawners suck. Uh, I wouldn't do the biofuel from IF. I would do the biofuel from um, Mechanism. Mm -mm -mm. I really need to put those in a, a better way to do these things. Okay, so now we have four blocks of netherite. There's diamonds up here. I don't really care. I'm just going to... I think four would be fine. Let's go with four here. And then I'm going to come over here beside my waystone and then build underneath it. I'm going to grab some food out. I'm just going to break down from here. We can delete those. Should already have those being taken out. And then now I don't want to use the destruction gadget just yet until I find something like this. And the reason why is because now I can destruction gadget all of this and I can find these spawners pretty easily. Like this one. Is it a good one? It's a good one. So I'm going to just grab this one. That one's, that one's a bad one. So I'm actually not going to take that one a pig spawner on top of it. That one's a bad one. And this is why I focus so hard on getting the power early like I did. So I can grab all this stuff like this in an easier way. That dude's going. Ooh, determined. I don't know what determined does, but I got it. Delete, delete. Cool. I can also grab this ancient stone or ancient berry, and that'll give me night vision here. Let's grab all these out. Okay, so these spawners suck. That spawner is a good one. I can tell you that. Well, no, never mind. That was a bad one. Okay, I'm just never going to break it with that. Are these good? 200, 200, 800. I'm looking specifically for... These are good. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Break all those out. See ya. See you, dude. That's good, too. That one's a bad one. Never mind. These allies are actually going to get on my nerves. That one's a bad one. Is this a good one? No. We got to make sure we find any good ones here. These are good ones right here. It doesn't. Re I need. I really would like a Vindicator one, to be honest with you. But I don't even see the Vindicators. There's a couple of them right here. Let's see if this will find me a Vindicator. Let's see here. This one is a Vindicator spawner. Good, and it's a fast one. This one is also a Vindicator. I, well, hold on. I need an Evoker. I would like an Evoker one. Is that a, that's a Wither Skeleton. I'm going to go ahead and take that one. Can you guys leave me alone? 
There's a lot of people down there that would be really mad right now if I let them exist. Oh, there's a Vindicator one right there. What is this one? This one's a Vindicator. I need the Evoker ones. I don't really want those. Let's see if I can break all these out. Oh, there's the Vindicator ones. Are the Evoker ones. So that should break those guys off. And then should be... Hold on. Oh, my inventory's full. I get it. You guys want to keep hitting me. Come on now. Did we get all the other... Okay, yeah. We're good here. So we can just go slash home now. Pre Nether Star? Wait, what? Okay, so that's all the cardboard boxes that we need, which is good. I'm going to slap this down here, and we're going to go through this here in a little bit, but I'm going to put up all these spawners. Uh, I'm going to delete that because I don't need any more. And then we can also put this in here. I don't think there's any better weapons or anything that we can get out of here, but really we want to just compress all these down because I'm going to need them later. So I'm going to just come in here, compress. Shift K is what I'm pressing here. We got a good amount of everything here. We actually got enough to find vibranium site, which is really good. I uh, got plenty of emeralds. That's the main reason. One of the main reasons why we went. We got plenty of gold here. Plenty of gold. Shift K is what I'm using. You might have to set a different key bind, but that's going to make it where we can make the chunk destroyer. Um, and then we can grab all this gold out. We can shift K. We're going to do this and then I'm going to do gold ingots here. And then we're going to put these up. And so we're just going to go ahead and split. And now we need to go kill the ender dragon. So this is the problem. We don't have any ender pearls and I don't really need ender pearls right now. Uh, what is the, I don't know what determined does. So that is something I would like to know. If anybody knows what determined does, I would like to know that as well. We have a waystone. We're going to use this right here for our house home. And so now I can get rid of these earth shards. I think I want to get this into netherite. What is in here that doesn't need to be in here? Is there anything in here that doesn't need to be in here besides literally all of it? There's so much stuff in here. Okay. All right, let's go find the end, the ender dragon. I almost deleted everything there on accident. That would have sucked. All right, let's go to the end real quick. So we're going to go back to the overworld here. I got the cloud alpha. My ears are getting pretty warm in them, but they're really good. Oh, dude, they're so good. Okay, so day nine. So we're going to go to the, it's not the end city. What's it called? The, the um, fortress, right? No, 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 no. It is the repurpose. I don't think it's repurpose. It's better stronghold. Stronghold, right? Yeah, that's it. 1,800 blocks that away. We have to have some ender pearls to be able to do that anyway. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take out that ender pearl, ender spawner that we have, and we're going to go kill some endermen with it. I don't think we got any. You know what we should have done? We should have checked for fortune first. Let's go check to see if we got fortune real quick. We should have one that has fortune near somewhere. Skulk smite, life stealing. Do we have any with fortune to upgrade? Our looting, one of the two. I don't know if we have looting in one of these or not. There's sca a severing and knowledge of ages. Ricochet, looting, 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 looting. Do we have looting? It probably would be on one of these swords if it was going to be in here. There's scavenger, but I don't really care about that. There's unbreaking, sharpness. You can put looting on an axe, right? Pretty sure you can put looting on an axe. Can you put looting on an axe? What? I'm using a backpack. I don't think you can. Can you? There's something that you can. I don't remember what it's called. I might just have to get a sword that has looting on it. Sharpness, Skulk Smite. Do I have one of these that has? This one has severing on it, which is actually really good. Let's just use the severing. Let's just use that one for now. There was a looting book. Can you put looting on an axe? That's the question. Sharpness, Smite, Bane of arth Arthropods, whatever. Oh, you can put looting on an axe. Cool. You said there was a book with looting on it, huh? Ah, there's looting five right there. And it comes with sharpness on it. This is what I got that axe for, or that smith anvil on a stick. Let's see what all it goes on here. 
Efficiency, sharpness, and looting. Cool. We're going to get this going a little bit later. We'll put this up because we don't need this now. Now we need to go grab a couple of Endermen, and then we're going to make an Enderman inhibitor. What are, how many Ender Pearls do we have? Just one? What a dummy. Spot. I might have too much light here. We're going to need some diorite later, so this is actually a good find. I'll take it. Spot. Spot. I wonder if the severing one is actually better. Well, there's some hearts right there. Any time now. Hello. Cool. All right, so let's go home and what we're going to do some things. Severing, severing is only a relic. Yeah, it's a reliquary or whatever it's called. All right, so we're going to make an ender gate, our small enderman gate. We're going to make an ender inhibitor. So we're going to hit A on this so I can look at this. I'm going to need one of those blaze powders because I'm pretty sure you need a eye of ender for this. Oh, I don't even have glowstone now that I think about it. I have zero glowstone. That's kind of a problem. Let's put that destruction gadget up before I destroy everything. Say hello to goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. We gotta have to have that. Severing is reliquary and it drops everything. It has gone 30 odd minutes. We're actually doing really good, I think. I need to find some glowstone real quick. I'm actually gonna turn my video settings up. Should have the capacity to do this. Oh god, we need to gas. This is perfect. I got four for that. Oh my god, that's perfect, actually. This is perfect because this is what I actually needed. Oh my God, this is actually perfect. I needed exactly that too. I should have been here. That's actually going to make this a whole lot faster. Where is literally all the glowstone? What jetpack am I using? Copper. It's a little slow, but that's okay. Sometimes you just got to get a little slow. Do we have any fortune books that I didn't see either? That's plenty. Do we have any fortune books? Fortune's pretty important before I go to the nether too or the end. Um, let's see if we have any fortune books. Fortune, 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 fortune. I could have sworn we had a fortune book. Can we do fortune? I don't think that's how it works. I don't think we can do that. Does it have to be fortune like this or can I do it like this? Slow and steady wins the race. Are there any fortune books? Do we literally have no fortune? Do we have to use fortune otherwise? That was one of the reasons why I wanted to get fortune, man. Is, it, is there a fortune? No, there's not anything for it to have fortune on. There's a bunch of things I could have looting. Life mending, loyalty, loyalty, life mending. We could probably go find some fortune, to be honest with you. There's efficiency. I'll take that. Efficiency seven. Okay, cool. Okay, now we can put that up. All right, cool. Let's just go back to the overworld and let's go find the thing. Actually, no, that's not what I was planning on doing here. We're supposed to go back and we're supposed to do this thing, Boobler. We got to do the gates real quick. So we need an Ender inhibitor, which is why we needed. What was it? Is it? Did it take gold? It took redstone. We don't need this anymore. And then we're going to grab this gate. Uh, we're going to build this out right here. Come on. Fight me. This is all the mods eight. Or what do you like? All the mods eight or all the mods nine? Come on. Fight me. They're getting me on both sides here. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. The 
gate's like, what are you doing? God, these guys are thick. Come on, bro. Where are you going? That dude was trying to run away from me. Y'all think we got enough ender pearls yet? I don't think I'm critting him like that. I'm going to be honest with you. I was trying to crit, but I don't think I can crit like that. These guys should do a lot more damage than they do, but we already got some really good loot, so. Was that all of it? No, it wasn't. We have one more to go. I can use this axe a lot faster than I can. Am I going to do this fast enough or is this axe not good enough? I barely made that in time, dude. We got a chipped brawler shim. This gives 15 attack speed. I wish I had more. We're going to get all of these ender tiers out. We don't need any of this raw stuff right here. That's fine to get deleted. And so now with the, it, this can make the end crystals, which is actually one of the reasons why we did what we did. Um, I need to make a blaze gate to get more blazes. Matter of fact, let me grab the pulverizer out, which I think I put in this chest. And so we can just pulverize some of these. I don't know how many that I want right now, but we got plenty of ender pearls. Plenty. Um, so we're good on ender pearls. Plus we got the nebulous heart, so we can literally just use that if we need it. We need to make... Um, before we go find the Ender Dragon, we actually need to make um, the mod or the data module from Hostile Neural Networks. So we got to make both of these. So we need to smelt down some stone here. Which do I have some stone to smelt down? I do. Make some smooth stone, and so that'll make me. We need one of these learners, which I don't know why it takes clay. That's a weird recipe. It's like one of the only recipes I've seen that takes clay. Smooth stone. Okay, what all do I need to make this? Do I have everything? I need redstone plus gold. I only need one for right now. Usually I do two, but one should be fine. We are going to need a deep learner, which takes four obsidian. And then those repeaters, which I already have down there. And then a glass pane. Everything is pain. I don't need glass to be pain. And then we'll make the rest of this stuff later. We just need to kill the Ender Dragon twice. And so what is it? Two of those. So we're going to grab out some Ender Pearls. Grab out these. I'm going to need a bunch of these anyway, now that I think about it. But I basically want to make two of these, in these crystals, and we're going to need the things anyway to make this. So we'll just go ahead and break this down. I think I'm going to need to go ahead and do the gate, actually. Let's kill all these blazes here. No pain, no gain. Life is pain, tro. I don't need a whole lot of them. Just a couple of them. Like, we just got 17 out of that. It's kind of crazy. That dude did not die in one hit. Oh, my fire spread is off right now. That would suck if it wasn't. We literally just got 50. I don't even think I need any more past this. Like, I could literally just met, let these guys despawn. Okay, I don't two hit them anymore. What was that? Wave four starting soon? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think, I think fire spread is on, which is probably a problem. I don't care if these guys fly too far and they mess up. This is fine as it is. I think fire spread is on though, so I gotta be careful. I think it'll burn out itself. Last wave. I just remembered something. We need to upgrade this ax. I just remembered we got to do that. It's going to explode. Or is it? I barely got it in time. Okay, so, oh, we got a cracked tyrannical gem. Oh, dude, it's a, it's a really bad tyrannical gem. Oh, that would have been so nice to get if it was a good one. 
Okay, so now we just got a bunch of these. What did we get here? Cracked Guardian Gym. I don't think I really have to worry about any of those things. Do we have any good gyms over here? Do I have any more? We have the Cracked Tyrannical Gym. There's a Cracked Tyrannical Gym. Do I have anything other than those? I have this, which is okay. And I have a flawless one that it gives me 35% crit damage, but that's not what I need. Ooh, that's kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we're going to make the rest of those. And then we'll put those up and that up and that up and that up. Oh, we're going to have too much stuff in my inventory now. Okay, so we're going to need to get a data module. And then we should be good to go. Any gym guides out there? Gyms confuse me. There's a couple of them that are really good, but I think I can actually do the salvager stuff. So this is from Apotheosis Salvager. So we need this salvaging table, which means a snip, uh, right? So, so we need a salvaging table. And then what is the other table that we need? Table. We're going to need the simple and then this. So we need the simple. We need some gym dust. So this is what one of the anvils are for. Matter of fact, I'm going to set this up for the trick anyway. So we're going to place this here. We're going to replace this with dirt or obsidian. And then I'm going to put the dirt here and then we'll do a cobblestone on top of it. And then, so now we need gym dust. Let's turn this off. Let's grab the gems that I'm going to throw away slash delete. So ballast gems, gym of the samurai gives you crit chance, but I don't really care for it. That's going to get thrown away. That's going to get thrown away. Those are really good gems. Those are all really good gems. Okay. So we're going to throw that in there that that, and then we're going to throw an anvil on top. Give me some gem dust. And then that should make the simple reforging table. We just need an enchanting table. So I need those books out that I got from earlier. Did I put them in my backpack? And then obsidian. Okay. So. And so now we're going to make the simple. How do I not have iron on me? We're going to make the simple table. And so the upgrade this, we need two arcane sands. So we're going to need some legendary stuff. And so that's what the other salvaging table is for. Where's my salvaging table? Or the reforging table? Sorry. Not the, the salvaging table. So we need an iron axe. So let's make that. So iron axe. Copper, I think, is the other thing. Copper smithing table. Dude, do I not have any oak on me? I need to make two of these. One for my inventory shtick. I don't know if I've made that or not yet, but I'm making it anyway. All right, and so now I should be able to make it. I just need a bucket of lava. Do I not have a bucket of lava? Oh, my God, I don't have a bucket of lava. All right, so we got to take a bucket and go with the nether real quick. Do we have a bucket? We got a bucket. Let's go to the nether real quick. I'm talking about the text color, not the icon. Wait, what? Probably should grab more than one bucket of lava. But I'm just going to grab one. I have no idea what's happening. What up, Jagged Boy? How you doing? I almost went into that. That would have been not good. Problem is, is we need more gems now. And so we need the arcane sands here. So we need things that are purple, I want to say. Do we have any purple things that I can get rid of? We have a bunch of legendary stuff, but we don't think we have any purple stuff, which that's a problem. Didn't I put some purple stuff in here? That's blue. We have any purple things at all. Because I don't think you can upgrade the thing. Uh, I think it's all blue. I think we got to go kill something that's legendary or whatever to get it. To get this, this is a burp. I think we can go kill some things in the nether to get the purple. Or the other to get the pearl, or not the other, but the um, end. We're going to go there anyway. I needed four of these. Why did I only make two of those? Gas pearls. We need four of those. Glass. Do I not have any more glass? You know what I just realized? We don't have enough cactus. And that's kind of a problem. I forgot to get all the sand or the glass out. We got to get some sand. That's a problem. Ah, uh, Enderman's fine. 
We need to get a bunch of sand and turn it all into glass. We can do auto smelting if we needed to to get all the glass, but we really need cactus. That's also a problem. What up, Pierre? I know you've been here, but I just gotta say it again. What up, buddy? Is it putting all the sand in my backpack? It is. We're gonna need more than this. But I'm just needing this right now for the beginning stuff. Because I need this to make some more of these end crystals. I need two of them. I just need to resummon them once. Okay, we should have enough everything now to just go ahead and go kill the Ender Dragon. 115 people? That's pretty dope. Okay, so where is my thing? We're going to fly it out this way. That, I could have, I should have made the thing for the infinite water already. It's not good. All the mods nine speed run. I was thinking about doing it next month or so. I have to practice, but I did just make the rest of the star recipe. So I probably actually could start it up. Probably could actually do it. One of the things is that we definitely need a waypoint or what, some kind of waystone or whatever before we, um, bust this up. Cause if we, oh God, I'm not even that fast. Maybe we should, am I not fast enough? Am I all the way up? Ooh. We need to find a village with a waystone. Y'all got a chest up here? You do. Do you have anything worth a dang? Not really. Go ahead and shoot me. You guys suck. We're going to get that carrot out. Okay. Oh, I have not seen this before. I need those gems. I need the skeleton skull too. Do y'all have any blue things here? Or do y'all just sit here and shoot people that just like look at you? I don't need any of that stuff. I'm really just here for y'all's gems. Do you have any purple stuff here? That's a blue thing. That poor guy didn't even see what's happening. Is this a Drigme shard? I might use that later. Might. What is this? Is this elemental craft? No. Pressure tubes? Oh, there's a supply ship. We can get a free stack of iron from this, but I'm not dealing with that right now. We are going to come over here, though. I think I can actually make the thing that I need for this. Drigme treasure farm? I usually would. I thought about making it, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Another supply camp. Bag of seeds don't actually give you anything. GC and the FYI. Bunny slippers. Increases the wearer's jump height. That will make it where I don't take fall damage, so that's good. And then everything else doesn't really matter. I got the carrot so I can make myself some food later. Bro, I just need to get rid of half of this stuff in my inventory, to be honest with you. I think I can actually make the dark gym thing. I think it's this plus a glass bottle, right? And then a weather container. Plus sugar, which I should have a sugar cane on me for this. And so this makes it where if I throw it into here, I'll get the sunshine and then I can turn that into water later. That works. Okay. Am I, did I fly past it already? Yes. Yeah, somewhere down here, huh? It's right down here then. Okay, cool. Okay. That dude was just kind of chilling there, wasn't he? Now I don't have to worry about fall damage. But I do have to worry about drowning. Don't tell me it's all water here. Cool. Do we know what the uh, next upgrade is? For my dank. I don't remember what it is for my dank. I think it's gold. I don't know if I have enough gold for that. Oh, what a, who am I kidding? I absolutely do have. So now I can start putting this stuff in here that I would normally get on my nose. I don't know why I picked this up. I wasn't supposed to pick that up. 
anything that would pick, like I'd pick up over and over is going to go in here. Because that's just annoying. Like anything that's like a mob drop or whatever can go in here. I wished that I could do a couple of different things. I wish that I could... Is there just a spawner over here or something? All right, let's see. Where is the thing? I think that actually destroys the portal, so I can't use that, actually. Yo. Shad? Shaded? Thank you for the follow. What is this? You have any purple gear in here? No. Don't know why I'm using that. Okay. Where is this at on the map? To my left. Cool. that efficiency smacks right now. I wonder if it's above or below me. I don't need this clay, but I'm going to pick it up anyway. Oh, right in front of me. Cool. We, we almost went straight into that. Bam. Okay. I accidentally mean, did not mean to grab all of this. I've got too much stuff in my inventory as it stands. And now I can just use these eyes of vendors. Oh, I'd have been lucky. If this is a speedrun loss. Oh, God, I just threw one of them. Cool. You know what I didn't get? I didn't get a waystone, so I literally would have no way to get back here. So we got to make sure that we do a waypoint here. New. And that's kind of important. The, the GLaDOS and the speedrun build what? I don't know what you just said. Kazuntite? Like what? What are you saying? Things I'll go on my back. Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember I almost died here. Is shaded, by the way? I had a feeling. What up, buddy? Hey, Fluff. Oh, I need to do shapeless here. Oh, bam. I wonder, can you cardboard box these? You don't remember GLaDOS? What the hell is GLaDOS? I don't think I remember that. Bam. I feel like this is going to hurt. Kind of hurted. I'll send an image. Oh, hold on. Okay. I'm, I'm, I might not look at it for a little bit because I'm kind of in a speed run right now. Just a little bit. You know? Just a little tiny bit. Okay. He's. Come here. Your turn. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now I get to kill you. This is going to take a while. Where's the moose? We don't have the moose in this speed run. Uh, you know, I actually probably should get some dragon's breath for this, but I'm not 100% sure. Probably will eventually have to get it. No, I don't because I can just convert them over. Quit hitting me, son of a gun. I'm waiting for a server. I'm waiting for me to kill this guy. So let me kill you. I this is why I wanted the axe, but... Are the uh the upgrade for this, but just die. Why can you fly through the pillars and I can't? <laughs> He's so annoying. Hey body. There's body. Are y'all playing Overwatch right now? Y'all miss me yet? Come on, bro. Oh, are you going to the center now? It's over for you. It's Jover for you if you go to that center. Come on. Oh, you son of a gun. And hit you around the mouth. Cool. All right, so I can't mess this up because if I mess this up, that would be not good. I probably got to wait for this to spawn, don't I? Where did they go? There she is. The classic torch under. Bam. Gives me the dragon egg. And then now we just. Please don't let me mess this up. Summon them back. Don't need any ender pearls, but we will need this. I'll take that later. Oh, God. I got to do all that stuff again. <laughs> That's fine. What is in here that I don't really need? Glass bottles? 
God, I just gotta get to hold. Can't I upgrade this with a netherite that I have? Where's my netherite? Did I put netherite in here? I feel like I did. Am I blind? It's probably in here somewhere. Did he spawn back? Okay, he spawned back. We gotta go back to fighting. Yeah, spec thing with a follow too. Bodies at work. I oh, know. How long until uh, until the Aldemars Nine is complete? Like, what do you mean by complete? It depends on what you mean by complete. Can you go play it right now? Does it have a complete quest line? Yes. The quest line is completed. And it's kind of funny because it actually got done before 9 or 8. Funny. You look when needed? Okay, that hurt. I wish this dude would fly over here and let me hit him. Is that all of them? Cool. Time to die. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You saw my gun. Oh, is he in the middle? Is it going to be Jover already? Quit making me get knocked back, you son of a gun. Come on now. What's the mechanics to make it where you don't literally get knocked back into the eternity? I really like your videos with all the mods and I can watch it live. Exactly. Oh, come on, bro. Yo, thank you so much, though. I appreciate that, man. Oh, come on, dude. Quit hitting me back. Can I just get... Go fly back in the middle like the last one did, and it'll be Jover. I'm going to... Oh, is he doing it? Is he fly? Is she doing it? It's a she. It's Jover. It's Jover. Congratulations, it's Jover. Okay, uh, let us see. He's or She's dying here. Did I get enough for this? I did. I got a basic one. Cool. I'm going to get his egg, too. What up, Terry? So we're going to split this one. Click this. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, and there's that. So we need these dragon scales and stuff too. Do I I can delete this stuff out of my inventory because I don't need them right now. Like this, this, I don't know what the dragon sinew stuff is, but I've got it. Let me go home real quick. Terry, how you doing, buddy? And then we'll come back here. I just gotta get rid of this, these gems and this random extra stuff. This is not where the gems go. Where did I put that dragon egg? I just want to make some room in my inventory because good God. Got so much like unnecessary stuff in my inventory. Okay, so now I'm going to do slash back. And then I'm going to do slash RTP. And this way I can find a random location. And so now I can go from here and use the structure scumpers to find a couple of things. So first things first, we need some chorus fruit. So I'm going to grab this. And hope that we get a dragon's eye from it. Literally got one right off the rip. I don't know if I need more than one. I think one's just all I need. Okay, so we got that. That's dope. We needed exactly that. Now we're going to take this and I'm going to shift click this. We're going to switch this to in the city. And we're going to find this. 1500 blocks this way. That's interesting. What is this? Only reason I care to look is because I want to check this stuff. Honestly, what? The Nether Star is in the Emerald? Yeah, I've got... You can actually... Oh, that's the teleport pack. I can actually show you... You're going to see a way of how I'm actually going to do this. I wonder if we do this first or if we do something different. I mean, it was the one of the easiest packs. Bro. Honestly, they're all easy packs. It's because they're not an expert pack. It's literally a... It's a literally just a... Um, Oh, do we get a ship? Do we get a ship? Do we get a ship on this one? Oh, no ship on this one, huh? God, that sucks. Oh, hey, shulker box. Ender staff. We'll have to get that later. Kill these guys so I can loot this in peace. 
see what we got here. Purification, emeralds. I don't really need the emeralds. I don't really need the beetroot seeds. I actually probably should take the beetroot seeds. Let's the... None of these are actually, like, upgraded, which sucks. Okay, so that kind of blows. We don't even have a nature's compass either, so that's kind of there, too. So I broke it so many times. That isn't... I don't think that makes... I feel like being like, okay, hey, I can break the pack. That makes it easy. Like... That's not a, I don't feel like that that's a good, like, measure, you know what I'm saying? Really want to go back to Olimaz 9 if we have a server of it. I could probably do a server, too, of it, since 9 is the updated one, too. So I just want to get far enough to where we can actually locate this. Quest this damn troll. Dude, it's like one of the literally, the one of the literal best weapons that you can get. Is this the other or the beyond? This is the other. This is Olimaz 8. Please be a ship. Please be a ship. Please be a ship. Please be a ship. Are we not going to get a ship here? Ah, ship. There's a ship. Please don't be messed up, though. This is the end. Did I say the other? Is it the end? Why am I dumb? Just ignore me. This is the end. Come on. Dragon head? Okay, dragon items. So we're going to go ahead and split this. I want to grab some unobtainium while I'm here, so we are going to need to go make something for it. I'm going to grab this elytra, even though I don't ever use it. Where did that? Uh, I want to see. There's some gems in here. Okay, there's our purple stuff that we need. There's one of our purple things that we need. Cupidity. I never know what that actually does. There's a legendary, so I'm going to take that too. Uh, anything else in here that I need? Of course. Of course there's not something good in here. Spawner agitators. I've never actually used them. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go make a nature's compass real quick. So I need four. Let's do slash home for that. Does the understaff do just let you teleport around? And it's, oh, the, yeah, the 9x one. So, sorry, the 9x one doesn't give you the infinite stuff that I was talking about. Or the really good stuff for it. But it does give you something. Uh, all right. Shulker farm. So this one's got to get salvaged over here into this. This will turn into the two that I need to upgrade it. But we'll change that a little bit later. Let's go put this up in here. Put this up. Put this up too. You got me. What is Tudis? What up, Izzy? How are you doing? Okay, so now we need to make his nature's compass. So we need one, two, three, four. Apparently, I am. It was too fast. I just said one, two, three, and then it broke. It was like, you know what? That's good enough. I already made a nature's compass, but I broke it. And then now I got these. I think that does the oak go in the outside? Doesn't matter. Okay. Got me back confused. Dude, everybody gets confused with that. That's why it's uh, one of the things. Okay, so we're going to go and search for the end highlands. And so I just want to get one piece of all the modium here before, or not all the modium, unobtainium before we dip. Can I get out of here? Meow. So, sorry, man. Grabbing kiddo and McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's sounds pretty good right now. Watch there be an antenna right here. I would literally lose my mind. Uh, I'm not in. This is technically considered the end of Highlands by them. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now? You got to be kidding me right now. Oh, my God. And it's four pieces. What? I wish I had, um, whatchamacallit for that, looting for that. Okay, so next up is the basic storage system. This one's kind of annoying, but I have to make, or basically make refined storage now. Let's go ahead and put this up. We're going to need our nether quartz and stuff out. Glowstone, gold. Um, I don't think we need emerald for literally anything. Uh, diamonds are going to be used. We're going to need, do we need to do a slime gate? We need to do a slime gate, so I got to get some ender pearls off of that too. Probably should go ahead and make the slime gate and do it. How are we doing on string? Do we have a lot of string? I know I was growing some string, but I don't know if we still have it growing or not. A2 refined storage? I've thought about it. I don't know if I will be able to do it, but I have thought about it. A2 is like, it's a really good mod, but um, I will always use uh, refined storage just because it's much, much easier to get into. 
and it literally does everything that you need. So that's where I'm at. That's, that's kind of the way I look at it. Getting looting five on a sword or an axe is really nice. Find an ancient city now. The ones nine make a structure compass first. There's also a thing you can give them. There's a a compass that you can get for it, but it's only found in chests. That's the only problem with that. Do do do. Okay, so the reason why I'm getting all these slimes is because we need a lot of slimes or slime balls for what I'm about to do. Oh my God, these guys are, these guys actually hurt. It's just, if it wasn't for my OP armor, I would actually be hurting here. Another thing is that you gotta find where all of them are, cause God, this, this is annoying sounds. Don't y'all love all these sounds? These guys actually really hurt. So you, that's one thing to know. You'd be surprised. Okay, we finished it. Cool. I think we're going to get enough stuff here. Can I upgrade this dank with something else? What's the next upgrade for dank? Emeralds? What box of emeralds do we have? I used to... I, I didn't do this before, but the emeralds are... The danks are so good now. Like, I like actually having, like, good storing... Or, like, using a bunch of uh, storage in the danks. They're just really, really good. Slime pearls are really good to get, too. Okay, so cool. Let's pause real quick before I keep going. Okay, so we're making the RS stuff. Oh, we also need to put that in my thing. Okay. So we got all that. So yeah, refined. We want the controller. We want the disk drive. We also want a storage housing. And then we want the... F I'm going to do 16K here. So we're going to do 16K part. And we'll get the rest of those later. Um, we also want to do... Let's see, we have the... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're going to want to do a crafting grid for now. And then we want the external storage. We need cables. Do the external or the pipes and stuff like that a lot later. Do we even have iron smelted right now? We don't even have a whole lot of iron right now. That's kind of tough. Should be able to grab a lot of it, though. Let's be fine because we are going to need a bunch of iron for this and we're going to need the silicon for this too. And so the first thing we need to make is the raw part of processor stuff. So we're going to need string plus the slime, which we should have a ton of slime in there. I don't even know if we have like infinite amounts here. That should be plenty. Okay. So now we should be able to make a 15 is all we can make here. Let's do 10. I wonder what we're missing there to make that the iron, I think maybe, or is it the redstone and redstone? Should have plenty of redstone. All right, we are currently at day 11. We've gotten all this in 11 days. Are saving the early game or doubling? They're pretty good. Pretty good. I'm only going to need 10 of these. That's why I made 11. I don't really actually know how many I need. I'm just making a bunch right now. Just to see how it goes. I think I actually need more of the basic ones, but that's the, that's the one that I need iron for. And that I do not have. We're going to need the nether quartz out to make all the other stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and smelt all these down. Whoever smelt it, smelted it. Okay, here we go. That was a terrible joke, bro. Who hurt me? Uh, Let's see here. What else do I need out of here? I got the nether quartz. I think we could just go straight up make the refined quartz stuff. So crafting grid needs a grid. We're also going to need to go ahead and make another crafting. I think I actually need... Oh, it's just for the crafting grid. Why did I just look at that recipe? So, gonna need to make some of these. I don't want you to use all my iron for this, but this is should be enough right there, for the time being. So we should be able to make a couple of these. And then I should be able to make a couple of these. Oh, we gotta get those smelted out. Did this smelt any of them? It's still smelting the iron. We need to upgrade this. Is diamond to... Diamond to, what is the next step for the diamond, diamond, uh, emerald? We should have that stuff. Let's see. What does it take to make diamond emerald? Literally just diamonds plus emeralds. Interesting. Diamond emerald. Oh, 
hopefully it gets enough power. It did. Cool. Put that in there. Put that in there. Did it just give me all of the things that it was supposed to smelt down? Kind of dumb. Um, cool. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and make the grid. Let's grab two of these. Let's grab two of these. Let's grab two. Oh, can I not make another one of those? Oh, I'm missing glass. Where's my glass at? Oh God. That's one of the problems is we're going to need a lot of glass. Whoa. That's so not actually good. Okay, so there's another grid, and then so now I should be able to make a crafting grid out of one of them. There's that. We didn't even make the controller yet, bro. That's where we're at right now. We need to grab stone out of wherever I put stone at. Why is stone not, like, front and center? We can use andesite for it. It doesn't actually have to be stone. Okay, so that's the grid. We're going to keep that recipe because I'm going to need it later. Grab one of these, and so we're going to grab the controller here. We need to also get some wireless power going too. So controller's done. This drive should almost be done here. Just need a chest, which I believe I have some made, right? This drive. Okay. I'm going to come over here. This is a terrible place to put it, but this is where we're putting it for now. Did we make the crafting grid? We did make the crafting grid. We're going to put all this stuff up and clear all this stuff up later. But this is it for now. Okay. So we also want the uh, wireless access point. We're actually, are there wireless transmitter? We're actually going to upgrade this into the better one. We don't actually use the infinite range one for a very long time, which is kind of cool. So what all do we need here? We need, did I, do I not have any more of those things? Am I tripping? Is that not how we make the refined stuff? Oh, it's three. It was the other way around. That's why, because I'm dumb. I honestly should make more than these, more than just two, one of those. All right, so there's the wireless transmitter. This one takes the super whatever, which takes a netherite piece of beat. We did have the netherite. Um, we're going to go ahead and make this. Only need one. Throw that sucker in there. Watch it come out here. And then that should make this. And so this will be our wireless transmitter. So now we need a wireless crafting grid. So doing the same thing again. This time we're going to need another crafting grid, right? Yep. So now we just need to make another one of these. This is why I made two. Hard did I? Two crafting grids. What else does it take? There's that. So now we're just going to let it charge. We're going to shift click, and then that should open up our inventory. We're going to take and put this into our grid slot in here. So there's the grid slot. Bam. Or not. Grid slot. Okay. And so now I can open it up with shift G. So now when we get some disc going, we can actually start making that stuff. So I'm going to make the 16K disc. So we're going to hit A on the 4K and then 1K. And so let's go ahead and make these parts. I need, let's see, three makes one and then three of those. So I need nine. Mm, we need some more basic processors. I knew I was going to need them. Before you get infinite. I like the higher range one. It's also, um, it, it uses a little bit more power, which is kind of a problem. We're talking about the wireless, uh, the advanced wireless one. It does, I want to say that it uses a little bit more power, 104, but it's not, it's not anything special. And uh, the reason why I use it is because I'm mostly working out of here, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that should give me the three, and then that should work into the 16K, and then now we can make the storage housing, and we can put those two together, and now we got a 16K disc. And so now... I know what you might be thinking. Alfred, shove everything into your 16K disk. No, I'm only going to shove the things in there that I'm not going to make a spot for, like the advanced processors, the processor binding, stuff like that. Uh, everything else is going to get a spot. So pretty much. So how is everything going to get a spot? This is what all of this stuff over here was for. We're going to move all this stuff a little bit later because um, this is kind of annoying right now. Being right here in the middle of this is kind of annoying, but this is fine. 
grab all this out. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of chests and then we're going to make a bunch of these oak drawers. And so what I like to do is I like to make a wall of drawers. So I don't really want to connect them all to their same thing. So we're just going to do like this. We need a lot of drawers here. We're also going to need to make some compacting drawers, but we'll get to that as we get to it. We're going to do configuration tool. We're also going to need to do functional. Let's just grab all the recipes and stuff that I need. I'm going to need the linking tool. I don't need that anymore. We need the compacting drawers. I'm just going to make a bunch of them. Where's my compacting drawer? I know I've already done this. Okay, so let's go ahead and make those real quick. So storage controller is the most important part. I don't know if I have the repeaters or not. I know I'm going to need some sticks and I know, oh, there's one right there. Do I only need one for this storage controller? I do. And so now we need a block of quartz, two blocks of quartz. So we should be able to make this. So I should be able to make the linking tool. We need some more paper. So linking tool. Okay, so now we can do the storage controller. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come over here beside this sucker, place this right here, and then I'm just going to link everything to this right here. So I'm going to go link. And then now that that's done, we're going to swap to multiple. We're going to go here and go here. And then now I'm going to go grab my configuration tool and I'm going to come right click the controller. And now that all of these are linked, it'll lock them all, which is good. And so now I can actually start putting some stuff up after I make the external uh, storage here. Let me go ahead and make this. So we're going to need some paper. Or, oh, oh, we're going to need to make some more of those. I don't know how much I'm actually going to need. Oh, there's enough right there. Okay. And an external storage. So we need two more chests. And I'm going to need an improved process. Do I not have an improved processor? Oh, they're all in here. And my tripping is not all in here. I need a destruction core, construction core, and then three refined ingots. Perfect. I need to put that up. I'm not going to do anything with it right now. Okay, so bam, this should connect right here. And then we're going to change the priority. We're going to set it to one. And so now everything that I has a spot over here, we'll get a spot or get a place. So like, Put a bunch of glowstone here. I want to make the compacting drawers for a couple of these things. Ender pearls can go in there. Silica can go, can go in here because I'm going to need to put a bunch of that up. Refined quartz and rich can go in here. I don't need those can just go in the system by itself. They It'll automatically go in there if it's not locked, so keep that in mind. Uh, nether quartz I don't actually have to make a bunch of, so I can go in here for now. Paper can go into there. It doesn't matter. Glass will need its own spot. Andesite can go in there, doesn't need its own place. Clay, same thing, doesn't need its own place. And so now I can just make my way through here. I'm going to go ahead and make a spot for this. God, I, want the, I don't think I need blocks of netherite. At least I don't think. I'm going to just place the netherite in there. Oh, so if I have a spot for these things, that's the one problem, is if I do have a spot for these things and they get full, it's going to be an issue. So I'm just trying to make as much as I can. Ancient Deborah will get a spot over here too. So I'm going to put Ancient Deborah there. Um, copper is going to have, we need, you know, we need the compacting drawers. That's what we need. Say compacting. Oh, we needed to, well, we're still working on the basic storage system for now. So we need drawers plus pistons. Where are our extra drawers? Do we have some in my inventory? I do. I know I'm going to need more than 13. So we need a lot of stone for this too. So there's a bunch right there, but I don't think that's enough. We're also going to need pistons. So we're going to need cobblestones. I need to grab the cobblestone out of here. We're going to need redstone. How are we doing on redstone? Do we have any redstone in here? Is that all the redstone that we have right there? No. Okay. What's the reason? Okay. So now I just got to make some more oak. And then I'm going to make some pistons. I don't know how many pistons, but I'm going to make a bunch of them. I'm going to see how many compacting drawers we can make out of it. Am I just at, oh, I'm out of stone? That's actually not bad. I'll take it. I'm going to smelt stone down. That's not bad. 
We're still gonna need a lot of glass and we still don't have cactus growing right now. I'm gonna have to just suck it up and use bone meal. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Gotta make a bunch of these. Oh wait, hold on, we gotta make a bunch of these compacting drawers. Ace gonna be have to Ace gonna have to do for now. Okay. Actually, that was perfect because I added eight wide. That's hilarious. I'm gonna go ahead and lock these so that nothing goes into them when I'm placing these things in here. And then I'm gonna link them up. And then now I'm going to grab and start putting these things up. So like emeralds, you don't really need a basic one, but I just throw that in there anyway. Same thing with diamonds. Irons, you do need the iron nuggets. This just makes it where I don't have to get the recipe for them later, but this is fine. And so that I can go in there. Same thing with gold nuggets. Uh, it just makes it where I don't have to get the recipe later, which is... I used to not use these because I didn't like the way they were put. Like I didn't like the way that it worked on the system or whatever. I wasn't a fan. But um, it's fine for now. Mm, quartz doesn't really matter. I don't really need to put that in there. Uh, diamonds can go in there. We need iron can go in there. This way we can start clearing stuff up in our storage. This is, as long as it's got a spot is the thing. We need the, co I don't think you need copper nuggets for anything, but I'm just going to make it just in case. You know? Okay, so catch you guys up. What we're doing right now, we're finalizing our storage system. I'm making more tutorials. I have one. I have like three or four locked and loaded, like ready to be made. I've got to record them and stuff. To be honest with you, tutorials are my favorite types of content to make. They're the easiest content. Like if I sat down, I could probably make a tutorial video like my last ones in like two days flat. Um, but I'm trying to figure out there's two things that you have to balance. And so two of the things that you have to balance is that you have to balance making content that people uh, that builds your community and builds up how like people who like want to watch more of your content. So if I just do tutorials, the people aren't really going to get a connection to me. Whereas like, if you probably got a connection to me, a lot of people got a connection to me by watching my playthroughs. Now, one of the things too, Wraith might have been, uh, came from some kind of like idea from this was that I personally like to also be like, the expert on these things. So that's kind of the way I look at it is like, what's the best way to do things, these things? What's the fastest? How do you do this? How does this line up? And I like to do that stuff. Your playthroughs are dope. I appreciate that. I really do like doing the playthroughs um, for the at the beginning. And then I hate it. And so like my 100 days videos, it took me, it would, like it would take me like 80 hours to make one video for one of my 100 day series. And so when I, like on the pace I was doing it, it would literally take me like, the next eight months to finish that playthrough. And so I'm just going to upload all the videos that I have uh, for like all the raw footage and stuff with like small editing, like nothing too crazy. Why does everyone hate Greg tech? Because it's, it makes things harder than it has to be. And there was like a really bad, like, name for it and it, to me i don't like it because it adds time to a thing okay so basically we're just doing our storage stuff so i gotta put all the ingots and stuff over here is where i'm at so we're gonna resume this back if you got any questions please let me know and there are a lot of wait hold on there aren't a lot of people going for it out there that i've seen i do think greg has got a bat okay you know what i'm gonna talk about it real quick do you know why people don't like greg tech okay y'all y'all ready for this okay I'm going to tell y'all why people don't like Greg Tech. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to tell you why people don't like it, okay? It's very simple. People don't like Greg Tech because modded Minecraft is already hard as it is in the sense that it's convoluted. And so when I say hard, I don't mean that it's difficult to do refined storage. I don't mean that it's difficult to do A2, difficult to do mechanism, difficult to do all of these different things. Is it actually difficult? No. What the difficult part is, is that there's actually not a whole lot of documentation other than you having to find a YouTuber that does it or figure it out by reading the books. And so it's not really intuitive to learn modded Minecraft. And because of that, the people who do step out and say, I want to learn modded Minecraft, they're just on their road to learning it. Now, a lot of the people who do Greg Tech have been playing modded Minecraft for a very long time. And so they have a pretty good knowledge of a lot of different mods. And so the people who do like Greg Tech do like the challenge of how it takes the original vanilla line of thinking and the original vanilla line of like how, or not vanilla, but the original modded line of IC2 and makes it a little bit more challenging because it's a little bit more difficult. And so people do like that. But the problem is, is Greg Tech makes things more difficult for no reason. It's literally just because it's a challenge, right? And so there's, 
some people really enjoy that. So things like uh, Greg Tech New Horizons has this very specific set of people who do enjoy it. But that doesn't mean Greg Tech is good. And it doesn't mean that Greg Tech's bad either. So those are things to think about. The thing is, is that a lot of people who are good at Greg Tech are like Greg Tech, usually shit on the people who don't do Greg Tech. And so these people are going to be like, you're too smooth brain, blah, 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 blah. And that's a terrible mentality to go about it. Like, it's absolutely awful. Like, do you know how hard it is to learn half of these things? It's really not that hard. Like you, everybody, I think, has the ability to do it. But do they want to? There's a lot of wear and tear that comes into Minecraft, especially modded Minecraft and learning all of these different mods. Like for what I do, I'm learning all of these different mods and how to put it together in a way to speed run the star. And so the idea is that people just look, take, it could take you weeks to learn just how to do a reactor for mechanism. And so it's like, then you get Greg Tech and Greg Tech's like, well, if you want to make some sticks, you made to make this star and you want to make this star, you got to go and find yourself some rocks and you bang the rocks on these sticks and now make a little bit of, it's like, it's it, that in Terra Firma craft. It's like, it's kind of rough. It's really difficult. And so it makes, it does give a good challenge. And I think a lot of people could like Greg Tech, but it's not delivered in a way that makes people want to do it. Okay. There was definitely, a, there's a lot of negative connotations towards Greg Tech. But the thing is, is that doesn't mean Greg Tech is bad. What makes Greg Tech bad is up to the individual person. And again, I think it goes down to the fact that modded is all already convoluted. It's already something like the thing is, is like modded's not hard. It's just the hard part is actually finding the information to learn how to do it. And so for a very long time, all of that information meant you had to sit there and you had to watch somebody else do the playthrough to learn how to do it yourself. And so like there was like a like the FDB wiki and stuff was really, really good for learning things. And I remember when Tech It, when I played our Technic and Tech It both like way back in IC2 uh, Buildcraft days, I would sit there and look through the recipes and just try and figure things out. How long do I think this run will take? To be honest with you, being real, I think it's going to take me about 20 hours, 25 hours max to do the speed run. I think I can get it done in 20 hours. All right, let's go. Let's do this. We got to continue to do this. Okay, I want to get all of the like nuggets and stuff that I can. Okay, we got to do the platinum stuff. I want to get as many as I know I, we have copper in here, which is good. I want to get I don't know if we have 10 and all that. I don't know if we need 10 nuggets. I think we do actually for a couple of recipes. I'm just kind of making a spot for everything. We're going to have to upgrade these eventually. Fluorite is one of those things that needs to have a spot. Um, lapis is one of those things. I can have it in a simple compacting one. Let's just not even do a simple compacting one. Let's just do it in the regular one. We do need redstone. That's what we need it in. Did I put that up somewhere? Where did I put that up at? Redstone's important. Redstone's like super important. I like to have the multi-compressed one too, so. Uh, and I think that's pretty much, we need a spot for obsidian. Do, 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 do. What else do we have in here that can go in there? Oak's going to have its own spot. Smooth quartz doesn't really matter. Uh, Gunpowder has to have its own slot. Pretty much all the mob drops that I would get. Gas tears. Uh, that goes in there. Dragon eye doesn't need to go in there. Zombie heart does. Uh, raw uraninite goes in there. Let's see here. Leather doesn't really matter. I'm going to need some of those later, but I don't really need it right now. Carrots don't need to go in there. Anything else that needs to kind of go in here? All the modium was one of the ones that I needed to put in there, but it's okay. Dark gems have to go in there. I should have put that over. That's going to hurt me deep inside. Lead was one of the ones we needed. I don't think we need the we need the blocks for it. We don't need the nuggets. Horse fruit, I don't really think needs to go in there either. I think pretty much the bones need to go in there. Dirt doesn't need to have a spot. Coal was one of the things we needed compacted. Okay, that's what we need to do. All right, so we need more compacting drawers, to be honest with you. And I probably should just make some more compacting drawers. What am I missing for it? Stone plus iron. Stone plus iron. Do we have some iron in here? So now the thing is, is like, as long as it's got a spot, it should be fine. How many compacting drawers can we make? One, my favorite. We'll just need some more pistons, but we need some more cobblestone for that. That should be enough cobblestone. We didn't need some redstone too. Oop. Okay, let's go ahead and make a couple of pistons. You did one in a cup. Seven, eight. Okay, cool. That should make a good bit. This should make four more of them. We can put the rest of the cobblestone back up. And then we could, or sorry, we have five now. And then I'm just going to stack these on the side like this. God, now I need to make one more. This is not good. Okay, so we need to go ahead and configuration tool this. Bam, 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 bam. 
and then we're going to link these up. So bam, bam. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and grab We didn't put the lead up, right? I don't think we did. I'm going to make lead nuggets and then I'm going to put that sucker here. What else is the other thing that we needed? Inferium. So that's actually good that I did this because Inferium needs a spot. Um, bricks don't really matter. Clay don't really matter. Um, prosperity shards. I actually do like the prosperity, have the prosperity like stingy maboobler's there. That's good. Um, and then we can clear out this, basically all of this. And so the thing about this is if it has a spot now, which we're going to need a place for steel. If it has a spot, I can just right click right here. And if it has a spot, it'll already put it somewhere. So now that's all oh, that's there. We can go ahead and make a spot for all the modium too. And so that'll go in there and oh, we're going to shove all this in there and see what else we have in here that I want to put in here. So we got osmium. Osmium is one of those things that I need a lot of. I don't know if I need osmium blocks. So I'm just going to put the osmium in a regular spot. Uh, silver is another thing. I don't really need silver blocks. So I'm going to put it up in here. Uranium, I don't need uranium blocks, so I'm going to put it there. Zinc, I don't need zinc blocks, I'm going to put it there. Steel, I need blocks, so I am going to put it up here. I don't know if I need steel nuggets, but it doesn't hurt for me to make it, okay? Because I know I need the blocks. And then, so, that is nickel. We need the nickel, and we're going to put that there. And let's see, blaze powders needs a spot. It needs to, oh, we needed coal, man. Oh, God, we needed coal. Where's my cobblestone at? I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four more, so one plus three. Okay, cool. Um, then we need the drawers, which we don't have any drawers on me. I think I can convert. The, okay, there's some four drawers. Okay, let's see here. Okay, bam, 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 bam. And then now we can do the coal. Did we put coal up yet? I don't think we did. Because coal does have to go over here. Definitely going to make some compressed coal here. And we're going to make sure we lock it too. So configuration tool. We're going to lock this one, this one, and this one, and this one. Then we're going to link these just like that. And so now we should have just about everything we could grab out and figure I'm going to put up. Just making sure that I have everything. Nebulous Hearts actually needs a spot too. Do we have any blaze rods that we put in here yet or did we put them up somewhere else? I think they're in my dank, right? Yep. Okay. Blaze rods. Slime pearls. Slime balls. I don't know if this is going to hold all of them. Nope. I'm not going to hold all of them. That's fine. And then we do need the earth shards. That's all has to have a spot here. So do we have any of the basic earth shards? We have the water. Um, I think that already has a spot. This crystal also has to have a spot. So bam. And so we're going to put the water shard right there. We're going to put the raw water shard, the small one right there. Uh, anything in this? I don't need, I think, I don't think I need Flint. Mm -hmm. That goes in there. This is going to get deleted. This is one of the like longer things that you got to do. We got to have Ender Pearls. Do we, oh, we do have a spot for Ender Pearls. That could have been real bad having two spots. We'll put it up for here for now because we don't really need it in here. And so I can come over here, right click this, put all of that up. And pretty much at this point, we're good to go. Okay, we're going back into it. Resume. Okay, we're going back into it. So basic storage system is pretty much almost done. We just got to get rid of some of the stuff. This all needs to be moved using carver boxes. Did we make a spot for glass? I don't know if we did or not. We did. We need like 500 a piece of this glass. So this is not going to work. We're just going to move all this. I don't know if sand needs a spot or not, but I'm just going to put a spot for sand just in case it needs it later. Uh, terracotta doesn't need a spot. This has a spot, so it doesn't matter. These can all just come out. We do need the uraninite as a spot too. I'm gonna come up there. Uh, silicon does need a spot. I think I have one. Smooth stone doesn't need a spot, so we can put that up. We need some more food though. Do we have any food in our chest over here? Okay. So now we can just do like these. I don't know if I need weed in this. 
Pulse. And then we're going to smelt all these bread down for that. If only you had an emote artist. I know. Tell me about it. I'm really bad at this. Okay. So now at this point, I think we're at a good spot. We don't have a stick spot yet, though. So. I think we're at a good spot, though. Am I just tripping or is that not actually linked? Is that not linked? Does this not work like this? I didn't mean to break that, but all right. Got to upgrade our pack or whatever. I wonder, can I open this again? Okay. So this has my disc in it. I think I actually need to do a cable here to connect it. And so that should connect it. And yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So anything that doesn't have a spot is kind of going to have uh, some problems. I do need a spot over here for the planks. Not the cables. Whatever. We can put the cables in there too. And so this way I could just pull. I could link all these up. Do we have a spot for this over here? Answer is no. We need to do some copper upgrades though. Okay, cool. Okay, basic storage system is done. Split. Now we need to go towards the chunk destroyer. We need to clean some of this up though, because it's all in this is really just bad, honestly. It is really bad the way all this looks right now. Like some of this just needs to be moved. There's all of our food. Yo, thank you for the follow, Crashed World. I appreciate that. Uh this is my automated smelting system. These chests just need to go somewhere else. That's what it is. Put this sucker over here. They're not connected anymore, but that's okay. That's all right. These can just be moved too, but these kind of give us a couple of things. You know what? I'm kind of actually digging this right here, this long path right here. Okay, so we need to check on our power situation over here. We need to see how that's... This should be full of ethylene, so we could make another um, one of these thingamaboobblers. So let's go ahead and see if we can make another gas burning generator. Um, we're going to need another one of these, which we're missing the redstone alloy things. I would love to get these upgraded, but you know what? Let's just go with a chunk destroyer. Destroyer. We need cactus. That's the problem with this. We need a lot of cactus. Mm, we got the dragon head. We need wither or nether stars, which we're going to get to. So we have to get this. Okay. So this is a lot of stuff. We need cactus. I think is like our most important part. Cactus is the most important, and glass. So we'll need auto smelting on glass. That's pretty easy to get. We just need a bunch of glass. Um, we have everything else, so we have all the rest of the stuff except for cactus. So we gotta go get cactus. Um, I think that would probably be the easiest thing to go and get. Let's go get cactus and start growing that stuff. Um, we're gonna need to go back to the overworld, which is over here, which probably should honestly move these things. That's fine. We're, just, we're just gonna go back to the overworld with this. 160. Wait, what? What? All right. So now we need the nature's compass to find the closest. We're gonna find the closest desert. Definitely not gonna be that desert. What about this one? Definitely not gonna. Are you kidding me right now, bro? What? I'm about to RTP and find the desert. You're invited to my wedding, by the way. Oh, what? what? But I do it. Wait, what are you talking about? What? Oh, well, we just kind of put ourselves in the middle of the water. Is there a desert by chance right here? Desert. We're in a new uncharted land. Oh my God. What is with these deserts? Is there not a single desert for me to go to? Bro, there's no way that they're this far. Oh my God. We actually have to go to the nearest desert. Does my plus one have to be Tony? Wait, wait, wait. I'm like six foot six. Oh, come on now. Oh, do I actually have to fly all the way out here and generate all these chunks for it? Maybe I can find some things that I need along the way. Oh my God, this is going to take forever. Actually, I think it's better to go back to spawn and then use the find the desert for here. How far away was this one? 5,800. Oh, my God. Do we go back and upgrade our thing? I think we go back and upgrade our stuff. Let's do that. Let's go back and upgrade our jetpack. I don't know if we have enough iron for it, actually, now that I think about it. Do we have enough iron for it? How much iron do we have? About to find out. 
Jetpack. I think the next tier is from copper is to what do I usually go for for jo copper? So you here, I think I usually go. I don't know if I go iron or not. Silver is usually the easiest, but I think iron is the one that we have. Uh, can I make eleven of these? I do not have enough iron. We need to grab some iron real quick. Easier smelting of my life. I wish we had fortune. That would make things so much easier. Oh my god. I forgot we we have like some crazy things going on here. I forgot we have efficiency on my axe, so we can literally just get all the iron that we need. Jesus, do we need a chunk destroyer at this point? If this thing had fortune, we would be in a really good spot. I wouldn't even have to do any of this. this is, I'm just kind of tearing it up. Pick go burr, dude, tell me about it. I'm just gonna... Oh, the only problem is I just ain't got enough food for it. When you have the toast destroyer? Are you saying that everything is toast? We probably just go fortune at this point. Jesus Christ, we don't need all that copper. I mean, I kind of need all that copper, but. Oh, come on. For the backpack, that is true. I do need a feeding upgrade. I usually don't like, like making the feeding upgrade that quick, but. Let's go home. I don't know if I want to smelt all these things down like this. We definitely need to double this iron if we can though we have so much there's no way we don't have enough copper for a copper upgrade and there's no way it's possible we're going to delete this i wonder if that raw uraninite has a spot answer is yes okay so that should be enough for me to make six of these and so now i should be able to make five of these should be able to make oh i think i need the furnace right oh i'm still out of iron for it jeebus do i have a cobblestone spot i don't think i do should be able to make two of these one So the jetpack, that should be the iron jetpack upgrade. What do we go to next? Gold, electrum, steel. I think gold's the next move. Let's see if we can upgrade to gold now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh god, we made it to eleven. Okay, cool. Now one, two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay, there's those. Now we need one of these. Or two of these. And we need this. I don't know how far we can go because we don't really have a whole lot of power for this. But I think the next one is diamonds, and I don't really want to commit to diamonds just yet. But I think gold should be plenty fine for what I want to do. Is It's cheese? It's not really because you can actually, like... It's one iron four. It's literally one iron four coal to, to that. Yeah, I'm just deleting it. Any more than chunk destroyer? Let me see. Can I make the feeding upgrade? Usually I can find it. See if I can make the feeding upgrade. Uh, I need golden apple. Do I have an apple at all? Okay, there's an apple. I need a glistering melon slice. I just launched myself into oblivion. I need a golden carrot. Do I have a carrot? I think I do have carrots. Yes. Golden carrot. And then I need one of these suckers, which I don't string. Do I not have string as a spot somewhere over here? Did I not put string over here? Do I not have string in here? Am I tripping right now? Do I have any string growing? Oh, this might be a problem.
Did I not put a string spot over here? Question is, where the hell did my string go? Did it go in my backpack? Oh, there it goes right there. Okay. All right. So now I should be able to make this. Do I not have any leather? Do I, do I not have any leather? There it goes. Okay, cool. Leather. Feeding upgrade. Okay, backpack. Feeding upgrade. We're going to make sure we allow toast. And anything else in here that I need? Okay, no, that should be good. Okay, so we got all the iron and stuff that we need. We got to go back jetpack. Now we got to go back to finding the desert. Spider gate time? True. The one compressed in the infuser? Oh, I don't know about all that. All right, we got to go 5,000 or 6,000 blocks this way. Throttle set all the way up. So we're just going. We're just going to send it. Is this a village? I need a waystone from you guys. Is this a village? Or is this a broken down village? I don't see... I hear villagers. But I don't see a waystone. I really am just here for your waystone. That's all I care about. I think this is like not going to have a waystone. Could be wrong. I don't want to waste too much time on it. We already looted this, right? I don't know if we looted this one. It's raining too. I can make another water bottle. I would need sugar though for it. How many of those flying things am I going to see? My second one. Still got another 5,000 blocks to go this way. God, these particles are everywhere, man. At the same speed? That's kind of crazy. All right, we officially flown so far that we're out of range of... Um, like where I pre-gen. So we're flying farther than I pre-gen. So this might slow things down a little bit. So basically got an hour and a half at this point or an hour. Yeah. About an hour and a half ish to get to the chunk destroyer. And so I learned some new tricks to make this one a little bit faster, but God, we got a whole nother 3,500 blocks to go here. Hopefully I don't just straight out crash here. You want a backup strat next time? Alchemistry can make cactus. Is it easy or is it hard? I could probably make cactus with a like nature essence or whatever. Yeah, it's the same thing that makes titanium. So I need magma blocks. I'm going to give the game a little bit of time to catch up once I get there. Does it actually require cactus? Then that kind of defeats the purpose for me then. Ooh. I'm almost there. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. We're almost there, y'all. Okay, now let's let the game load a little bit to see if we're there. Because sometimes it shoots you around once it starts generating and stuff. So once I'm like, just enough, close enough. Okay, here we go. So now let's see how long it takes to load it. So when we see one thing loaded here, that's enough. Hey, what up, Lemon Fresh? How you doing? Love your energy? Y'all appreciate that, man. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the, the kind words, man. I, I have no energy right now because I'm kind of tired. But that's okay. You know, it's only 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Is it going to load? I'm going to pause the timer right now until this loads. Actually, no, we're going we're gonna to resume the timer. I think that might be cheating. See how it goes. Oh, oh! We cactus. 
actually. Let me kill it before he dies because he drops cactus too. Is this what I think it is? Oh, it's a blitz. I need base salts or whatever it is. Bath salts, whatever this thing is called. That looks very familiar. Who remembers that? That guy almost killed me. Did I just lag on a single player world? I just lagged on a single player world. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Should be good enough. Scroll of Quartzite. Good thing I don't care. I don't even know what a blitz mo- You know what? We might use that a little bit later. But for out, we just need to get some sand. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pop that open. Do this. Okay, do we have any- No, we didn't have any alimonium on me. Well then, what a- f Can I use my pickaxe to mine this? No, I can't. I need to go away. Too wood and too slime. Oh, that's easy. Must have high pings. Okay, I'm using my- Okay, that's not what I meant to do. This isn't the easiest way to get it, but I'm just getting it for the time being, just because screw it. It's gonna break my osmium pack, so I'm gonna have to make my all the modium stuff when I get back. Is that enough? Let's see. I need like a thousand and twenty-four. I think it is. That's enough. All right. So here we go. Here's to going home. So we're going to go ahead and walk around my entire setup here. We're going to grab out all the sand that I can, and then I'm going to smelt all of it into glass. Where is my, how much all the modium do I have here? All the modium. Okay, so I have enough for this. So let me grab out my ore hammer, which I don't have. I think we're solid now. All right, so now we got to get the chunk of shore, so we need to get that glass smelting. We need to grab one of these guys needs to start smelt or doing um, cactus instead, which I don't know. Can you put it on, Fairy? You can't. You got to have a bucket of water for it. So I'm going to grab a bucket of water. You know, I have a sink over there. I can use that instead. Bam. Ca it's sand, not a bucket of water. That's something that's somewhat different. Sand. Okay, and so now, I didn't know this, but check this out. If you take bones and you pulverize them to get the stuff out of them more. The quest book looks so good, Alfred. Be it GG's. See what I did there? Well, thank you, Lizzie. I appreciate it. Are you doing the whole playthrough in one go? Yes. The entire playthrough in one go. I didn't know you could do this, but you could basically sit here and bone meal it like this. We're going to take all the seeds out here and put those up. And you could just basically grab and bone meal this. I didn't know you could do that. Somebody told me that. I was like, ain't no way. Oh, module Rowler. No, I'm just, I only need like a certain mini. So this is fine as it is. Because I need to focus on the other parts of the Chunk Destroyer. So like, one of the things is we need the um, Workbench Plus. So I don't know if I can make this or not. What am I missing? And a block of iron. Am I just missing iron at this point? We also need to upgrade the slots that I have here. Okay, so there's a workbench plus. Okay, and so now we need to start putting all this stuff in here. So we have the blaze rods and stuff. Uh, should be able to grab a stack of those, throw that in there. I think we need still need more iron. I want to say that we still need more iron. I don't know if we need more redstone. Yeah, we still need some more iron and redstone. I would really, really like to get a fortune book. If I can get some kind of fortune, I think that would be really good. I don't think I have any fortune in any of this. And I would be kind of depressed to not find fortune. This fortune is going to make all of this a whole lot easier. Let's see if I have any fortune books.
don't think I do. I think I might actually have to go and grab some. So there's two ways to get fortune. We got to do evil craft anyway. So we're going to do evil craft. I'm going to go ahead and make this stuff to make evil craft stuff. So we need the syringe. All right. Is it called a syringe? What is it? Extractor is what it's called. So we're going to go ahead and make these spikes. I don't know how many I can make out of this. Three, four. Hello. Did I make a fourth one? So that give me some original blood. And so we just need to go kill some things real quick. Do I need any kind of like, I guess I could do redstone for like, um, a couple of other things or whatever, but I just need to go kill some stuff real quick. You know, we gotta find some stuff to kill though. Okay, actually, you know what? We could just go back to the, the dungeon and kill some things there. Cost me three experience to do that. This is, this is rip off. We see if we can find some fortune stuff in this. Should give us a bunch of stuff. It's got a lot of emeralds, but basically, I'm just trying to get as much of this. Let's go check some of these chests out, too. See if we can get a fortune in this one. There's looting. I want that looting, even though I don't really need it. I can't believe you just hit me just then. How could you? Did we loot all the chests? I don't think we looted all of them. No. Wait, what does that one have? Worker exploitation. That's kind of wild. Fortune. That's got leech. Bro, how do we not have a fortune? There's a lot of chests that I just kind of left, huh? I want that severing one. It's going to be a little loud here for a second. If it's too loud, let me know. Efficiency, not what I needed. I'll take the golds and the emeralds and the aldermodium. Why not? This is good. This is a little bit too much for mobs. Where is my destruction gadget? It's up at the top there. I'm going to lag for a second. You want to talk about cheese? This is how you cheese. Don't even have to deal with anything here. You just have to just shoot them. Just take the floor out from underneath them. Hmm. Bro, where is my fortune? Am I not going to find fortune? Do I have to just... I guess we do bloodcraft, huh? There's too many mobs here. Yeah, this is, this is causing too much lag. Alfred's stream is not conducive to sleep, it seems. Uh, it would be nice to go to sleep, I guess, but I'm not going to sleep. I do have some things to prevent my death. That's good. I'm not going to go to sleep until about 12-ish. I don't know if I said that right either, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Got my charms. Can I not delete? I feel like the heart charms and stuff would probably be smart, but you know, I wasn't the smartest man. Okay. So now that I got all this blood, we can actually dig out one, two, three, four, five. And so let's grab a dark gem out. Okay. And we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five in there. Oh my God. I needed this anyway. Okay. Well, I didn't need two of them. I don't know why it dried so quickly. Oh my God. That's nature's compass. 
Okay. Anyway, there's our dark power gem. And so now I should be able to make the next part of this, which is the uh, blood infuser. I want to think it's called blood infuser. Gonna make, I got to smelt one of these dried blocks, which I haven't actually made. So we need to come over here and put one in here and then we'll smelt that down. 12 hours early. Oh no. We need answers. True. I'm not going to be like going to sleep, sleep for a while. It's going to take me a little bit before I go to bed. Come on, I need you to dry. Hurry up and dry. Thank you. Oh, looky there. I'm out of power. That is fine, if you ask me. Blood infuser. Do I have any cobblestone in this? Blood infuser. Okay. And now it doesn't really take a whole lot here. We can fill this back in with cobblestone. Oh, this is going to be so ugly. Uh, and so now I can make the pickaxe. So this is a vengeance pickaxe. That's what I need. And so now I just need these dark sticks. So I need actually, I don't think I have salt. Now that I think about it. So I'm just going to grab some salt right now. Worth upgrading the drying basin? Nah, not to, I'd have to find the stuff for it. So I'm not about that life. Okay, and so now we grab any one of our oaks. Do we have oak sapling in here? We do not. So we combine the oak sapling. Okay, sapling plus the salt. This is a dead bush. And so now we just insert our blood in here, and then we throw in the dead bush, and that should give us what we need. And so we're also going to need some diamonds, I want to say, right? Diamonds and two of those shards. So we do need some more of those hardened blood shards. So we're going to grab the blood back out, put some in there, and then we'll put the rest back in there. And so now I need some of that bone meal I was making earlier. And we're going to come over here. We're going to plant this down right here. We're going to bone meal it to death. Then we're going to break the logs. So it's going to give me the tree stuff, which is good. That can get deleted. The reward can get deleted. And then now we have the undead logs, which we just need these. Put that up. Uh, now we just take this. We smelt it. We good to go. It is currently 5.09 for me. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and now we should be able to make the diamonds. So we just got to make the evil craft sticks. And then I should be able to make the diamond pickaxe. Yo! Swag, think of the follow, or the, the bits, man, and the follow. Appreciate that. All right, so what you're wondering what I'm doing with this right here? It's simple. I'm going to grab out some books. I only need two books for this. Turn off our magnet. We're going to throw this down, throw two books, throw the anvil down. And now I'll have Curse of Vengeance 3. That can go in the trash can. And then we have Fortune 5. And now I can just take and grab my anvil on our stick and combine these two together. Fortune 5. And now I have Fortune 5 on my pickaxe. And I can just come in here, put this stuff up. And if I wanted more fortune, it's just as easy as what I just did. Because we got dead bushes out of there. So now I can come over here and go get the rest of the redstone and stuff that I need while it's going. And this pickaxe can go in the garbage can. So now we have fortune on our pick. And efficiency. So we can just get whatever we need. I am the chunk destroyer. I was like, I'm playing like crazy. Okay, we need to delete all this copper. I don't need any of that copper. Yo, Shish Shishka, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. What up? What up? I'm going to get so much copper from the Chunk Destroyer. I don't have the stuff for it. What pick is that? It's an Olimodian pick with efficiency 7 and fortune 5 on it. Which is kind of nice. I really don't need all this copper. 
Honestly, I don't really need a whole lot of this stuff at all. I am already out of food, though. And I believe... I've got a good amount of redstone. Yeah, I could do the I could do that, but I'm not gonna do that though. All right, let's put this up. Let's put the sulfur up since I have a spot for it. I forgot I hop fast. Um, we need some more power, so we're gonna need another one of the. That was why I made the redstone stuff because we're gonna need a lot more power. Um, and so right now it's con. I think this is connected. Oh, this isn't connected to everything. That's why. So I can actually go. Oh man, you know what we need to do? Since we have all this obsidian stuff, we need to set up wireless power. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> And so that's what we needed the ender pearls for. And we need the blaze rods for. How much blaze rods do we have? We have a bl bunch of blaze powders. I only need a stack of those. Because we need a bunch of these eyes of ender. And so we'll put that in there. And so now we just need a bunch of redstone. I don't know that we have a whole lot of redstone. Got about two stacks. I think that'll be fine for now. Okay, so I don't know if you could do this in the over or the uh, mining world. Last time I checked, you couldn't. Instead of the chunk destroyer, it is, but the chunk destroyer is better, like by a large margin. I didn't mean to break all that, but that's just where I'm at right now. We ooh, that's lava. I didn't mean to go in lava. Is that a spawner right there? I just accidentally... Oh, a brawler's gem? Oh, that's not what I needed. This would have been a great chest earlier in the game. Man, imagine if there was fortune in there. I'd be upset spaghetti. I just killed that zombie. That zombie did not expect it, but... Bro, what is this jump that I've got? Okay. Okay, I don't know if this works with this. I think it has to be cobblestone, right? Okay, and then... Oh, it's obsidian. What am I doing? Why am I thinking it's not obsidian? Do I even have obsidian on me? I don't. It's obsidian. I don't know why I didn't grab obsidian first. Did I pick the redstone back up, or did it just get deleted? Oh, in my backpack. All right, cool. I still think I need those. That's fine. Okay, so with those two, we should be able to make some flux. We got to make a couple of things from flux. First off, we need to make um, the flux cores, so that's what we got those for. I don't know how many I can make. I made a stack. That's cool. Did not expect to make a stack. And so now we need a couple. We need five of these flux blocks. And so then we need to make a flux plug. We need to make a flux point. A couple of flux points would be good. I'd, are we really out of redstone right now? Okay. And then we need to make the flux controller, which did not make... F oh, yeah, I needed one more block. Okay. Okay, so flux controller, and this will give me wireless recharging. Okay, so I just sling this down over here. It doesn't really matter. We're going to need to create a new network. Password is whatever it is that I want it to be. Uh, this is going to be a bypass limit on this one, and so now we just need a way to set up power. And so the easiest way to set up this power, we don't need this anymore. The easiest way to set up this power is by setting a, instead of powering this crusher like this, I do need to power this crusher. I do need to do that. Oh, it's got power. Okay, so power comes out the front here, so we're going to take a plug, stick that plug right there, make sure that we set the plug right here. Uh, this is going to be bypass limit, so the power is going to come up whenever it needs it. It'll pull out of here. And so this is, doesn't, it shouldn't power the rest of the system because I'm going to need a point to power the rest of the system. So that's why I made all the points. So wherever this is connected, is this connected over here? I think I need to connect this right here. And then now we can do a flex point here and set this to my network. And then this is now generating the power that it needs. Bypass the limit on here as well. And so now it's going to come over here and it should generate the rest of everything that I need. We have this, that right there, which I need to move this over. So I'm going to break this and move this over here in a second. 
because I need a way to pa pump that out because we need another one. Delete that real quick. I think everything I have has a spot except for Flint, but I don't think Flint matters. That can just get deleted. I'm going to need some more obsidian eventually, but this is fine. Um, Kiwi can get deleted as well, and then this can all go in the old chest that I don't need anymore. We move these over here. Okay. So that should get it a lot more power because now the whole thing is tapping into the power system. And so it's going to use this. And so right now we're not really generating a whole lot because it's not really using a whole lot. Like everything, it's not going to use any more than it needs. But we still need it because the Chunk Destroyer uses 30,000. Each one of these use, um, tw this one, I think that like each one of these gas burning generators do 27,000. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself another gas burning generator. Which I need more of the... Where did I put this? This is over here. I should upgrade these, but you know what? Whatever. Redstone. Do we even smelt any of the iron that we picked up? I don't think we did. Did we get all the iron out we did? No, we didn't. We'll get the sand here in a little bit. We'll, we'll force smell the sand a little lot, a bit later. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and make 16 of these. We could probably use more down the road. It probably doesn't hurt. Actually, you know what? It doesn't hurt right now. We're just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I got to take another leak, and it's kind of dinner time. So uh, we got another hour before this goes, so I'm going to pause this. All right, so here, we're going to get back into it. I don't remember what we're going to do. I think I know kind of what we're doing. We got to make another gas burning generator and upgrade this stuff. So we're going to we're gonna upgrade. We're going to do the gas burning generator first, okay? That's the wrong button. Bam, let's go. All right, gas burn generator. We got to make another one. What was it? We were making it in this thing right here. We got it. We were waiting for these things to make because we need at least five of them to make it. And a gas burning generator, that takes five of those. And so after that, we needed two more steel casings. Do we have the steel casings for this? One, two. We do. Okay. Cool. And we're pretty much just missing the core plus those seven. We can speed this up. We can actually make the speed upgrades. So speed upgrades. We're going to go ahead and hit A on oh, this because one of these days I'll need it. Oh, do I have that in my inventory? Nope. I can speed these up. I don't know how many I, I can speed these up with. But we're going to try it just like this. Y'all's flying left and right. Y'all's like my favorite word, though. Any more bosses for Minecraft? Have you checked? the? There's Cataclysm, and Cataclysm is real good, man. Cataclysm is where it's at. I love Cataclysm. Lovely dank. How do we... Let's see. The upgrade is diamond blocks. How are we doing on diamonds? How many blocks do we have? I think I can spare eight. There's currently a bug with danks that are kind of bad. What's the next one? Obsidian? I can do obsidian too. Let's do obsidian too. Why not? We got exactly 69. Nice. And I think the last one is nether stars. Yeah, that's not going to happen. No, thank you. Cool. All right. Now we should be able to make the gas burning generator. First, we got to make the electrolytic core. God, this is kind of hard to say. And then the gas burning gin. And so now we need a gas pipe and create wrench. Okay. And so what I'm going to do here is we'll break this. We're going to break this and we're going to pump this out with the gas pipe. So boop, 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 boop. we'll upgrade this eventually. And for right now, we're just going to do this gas burning gin here, gas burning gin here. And then we're going to do the point is going to go right here. And then we need a cable of some sorts, like a flux duct. Oh, I just put that up. And so this is a point. That's not what I needed to do. I needed a plug. And so, bam. And so this is going to burn. So that actually is half. And this was already almost full. That's kind of wild. So that's going to produce as much as it needs. Same thing with this. This is going to produce as much as it needs. So that's good. And so we can put these things up. Um, so now that we have that, now we can go start making the Chunk Destroyer. And so the Chunk Destroyer needs a lot of things. Okay, this should have enough power now, which it does. Put all this iron in there. I don't think it needs any copper. We need all this glass, though. We need like a thousand glass, right? Did it even smelt all the glass yet? Still smelting the iron. That's fine. Okay, so we need gold. We need the ender pearls by themselves. Do we not have any ender pearls in here? Or are they all in my backpack? Or my dank? Okay, cool. Okay. 
No, we need at least four stacks. We're going to need that dragon head. Uh, we're going to need... Do, 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 do. So, Chunk Destroyer, we need the blocks of diamonds. We're just going to need the diamonds and stuff by themselves. So, diamond, we're going to need eight blocks of these. So, do like this. And then we're going to put those back up. And so, I don't... Do we need gold for this? I don't think we need gold. We need emeralds. I know we'll need gold in general. We also need lapis. I think I actually need more lapis in general. Um, what is it else we need? Chunk to show here. We need the nether stars. We'll have to go and get those. Uh, so the quarry plus, we need inner pearls, redstone. We need gold, diamond, all that good stuff. So let's go grab some diamonds out. I think two stacks should suffice. How much redstone do we have in here? Literally 61. Do we get any more? Or do we need to go get some more? I think we need to go get some more redstone. Do we have fortune on our pickaxe yet? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's go get some more redstone while this is still smelling up. Because we're going to have a while before this. And uh, we can make a redstone side potion. Do we make a redstone side potion? Let's make a redstone side potion. Do we have a glass bottle? We do not, but we can make one. Glass bottle. We're going to go water, bam. Do we not? We need some lapis too. Or so we're gonna go. We're gonna need an ender pearl, and let's grab these two out. So ender pearl. He said. Bow, bow, bow. Hello. Or just took a little bit longer. You go on it. Uh, it'll open up an interface. We can set the priority. Yeah, that's important. Setting a priority is important. You right click it, open it up, priority, set it to one. It, that, so priority works is whatever the highest number is. That's kind of what it is. Okay, so we'll put that up for now. We don't need that for now. And let's go get some red soda stuff. Too. We ran out of food, didn't we? No, we didn't. We have plenty of food. Blah, blah, blah. Now, we should actually be at the level for a bunch of redstone. We're going to go small tunnel. Bro, what? Am I tripping right now? Or is it not showing me? Oh, my God. It's everywhere. I didn't mean to do that. Jesus Christ. Is there more redstone at the bottom, or is it better to go up? I don't know the answer is to that. Bro, I am the chunk destroyer. I don't even need any of the uh, anything else. Just me. I'm just tearing this place up. Do we really need the chunk destroyer at this point? Like, good God. Answer is yes. Good God, we're just tearing things up. I didn't really want all that copper, to be honest with you. I think we have enough of everything, though. I'm just, like, hopping like a bunny. And so I should have the range, actually, to put all this redstone up. Bro, this is crazy. I think we got plenty of redstone now, y'all. Day 14, true. I think we got plenty of redstone. I think we got plenty of iron. So we're also going to turn this into iron blocks. So I'm going to hit shift K here. We'll put these diamonds up and this redstone in here because we're going to need it. I don't know if we need redstone blocks or not. Oh, we needed lapis. I forgot about that. I don't remember all the whatever being here. I can just get deleted. Okay. Iron. Okay, so what do we need here? We need a quarry plus. We need three of these. So there's one. Oh, I need two of these, right? 
two, three. Okay, three of those. So this needs... What are we missing here? Gold. How are we doing on gold? I think we're all right. All right, so three quarry pluses to make the first part of this. And this is where we need the two pump pluses. So we need the cactus plus the gold and all that stuff, which I think we should actually have enough gold for all this. But we need to get all the cactus. And so this is what I was making all that bone meal for. So I can actually just speed this process up. So we need 80 per cactus or per thing. This is so annoying that it takes a little bit to grow this like this. Because it gets to 100 and then it just lags. We could just go make some more. Epic and change is pretty good. Is the guy at showcasing the best on a legit asking chat? Um, so I think he's he makes some really good stuff. I've watched one of them, but like the thing is about the stuff is like the best weapons. I think you actually have to enable it in the configs to put things together, but I'm not sure about that. But he does make some really good shit. Like he his his farm designs and stuff are actually really good. I probably should just go back to the desert. Because this is not that fast. Or make more botany pots. I wasn't trying to do that. Do I have any sand in here? Did I smelt all the sand that I had? No. Hurry up and go! It gets to 100, it's like, oh! Usually I don't do this for this, but you know. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I should have been growing this a whole lot earlier. That was my mistake. Video about 5 million damage. It, I think it does 5 million damage. Uh, do you have to turn on the config? That's the question that I want to know. If you have to turn on the config, I don't like doing anything that's like editing a config kind of thing. I'm just not a fan of it because it's like, so the, some of the reasons why is because it's like disabled for a reason kind of thing. Okay, so I need 80. So that's, I need two more. Right. And now I'll make the first one and I need basically 80 more cacti to do it. And so there's not really a reason, a good way to do this. Cactus. Let's see. Is there an easy way to do this? You need nature's essence for this. Nature's, nature's essence. Can you make the cactus in an easy way? You get 16 per nature's essence like that. And so to make a nature seed, I need to set all that stuff up. So that's not going to happen. See, if it could skip the 100 portion, it would be fine. But it's not fine. Okay, so we basically just got to get more cactus at this point. And so one of the things about the Chum Destroyer is we're going to need to set this up. We're going to set up a backpack. So while this is growing, so let's go ahead and make another backpack. I don't know if we have the leather for it, but I know we have the flesh for it. So I'm going to grab that out. I'm going to find this and we're going to go ahead and set this up. So you can do a drawer for this. I don't know if I actually have a drawer for this or not. Do I not have any oak in here? Um, I need a one by two drawer. That's what I need. Is it up and down? It's up and down. Okay, so I'm going to put this one by two drawer right here. And so, no, I don't need a one by two drawer. I need an actual just two drawers. Okay. And so now we're going to do functional. We're going to grab a puller upgrade if I can. Can I make this? We need one of these, but we need stone. Is it any kind of stone or is it cobblestone? I want to put both of these in there because I can use both of those. Okay, I'm going to do a puller upgrade and I'm going to do a pusher upgrade. Is like these and I'm going to set up. Basically, I'm going to set this up where it's automated. And so now I can grab a configuration tool or like this. 
And we can lock these two. And then so what I want to do is I want to take the leather out of here, put it in here. And then I want to take the um, uh, rotten flesh, stick it in here. And so now I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to do this. Uh, this is going to be a pusher upgrade. And so we want to face this to the south. So we're going to go south and then it's going to go in here. And then I'm going to put a puller upgrade in here. And this one's going to be from the north. And so now whenever it's done, it'll automate it and make me the leather that I need. And so I actually need this leather to make a backpack with. We're going to make another backpack. This time it's going to be another. I'm going to upgrade to netherite. I should be able to anyway. We got to make another chest. Do I not have another chest here? Okay. Backpack. Okay. Now we're going to go to iron. I need to mute that stuff. That is actually killing me. Gold. I love gold. Diamonds. Well, I messed that up. And then let me grab the netherite that I know I have in here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade both of these backpacks to all of my backpacks to this. So I'm going to grab where's my backpack. We're going to go ahead and upgrade these. So we're going to do this one to another right and this one to another right all right hold on one second all right so we're jumping back in i think we're in a good spot we need some copper upgrades and everything and that's why i really i mean honestly i just really need to upgrade a lot of things for this i think that's where we're at right so resume let's go we're we're waiting for this to make enough cactus we're gonna we've gonna need a lot more cactus than this we were upgrading our backpack so we have one backpack that's already upgraded the good this is our backpack it's got all our stuff in it that's got a lot of our stuff in it right there. Oh my God, how beautiful is this? this is a beautiful backpack. We're still going to need some more food, which we're not growing any food, which is a problem. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to, you just got to trust in the, the, the system, right? We have things smelting at a decent rate. I mean, I could definitely use more copper right now to make copper bars. I didn't need to do all that. Because this will make me all the copper that I need. So... I kind of need it. Do we have all the sand? Do we get all the glass in there? I think we got all the glass we need in there. We do. Okay, so cactus. Limiting factor here. And so we got to go ahead and make some of these drawers and stuff. Do we have any drawers in here? We don't. But since we have the easy recipe, we can actually just go ahead and make a couple of these. And so we can just make a bunch of these drawers, then stick that in there. And then we go copper drawer or copper upgrade i think it's just called yeah and so now we just need more chests on the mouth now we just need more some more chests how many can i make here okay six without the chest okay so now we just need to upgrade whatever gets the most in here and so right now i think glass is pretty close to being really full what's really close to being full I think ender pearls definitely well they're fine for right now oh that's called that's uh from a that's called the mod there's the voidscape mod so you guys have to be careful with that but the voidscape mod will do that to you that's we're just gonna put two in there and then we'll just do one in each of the rest of them i guess this one needed it but you know that's fine and this is smelting the rest of my copper. And so I guess now I just need a bunch more of these. So we just need to get going. That's what we need to do. Let's go ahead and make the rest of these things. So um, we need sophisticated backpacks. We need the upgrades. So we're going to make a couple of things. We got, This should be automated leather. So we should have all of our leather here, which is good. And so that'll help us make that. Do we have any string? We have some string. Okay, so that should work. So we, we need a magnet upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and hit A on this, A on this, A on this, and then we should be able to make the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to say four upgrades there. We need a sticky piston. We need some uh, oak. Okay, so let's do sticky piston. So piston, sticky piston, pickup upgrade. Oh, do we not have string? Where's the string at? Am I tripping or did we just use all the string right then and there? Hello? I think we do have... Oh, okay, what is the spider uh, gate? What does it take to make the spider gate? Four. One, two, three, four. Uh, I just got five. 
and an ender pearl. We're just going to go ahead and do this real quick because we're going to need the string. We'll change this a little bit later, but this should be fairly quick. I'm going to do this real quick. Oh, yeah, I'll take you to another dimension. It's called Voidscapes. So Got to be careful with that. That dude just jumped and then immediately died. Like, immediately. All the string was in my backpack. Else, that's great. He tried. I got to give it to him. Ooh. How do you even say this? Shall I, shall, shall I carry? Sh sh uh, Schwip swap. Is that how you say that? Anything good here? Or anything good there? Wait, what? What? Got over a stack. Well, that's good. Y'all, some guns. There's spiders everywhere, but they can't hit me. Easy. So we do at least have looting. So we have a good amount of stuff we can get here. The void dimension? Oh, I'm not sure. I think there might be something that you have to have or that you can, I'm not, honestly, I have no idea. All right, there we go. Easy. We got a guardian gem. I don't know if that's actually worth anything or not. I think this does have a spot. I could be wrong though. Let's see. It does have a spot. The rest of this can be kind of like the fine silk. I don't actually need that for anything. So I throw it away. And then this goes in the gym backpack over here. Got two really terrible loot thingies. I just realized I just kind of blocked those off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, what is it? We were going to make the pickup upgrade. Then we were going to make the magnet upgrade, which we're at a lapis. Are we at a lapis or did I just not get any more? Then we need lapis for something. I'm pretty sure we needed lapis or something. All right. Advanced magnet upgrade is going to go in here too. We're going to throw that in there. We're going to turn it off right now. All right, and so we're going to go ahead and AA over this. Calicera is what? What? For apotheosis, I think you have to go to twi the Twilight Forest to get it. Um, we're going for this is, I don't forgot, sophisticated upgrade. Okay, so we need the void upgrade. We're going to hit A on that, and then I need the tank upgrade. And I need a stack upgrade of the basic kind. Do I have a stack upgrade or stack? Okay. So we got the pickup upgrade. Now we just need to make the void upgrade. Upgrade that to the best void upgrade. We need the tank upgrade. And then we need a top of, oh dude, do we really have no iron in here? Oh, just straight up made me a bunch of iron there. Cool. Can I upgrade this to gold? Can I upgrade this to, oh, whoa. I don't think I can go any higher than that, but that's actually pretty good. We got a good stack upgrade for it. So advanced, bam, bam. And so this is good. Avoid upgrades good. So we have all this. So now we just have to, we still have to wait for the cactus and stuff. To, oh, that is, why is that? That was so quick. Can I please grab this? Why is the cactus going in there? Why is, why would the cactus go? All right. So there's 26 of them. I'm going to need a total of 80. And so it might be faster if I... I'm just going to go ahead and build the mob farm. So I'm just prepping for it. What do I have a lot of stone? Can I actually turn the stone into something good? We need a building gadget too. So go ahead and grab that. And I need the wand. We need nether stars. We didn't even get the nether stars yet. So we actually need to get some nether stars. How many, uh, hostile prediction. We needed the wither model. Let's see. What does it take to make the faulty? So it's six. We need six kills of the first one to get it. So that's where we'd upgrade this stuff. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to kill the, the wither next. So I'm going to hold off on those. We're going to put the pump plus in here and the three quarry pluses in here. So while this is loading and, and booting up, we're going to put this backpack. We're going to keep this backpack in our inventory, but we're going to go ahead and upgrade our simple reforging table here. Because now we should have the stuff to make the upgrade. What does it take? So it takes three of nether bricks. That's nether rack. Should be able to smelt these suckers down, right? Make me some nether bricks. That's a lot of copper. I don't even know if it can store all of this. Hold on. Can I store all this in this copper thing right here? Where's my copper? Can I store all this in here? 
Yes, that's the answer. Okay, so nether bricks. I don't have enough experience for this, but essentially I want to get this to a higher amount. And so this is where those gems are going to come in handy. So these gems that are bad and the gems over here that are bad, if I have any bad gems in here, I think all the bad gems I have in here. So like the slipstream one can go away. Solar gem can go away. That's really good for damage. That's really good for damage. That's really good for just, this is like gives you extra fortune and stuff. I think you can upgrade that one, but I don't know. That can be gone. Uh, this one's fine. Breach gym is armor shred. Don't really care. That one gives you max health. I don't really care about those either. And so I could actually just go ahead and go in the salvaging table and just throw all these in here. Get myself a bunch of gym dust. So one of the things too that I could do here is I can get rid of, like I can get all these enchantments and stuff off, but I don't actually care to get the enchantments off. I honestly just want, like if it has mending, sure, but I'm just grabbing the things that I'm not going to use. Um, and just getting them, like taking the stuff off. So like we just salvage all of these. It gives us 18. And so now when I throw this in here, I can throw the pearl up there and then my ax. And so, oh, let's see. Enemies below 9%. Oh my God. We really got it in our first round. That's crazy. We literally got it. This is, we were going exactly for the 9% max health. And like, that's a really high amount. We're also going for the current percent HP damage. So that's actually going to be really good. I wish that I had a gem that I could use. Like I could combine these together. So you need these two plus like the types of fabric or fabrics or whatever to make that. And that's not going to work out. So I can't really do that. Man, that's actually really lucky. That's actually dope. And so this should actually work for what we need. So do we have nether? Or do we have any wither skeleton skulls? We have we have enough to make one wither. So really we need two. So that's kind of a problem. And I think we have a wither skeleton spawner somewhere. I guess it's over here. So we could just use this. We actually, hold on. Can I do, is there a... Wither skeleton gate. I don't think there's a wither skeleton gate. We could just go to the other. That probably could be the easiest. Let's just go to the other and kill some real quick. We don't have to do all this. We have looting, so we could literally just go straight there. Why does it always lower the attack speed? I mean, mine's still pretty good, but I mean, that's kind of still crazy. Calissera means the appendage of an arachnid. That's kind of wild. I just go here and there should be some wither skeletons that spawn out here maybe particularly i gotta go to the place where there's i've got to go to the soul sand stuff and so we needed all the soul sand so good thing i came here is there still a lot of mobs spawned here there's a 889 vindicators so normally i wouldn't do this but because i'm on a server i'm not gonna that's gonna cause so much lag and so what this button does basically is it just, I'm just getting rid of all the lag or whatever so that the whole entire server doesn't die. That's all I'm doing because this is going to, they should despawn, but there's nothing to make them despawn. And so that's why I'm doing that. Now they should still spawn here. I should still see them spawning here, but they're not. So that's not good. Run far away. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I'm not, still not getting wither skeleton spawns which there should be some that spawn from the tops of these am i just tripping is there something busted here oh hey i need your skull bro that's what i really need let's see that's a vindicator we'll break it don't need that don't need that I'll take the wither skeleton just want the wither skeletons oh i just broke one I love myself. And so this should make him spawn. Ooh, there's so many spawners. That's one of the problems, too. Hmm. Don't know that I'm actually going to get enough. I need at least six. I right, see here for the speed run. What a passy. How you doing? I don't know if this is a fast enough wither skeleton spawner. Because I know there's some over here. 
Ooh, that's a problem. Because you see there's a bunch of them spawning below me, too. We got a good amount of these. Hold on a second. We literally just need one more now. Just woke up, so I missed your first seven hours of the speedrun. I actually wish I had enough for four. But we're just going to have to go with two for now. Can I just block these off? Flawless Breach Gym. It's going to be good to throw away. I wonder if that's going to spawn anymore. Usually I don't do this kind of run. There's enough for two. I just need the Chunk Destroyer for this, to be honest with you. So there's enough for two. I need, for the Wither Spawner thing, I actually need a little bit more kind of sucks I kind of want to stay here but I would need more spawners there's no wither spawner thing I don't think and this thing is slow like real slow we don't have the sugar for it usually there would be a lot more spawning here but there's a problem right now because there's a bunch that spawn so this is like there's a 33 wither skeletons yet I don't see any wither skeletons here there's one right here. Unless there's a wither skeleton spawner that's faster down below. Is there a wither skeleton spawner that's faster here? There's a wither skeleton. Is that a wither skeleton? Where is the wither skeletons coming from? This... Do they drop the trinkets or no? I don't think so. This might give us the gym that we need to. So I don't mind doing this. Why am I not seeing any more wither skeletons? Definitely giving me all the blood that I need. I need at least what? So it's what? Six? So I need 18 skulls. Where are these guys going? I should just break these Vindicator spawners. So no more Vindicator spawn. And it's just the Wither Skeletons. But it looks... Are they spawning down this hallway? Is that where they're spawning? Yeah! That's what I need. I get speed on this one. 6% max health? What do I have on this one? I don't even get anything on that one. God, I got so many bad swords and stuff. Oh my. All the modium site three. I would have loved that like yesterday. Where are these spawners at? That'd have been great to have. Wither skeletons for the dub. It'd be really good to have like a really good sword or my axe be really good. I really just need the brawler gem. That's what I really need. Pan see what? Haste? Something's hitting me. The wither skeleton hallway spawners are nice. I wish I had scavenger on this thing. I don't know if I can use scavenger on it. These are not fast spawners, but they're I'm doing better in terms of like getting all of them. Okay, there's enough. Cool. That should be enough. What up, Zavia? How you doing? I'm doing all right, Passy.
All right, so there's the rest of them. Okay, so I should be able to do the wither stuff now. I can't believe I got all the modiums. I don't know why. I don't even need it anymore, but, like, it's nice, I guess, to have it. I really wish we got one of those gems, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Okay, so now we need to, why am I out of energy? Oh, yeah, because I never turned this on. I forgot to do that. That's still producing power. Did it mellow out yet? They're still both full because they don't really need a whole lot of power. So we're still doing it on power. That made me 20 of those suckers. Cool. And then we still need the cactus. So we need about 30 more cactus. So that's going along. And so now we need to do the hostile neural networks thing. So I'm going to make four of these data modules if I can. So I need to make these redstone things. Oh, can I just make it like this? I need stone. Do I have stone in here? No, but I can smelt it. I don't. Did I put a place for aluminum over here? I don't think I did, but I'm going to put them right there. I don't really need it for anything, but it's smelted. Okay, so basically I need four of these. One, two, three, four. So we also need wither glass, which I don't know if we can actually, it's called tainted glass or tinted glass, not tainted. And this is from mob grinding utilities. So we're going to go ahead and make, I don't know how many we can make. Not a bad amount. So I'm just basically going to be fighting four withers with this. doesn't really matter what I do here because they're not really going to blow anything up as long as I'm in a, a staying a boobler. So let's see, I need three wide. So one, two, three, right? And four, five, and that makes it where I can do. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's fine. I don't really know if I want to do all of them at once. We'll just do it like this. Just make a little small chamber. Nothing too crazy. Okay. Did I put my building gadget up or is it still on me? Uh, let's do vertical wall. Okay. And let's do horizontal wall. And so now we're trapped into this room here. So now hopefully we don't die, but we have some good armor and stuff for it. So we throw this away. And now we're going to just go ahead and grab out my data module that I made earlier. Deep learner or whatever. Grab out the dragon thing from it. And we're going to make sure we get a spot for these four. And be ready to put them in the deep learner, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to build this out. We're going to do the first one. Oh, can't do it like that. Did the wrong way. Good night, Passy. I appreciate you. Our, our strike. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. You have a good one, buddy. All right. And now we're going to go three, one, two, three. And now we're going to do this while he's loading. Cause I learned you could do that from somebody. And then we're going to put these four up. And so that'll get us started with some, uh, nether stars at the beginning. Easy peasy. What did we get? Frost resistance. Oh, whoa exactly what I always wanted. Oh my God, we actually got a lot of stuff. Water breathing and feather feet. I think the only thing that would matter that I get here is if I got um, unobtainium sight. I think that's the only thing that matters. Oh, I woke up 20 minutes ago. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's kind of crazy. Come on, sir. We're going to do one at a time here. Actually, I think I can do two the next time. Hold on one second. 
resume. Okay. Am I that far off the junk destroyer? Did I say six? I'm gonna go put this deep burner up. Yeah. We should be able to do multiple at a time. Because I have like a lot of health from my armor. Can this dude just die? Well, we probably could do more than two at a time. We got two more to go though. Oh yeah, you just hold right club. How much health do you have? A lot. Let me get to work. Oof. I have bursting vitality and I also have the heal when you get hit things. So it's like, it makes it a whole lot easier. I don't know what these Robin things are, but I delete them. Emerald site. I don't really need that. Love. Oh, whoa. We got six nether stars, which I only needed two, but I'll take it. And so then that can go in my backpack. Same with this. Okay. So we do need a spot for nether stars. I'm going to go put this inner dragon up thing. And so we're going to need two of those goes in here. So I need the two for the time being. So that finishes that out. That as actually, do I have efficiency on here? I do. That's kind of crazy. Um, I need 19 more. Do I have any more bones? I can make some more bone meal. Do I have any? Oh, we have the withering soul. That could be good later down the road. What is this? Lapisite? You know, honestly, I need some lapis real quick. So you just hold these things down. I know I'm going to need some lapis. And then from here, you just go somewhere that gives you lapisite for 10 seconds or 10 minutes. I should be able to find this, right? I need to take this deep learner off. That's the clouds. Should be able to find the deep learner or find the lapis. Is there not lapis in the overworld or the mining world? Am I tripping right now? Is there not lapis? The ore site. It's working in the overworld. Where's my shovel? You know, we're going to have a problem with food here in a little bit. Well, I went all the way for just one piece. My inventory is going to get real full real quick. I just needed a little bit, and I ended up getting a lot of bit. Delete, delete. We don't really have a whole lot of uraninite, but that's fine. Okay, and the blood thing's full too. We'll get that. We'll work with that later. All right, so this has made me some bone meal. I can take the bone meal. I don't know why I was able to pick up more than that. I really want to get this stuff done with the chunk destroyer. Eight more. I don't know why it does this like bug where it stays or stands still like that. That's weird. Yeah, it's so weird. This should be the last bit. What am I doing? Why did they go in there? Bam. All right, pump plus. 
Now I need some redstone torches. I think it's 12 total. And then we need some glowstone. So one, two, is it three, right? Quarry plus, quarry plus, chunk destroyer is three, eight, eight, sixty-four, two. Hmm, what am I missing for the chunk destroyer? Did I not put the pump plus in there? Diamonds, this, this. Oh, I need three pump pluses. Oh, it was just weird. Okay. No, I need two. It's just being weird with that. And so before I make the rest of this, we're going to need, first off, we're going to need the experience crystal. And then we're going to need to make a um, quarry plus. There's going to be an experience pump. So this right here. So we're going to need to make this. So I need a, oh, I need hay. I need hay bells. It might actually be a good idea for us to go find some hay bales because we're going to need a lot of food anyway. And I think that's important. That gives me some time to use my danks here to smelt down. Do I not have any other things than copper in here? That's all this copper. All I got is food at this point. So we got the chunk destroyer so we can split here. And so we'll set the mob farms up in a little bit, but we are going to go find some villages. So I'm going to go ahead back here and I'm going to use a structure compass for this. If I can find my structure compass. Okay. I don't know why the cooldown doesn't let you like search for things. We could bone mill things like that if we wanted to. I need the seeds so we can go village and there should be, I don't know what CTOV is. Can I used to do Minecraft village. Can I not do that? They're not like a village, jungle, buried treasure. Am I tripping right now? Village plains? See if there's one nearby. I could just fly around to find one. I can't believe I didn't pass one while there. Are there not a single one nearby? You've got to be kidding me right now. Let's go fly this way because we haven't gone this way yet. I need some more water things, kitty slippers, lols. Oh, micro missiles! It's one of the things we need for our all of the 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 speed run. We actually need that. We need brown mushrooms as well. I don't know what happened here. Can I have my magnet on? Did it not pick up those brown mushrooms? Yeah, there wasn't that many. What happened here? Oh, I still have lapisite. That's kind of funny. I'm going to need these pumpkins. I know it kind of sounds funny, but I'm actually going to need these pumpkins. I need them later in the run. Is this supposed to be a village? I don't know what is going on here. What are you, pumpkin warden? Well, too bad I'm taking all your pumpkins. That's weird, bro. That's weird. So there's not a single village around here. I know this is when I ain't gonna find no cactus right here. I'd be upset. There's a village right there in front of me. I don't know if it's the village I need. Oh, this is a witch's hut thing. The only thing I can get here, I think, is beehives. Right? I think I can get beehives here. They have any villages places like actual buildings? Am I tripping right now or is there nothing here? Okay, there we go. That's a raven place, but I don't think this has the That's a double chest, right? Okay. Sometimes there's like bee places and stuff here, but I don't see nothing of the sorts this go around. Where are all the villages? I'm kind of tripping right now. I can't believe I'm going out looking for a village right now. That's what I'm looking for is a village. If 
finding all these biomes and everything, but I'm not finding a village. Room portal, no village. No chest on this one either. Where are all the villages? I need that chicken. But I can't make the mob yoinker. But I need that chicken. This is actually going to put me super behind. At this point, I should have just went the hay bale route. We're already generating chests we haven't yet. I think there's a village to the left. I would assume that there's a village somewhere up here. Oh, there's that. That's actually a really good find. And there's a village underneath it. I don't know what happened here. And we're raiding. Unfortunately, I don't care. Sucks to suck, I guess. You guys are screwed. It's a beehive. Please don't tell me that it's actually screwing up the, the farm or the thing here. Oh, I'd have loved these earlier in the game. Well, whatever. It's a raid. I don't care for a raid. I'm not here for the raid. Ooh, there's a rose bush in that. Rose bushes are perfect. Where is your waystones? Don't tell me this is all y'all got. I know y'all got our waystones somewhere around here. All right, I got enough of those. I need a waystone now. Sorry about it, dude. I don't really need the waystone, but it would be nice to have the waystone. That's where it would be right here. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Why do I have all these random seeds in my inventory? Bro. Random seeds? Okay, cool. Do I go up there and loot? Do I need anything from this loot? No, I don't I don't go up there to loot. Alright, so I need to put these nether stars up. This should give enough. I need the pumpkins out of there. I don't know why the pumpkins are in there. Uh, this will give me enough to make the quarry. Ex what do I need? This is redstone. There's just a bottle of enchant. Do I not have any bottles of enchant? Oh my god, I actually haven't found any bottles of enchanting yet. So I, I what is it? F 64 bottles of water is the alternative, I think it was, right? 128 water bottles? Are bo Let's just go back and loot that place. I know you're raiding and blah, 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 blah. Did we loot this thing over here? Because we actually need the bottle of enchanting for a couple of things. So I'm kind of actually sad that we haven't found one yet. Lost page. That's experience. I'll take that. See if I can find one up here. I keep sliding off my, my chair. Okay. Turn it off, hover. This should have a lot of random things up here, but this should have a bottle of enchanting somewhere. I just need our bottle of experience or whatever it is. I don't know why I haven't hat found one yet. It's kind of crazy if you ask me. Bro, what is up with that dude? That dude didn't want to die. There's an iron backpack and an iron backpack. And an iron backpack. And a feeding upgrade. If I remember correctly, these dudes kind of hurt. Am I going to get an iron... Am I going to get it? Bro, you guys are annoying. I don't even have to kill you, I don't think. Am I really not going to find a bottle of enchanting? Is it called a bottle of enchanting? I don't remember now. Just 
just went here for all of my goods, all of my loots. What is not needed in my inventory right now? Is that really where we're going to be at right here? Do I really just need to make a bunch of bottles at this point? Because I need just a bottle of honey at this point. Because that's all the loot, I think. There's one more loot at the very top. But yeah, that's not good. No bottle of enchanting. That's insane. I think the villagers would have it down here. Totem, though. Yeah, I don't care for the totem. Glass bottle. Should be one in one of these rooms. A brewing stand. I could have used that earlier. One in this room right here. Nope. Usually I find them in these chests. I need that bee thing, though. Usually I'll find them in these chests. Did I loot the thing that was over here? I did. I don't think I saw one in there either. Nope. Interesting. Dude, I really ain't got time for y'all. As I strip the wood off of the random wall beside me. Did I go through this door? I did. I went through this one too. Wow. You got a chest in this thing? Ugh. Bottle of enchanting. There we go. That's what I needed. Bottle of enchanting. I just I need more than one, to be honest with you. That's the bad part about this, is I need a lot more than one. This is actually not good. What do we get? Of the royalty? I don't even know what that is. How's your progress? What up, Smeagol? I'm actually doing pretty good. Make the pylon and then the bottles. Can I just easily make this with an experience droplet? Just enchant a bottle of honey? I usually just find them in houses and stuff, so maybe we just get lucky and find another one. Pick that bread. Just gotta keep looting everybody's houses until I find them. That's simple. Somebody's in this room. Oh, I actually need a villager. Oh my god, I don't can't believe I forgot that. I'll grab a few of them. I'm gonna need a couple of them later. Flawed Jim the Warlord. I'll take that. Any more chests in here? Spurgeon was like, what up, bro? Okay, so we have one bottle of enchanting, but I actually need multiple. So that's kind of a problem. So we'll have to figure out the solution. Baby villagers just chilling in there. Um, I guess the other solution is going through these chests down here. You doing better than last time around? Uh, Kind of. Yes, no, maybe. A little bit. Kind of doing all right. I'm uh, right now. I'm actually at a bad spot because I'm actually losing time because I don't normally do like this. Bottle on a mob drain or an XP pylon. That's a good point. So let me try that. So because I know I need the experience drain, mob grinding, experience drain. This thing right here. So let's go ahead and see if I can make this. So I need one of these. And then I need one of these, which I need a hopper for. And then I need uh, iron bars for, which I should have already had iron bars. And that could just go in the garbage can. And then a bottle. And then so. Ah, easy. Thank you. Easy tricks. Okay, so now I can just come over here, throw this sucker in there, bam. And I don't know why that's not enough. Am I missing redstone? Missing redstone. Cool. Okay, now it should be everything. Now we need the experience crystals. So to make the experience crystal, we need to grab three black concrete. So we have to actually make it. So we should actually have black dye somewhere. Did we not take black dye with us? 
Okay, I only need one of these for the time being. Actually, I need two of these. I would prefer two of these, but I don't know that I'm actually going to be able to get it. Where's all my gravel? Did I not grab all my gravel here too? Just in case I need it later. And then we need lime dye. So lime dye, pretty sure I can make lime dye out of, was it red plus green? So I need one cactus. Let's melt it down. That's what I was getting those poppies for. Am I tripping? Red plus white. Why is it? Why did I think it was red plus green? Why am I so bad? Or it's green plus white. Okay, green, white, lime. And we're going to put this in the middle. And we're going to grab a glass. or do like this. Bam, boop, boop, boop. Bop, beep, boop, boop. Okay, so now we have the chunk destroyer. So now we need to get the ender chest set up. So I need two ender chests. I don't know if I actually have the stuff for this or not, but we're about to find out. So one, two, and then we need wool, which we should have the string for it. Okay, ender chest. And so the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to pump this into a backpack if I can. I need so the pipe upgrades. How are you doing about a different? We did a little bit of a different cheese strat in the beginning. So that's currently where I'm at. I think we can get to the advanced or the ultimate. I'm going to need several of these. Don't know why I only made one. Am I out of gold? need to put these backpacks down, man. I actually need one of these backpacks. Now that I think about it, I need to upgrade one of these. Do I have any more gold in my backpack? Okay, there's two of those. Okay, so. All right, cool. We can do this in the netherite. That's fine for now. I think I do need the stack upgrades and another void upgrade for this too. It's a good thing we got all that stuff earlier because that's really good. We need another stack upgrade. I think we have plenty of dye or iron. I think it's the gold that we're missing right now. So we need a stack upgrade. We don't really need, I think void upgrades fine. I think that's, we need a deposit upgrade, deposit upgrade. Okay, so we need a piston, need a one a cup. We need a chest. Okay, deposit upgrade. You don't have to make an advanced one. I'm sorry, now we're gonna take this diamond backpack. It don't have to be another, right? We're gonna do the deposit upgrade. We're gonna do the stack upgrade and the void upgrade. We'll set all that stuff up a little bit later. We're gonna fly out here and I'm just gonna set this chunk destroyer up right out here. So we got to turn this into the normal stuff. We're going to get the chunk destroyer out as well as a point. I'm going to set this up. So for the time being, we're just going to place this sucker down. We're going to go back this. Nope. It's going to go this way. Nope. I'm going to go this way. Let's do 10 this way and then 10 that way. And that should be fine for our first one. We'll throw the backpack on top for the time being. Okay, we got to turn the deposit upgrade off and then we throw the backpack on it and then we throw down the point and then we should be able to turn this to our network and so now it should get started. So now we want a way to pump this over here to our other base over here. We're eventually what we're going to do is we're going to take and pump this into an ender chest and the ender chest is going to come out right here and pump into here. 
So we'll actually have a backpack right here. So what I would do is I'm actually going to do the item pipe. I'm going to do an item pipe here. Oh, I didn't put the experience module in it. Where did I even put this up? Do I even know where? Okay, it's over here. Yeah, I forgot about this one. I got to go put this back in here. I forgot about it. But yeah. And now that should just give me a ton of experience while this pen are getting that up. Okay, and so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the backpack on top of this. So the backpack will be there. And so for the time being, I'll just act like nothing's there. And then on top of that, we're going to go up just like this. I'm going to break this. And so I'll do the ender chest on top of this. And so we need some ender pearls to upgrade this. If you don't know, you can use ender pearls on the uh, thing to upgrade it to 27. So just like that. And so then we're going to get our wrench here. We're going to sneak click this and we're going to pull from it like this. And so now it's going to go into this backpack that I'm going to grab from over here. So it doesn't have an inventory right now because I'm going to snack it up. I'm going to grab the pipe. I'm going to do an item pipe or the ender chest on top of this. It's going to fill that ender chest up. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to throw this same backpack Sneak right. Oh, I'm going to sneak right click that sucker right there. And then I'm going to set this up right here and do it like this. And so essentially it's going to pump it out if it has a spot. If it doesn't, this is what it's going to look like, as you can see. So we're actually going to avoid some of these things. So we're going to do only works with upgrades. We're going to avoid overflow. We're going to block. And so um, all of this stuff should be deleted when I pick it up. That's a problem. We needed higher than uh, this stack upgrade. So we're actually going to have to take this out and just, I can't shift delete this. That's a problem. We can only hit delete on it. And so the only way for us to do this is to do a trash can to get this out. The sort button, even if I click sort or whatever, it's not going to let me get rid of this. So block, this is going to be what I don't want to block. So void overflow, it should delete everything here. Yeah. It's because it has a stack upgrade in it is why. If it didn't have the stack grade upgrade in it, it would just void everything. That's one of the things that I wanted to avoid. I kind of want to keep that. That can be voided. I really don't care about copper right now. This is the problem with stack upgrades is if you don't have enough of them, this is what happens. So I probably should make some more iron stack upgrades for the time being. I will need the end stone. Oh, I need the compacting upgrade. That's what it was. That's what I always did to make this run a whole lot smoother is the advanced comp uh, compacting upgrade. I need four pistons. One, two, three, four. I always forget about this. This is like my favorite upgrade. I just throw the sucker in here. And then when I sort this out, it should automatically sort all these out to compact them down. So advanced compacting should be working in upgrade. So I should be able to just click and see this is what I was missing out on. And so it should automatically sort everything the way I want it to into blocks and so now if i pick this up i should have no problems so i should be able to go like this and i should be able to throw that upgrade back in there and so that'll pump out everything but it doesn't have a spot and it'll compact it all up and that's one of the big things that i really wanted to do and so now i can come over here and i can throw everything that doesn't have a spot so this is what this uh deposit grade up or upgrade is for so everything that doesn't have a spot will go in there so i think raw copper has a spot but i could be wrong I don't, the block of raw, of raw iron can have a spot too. Why not? Uh, I think I have a spot for raw iron, but I could be wrong. I think I have a spot for raw uranium too. I don't think I even need the small ones. Um, osmium can go. Can I not sort that into osmium like blocks? Where are the osmium blocks here? Am I tripping? Oh, there he goes. I'm going to have to upgrade all of these eventually. Yeah, pretty much everything. that This should also have a spot, but it might be full already. Is it? 
Did not I have a spot for Lapis already? Oh, it's full. That's no bueno. If you don't have stack upgrades, yeah, I love this thing. I love the stack upgrades. And so, yeah, this is kind of all set up now. And so this kind of gets a, everything out that I want it to. And so we're kind of good on the Chunk Destroyer. And so this will give me all the basic stuff. So I can grab out all this raw iron that I just got out of here. All 14 of them and throw them in here to smelt them down. And so we should have plenty of iron. Like we should eventually get plenty of iron. How much iron do we have right now? 311? Okay, so now I kind of want to do some automated stuff right here. So let's go ahead and go refine storage. Um... Crafter, we're gonna need a couple of things here. We're gonna need a crafter. We're gonna need the crafter monitor and the, I don't think I need the crafter manager. We're gonna need the pattern manager or pattern grid. And then we're gonna need the pattern recipe from it. Okay, my ass is hurt. All right, let's see what I can make here. So I know I can make, I should be able to make the pattern stuff. Grab some of those out. Okay, so I should be able to make a couple of patterns. All right, and then I should be able to make a pattern grid. I just need to grab more of the grids here. So bam, bam, bam. And so now I should be able to make the pattern grid. Yeah, and then pattern grid's done. And now I need a crafting monitor. So same thing, I need two improved processors. Okay, so crafting monitor. All right, so now we should be able to just go straight off of this. Like there, there's our crafting monitor. And then we have our pattern grid. Uh, we'll put this above it for now. Okay, or behind it. Pattern grid. Okay, so this is where our patterns go. And so we can make a crafter now. If I can grab the crafter. I don't think I can make the tier one crafter, right? The iron crafter? What does it take to make the iron crafter? I should be able to make the iron crafter. So let's make an iron crafter. Hold on a second. Iron crafter. So we need a couple of construction cores. A couple of destruction cores. Okay, we're out of these. We're going to get this automated here in a little bit. Are we not doing that for this run? Where are we with the split? We got to do mob farms next. So we're just setting up the basics like stuff that I'm doing right here. I'm setting up this basic stuff so I can uh, make the mob stuff a whole lot easier. Should be able to still make these iron crafters. Bro, what? Should be able to still make these. I want to make two iron crafters. There we go. Okay. Problem is, is as you can see, we're kind of getting a little uh, full here, which is annoying. Do I have any more cables or did I put those up? This is going to be the most annoying setup you've ever seen in your entire life. Okay, turn off exact. And so now we're going to make a couple of these things. So the first thing I want to make is I want to make the... Uh, we're going to do mob grinding utilities. We're going to grab some of these recipes. So the reason I do this is because the mob mashers are really annoying to make in terms of recipes. And so that's one of the big things that I make a recipe for. It's because I want to just be able to make these recipes and just go about my life. So I'm going to stick these in here. And then, so the same thing, I don't think the, the recipes changed on here. We don't need the mob fan. We do need some vector plates. So that's going to kind of suck, but we do need the mob masher uh, or the, this upgrade. And we do need the looting upgrade looting. We could probably add the rest of them. Do I not have any more patterns? Hold on a second. Pattern. Now we're out of glass. 
We're gonna get to those later. So patterns. Okay. So that should make, we should be able to make the mob mashers. I don't really, I'm only going to make three this time. I don't think I need any more than three. Missing some sticks. Laws. Not a speedrun, so general question, but accepting the quest for a chance as some materials would be better than crafting the idol items. I would do that, but the problem with doing that is that I feel personally, since I'm the quest dev, that people, it would uh, take away from the legitimacy of what I'm doing. And that's kind of where I'm at. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want people to think that I'm like cheating per se, or, or feel like I'm cheating. And I don't want that to happen, you know? And that's kind of why I don't do it personally. So like, oh, Alfred, you're the quest dev. You could make the quests. I'm like, wow, you're absolutely right. That would be kind of messed up for me to do that. We're missing some iron there. Can we get by with one for now? Probably. Probably only need one for kind of the insta or mob ones that we have. Do we not have any more iron smelting? Is that all the iron that we had? Oh my god, that was all the iron that we had. Oh wow. We're already out of iron. Did we not mine any more raw iron up? Bro, am I kidding? Are you kidding right now? Raw iron? Is it just not mining up raw iron or is it just not coming out of the chest fast enough? I feel like it's just not coming out of the chest fast enough is the problem. So we probably need another upgrade for this, but that'll work for now. We could, so what we could do is since it's not coming out of the chest enough, what we could do is we could grab this and instead of putting the chest up here, put this up here and it should output everything into here. Like it should literally get everything in. What is this? Avoid overflow. Am I tripping right now? Ah, oh, it's still just going through everything that's in here. Is this, does this not have enough power? Bypass limit power surge? Oh, I'm just, I don't have enough power. That's what it is. That's weird, because it should have plenty of power. Fair take? Yep. That's, that's where I'm kind of at right now. We'll get plenty of iron later down the road. But this works for now. I'm actually surprised we don't have any iron in here. What up, SK? How you doing? Okay, so we should have the mob. We sh I mean, we have three. We don't need three. But I would really like to get some more of these upgrades go going. And so we have some basic auto crafting stuff. So I'm going to break this glass. And uh, I would build my build right there. But I think I'm going to build it... I want to build it where I can go and pump into that. Our storage. Ex okay, we'll do it right here. That's what we'll do it. We're going to do an extender or whatever. And so the backpack that's going to sit here with a mob thing is going to sit right here. And so the kill zone would be right here. And so this would be wall, wall, wall. And so kill zone, we'll just do one for now. We'll put this here. And then, so this is where our thing would be. Let's get some redstone glass. So I can just go ahead and turn this up. Do I not have any glass? Oh God, let's not get redstone glass. Let's just get a redstone torch. Put it here. We're gonna grab the mob masher, put that sucker there. Now this could absolutely kill me. So I'm gonna hold on before I put that in there. I want to just hold on to that. Okay. And so this is where they're going to die. Vector plates need sugar. And so vector plates is the one of the main parts that we have here. So we're going to hit A here. It needs sugar. I don't know if I have much sugar. I should have plenty of sugar cane because I grew a bunch. How many do I need here? Do I not have deep slate in here either? So what do I need? It's a seven by seven, so 49, right? Well, it's a good thing I can't make 49. Ooh, I'm gonna need some more sugar. We'll get some more later, okay? 
So essentially, we're going to push them all here. Okay. So we're going to go back this way. So where is my center at? One, two, three, and then I do my center here. One, two, three, wall. Three, one, two, three, and then we go back this way. I, I don't know why I'm doing this class. I don't actually like doing this class because I don't actually need it. So we're going to go back this way. I could literally just do cobblestone here, but it would look really bad. But I'm actually going to do the cobblestone because you don't need the glass. It doesn't, the ever brighter, whatever, doesn't matter here because you need dragon eggs anyway. To be able to get through these things. This is why I have the mob. I, you know, honestly, I should be doing mob grinding stuff while I'm doing this. Let's actually go do that real quick because I need those going. Okay, why did I type in mob grinding? It's hostile neural is what I need. Hostile neural networks. So we need the loot fabric uh, fabricator and the simulation chamber. So we're going to make, we're going to need a bunch of these anyway. So might as well make a bunch of these. I don't know how much sticks that I have. We're just going to make a bunch of them. And so we should be able to make, I don't want to make like 30 of them, but we're just going to make enough for now. Okay. Well, that took all the diorite that I had. Cool. And so what is this glass pane? Do I not have any glass panes on me? Do I have any glass? Okay. There's a glass panes. Maybe I went overload on the glass pane. So simulation chamber, and then we need a loop fabricator, which needs a netherite piece. And so we're also going to need a point here. And so this is also how we're going to get our, um, wither stuff. So maybe we do another simulation chamber. Uh, we can actually attach this to this with some flux ducts right here. Okay, so we're going to do simulation chamber here, here, and we're going to put the ender dragon one in this one, and then we're going to grab out where is our this? Those for right now. Put that in there. And so we'll put that back up. And so we don't need the point anymore because it's fine. And we're going to pump those into here. And so now we just need an item pipe. And we need a wrench. I just need to get that backside here. And then we need the... Okay. Am I just completely out of power here or something going on? Are you just not producing any more power? Am I not producing enough ethylene? We need to go turn off our chunk destroyer for now until we upgrade this. So we're going to do power surge. We're going to turn this off. We're going to go transfer limit is zero. And that basically turns this off. It's got to catch up anyway. It's already mined like half of the things that it needed. And so that's fine. That'll give us the power back. And we need the speed upgrades to upgrade our power a little bit more. I wonder what's causing... Oh, is it because it's filling these up right now? That's what it is. So once that gets back power, we need the speed upgrade from mechanism. We need some osmium dust here. And that was all of our glass. And so now we should be, I think the crusher is fine. I think the PRC is the problem. It is not fast enough. So we're gonna just grab some of these. We're gonna grab some of these. Just a little bit more is all it's gonna need. It's not gonna do anything because the chunk destroyer is off and it's fine. And this is gonna just suck up all the power until it gets it all, so. It is what it is. We just need the prediction matrices. It doesn't have to actually have a full thing of power either. Very clean base. Oh my God, it looks really bad. It looks awful. And so we need more glass, don't we? All right, so both of these are gonna fail and that's fine if they fail. We're just gonna let these go until we are ready for it. That's fine. Um, so now we need some more sugar. We need some more glass. So maybe we go get some more sugar cane. Did I put all my sugar cane up? I just want to put it all in here. Okay. Okay. And so this is to make the vector plates. That should be plenty. 
Okay. And my center thing right here, I'm going to actually not use glass. I still need glass, so I probably should go get it. But I really don't want to use, I use deep slate usually is what I normally do. And so for the sake of time, we're just going to use normal deep slate. It's going to look real bad, but we're going to use it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this in my offhand and then I'm going to grab one of those wands, which I don't know if I put the nether stars up in my inventory or not. Nether stars. I'm going to just make a diamond one. I was going to make a normal one, but you know what? And so what this will do is we can just go up from here. So realistically, we don't need to go too far from this because this right here only needs to be three tall. And so the three tall would be right here. And so that way this would be our door. And then so now I want to block this off. So that way when I do the upgrade like this, like when I go up from here, that's not going to do it. Okay, so we need to go three blocks tall. So one, two, is this off? Three, three. Okay, so three blocks tall. And then this is where we would put uh, my trophy if I had one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's two blocks above it. And then this would be the roof right here. So we need to go up to this point. As long as I don't mess this build up. Okay. And so now I'm going to use my building gadget to do build to me. And so this should make, oh man, I did all glass. Oh, well, that's fine. So now we just need to make sure I don't walk over that because that would kill me. Yeah. And so we break these middle pieces out. This is a new world. This is a brand new fresh run. Okay. So this is where the spawners and stuff would be. And so we want to, I kind of want to turn this off in the middle down here. We'll just get that later. I don't want to, I don't want to die in the beginning. Um, and we can put some blocks here to block this off in the beginning. We might redo this a little bit later. And so that way they have no choice but to be slid right into there. So now we do our vector plates. And so I like to put them into rows. Like I like to get them all the way there and then use the stuff. And this is how I'm going to transport them there because I don't want to deal with it. I'm forgetting a lot of things. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Come on. Try not to fly on top of it. But you can hold shift if you didn't know this. You can hold shift and it'll let you. You won't have to. You won't slide. Okay. And so this will go this way. And so since I only have one, this is just how things are going to fly. And so now we just put like this and we'll, we'll come in there. We'll be able to come in here and put some stuff up for the spawners. I don't know what spawners I have, but we don't have any chickens or anything. So we need to make a chicken spawner and all that good stuff. So that's kind of a problem. But we at least have this here. And so we also need a couple of other things. Trying to make the meteorite compass. How do you put it in the charger? Uh, you should just be able to put the meteorite compass. You just put a compass in the charger. Uh, we're going to do not a compass. We're going to need a functional. We need a, an extin extension that we need. So we need one of these. So we need two more blocks of quartz. Do I have a ton of repeaters? And so this will output into two things. One, an experience crystal. Am I tripping or did I do something wrong here? Shouldn't this be one more block out? Why am I? Why do I care so much? Okay, so universal pipes would be, are a good one for this. So we have item, water, fluid, and so now we need pipes. We're going to need another one of those where we need uh, this right here. Then we can make the universal pipes. And so we want to do one here. And then this is where the drawer can controller extension would go. And so we would pull from right here. 
This is where all of those things are already set up. So void overflow works block. And so we'll block those here in a second. So we'll put those up right quick. Um, I'll throw that in there for now. That can go in the garbage can. And so now we just need to connect that controller with this one. So we're going to need a linking tool. Where's our linking tool? So this should still link. Okay. Link the drawers to the controller. Is it still linked? Okay. So this should link. And so now it'll go in here and the experience will go in here. So now if we grab those expawners out over here and we can grab them out and use them, I don't know which ones that we want, but we're just going to set them up and see what we have. Cause nothing's going to spawn here. That's the biggest thing. And so as long as I don't die trying to grab this. Okay. So now I should be able to come right here and just break these down. This is the ugliest place you ever did see. Nothing's going to spawn, so I don't really care. It looks like it's going to spawn, but nothing's going to spawn. And I'm not, did I just put a box down with nothing in it? Oh my God, why am I like this? Okay, so now we have everything that we need here. Let's see what spawners we have. Vindicator, Wither Skeleton, Vindicator, 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 Evoker, Vindicator. Okay. So I need a couple of eggs here. One of these spawners needs to be an Enderman spawner, but not for right now. I need a couple of eggs. What eggs do I have in my inventory? Because we need a Creeper egg. Did we ever put the eggs up in here? No, they're all in my inventory. We have a spider spawn egg. That'll be good for silk. Or, sorry, that'll be good for string. Any other eggs in here? Nope, this is where we got to go make one. Can I make the ethereal glass yet? I think I should be able to make it. Oh, I just need more glass. Okay, so it's okay because we got to find a chicken anyway and I got to mob swab it. Do I have any str do I have any more strings here? Let's do that. I don't know how much I'm going to need here, but I don't want to make a stack. I know I have a bunch back in the but you know what? I don't even need to do this. Stick. We're just going to go on a mob swabbing frenzy right now, okay? That's what we're going to do. I don't even know why I have this trophy on me. I don't know why I put the torches in there. Okay, so we need to get a chicken. We need to get some seeds. Seed. We also need some buckets. I don't know how many buckets I have in here. How much buckets do I have in my inventory? Uh, iron. We're, we're not really doing the greatest on iron. We need at least four buckets. One, two, three, four. And so in our crystal over here, we can put all of our stuff in here. One, two, three, four. So we'll put those up. We got the seeds, and now we just got to go find a chicken. Where's the chicken? Og devastation and pre 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 preservation. I personally found Og way more fun than, um, sorry, devastation way more fun than Og, but I don't think that either of them are good uh, in terms of preservation or uh, devastation. I think Og's like just, or like we're just going to make it where everybody has to do this one thing. Okay, so we're specifically looking for a chicken. That's really all we're looking for here is a chicken. I don't know what this witch thing is over here, but I kind of want to kill him. Oh, we need a witch spawn egg, actually, so I'm going to swab this one. Does that actually give me the boss? Hopefully it doesn't give me the boss. That would suck. This is the ogre slayer. Oh, uh, he died. Ooh, Lucas is blah, 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 blah. That's real cool. What about SK? Then why are you murdering them in your death trap? Oh. Oh, these are just random evokers. These are Minecraft evokers. They're not even on the same level. He has a Minecraft. Ooh, I need that creeper and the skeleton. Yo, he tried. What you thought you were going to do, bro? This man thought he was going to do something. How cute. Um, At least I'm getting what I need, though. Except for chickens. 
I needed, I don't know that I needed that zombie. What type of, oh, I took this mod out. I don't know why I bought, a, bought a better animals. I didn't know foxes can, other oh, swimming. I was like, I didn't know they can walk on water. These damn things are amazing. Where did we find that village at? The village, village was down here, right? Yeah, village was all the way down there. Let's see if we can find some stuff while we're flying. There's a really bad problem right now with things like not like going away once they've already spawned. I don't know what to do with these tokens. Well, once you've redeemed it, once you're good to go. We need this sand over here, so that's what I'm going to grab. Here, Jay's crying again. Okay. I might have to go upstairs and help put that boy to bed. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. He should be asleep. He's really struggling today. Poor baby. Should be plenty for now. It looks like a spawner structure. So we have a wither skeleton, so I don't have to worry about that. Is that a chicken? That's a chicken. 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 Bam. All right. So now we do the chicken plus the bucket plus the seed, and that gives us this chicken feed. And so now I can just, oh, I can just. Chicken egg. Now what this, I have a couple of spawners in here, but I don't know which ones I actually have. And so for right now, if this is a, that's an Enderman, I want to keep that one. Okay, so I'm going to grab this other spawner that I have. Which one is this one? Vindicator? Okay, I can actually take this one. Okay, we're going to take this, create into a chicken one. And so now I can go ahead and mix some of these together to make the things that I need. I'm going to need a couple more of these chickens later, but. Happy birthday, Daco! Happy birthday, Dargo. Okay, so now we just need to put this on here. And we'll mess with the rest of these chickens later because we got to go swab some more things. Okay, so we have a chicken swab now. What else do we need? What do we have right here? We have a witch spawn egg, a creeper spawn egg. We should have a skeleton spawn egg. The creeper is the one that I'm going to, um, I, what is it? I need the dragon egg. So I should have dragon eggs. Actually, I shouldn't have to worry about that. I have nether stars. Where are my other eggs? That's not an egg. They tricked me. Okay. So let's go back home and we'll come back here and see if I need them. I'm just going to blow those chickens up, you know? This is the best looking thing you ever did see. I got to be real careful not to die here. Me slowly falling is probably the most dangerous part about this. Okay, so Vindicator can get swabbed out with... We can switch this out with a skeleton. We need a creeper and we need a witch. Those th three things absolutely have to come in there. So skeleton... We need to keep the wither skeleton. We can get rid of the vindicator and switch it out for the creeper. And then one of these needs to get swabbed out. We have a enderman already. So this one, that's my chicken spawner right there. I'm going to keep that to the side. And so I'm going to go, um, bam. To move my enderman one, evoker spider. So what are we missing right here? A I think we're missing a creeper, right? Or not the creeper. I want to keep that evoker spawner. Do I have another spawner here? Should have another spawner. I want to switch that for a cave creeper. That's going to be the harder one to find. Do I not have another spawner? 
That's my chicken spawner. Right? Is this my chicken spawner? I can't I can't remember. You are not my chicken spawner. Perfect. I'll put you up here. And you're going to be something different. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the nether quartz and the blaze and all that stuff so I can reduce the spawn range of these. Okay, so we want to get this guy down to two, and this one can go to three. Three, three, three. See, these are all really good. And so now these just need... This one's a bad spawner. That one's a really bad spawner. I need a ton of sugar to get rid of that one. That one's kind of rough, man. I don't really want to get a ton of sugar for it. Uh, coarse fruit is good. So did I put coarse fruit in here? Nope. Put it in my backpack. Coarse fruit, coarse fruit, coarse fruit. Where are my eyeballs at? There she blows. Okay. Coarse fruit. This makes it where they all have no AI. Okay. We didn't change that top one for a creeper yet, but we'll do that one. And we need redstone comparators. I don't know if I, did I make them all in here? I did. This will make it where I can use redstone on them if I want them to turn on and off. Okay, and then clocks are the next one, but we're going to mess with that till later. Um, silent is wool, so that way they don't make a sound and I don't have to worry about them making a sound. String. Dragon eggs on the other one, but I don't want to do dragon egg just yet. We'll, let's go see how many dragon eggs we have. We'll see it here. They're probably not going to... Oh, no. Has this not even gotten a single prediction yet? Oh, my God. Oh, is it because it doesn't have any power? That's why. Silly me. Boop. This costs 4,000. And this one costs 2,500. That one failed. I love it when it fails. It's just going to do this until it fills the energy up. And so it's going to suck all this power out. It kind of sucks, but it do be what it do be. I said I was going to save that and break that down over here. And put this in this backpack right here. So at this point, we could use a dragon egg, and I kind of do want to use the dragon egg specifically on one thing. And the dragon egg we have is not in my backpack. Did we put it up in one of these chests over here? Did I put it up in one of these? Yes, I did. So we have two. So we can put one on the creeper one and one on the skeleton one. So those two definitely have to do it. And say so now we just need the uh, redstone links. Actually, hold on a second. We don't need the redstone links. We need gauges. I usually do redstone links. I actually don't like the redstone links anymore. So can I make these easy? I actually like these a whole lot more, just so you guys know. These are a lot cooler. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I need more than eight. If you've never done this, I actually asked specifically for this mod to go in there because they're so cool. So we're going to go just like this, and we're going to switch this all the way over until we get the two-button switch. Check this out, okay? So I'm going to place one out here, and I can't remember exactly how it was to do this, but I'm going to place one out here, one out here, one out here, one out here. And so now we need something, some kind of slab or vertical slab for this. Never seen this mod before? Dude, I love them. Um, vertical slab. Can I make a vertical slab out of anything? Okay, so I just need to do... Can I do cobblestone slab like that? I didn't mean to do that. I don't remember which one I'm supposed to do first. Hopefully they can't hang on the lip right there. So now you need some ender pearls here and you want to do this one at a time. So if we did a stack of the time, it'd be bad. So I think this target switch memorized. If I come over here and I put it on this one, link pearl plugged. So this should work to turn that one on. Or it's actually, I did that wrong. So if we come over here and we, okay, that turns that on. We don't want to do that. We're going to break this. And it should give us an, our ender pearl switch back. 
So place this down. I don't need that on. I need to come turn this magnet on right here so that it picks everything up. And so it's reverse. So basically I can turn this back into our ender pearl. And so you do like this. We're going to take and go ender pearl here, ender pearl here. And now I should be able to turn on those spawners like that. See? And so ender pearl, and it's just a wireless redstone thing based off of like this really cool. Do I need a third one? Oh, I do. It's just a, a whole cool switch thing that you can do. So bam, bam, bam. And now everything is controlled by that one. And that should spawn everything that has a dragon egg on it. So it should only be spawning the creepers. And so this isn't fully upgraded. So that's a problem. So let's upgrade that. And that should kill them all. And so now I can dictate whether what I want them to keep or not. So we're going to block that. So that way it keeps it. We're going to block the rib bones. We're going to block the inferium. And so now this should work. And so now I can actually grab those nether stars out that I have. And this should be able to, this is much cooler than create. I really like those. So skeleton spawner, I want those to spawn without me being around. Creeper spawner, I want those to spawn without me being around. So we're going to change and do all of them eventually. If we can get a, oh, a dragon egg. We got a, we got one prediction. I don't think it made a prediction for the other one. This one's out of prediction matrices is the prediction. We never started smelting down those, that sand. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, there's all our glass. Great. Do I have a spot for this over here? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Prediction matrices. And then we needed the glass panes. It took 16 of them suckers to be able to make one. Kind of crazy if you ask me. So this one actually went through. This one just doesn't have the power to keep up. For whatever reason, my power is actually not keeping up. This is fast enough. This is just not fast enough. We're also going to need a void upgrade very soon. But this just needs to be upgraded. Speed upgrade, which is what the glass is for. I think we should have enough to upgrade these. We do. Might not be able to keep up with the power for now, but that should be able to keep up with the production that I've got going on here. And so we could do a basic tier upgrade or we could do speed upgrades. What are we missing on this one now? Redstone alloys. So iron. Do we have any raw iron in here? Oh my God, we got a bunch of blocks. How is this? How is this backpack holding up? Ooh, is it done? I think it finished getting everything in here which is pretty cool. So this is actually supposed to be, uh, we're actually not going to set this to void overflow. Um, we're actually, no, I don't I want to actually just void what's in here. So works and gooey. So we're going to do void any, and then I'm going to allow this to block those so that they get taken out. Cause I want these, I don't want any of these Icorian gems or whatever. They're all really bad. I don't use them for anything other than every time, everything I've ever seen these for is just because they look cool. That's it. Everything else is kind of just garbage. So we have plenty of raw things in here, plenty of raw iron to smelt down. I don't know if it'll be able to keep up or not, but we have it. Get all the raw iron going. Should have taken you 20 at 5%. You are lucky. Wait, 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 what? Hearts. It should ta have taken you 20 at 5%. 20 to get one. Really? Get another dragon egg. Is that guy stuck up here? What are y'all guys doing up here? Cool. 
really, this is the two that we really need. We need cactus. We need a ton of cactus, and that'll get us started with the mob farms. But I'm right now. I'm just waiting for all of these to give me a bunch of dragon eggs because we need a dragon egg per one of these. So like wither skeleton spawner, I need a dragon egg for. I need one for the witch. Enderman doesn't really matter right now. The spider is pretty important right now. So we'll let all those go, and then that should start really increasing that the stuff over here. So Inferium can be going. Wither skeletons can be going. Or the skulls can be going. Sugar I don't really care about. I can upgrade some of the stuff. We want redstone. So anything that I want to keep here goes, it can stay here. So this should actually be pulling out. We just needed one of those pipe upgrades for that, I guess. We're going to get to some more automation here in a little bit. This should have a spot for all of these. Is it me or does it not want to pull out right here? Is it pulling out the... This should be connected. Yeah, it's connected. So it's just not pulling out of the backpack. I wonder if it's because of the way this is set up. So I wonder if I do like this. I think it only is going to pick one of the ones to work. That's why. So it'll work here. So if I put this in here, it should work now. Yep. And so this will connect over there to that. And then now I should be able to do, um, I need one more universal pipe and put the experience crystal right on top of that. So then that should give both of them. There we go. There's not a space for sugar over here, but I'll make a space. It should pretty much fill this up. You see how this is all full? That's good. Well, that is a good idea. Depends. You made for nine is really nice. Yo, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Oh, that's full already. We already got that full. So, yeah, this is just going to fill this up real quick. I don't think I need anything else for this. I think this is pretty much what we need. And so we got the... We're either waiting on nether stars... Our dragon eggs. And so we need to actually go and swab a cave creeper real quick because cave creepers are really nice to have. And so let's head back to the overworld and go get a cave creeper and then I'll call it for the split. And then we'll get the elemental craft stuff set up. I need some automation st uh, stuff set up too. All right, so we're going to be looking for a cave creeper. And so cave creepers only spawn below a certain Y level. And they only spawn in, you guessed it, caves. Caves. Not caves. I need to get rid of like all of this. Some caves to my left here. It was a lush cave. I wonder if we're going to find a cave creeper in this cave. We usually you find them when like when you bust out in the middle. Ooh. Hey, Mimic. You did not look like a Mimic. I two shotted that guy. What do we get? Priest's experience. I'll take it. That goes on one of my hands. And I got two hands somewhere. That dude was just chilling, wasn't he? It was not a good farm place for it. That would be though. I am. Where the hell is this thing over here? Is it over here? Don't tell me that was it. Did I just see a pillager spawn there? Sometimes these can be cave creepers right here. Hello, cave creeper. Cave creeper. There's a huge place over there. Oh, hello. Cave creeper. Cave creeper. Longevity. That's not never a bad thing. I don't think. Hey, Creeper. I don't know with all these little spiky things, but I think that would stop them from spawning. And is it going to be for the Greg star? It will not be for the Greg star, but I will be doing an all the mods nine speed run. I might actually do it. For, who am I kidding? I might actually do it for the Greg star at this point. 
Don't quote me on that. Yo, thank you for the follow. That was It's Gay. It's K? How you say your name? What is Viridium? Is there like another spawn system around here that I can find? I just need to go back to that big place that I saw under the ground the other day. We need to start putting this stuff in my dank, bro. Like the vertical slabs, those kind of things. Heard that? Shh. You didn't hear nothing. You don't, you do not know what, what you're, what you're, what, what I'm saying. No clue. Bro, where is this cave creeper at? You know what we didn't do? We didn't go back. Hey, mama. What's up? We didn't go back and, uh, oh, it is. Okay, so never mind. But darn, are you heard nothing? Y'all don't want me to speed. Y'all don't want me to speed run, Greg. Y'all think y'all want me to speed run, Greg? Y'all don't want me to speed run, Greg. Trust me. Y'all don't want this smoke, okay? Trust me. Bro, where is it like a place for me to just come out to that I can find a cave? Being a Greg Tech is easy. Y'all will be so mad. Be like, oh, how did this man figure this out? Because Greg is dumb. Oh, that's not that bad. You're just chilling. You have a good day today. I'm actually really behind right now, and I'm only getting more behind the more we go through here. Because this should be spawning some cave creepers. There should be cave creepers in here, and I have no idea why they're not. And it's not even letting me find any cave creepers. There's nothing actually spawning, which is very, very concerning. It's probably because it's a lush cave system, and that's probably a spawner system up here. I wonder, do I need zombies for anything? I don't think I need zombies for anything. There's literally nothing spawning in here, and I just need a cave creeper. I wonder if I could just dig a good area out and that make them spawn now that I think about it. I wonder if that'll work. It's ball shrinking cold. Oh, was that cold? And so now if I get rid of Kiwi here. That's a lot of stuff. It's supposed to snow this weekend? Oh, no. So if I go home, maybe I can make me generate some here. Should be able to put these things up and have no problems. Did I have a spot for raw urine tonight? I don't know if I did or not. I did. Okay, cool. How are we doing? Is this working fine over here? And did they spawn over here? Hold on. I didn't mean to turn that on. One's doing okay for now. It's not keeping up, keeping up, but it'll work. Yo, panicking thing with a follow. And pull a spawn egg. Wait, what? Why would I do that? That's kind of messed up. It's di They're dying fast enough. Everything should have no AI and everything should fall straight down and die. Oh, well, that's kind of piling up, isn't it? This is why I have more than one because, well, that happens. So let me see. Yo, thank you for the follow TD Deacon. Uh, mob grinding. We're going to go ahead and make 10 more of these if I can. Can I make 10 more? Can I make 10 more looting ones? Oh, I'm missing the, the lapis. Glad you know what you're doing. I'm lost watching you. It's okay. I think I am also usually lost here. Did I just get shot? These guys should have no AI. I should not get lost or I should not get shot. Can I, did I get enough for both of these? Oh, I'm still missing iron. Should be smelting all my iron down, which should have all of everything in here. A whole 64 of them. I usually make nine of each, but this should work for now. And so now I can turn them all off with, ooh, with this button right here. Bam. Spit them all out for me. It did turn them off, right? That guy just kind of got stuck down there. And so now I have to actually do a couple of things. So first, I got to put these down. So boop, boop, boop. 
And then we got to put this in here with my little Captain Hook. Miss you too, Mama. I uh, hope you're doing all right. I hope everything's okay. And so now we got to break this. Break this. And then we come over here to this side and then we grab them two out. And then without touching it, we're going to come over here and we go like this. Oh, Ooh, that could have been real not good right there. And then now we should be able to grab some of that glass that I have. I need the ethereal glass. That's what I need. Do I have the ethereal? Can I make the ethereal glass now? Should be able to. Cool. And so now I should be able to get in and out with this. Ooh, I see a problem. Don't touch that. Okay. Oh, I see another problem. Did that break it completely? I didn't know that broke it like that. I'm just going to make this my entrance. So that way they just go straight up into there. But bam. So now they should spawn and they should all just go to there and then die. Cool. Fantastic. How are we doing over here on the loot fabricators? We've got wither predictions. We got three of them too. Dark ethereal. It's uh, in the mining world. You're not going to get it dark enough for that. I think this should be making some predictions somewhere. Dragon eggs are good to have, but the nether stars are going to be really good too. Because now this should make me five. And I should be able to turn the rest of these on. So ignores conditions, ignores players. Ignores conditions, ignores players. Ignores players, ignores players. Am I missing anything here? It's just the Enderman, and I don't really need them to spawn just yet. <sighs> okay. And the spider should actually be dead here. Oh, we get stuck up here. That's not good. Okay, we're still doing the... Trying to find the... Do my fly through. Light doesn't matter. Do they not have no AI, or am I tripping? Do the spiders not have no AI? They do have no AI. So why are they getting stuck? Why did that dude spawn with a spider on his back? And why is this not killing fast enough? Why are they... Which one's spawning with... Which one's spawning with the stuff? This one? Is it the skeleton spawner that I got? Something's making the spiders all spawn. And I don't know which one it is. I've never seen this before. Splitting up last time. It will be in three different runs. What up, Bear? How you doing? Okay, that should eventually clear out. But I am getting gems for it. So I've got that going for me. I got a gem of the combatant. Which would be real good if I cared. I'm wondering why that's not working. That's kind of weird. We also got some refined obsidian, which is kind of hilarious. We can actually take this refined obsidian stuff and um, use that several times. So this is not actually dropping because we don't have the cave creeper. So we got to find the cave creeper. This will be fine. This will figure itself out. So we got to find the cave creeper. And there should be, it, like, it should spawn. I don't know why it's not spawning. Like, cave creepers and everything should be spawning here. Like... Do I have to do the chicken trick? I don't want to do the chicken trick, but I can do the chicken trick. Do I need to do the chicken trick? I think I need to do the chicken trick. I didn't want to do the chicken trick, but we'll do the chicken trick. I'm doing pretty good, man. Just got to do the chicken trick. Not the, we got to make the uh, dreadful stuff here. So we need four more buckets. And so this will make me, this will go what I'm going for. Do we not have any rotten flesh in here? Did I pick some rotten flesh up? Where's my chicken spawner? Is this my chicken spawner? I think this is my chicken one. Okay, cool. Oh, wait a second. Why are these guys spawning? 
cool. We got a rotten egg for this. Now we need some dirt. We go slash back. Do tell me this chicken trick. We're just going to force the spawns here. So we're going to make sure that I get... I think I need to restart my game here soon enough. But we need a 5x5, five five, so we're going to do small square. We're going to go here. I just hit too fast. I'm probably going to have to restart my game here soon enough. You see that? That was a dripstone creeper right there. I don't need a dripstone creeper. I need a regular creeper. Oh, what is this? A basalt sweat. Okay, so we're going to resume and let's see. Okay. Let's see if we can get a cave creeper to spawn here. Oh, literally cave creeper right after the bat. That's all I needed to do. Oh, hey, cave creeper. I don't need any of this stuff, but I do want to kill that guy and these guys because screw them. That's why we could make a skeleton thingy. I don't really ever need. I'm never going to need this again. Just so you guys know, I'm never going to need it. I do like those shards because they make grenades. Do we finish the rest of these? I don't know which one actually spawns things. That's my problem. Which one has my spawn skeletons thing? Because the spiders are spawning up here and they're getting hung up right in there. And that's not a good thing. And I don't think there's a good way for me to fix that. Maybe make a panel. Hold on. Panel. Frame blocks. I think the panel is not going to work because it's too thick. But they're not spawning the spiders up here anymore, so that's good. Can I get out of here? But they're still not killing fast enough, which is kind of weird. They should all die right there, but the spiders are crawling up, and they're not supposed to crawl up. They should literally run into it, and then they should immediately die. Like, that's a problem. Because they're stacking up. So we're going to have to turn the spiders off. I thought we already turned the spiders off, but we're going to have to turn the spiders off some more. Which one's my spider spawner? That one right there. And so it's connected to that. Let's just, we'll come and get a spider spawner later. I think we're fine on string right now. We need a bucket of experience. We'll do spiders later, but that should kill everything in there. And some seeds. This would be bad if this wasn't a chicken spawner. I'd be like, oh no. We're gonna do this, gonna do this, don't gonna do this, gonna do this, and then we're gonna say goodbye, chicken. And then we're just going to cover this chicken spawner up. Yeah. Put one of the mashers up high. Find me a good idea. Alright, so spider spawner. Do we want we want to cover that up, right? And then we want to do the vindicator and turn that into a cave creeper. And so now we can put that panel back up. Problem is, is we're still gonna have to connect this. So right click. Alright, so it's already linked. Cool. Wait a second. Why is it not working for the rest of these? That should work for all of them. Can I get through this wall, please? Is it just not working anymore? Okay, so that picked it up down here, and that's okay, because I actually wanted to move it to the front door. Do 
I have to go back Redstone Link or am I tripping? They're just acting like they're not on or are they actually? Okay, they're acting like they're not on. They're on. It's just acting like it's not on. Okay. So let's go grab those dragon eggs then. Should see what else we have in here. Okay, we got a plenty of nether stars plus dragon eggs, which is good. And so now I should be able to disable the conditions of each of these. So cave creeper, disable the conditions. Nether stars. Ignores players. Ignores conditions. Ignores players. Uh, we're going to keep the endermen off because I don't really need them right now. And so now we got to fish the problem with the spiders, right? Are the spiders done? Yeah, spiders are fine. We're good. Want to be Pokemon Go friends? If you don't play for them more than 90 days, use my referral code and make both of us rich. Wait, wait, what? What are you talking about? I think we're good. Um, this should pretty much start generating a bunch of stuff. We should put the raw gold over here and we should do, we need to make a spot for raw gold. And then we should do a spot for, we have a spot for glowstone, so that should be fine. Um, sugar will upgrade the wither skeleton skulls, but it should already have a spot for that. Um, I don't think there's anything. It should drop raw iron, but it should, that should already have a spot too. So raw gold is the only thing it doesn't have a spot for. We're going to need more drawers and we need more drawer upgrades. So we could go ahead and split this because I would say that this is pretty much done. So split. And then now we just need to get into the elemental craft stuff. So that's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, but we're going to get there a little bit later. So put the nether stars up. Uh, do I have the rib bones? I do have the rib bones. No, you. No, you. Okay, we'll put that up too. I love you, BG girl. Hope you're doing all right. Are you guys trying to yell at me? Well, that spam. Is it though, CJ? Clean up my inventory because it literally bothers me. All right, so this should give me a bunch of iron and a bunch of copper. I literally don't have enough copper to, like, do anything. Is this just not... Do I not have any more raw iron to smelt down? Alfred, not going to be my Pokemon Go friend. Dude, send me your invite code or whatever. I'll I'll be friends. With, I, I mean, I ain't got a problem with being friends with anybody. I'll be, I'll be friends with anybody. I don't care. Bring it. Okay. Okay, so these things should be done. I don't really need anything else because they have these. And I think I can actually use these to make the dragon head if I need it, nebulous heart, and I think that's it. So that's fine for now. I don't need it for the redstone stuff. So the mob farms are going and stuff, so we got that going. We need to do some auto crafting setup. This is like a really awful setup right here. I hate how awful this setup is right now because we need to get some auto crafting stuff going. Oh, uh, that's not good. So auto crafting is going to kind of go back here. We can kind of just move all this stuff. We really don't have to have all this stuff here. Because I don't really need these here. We can put up the wither stuff right now. We could probably get those going a little bit later, but for now this is fine. We can clear all these up. This is like backup in case my power runs out. Should have the point right there, so this should be fine. And realistically, I can just break these two as well. Oh, well, there goes my controller. That's not good. Pretty sure. I don't think the controller actually has any info in it. Okay. I'm not going to need these anymore. I don't think so. What up, Allie? I don't think I really need those anymore. But we can start getting some auto crafting patterns and stuff done. And so we're going to need more patterns in general. I don't know how many patterns we can make. Oh, that's the pattern pattern. Let's go ahead and make a pattern pattern for our patterns. I like the pattern pattern. That's my favorite. And so let's just go ahead and make see how many patterns we can make. Eight. Cool. And so let's go ahead and start grabbing some stuff. So first off, we're going to need this. Um, we're going to need to get rid of that. We're going to, we don't need these anymore. Uh, I don't know why that thing is over there. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, a crafter pattern would be good so we can make the upper tier pattern stuff, but we're going to need to make 
these two plus this. We're going to need to make all the basic processors. We're going to need one for, hold on a second. We're going to need the basic processor recipes first. We should have the silicon like, or the silicon like easy enough. So raw advanced, raw go improved. And so these should go in the bottom ones down here. These are smelting or these are normal patterns. So we need the smelting patterns to go somewhere else. These will go in here as well. So that'll make almost everything except for the smelting ones. So we'd have to make the smelting ones first. We'd have to get a furnace to be do that, able to do that. So let's go ahead and make a better furnace. So I don't know if I have any furnaces in here. <laughs> Screw it. Deep slate furnace. Can I upgrade these furnaces to iron? Oh my God. I actually can't. Wow. That's kind of crazy. I think we kind of need some more power here. I'm going to be honest with you, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to go. Sometimes you just got to do it. I don't even think I have an emerald furnace for my normal one. So what am I missing here? Magma cream? Can I not make magma, magma cream? I can. So there's that. And I should be able to make one all the modium furnace. And so realistically, this is just smelting down this stuff right now. I'm going to replace this emerald furnace right here with the all the modium furnace. And so I'm going to give it the furnace upgrade of the, this. I'm not going to have enough power for this. I'm going to be honest with you guys. We're going to auto split this. There is no way in hell it's going to have enough auto power for this. What the hell is going on here? Why can't I? Why can't I click this? Am I tripping right now? Am I just clicking things over here? That's dope. I love that. Oh my god, it's smelting so fast. I'm playing an hour now. Or iron now. I did make a pattern for my pattern. That's what I did. Okay, so this is the reason why I did this is because I'm going to need one of these for like auto crafting purposes. And so I can actually extend this. I do want to move this one. So this is already done. So what we can do is actually place this. The Alamodium Furnace. Is going to be, let's do the netherite furnace for the auto crafting stuff or whatever. Cause I don't really need, this can just go right here in the back. So let's grab the factory augment here. Actually, no, this doesn't need to be in the back. This needs to go underneath it. Cause the reason why is cause if it doesn't, it won't get power, but I need a crafter to go right on top of it. So I'm going to grab a crafter here. And I'm going to grab the crafter and place it back like this. And so this needs some kind of cable here, which honestly, I just need an importer. That's one of the recipes that I actually need. So I'm going to slap this on front and then I'm going to slap this on the back. Bam. And then that should connect to our system once I do this. And so now I can put that pattern in there for this. And now we can grab the recipes that need the like smelting. So like if I come over here and grab this, I can do this. So now we need more patterns. Should be able to actually just auto craft patterns now. Should be able to anyway. Um, processor. So we got the basic one. Let's do the advanced one. So these are my smelting ones. This will be like glass, all that stuff. So let's go in here. Let's do glass. And so this is going to be smelting sand. Oh, if I can do this right, make sure that it's not going to be, um, this is 
not exact. I don't know if that's actually going to work like that. Is there like a just a sand one? Okay, that's the that's the same one. That should work. It should be processing, but it should be fine. I should be able to make some glass. Do I have sand? I don't have any sand, but that's fine. I think I actually do have sand in my backpack. I do. Okay. Or my dank, rather. So, the Alamodium furnace that I want to use, I'm going to do another one of those augments. There's no way I'm going to need or have enough power here for this. But I'm going to grab the recipe for this. I don't think I have everything. Oh, I don't have the piston. You did what in a cup? Y'all are going to be so mad at me by the time I'm, like, finished streaming or whatever. going to be like, why in the world does he keep saying the what in a cup thing every time he sees a piston? I hate the piston recipe, just so you guys know. I don't know if y'all know that or not. But I absolutely hate the piston recipe. I don't know if there's enough room over here for all the glass that I have. It's got a upgrade slot, so I guess there is. And then so the dank gun go in here as well. I don't know what I just did, but apparently I did that. These two can just be deleted, and then the rest of this stuff, I don't even know what the heck it's supposed to do. Let's go in my inventory. Do we have enough room for all this iron? Like, is it full? Oh my god, all the iron is full. It's messing in my chest currently. Okay, and so same thing here. I want to import from here. So this is set to output. I need to actually output this on the top. And then import this from the back. And then right, click. The, can I? Auto import. And this will make it where it imports right here. And that's fine. We'll do an, uh, the custom importer or whatever later. And so same thing here. We're going to split this out. We're going to grab some flux ducts. Put this here. Going to charge it up. I'm almost absolutely certain we're going to run out of power here because like it's kind of getting close and so i, I do want to export stuff onto this i want to export all my like things i need to i need an exporter and i need an importer i don't know if i have the stuff for this or not i think i'm gonna need more cables i'm gonna also need the uh recipes for this we have an exporter and we need an importer we need to get the recipes for this too. Okay, so like this, if I had the recipe for the importer and the exporter, so let's grab those real quick. We need the recipe for the cables too. And then I need the recipes for the importer. And then if I throw all these in the right places, so here, I should be able to say, hey, I have an exporter. I need an importer. Can you make me an importer real quick? Sure thing. I got you. Bam, boobity, boop, bop. There's me an importer. So I do actually want the upgraded versions of these two. So these take a little bit more. We're going to need an elite exporter and then an ultra exporter. And then we're going to need an elite importer and an ultra importer. I don't know if I can actually make these just yet, but I'm, I have them. That's all that matters. Okay. So this thing needs an importer on the, or an exporter. Let's do an exporter here and let's do an importer here. And so then we need to connect it with a cable and that should connect it all up. And so we have an exporter. So it's going to go input. And so input from the top output on the side here. We're going to do nothing on the side and that should be fine. Does this have power? It does. Okay. So now I can tell this thing that I want you to export all the raw stuff that I have. Like I want you to export the raw copper. I want you to shove that stuff in there. So we're going to export the raw copper. Actually, do we have a lot of copper right now? Can I make the drawers? Let's go ahead and set up for the auto drawer system. So let's do copper upgrade. Let's see what we can get away with. Okay, so we're going to need to make chests and drawers. So there's the chests. All right, and so now I can throw those in my crafter. And can I make the drawer? So can I make the upgrade here? Ah, oh, I can make the upgrades. We'll do these of four of them. We don't have enough wood. Giggity. We still don't have enough wood. Okay, cool. So that's a quarter stack at a time. I know it's fast. I guess the his patterns consistent out of many patterns. Out of the pattern, out of patterns, I make a nice pattern. Out of patterns. Do, 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 do. Pattern, 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 bitter pattern. Pattern, pattern. This is all of my oak right here, by the way. This is what I'm growing all of my oak from. And that's why there's a cactus in here, because that's what I'm growing it all from. You might wonder, why am I doing all this? So if I throw these all in here, it actually should import. Oh, God, we're going to need a better importer. 
Can I make the, the better importer yet? I wonder if I can make the better importer. Let's go double a check. Can I make the elite or the ultra one? I can. Oh my God. That automatically does stack at a time. So that actually should work a whole lot better. Can it craft anytime soon though? Bam. Okay. And that should just take care of that problem. Cool. And so this is still growing cactus, but that gives me the green dye. Problem is, is I need these copper upgrades because I need to upgrade everything. We also need some void upgrades. So can I just type in void? No, we actually need to come over here and do void upgrade. And so this will work with us on a couple of things here. So run out of space relatively quickly. I don't know how much obsidian we have. We're actually not. We actually hold on a second. Are we actually that much out of obsidian? Hold on a second. How much obsidian? Oh my God, we're almost out of obsidian. So let me show y'all how we're going to get by that. So we're going to do exchanging gadget. You know what we didn't do? We have, we don't have a way back to the, the end. We're going to upgrade this real quick. And then we're going to go back to the end. We don't have a way to go back to the end right now, which is not good. No bueno. Just going to upgrade these in case we need them later. We're going to have so much steel. It's going to hurt. This is definitely going to get upgraded, and this is definitely going to get... Both of these got to get upgraded. That's already upgraded. We're already almost out of obsidian. I don't know why it's not working for that. That's already got upgraded once. That needs to be upgraded again. You know what we don't have? We don't have blazes. We don't have a blaze spawner right now. That's... That's a no bueno. That's not good, y'all. We don't have a blaze spawner. We got to get a blaze spawner. Okay. So we do have enough to make a void upgrade. I don't know why it's not letting me make. We have a couple to make. What? How many can we make? Is there any drawers in here? Okay. Whatever. Well, let's go get, let's go back to the end. We need a waystone. Can I make a waystone before I go there? What is it? Way warp stone obsidian. Oh, the amethyst. That's what it was. This is what our, I grabbed all that stuff from it earlier from. All right, and so now we're about to go. Ah, uh, hold on. There. Done. Pew. This doesn't actually need a spot, but it's fine for now. Nice auto clicker by hand. Do we smelt all this stuff yet? How's my green dye looking? Okay, cool. Is this still fine over here? Yeah, this is still fine. <sighs> How much is it stocking up here? Not much at all. How much are we doing on experience? Cool. Do we tell us to export this yet? Oh, this is, we got to have the elite exporter. We've got to have an ultra exporter to get this to work right. Problem is, is if we don't have the right things for this, it's not going to work. Okay, so we should be able to make the waystone now. Right, we just need stone bricks. Alright, so I just need one for this one. And so now I could go back to the inn. We're going to go, I don't think I have a place back to the inn, so I just got to fly there. It's like he double clicked his mouse quite a bit. Maybe a little bit. Do I have my thing all the way turned up? I do not. What time is it? Nine o'clock. We got three more hours and then it'll give us nine hours of play time in a 12 hour stream. 13 hour stream that is. Oof. Where did I go down at over here? Did I go down in the sand over here? I think I did. I think I went down right there. We and then I kept going down right, bro. Hello, hello. This dude's just been waiting on me since 1946. I went to, I went down, shouldn't have gone down. Can I? There a reason why? Oh, it's because it's on small square. What up, everybody? It's been a minute. Okay. Whee! And 
And then from here, we grab our exchanging gadget and we grab something out that we have a lot of that's in our dank. And then we just set this to surface. And then we exchange this out for obsidian. Just grab as much obsidian as we can. Easy. It's just exchanging everything. Should be going into my dank now, I think. And if I need more, I just respawn the Ender Dragon, right? Cool. 1.4k. Dope. That's another little trick there. All right. So we'll put that way warp stone up for now. I think I'm pretty solid on everything else, but this should make it where I should make some void upgrades now. The only problem I have now is I got to get started with these seed things or I'm screwed. Oh, okay. I got to actually put it out of my inventory. I don't know if I'll make 64. Should be able to make 10. That should be no problem. Mostly, the reason why I wanted to do this is because some of these things can just be voided when they're too high. Like, I have plenty of those creeper things. I can turn the creeper one off. Um, but, like, the glass, the sticks, all that stuff, that could be voided. So if I put that on there, we don't need more than that for sticks. Um, this is upgraded here, but we have plenty of... That can just be voided. Um, that one doesn't matter. What is this? Silver and iron? Do we have any more copper? Where's our copper? Yeah, so we don't really need a whole lot more copper than we have, right? And so, like, this needs to be upgraded with a copper upgrade. I don't know how many more we can make. Missing some stuff. I should craft two. That can get a void upgrade. So I don't really need a whole lot of those. How are we doing on iron? Iron's fine. Oh, redstone really needs it. Bro, what? Has that thing been full? Oh my god. Oh, gold needs it too. So the thing is, is once I make this ultra stuff, so once I have this ultra exporter, I can just break this, sh sh slam this down, and grab the raw stuff that I need smelted, if I can see it. So gold. Um, should have some raw, like... Should have a ton of raw like iron and stuff. So just throw those in there and that should do a stack at a time. Easy. What up, Ian? Been out for a minute. Do I not have raw gold ready to go in here? Oh, I do. Block of raw gold. That needs to be ignored here, but you know, whatever. Block of raw gold can go in here and then we can take that out. And then we can put the block of raw gold in here. And so that'll start smelting it all down. And so that should pile up our gold a whole lot more. All right, so this is all pretty much good to go. We have an extra furnace, the emerald furnace. And I'll hold on to that for a minute. But I think that's fine for now. I don't really want to void upgrade anything just yet. But screw it, we're going to do it. I just, it just basically keeps things from getting too stacked up, which is a good thing. Cool. Wait, it smelt. Yeah, it'll smelt raw blocks. And see, it all I already smelted all the raw stuff in my system that I've already told it to, except for the like osmium, which osmium needs a copper upgrade for. But like, I can just tell it to give me some raw, and it'll do that. So, what else do I need raw smelted? Uranium could go. Platinum can go. So I can tell it to do this. And so now it'll push this as much as it can and it'll import it. I think Platinum already has a spot for it over here, which is good. So this is pretty good if you ask me. 
So I think we're in a good spot. So now we can get started with the elemental craft stuff. I don't really want to do this part, but this is part of it. Because you have to do this elemental craft. So you need um, the basic stuff. So you need an evaporator. All right. So let's get these recipes. I think I can get all these recipes. Do we even have the inert crystals yet? Crystal. Bro, we have regular crystals, but we don't even have it going right now. Is there any of the big crystals here? There we go. Okay. Elemental evap. Element. We need the small container here. The impaired element pipe. We need this recipe, which is the contained crystal. We're going to need to make a better crafter. Um, and that's one of the things that we needed here. And so we're going to need the evaporator. I think we're going to need the binder. Right? Can I make the binder just yet? No, we need the white rock and stuff like that. That'd be fine. And then we're going to need the infuser. So that's going to be important. So we're going to need that stuff first. So let's go ahead and... Crafter. Gold Crafter. I don't know how to say your name, but Sneaky is that how you're supposed to be said. So we're going to go ahead and get these recipes too. So I'm going to grab the recipe for this. This is going to go in the smelting one. This is going to be on the non smelting one. One of the things we haven't taught ahead to do is how to make a crafting table. And so that's going to go in there. So this is going to go. Uh, this is the building ones and this is the smelting ones. So we should be able to go. Did we teach you to make a gold crafter? Is that one of the things we did? We did not. We didn't get the recipe for the iron or the gold crafter. So we have to actually do that. We need more patterns, which should have a way to make more patterns. So gold crafter. Uh, iron crafter. Do we not? Does it not know how to make the crafters yet? It knows how to make one of them. Okay. And so let's take these out. I don't need them for now. We might need them later down the road. And now we should be able to make a gold crafter. I should be able to make one. I wonder if I can keep going up. Let's go see what the upgraded versions are. Okay. So gold into this. Okay. That's not going to. Wow. I got some jump on me. Oh my God. I like launched myself into the air. I already know how to make this. And so the max one is netherite. I'm not going to be able to make a netherite. There's like no way. Not until much later. But I know that I can make the diamond crafter. Crafter. Can I make the diamond crafter? We're about to find out. Missing? Am I missing the string? Wait, did I do netherite? You know, I could, probably could do a netherite, but... Diamond crafter. I'm missing three processor bindings. Processor? We should teach it how to make the processor bindings. Dude, I'm sitting so wrong. And it's hurting my ass. Such a grind when I played. Is there a better way to make the element juice than juicing the shards? No, there is not. Diamond crafter. If I had some more um, blocks of netherite, which we'll, we'll get later. So diamond crafter, and then that way we can just replace this iron crafter and then upgrade that as well. So diamond crafter. So we're just going to bust this sucker up. And then we're going to place this here. And so I'll put all these recipes in there that I have a recipe for. And one of the cool things is this is actually going to be faster now. And so I can also just do crafter and I should be able to make another diamond one. And so when I need this later, I can. We can also make the speed upgrades and stuff. We'll have to do that stuff a little bit later. But now we have another diamond crafter. And so I can actually just break this and place the diamond crafter on top. And it should still connect. Right? Am I tripping? Yeah, it should still all connect there. Because it's all right there. So cool. That's dope. And then, so now we need more space. All right. So what did we what did we make so far? We made the evaporator. We need the uh, infuser. Um, I'm going to need the impaired element pipes. We can do all the other stuff. So elemental and then pipe. So we can do the upgraded stuff. So right now we can do the element pipe, which needs the drenched iron. We'll do this. Go ahead and make it. Um, 
We need the... God, I love this song. It's like one of my favorite songs. Can I make a seed for these things? I cannot make a seed for these things. We need the element container. Uh, that's what we need. Because those are all craftable once I have all the stuff for them. Okay. So now we're going to need four evaporators if I can. So that should make those four evaporators. Just for right now, we need water and everything. We're also going to need to teach this the recipe on how to craft up. So if we do the raw earth shards, we need to teach it the recipes to craft upwards. Can I make some more patterns here? Can I make a stack of these yet? I can. Sweet. And so do raw. What do we have? Do we have this? So that's good. Do we only have raw water and and earth? We need fire, so that's one of the blaze things. That's what one of the blaze things were for. Do we have any in here? We have air in here. Oof, that's not good. So we actually no, need to go swab a blaze. Let's go ahead and get the recipe for this, though. We just need a stack of them. So we basically just need fire. What mob drops earth? Spiders and endermen. We need to activate that enderman spawner then. So that means we need to grab the ender inhibitor that I put out here, wherever I put. Did I pick that thing up? Or, oh, there it is. Okay, and then we should be. Oh, God. Now I have no choice but to block this off. Put that there. And then now we need to go fly in here like we actually care. Can I put the dragon egg up in here? And the star. And so this will start getting us some drops. And we can go Enderman. Oh, God. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Did it spawn it over here? Did it break the dragon? Oh my god, I was about to say, bro, what? We don't, hold on, let's see. Okay, that should spawn the Enderman now. They should go back, and they should die, and they should drop the shard. So now we need to go swab a mob spawner. I can put these stuff up, this stuff over right here. And we need to go swab a uh, blaze, and then turn it into a chicken. The easiest way to do that is to go to the other and see if we can find it. Elemental craft does feel like a, a grind. Okay. There's the that dude right there. Okay. I think I get resistance is why. I just want to kill him to see what he drops. I think that's why I'm pretty much invincible when he beats me like that. I got unusing on that. That's actually pretty good. I probably should put unusing on some of these things, but this will be fine for right now. And so now we got to take this Schwab. We're going to go throw this over here and this for the giggles. And we got to get a bucket and some seeds. All right. So I do need to make another ender inhibitor. That's not where it should go. It was right in the center here in the back. These guys just be vibing out here. It's it's kind of wild. What up, hello, De or Dop Dopo? Elemental craft is kind of here and there. It's it's okay. I think it's not bad. It's just not something I personally want to do, and that's just me. All right, so this should actually pipe out all of these. We need a spot for this. We have raw power. Wait, why do we have all this raw stuff? What what are we getting the raw stuff from? I don't know where we're getting all the raw stuff from. Does it have a spot? 
don't know if it has a spot or not. But we're gonna find out. Where I don't know which one's giving us the raw fire. But apparently we've got it. Are we getting more raw fire? I don't think we're getting more. Yeah, we're getting more. We didn't even need the blaze spawner. I don't know what gives us the raw fire stuff, but something we're doing has it. So if we go raw and then we do fire, we can see which mob drops it. So blazes, creepers. Creepers give you fire. Who would have thought? What are we missing out on though? Is there anything not going up here? I think air is Enderman. Earth is zombies and skeletons. We have both of those going. Okay, cool. So we have everything covered. All right. And so the annoying part of this is that we have to connect the system over here. And so we can either run some cables, which is probably what we're going to do. I'm going to do this over here. So actually screw this. We're going to do this right here in front of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that, you know, he can keep all of it. I don't even care at this point. Um, we're going to go over here. We're going to go evaporators and we need this small element container. So let's go ahead and grab like we need eight, I think. So grab an eight real quick. It'll craft it all. It crafted all eight of them. Cool. So we need one for water and then it's going to pipe out here. So we're going to need uh element pipe. We need like, let's just craft 64 because we can flip it over. I was talking about the very final uh, uh, because I, every time I remember I need to mess with the elemental craft for the star, I quit the game. That's rough, bro. I know that feel though. I know that feel. And so I'm going to put a evaporator right on top of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab out that raw. I'm going to grab the water out. I don't know how much water we have. I don't actually think we have water from something here. Now that I think about it. So I'm going to throw this inside of here and let this go. And then I'm going to right click here and then it'll pump it out into this. And so with this, we need the infuser. And so infuser, we're going to go ahead and craft four of these. Hopefully. And then we're going to grab this out. We're going to place this on top. And then, so this is where we need that exporter importer. So importer exporter. Okay, so now we're going to go exporter here and then importer here. And then we need some cables. I don't know how much cables I have, but we're going to connect these on the side here. And I'm going to try and connect it to this. This is going to be really annoying for now. Trust me, this is just temporary. Okay, and so now I want this thing to export iron. And so if we throw that in there and then we're going to turn this to uh, not fluids, items, whitelist. And so it's going to take, take this and until it gets everything here, it's going to grab this, bam. And then we're going to grab this, throw this in there. And so this is going to automatically set us up to convert iron into drenched iron, which is like one of the things we need a lot of. And so what we also need a lot of is we need to do the same setup here, but for um, earth, because we need a lot of white rock. So we're going to grab an evaporator on top of this one. We're going to grab raw earth. I don't, I think we need the fire too, but I'm going to grab raw earth. I want to say it's earth, right? Bam. And then, so that'll start going into here and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the element infuser here. I love how we went and got the blaze and which, you know, whatever. And so now the infuser is going to do, we're going to need an importer exporter combo again. So I'm going to go ahead and say to go ahead and craft three of those missing silicon. Okay. So the importer has a weird recipe unless I just don't have any silicon at all. I don't. How am I doing on quartz? I'm just going to go ahead and smelt the whole stack of it. Okay, does this not auto import? Oh, it's because it doesn't have the right importer. Okay, that sucks. Importer. Temporary. It's temporary, okay, Hilo? I promise. I promise. I need to go get some nether quartz. That's a problem. I still have a bunch of things I can grab it with, but I need to grab it all. Okay, so now we can do the same thing here. We're going to do exporter. So exporter is on the top for whatever reason. And then importer. So this one's going to do... Is it stone that I think it needs? I think that's what it needed. We're going to do blacklist. Or is it cobblestone? Do I have an extra one over here? Cool. 
So I didn't mean to put all that cobble in there. Because we only need one. And so bam. And so I can put the cobble up here. And then that should turn it. I want to say that turns it into white rock. Am I right? Or is it stone? I thought it was cobblestone. It's actually stone. So it actually needs to be stone. So that means we got to smelt all this down over here. And so that needs to just go ahead and smelt the bunch of stone down. That's what we need to do. So we'll grab the stone out. Which, by the way, stone should have a place right here. And so a bunch of stone, wherever my stone is. And place it in the importer or the exporter here, place it here. And then whenever it converts, we'll grab out the white rock. We'll place the white rock in here. And then we're going to connect these with a pipe. Like I said, this is just temporary. And so that should get the raw earth going. And then I want to say to make the element containers, we need a, we need glass. So we need fire. So that's the third one that I need. Hello. Okay. I was like, what? And so then we need an element pack. And what do we need to do? You know, you could actually connect it like this if you wanted to double up and be faster. And then so now we need an infuser. And we're doing the same thing here. We're going to do importer, exporter. Okay, set this to whitelist. Set this to... Uh, it's going to be fire, so we need glass. It's only going to be for a little bit, so that'll import glass, and then we grab the glass here. Throw this in there and go. I like your demon hunter's name, by the way. Glaive Donut. Dude, I love that name. That name is dope. I love that name. I think that name is dope. I hope everybody likes it. It took me a while to come up with it. Where'd you guys come from? Oh my god, why are there so many of you? Why are y'all teleporting? Oh, y'all just keep teleporting. Is it because y'all can't, can y'all not slide into the area? Is that what's going on? Hold on a second. Let's turn this off real quick. Y'all are weird. I feel like I need more of these things now. Is it not pulling out raw air shards here? Or is it full? The air shards full over here? Oh, they are full. Okay, cool. My shaman's nickname is Despotitotum. I hate all of whatever you just said. I hate that. That's that's something else right there. That's definitely something right there. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I guess we need more ender inhibitors. Ender inhibitors. Making sure nothing is going to spawn anymore. That one should be fine right there. It does a max range of five. Unless they're spawning because they're way up top. There's no way these guys are going to spawn now. No way. No way these guys are going to come out. No more teleporting Endermen. None of that. Okay. And so now the thing is, is now we actually have to start the roots thing. This is where I didn't put the roots crystal in here just yet, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to need the mortar. I'm going to need the pestle, which is wherever the pestle's at. We're going to make the crystal staff rod is what we're going for. We're going to need this mundane stone, this, this, and then we're going to need a couple of things. So first off, we're going to need a bunch of bone meal. So that's got to happen. I don't know how my storage system is going, but we're going to need a bunch of bone meal because we're going to need some seeds. I'm going to need that hoe that I made at the very beginning of the game. I didn't make, but I stole. Do I even have a hoe in here? I'm just going to make one. I'll make a diamond one or a gold one be done with it. 
I did this with body and body stood there and was like, what are you doing? And so now I can just bone mill this. Fun fact, if you actually put this in your offhand and then you have looting in your main hand, it actually increases the chance of you getting extra things out of this. I didn't know that, but I'm specifically looking for like one kind of drop. But for whatever reason, whatever, I think you actually do pickaxe, I think it is. But one of them in like it was giving me extra drops. So I need these verdant sprigs. I think I need four of them total. Probably going to need some more bone meal. Also make some more food. Alexa, play Des Despacito. Why are you like this? We need to just go until I have four. Come on, bro. I need more. Hilo's good to see you, though, buddy. Maybe it is the axe that does it. Can I right-click faster with this? Oh, my God. Bro, I need four of these. I'm pretty sure I need four of these. I need two for the casting altar, and then I need one for this one, and then I need one for the crystal staff. So I need four total. Different than the one that's playing? Am I really? Was I really? I don't think I was. I thought I wasn't. But I could be wrong. Oh, I'm going to need a bunch of these seeds, so I'm actually going to store them. 100%? Bro, was I really? Yeah, that's kind of embarrassing. Nobody look at me right now, man. Okay, and so now we're going to need to make all this runic stuff. So we're going to need a casting altar, which we're going to need a poppy for, which I actually got some poppies for. Lost. So we're going to need the casting officer, plus we're going to need this chiseled stone, which is one of the reasons why I made the chisel in the beginning. Chisel, 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 chisel. Where's my thick chisel? I need the chisel that's the thick. Okay, there it is right here. Thick chisel. So pump for the new quest when my surveys is updated. Oh, man, that's exciting. I'm glad you are. Because I am super glad that I made them. Uh, I honestly was like, I'm, I'm kind of just like at the point where I'm like kind of like, oh, man, I don't want to make quests again. For a while. I need eight of these. Or not. Oh, we need some stone bricks for this. All right, so we need eight of those. We need the incense brazier. We need like four of these, I want to say. Okay, and then that should take care of those. And so the crystal staff needs a couple of things. We're going to need all this extra stuff. So we are going to need a bark. Rough, rough. Okay, so we need birch, we need acacia, we need a blaze powder, and so this is a couple of different things. We need the mortar and the pestle too, so we need to make those. I don't know if I have the diorite for this. Did I pick the diorite up? I did. Oh my god, I need the diorite real bad. Makes me want a hot dog real bad. Okay, mortar and pestle. This is just to make the initial thing. So this is what we got the dragon's eye for. Okay, so let me show you how this works. So we're going to need three pieces of glowstone. Pretty sure it's three pieces of glowstone. We're going to need a piece of gold. Let's just do roots powder. So we can go here. We can go here. We can go find the acceleration one, which the acceleration one is right here. No, that's a, Oh, here it is. So we need oxide daisy, in stone, gold, sugar. So sugar. In stone, I don't think the in stone's in there, but I'm pretty sure I put it in my dank. Okay, so it's just to make sure that we're doing this right. It is oxide daisy, which should be in my backpack somewhere. I'm blind. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the follow. So is this no edit going up on YouTube? Yes, there is. It just takes a little bit. Uh, why do I have all these gems in my backpack? That's where all the stuff is going. Oxide daisy, bam. Okay, so this goes first. Actually, dragon eye comes first. Dragon eye, dragon eye, dragon eye, dragon eye comes first. Oxide daisy, this. I don't need the verdant sprig. I need the sugar, the gold, and I think that's it, right? Uh, 
in stone sugar or in stone gold sugar. Okay, so we do Dragon's Eye first, and then we do three Glowstone, and then we do Oxide AZ, this, 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 and then we grab out the Pestle and we smush it down. Bam. And this gives us Acceleration Powder with three Potency. A potion, see, potency means it's stronger, which is good. And so next we set up the Incense and stuff, so we're going to go ahead and do this. So Altar's going to go here, then we need the four around it, one, two, three, four, and then we're going to need these eight around it. So it's got to go two out like this. And so two spacing, so you could do just like this. And then that should be it right there. And those, those. And so now we need to go get the bark. That So this is where you need the bark knife. Rough, rough. So we're going to grab this. And now I need a piece of birch. So I need a piece of birch and a piece of acacia. So this is where I need bone meal. And so we're going to actually head back to the house for this with my hook. Where's my house? There it is. Bam. There will be one, Trent, though. Would have helped the time when I did first at Extreme Reactors. Dude, Extreme Reactors is so hard. Oh, my God. Okay, and so up top here, in the very beginning of the game, there was the uh, these with the things that I needed. So Acacia sapling, and there should be a birch sapling. There might actually be a birch tree around here somewhere. I kind of want to chop some of these trees down just so I can get all the stuff for them. I just want to get all the like regular stuff. Oh, there's a birch one. So we're just going to right click. I think I only need one. Oh my God. We just have so much dumb stuff in my inventory. I hate all these things that drop. I do like the red oak saplings just to be honest with you. And so Acacia is the other one that I need. And so we're going to just going to place this thing down and then I'm going to hit that sucker with some bone meal until it grows. I don't know if it's going to grow right here or not, but I'm just going to hit it. And then now I'm going to get the bark off of it. And I think I only need one bark for it, and that's good. Now we can do slash home. And so we can go ahead and put some of this oak up that I grabbed. I was intentionally grabbing that for oak. And then now we need blaze powder. So let's see. I got this set up. Blaze powder. We need coal block. Bro, we got so much coal. Uh, we have acacia, verdant sprig, birch bark. We need blaze powder plus a stick. We got plenty of sticks. Okay. And so where's this at? Bam. Okay. So we're going with the crystal staff one. This is what we're supposed to do. So incense, we're going to burn the block of coal and the two barks and the sprig. Okay. So block of coal, the two barks and the verdant sprig. Okay. So those will all be burned. We're going to need a plain steel for that but we need to put some stuff on the altar first and the altar needs the blaze powder diamond block is what i need diamond block so diamond block stick and then what was the other one um the blaze powder okay so we put this on the altar so one two three then we take and start burning these one two three four then we right click oh and we shift right click it ritual started and then we wait. You know what we never did? We never split for the mob farms. Split. Because that's what we're doing right now. Okay, crystal staff. All right, so now we need this plus the verdant sprig. And then we need the spell powder that we have. And we're going to set that in there, set it on fire, sneak right click, ritual started. So this will basically give us the speed onto our crystal staff. And so this is the what I skipped. Bam. And so now if we shift click, we get until there's a color there. Bro, I don't understand. I just, I don't understand. Where are you guys coming from? There's no way. There's just, it's not possible. Is this just late game purely? What do you mean? This is literally the full speed run from the start. Like we, that timer you see, we, I've only been in this world for seven hours. The patients have escaped the asylum. Bro, I'm about to just make these guys get stuck in here. Okay. Spawner has one range too much. Does it? Oh, it has two range too much. So we need nether quartz and blaze rods. I'm going to fall and get killed, bro. Good eye. 
Oh, that could have been real no bueno. These things can kill me easy. Okay, so three is where it needs to... Ah, three is where it needs to be. No more of that teleporting around, bro. No more of that teleporting around. How do you make apotheosis? How do you... What? Like, how do I make it... Uh, like, what, what's the question here? Because I'm not sure what do you mean. It should have room for all of this. If I don't, you know what? It is what it is. We need some more nether quartz and stuff, so I kind of want to get my other stuff going if I can. Okay, so here's the question. How are we doing on these drenched iron ingots? We got 44. Okay, so I need, what is it? It's 12 for setup times four, so I need 48. Right, one, two, three, plus nine, so that's... I need 48 of these element pipes. Okay, are these element containers. So I need... 48 of these and so i'm missing 99 105 and 14 okay so this is what the staff is for uh, i just I set up my godforge por or pearls and xp if you got those then you need to make it where let's see we're gonna speed this up you need to make it from there uh you just need to have more gems and so this is gonna speed this up and so all this does is just speeds things up so if i hit this evaporator and i hit the uh infuser it's going to increase the speed at which this goes. But see, here's the problem. This has to extract faster. And so this one isn't extracting fast enough. So we're going to make sure we hit this. It is an AOE, just so you guys know. It is an AOE how this works. And so we need to hit the infuser. Is a projectile. You can't see it when I have it like this. But if I turn this up, it's going to speed this up. Yeah, I'm seven in real life hours in. Uh, I am 22 days in right now. Day night is disabled for the run. Oh no, it's fast. It's there. What's the goal? Trying to make the Aldemod star. This is evaporating faster than I need it to. I need this to extract faster. So it doesn't, it isn't infinite. And so now if I do element container or whatever, and if I do, um, 48, I still need 85 and I need, so basically I can almost turn this glass off. I'm going to need some more of these, but this does make it where a little bit easier. So if I hit this twice and then I hit this, it uses three, by the way. I'm going to want to speed this up as fast as I can. Bro, all the mod. I am one of the devs. And so, like, I spent a lot of time with all the mods, but, like, I'm I'm doing this fast, okay? I'm, I'm not a dev because I speedrun. I'm not speedrunning because I'm a dev. Those are, those two are just part of it. Like, they're together. So, yeah. I'm one of the devs, yeah. I'm uh, the quest dev. So, the quest that you get, that's the most of them. Minus, um... Greg Tech, that's not mine. That is, um, Greg Tech is done by the one, the only, uh, but Narnar, our Gibraltar, as you, what, what you might know him. Speedrun because it's fun. I speedrun because I want to make a name for myself. And that's how I'm going to do it. Okay. All right. So we're going to speed this up. So we can't actually make this part faster. We don't need the fire. I don't think we need the fire anymore, but we can't actually make this faster by increasing the element pipes that are coming out of here. To connect it. So if I grab element pipes here. If I find the element pipes here. Did I put element pipes up? Oh, they're right there. There's just a little dot. And so if I increase this by doing like this. And so now it'll extract faster. And so this should. Day 23. Which is a faster way to get nether stars. If Is it nether star seeds or the sim chambers? I actually figured out a different way. For all the mods 8. I don't know if it's going to work for all the mods 9, but I figured out how to do it for all the mods 8, which is pretty cool. Uh, they disable the recipes for 8, and I wish they didn't because it's actually just as fast to do. You can actually do it fast with um, uh, hostile neural networks. Seeds are really fast too, but that's up to you. Like 25 million essence. You need 98,000 nether stars, which I think I, I'm not sure if we plan on making it less or whatever. Um, can I Can I start crafting these yet? Still need 17 and still need 85. Good God, we're going to need so much of this. I don't really want the fire stuff to go, so I'm just going to break this. And so that way I can actually start extracting this like this. Oh, come on. Four. 
four. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're doing the drop, the thing that I did. You say, am I hey, say, hey, redeem? Okay, no, you're fine. I need to. Oh God, what have I done? Oh God, what have I done? I did not see your say, hey, redeem. But hi. Now we need the water back again. Oh no. Oh, this is a problem. Did we get water shards out of this? Did we get it in my inventory? Oh, this is a problem. Who drops water shards? Axolotls, cods, dolphins, drowned, elder gardens, glow squids, puffer fish, salmon, slime. <gasps> we do actually need slimes. Strays, tropical fish. Bro, do I need to get a stray spawn or a slime? I need to get a slime spawner. Oh no. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Can I make a stray? I don't think I can make a, uh, ender pearl. I forgot. I have forgotten. That's what I needed to do. This is going to be funny. Watch this. Drown is what I use for water. Drown's good for copper too. I don't know that I'd be able to, you know, I'm just going to do a slime because you need slime for a lot of things. I'm literally just going to swab this guy and I'm just going to let it go. I guess I can kill them for some water shards to start me off with. I just need a couple. And I'm just going to let this go. I think if you go far enough away, it stops it. Should I just... I just honestly need to throw these in here. Okay, and so then now we can connect. I don't really want to connect these pipes. I'm going to be honest with you. And so this should work. I The thing is, is water is probably the most needed. Oh, wait. Why am I doing water here? This is supposed to be earth, bro. What am I doing? What is going on? What is... What am I doing here? Timer expired. This is fine. This is fine. This, we'll just take this water here, and we're going to move it somewhere else. That's that's okay. We'll just pump the water out from right into here. This is, this is okay. So pump the water out of here, and we're going to just hit this fast to pump all the water out. Okay, and then once the, while all the water's out, we'll go back to Earth. Can you not pick up my stuff over here, please? For the love of God. All four of my containers were in that sucker. Okay, and this is supposed to be Earth, right? Okay, cool. This is, this is going to be Earth now. Do we have the Earth shards? We do Earth. Bam. And so that should do that. And then now we need to do a bam. And then we need to do the infuser to go back onto it, go back onto it, bam. And then now we just got to make sure all of these are extracting properly and speed it up. I have four of every seed in the game in my hyper seed farm. That's kind of crazy to be honest with you. And so as long as we speed up the infuser, it should instant, like immediately go or go into the, instantly and work you need at least three of these things to make it work how's the split growing oh dude i messed up and didn't split the last one i should have split that at like six hours so we're actually really far ahead right now um especially considering i didn't do this before okay so we need 48 of these element containers we're still missing 62 of those and 73 of these and this is not connected with water which it should be and so we can do element pipes on this side too. Oh, hold on a second. Hello? That was kind of creepy to hear. Where's my bucket of experience or essence? Airship. All right, so let's go over here and talk to our friends, the chickens. I just need one of you guys to spawn real quick. R3, three, three works. R5, five. five works too. Chicken time. Okay, so we're going to turn this off. 10K, wait, what? Okay, we're going to come over here and we're going to find something to replace this with. What do we not need? I guess we can replace this spawner right here. What was this spawner? Spider? 
I don't really need it, but that's gone now. Okay, now we got the slime, but the problem is, is we need a piece of nether quartz, and then we need a chorus fruit for this. Okay, no, it was in there. I was just blind. Slowly, so because slimes mess up. If you don't give it, uh, if you give it the um, no AI, they just screw up. So that should take care of our water problem. Let's see if that takes care of our water problem. We turn the sucker on. Slime spawn. Slime spleen spawn. Slime spawn. Okay. Slimes come in here. They make the sound, the beautiful, beautiful sound that we're going to mute. Slime. Attack, death, small, jump, small, squish. Get rid of all of that. Okay, cool. So that should start getting us some water container things in here. Love you like a pool, breathe you when you want. Okay, so we got a bunch of these. Did I not have a spot for that already? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so how's this going? Is this connected? This is connect. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Okay, so how are we doing? Element containers. We got to make 48 of these. And so we're missing the ro white rock and we're missing the drench stuff. And so we also need the element pipes. I'm going to need like a ton of this. And so we can make a bunch of these, but we still need, I mean, I th still think we need more than 24. And so this is kind of have to keep going. So I'm going to pause real quick. All right, run it back. I didn't like Mountain Dew. I don't drink Mountain Dew anymore. Um, we're going to grab, we don't need the pestle or the mortar anymore. The water shards are good. Do we have water shards in here? We do. We need to go ahead and craft that into the big stuff. And then the water shards need to go back in here because it's out. I think it's out. Or does it look like it was out? And so while this is do it going, we need to go find some lily pads. Is it all chunk loaded? Okay. Let's go find some lily pads. This is going to be the worst part of it. But you laugh in Spanish. I cry in Spanish. Close. I probably need to restart my game too. This is probably I'll do it after I find the nature's or use the nature's compass to get the stuff. So where's the swamp at? Uh swamp. A thousand meters. Is there another swamp here? Cypress swamp lands? Nope. I don't think there's a willow swamp either. There was that one place, but I don't think it was there. So let's just go this way and let's just do this one. Cry? Yeah, I cry in Spanish. Close. I cry in Spanish. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, this is a place that had the random stuff. God, do I have the dark gems? I don't think I have the dark gems on me. I wish I did. Oh, sweet. Have y'all, do y'all like the lifesaver gummies? Dude, I. Do y'all like the Lifesaver Gummies? Lifesaver Gummies are amazing. They're literally my favorite. Just so you guys know, if you're ever going to go, if you're ever in the um, area and you would like to buy me something, I love the Lifesaver Gummies. They're so good. They're like one of my favorites. <laughs> they're so good, man. They're so good. And you know why they're so good? Because they're so unhealthy for you. But you know what? Everything is unhealthy for you. Right? Right. Bro, I'm lagging bad. I'm going to have to restart after this. I'm really only here for the lily pads. And I don't think I can actually do anything for the lily pads other than cry. Oh my god, I love this song. And so, for the people who are on YouTube listening to this right now, you probably don't actually hear any music. And you're not going to hear any music because I won't have... Well, you'll hear... Okay. You'll hear some music. You just won't hear the music I'm listening to because the music I'm listening to is copyrighted, but I can't listen to, I can listen to it on my stream because I can separate it on my stream, but I can't separate it on YouTube. And so I won't, there won't be any music playing. Plus it's copyrighted. So you won't be able to hear it. So yeah, those who, if I'm like, I love this song, trust me. It's not the, I'm not saying anything bad about Harris Heller. I love him the man to death in terms of his music. His music is great. But I've only heard it for like the past four years in a row on repeat. So uh, if you ask me, I, I'm i just vibing, okay? I'm just vibing. I'm listening to my own music, but I'm not talking about his music is what I'm saying. I love this song. I'm currently listening to, this is Post Malone with, what's his name? Post Malone with Noah Kahan. Kahan? Kahan? It's called Dial Drunk. I love it. It's one of my favorite songs. So, so good. 
Uh, I need to figure out a keybind for wireless access terminal. Uh, terminal, mine's control G. That's what I use. I need a couple of stacks of these, and then after this, I'm going to restart my computer. I'm kind of getting hungry as well. This is actually a really good... What is all this up here? I need to check this because if there's a bee house here, I need to get it. It's important. Is that a waystone? No. If there's a beehive place here, I need to get it. There's a bee place right there beside me. It looked like a bee place. I don't know if there's actually bees in it. I just need to start bees, basically. It's not it's gonna play it's gonna have a place with glass. Not that. Hello. Alright, I guess there's no bee place. Cool. I like that. I like it when it doesn't have a bee place. The heck? Oh, it's a, it's a duck. I thought, what the duck? Okay, let's get rid of all these flowering lily pads. I need the... I need... Okay, so I'm actually needing these Vexwood. I am actually need all of them, but I need them specifically because that is part of one of the progression for Ars Nouveau. So, so far I've shed like an hour off my time, but I think I'm going to shed off way more than that. Hmm. What type of tree is this? A willow tree? Oh my god, I'm lagging so bad. Yo, Rick, thank you for the follow. Okay, I think it's time. I think it's time that we get rid of this stuff in my inventory, and I think it's time we go and get out of this place. It's got a bunch of cattail. Okay, so we can actually grow this stuff. Rick, thank you for the follow. <sighs> And so we're going to go ahead and start growing this over here. And so no more cactus. Put that in there. We need a bucket of water for this to grow it. I don't think I can actually grow it on the Inferium farmland. Can I grow it on the Inferium? Oh, I can grow it on the Inferium farmland. Cool. And so we're going to go ahead and smell down this cactus that I have over here too, because that's going to give me green dye. And we'll put that up. And so this is basically, I'm making this for the lily pads of fertility is what I'm trying to make. So we need these right here, which is the slime pearls, which by the way, did we? Okay, we got all those. Okay, cool. So we should be able to make like a ton of these, which we can. And so now I should be able to make a ton of these. I need like, I don't even have enough of the basic stuff here. Oh no. What am I missing? Green dye. Oh God, I need all the cactus. <laughs> can I make green dye in a simpler way? Is there an easier way to make this? Uh, do, do, do. Do, do, barrel. I don't think there's actually an easier way to make this other than the compactor. You can get nickel chloride. Cool, I guess. But we'll just make some more of these. Okay, so that's enough for one 9 by 9 lily pad thing real quick. And so I'll take that for now. Oh, God, I have my thing on. Um, let's see how this goes. Any good things in this one? We have all the water stuff. I think we still have water stuff going. Can we get the element uh, containers yet? We need 48. Still missing the white rock, and so we're just going to let that kind of go. Um, Seed-wise, I think I'm actually going to put the seeds over here and make the little place over here. Okay, so where is that weather container at? My only sunshine. We're going to switch this over into a water one. We don't... Uh, is, do I have a weather... Okay, no. We're going to switch this over to a water one, which is like this. So we're going to need another bucket of water. I don't know why I said it like that, but I got problems. So we're going to bucket of water here. Boop. And so this is going to give me the weather container. And so this is actually going to be made into bucket, eternal water buckets because it's going to make my life a whole lot easier, I promise. Um, we're going to keep... We're going to keep this right there, and then we're going to build this one out right here. Well, actually, hold on a second. Mm, the controller's right here. We need to build it out over here, so I'm glad I made the decision. So we need a 9x9 nine nine here. So we're going to do small square. One, two, three. Okay, and then two, three. Okay, so now that we have that done, we can take this eternal water bucket. We only need one. And so we're just going to go one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll fill all this in. We're going to take out our building gadget here. We're going to place down a lily pad. We're going to grab the building gadget, shift click it, do ray trace fluid. And then we're just going to do surface and place those down. And that places all those down. And so now we're going to need some dirt. And so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm actually going to just make sure that I do. I'm going to do the center. I'm going to break the center. And then I'm going to place the dirt down on top. And then I'm going to grab the building gadget. I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to place it on top. We're going to make sure we do. Ooh, do I do nine like that? And that'll place the whole entire thing here. And that's exactly what I need. And this is my center point right here. And so this is where I would need like a slab. And we're going to do put a water thing inside of it. So that way I can hoe this whole ground with a gold hoe with shapeless. Okay. Or escape tunnel, escape tunnel. Cool. This is where I needed a better hoe. Do I have all the modium for this? That'd be kind of overkill, wouldn't it? That'd be kind of overkill. What up, Spoon Broom? Yo, I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. If you uh, if you need anything, let me know. But dude, I uh, I'm always happy to hear that. That's dope. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love the support, man. Okay, so this is gonna be our basic one. So we would do red fertilizer here. I'm actually gonna do Inferium for this first. No, actually, I'm not gonna do Inferium. We need modular router stuff. Let's go ahead and make the modular router while this is all going. This is my little space right here. Trust me, it's just for now. It's not going to be here forever. So we need the blink module. Uh, let's go ahead and tell this to make this with sawdust if we can. Tell it that it can be made with sawdust. Right? Why is it saying that I can make it? This should be sawdust. Okay. And then we should be have the gold nuggets already. We need activator modules. I need two of these. So we're going to need these two recipes here. Bro, do I need to teach it how to make a bow? I got to teach it how to make a bow. It's got, it's not going to know anything. All right. And so we don't need the breaker module. We do need the speed upgrades. That's one of the things we need to teach it how to make. We're going to need to teach it blank modules. It knows how to make paper. It doesn't need the security upgrade because I'm going to allow for things, so I'm not going to make that. Um, I need none of the puller and stuff like that. I'll need that later. We'll do the modular router right here, and then we'll need the iron bars recipe. And so I'm going to shove all these into the bottom here. I want to turn these into mystical red dye. I'm going to need the green, too, because it's going to be green dye, actually. I'll take the green dye. And then we'll just do dye seeds later. We will eventually need some other recipes, so I'm going to go ahead and make them. We're going to need the cinder module Mach 1s here, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it how to make this. And thank God, because it's just a piston. I hate telling it to make pistons. That's so annoying. And so now we can tell it to make the cinder module Mach 2, or Mar is Mark 2? Mark 2, because Mach is speed. Mark 2. And so it doesn't really matter if it's 4 or not. I'm just going to tell it to do 1, and so that way it'll just know to do it with 1. And so now we got to put the activator module up. Same thing, go in here. And we need to do a puller module. Same and exact thing here, but with a sticky piston instead. And then the puller module Mark II. I'm going to do this one right here. We could use the distribute. We need the distributor one, which I think is what you can make with the twos. Yeah, so the distributor mod modules here. And so that should make it. And so those are all those that I need. I think I don't need any other thing right now. How am I doing on red dye right now? I have five. Do I have, I have roses in my backpack. That's what I need the rose for. We'll have to make the mystical agriculture stuff too. And so let's grab some bone meal out. Because bone meal, you can. And then I'll grab us all those roses. That probably was super loud for you guys. And then we'll do mystical agriculture. Uh, mystical, uh, altar. Okay. Come on now. You don't have to, you don't have to do this to me. Oh God. We need some more wool. wool. Wool string. We should have plenty of string. Do, 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 do. We need six. 
And then it's what, a pylon? Or is it a pillar? What is it? Do, do, the pedestal. Okay. Bam. There's all eight of those. Okay, so I'm going to set this up like right here beside this. So I'm going to grab the altar. I'm going to place this down here and I'm going to set this up. So I don't know if I are. Oh, I did that in my first speed run too. Uh, lever. Do we have any levers? We do. So that way it's just permanently activated. All right. And so why is this bro? Um, we need the modular routers and stuff. Let's check on the element containers because it is really important for me to be able to make these and get these going. We're still missing some. Okay. Uh, modular routers. We're going to go ahead and make four of them. Should be an easy craft. Bam. And then now we need the, we need a couple of things actually. Oh my God. I just realized this is where we do the, how am I doing on Inferium? Oh God. I hate this part. Okay. Cause this is where it changed. So we actually need to make, you can't make the regular infusion crystal. You have to go down. So we're eventually we're going to make this one, but we're going to make everything going down and you need this basic one. And so you got to teach it how to make the, all the way to the basic one. And so we're going to teach it how to make the gemstones, which is just annoying. So you need a lot of gems for this. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to teach you how to make the inferior one too, because why not? I kind of like that this is tiered like this. And even though I just said I didn't, I kind of like it like this because it means you can't really skip a whole lot of stuff, which I'm okay with. But yeah. Lemons, I appreciate you. I hope you're doing okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead... And just grab a couple of these out and then just go Inferium here. I think it's four, right? So we should be able to just... And so now I need to make the next upgrade to this, which is the Prudentium. I'm going to make a couple of those. And so we're going to clear that, and then we're going to use these... I don't know what the actual number is I need. But I'm just going to kind of wing it. We're basically just going as far as we can to make... Um, I want to make the highest level that I can. Do I not have the crystal? Does that not work? I might use that. And so I basically want to do this as high as I can until the next one, which is Supremium. And so Supremium will give me, I think I need the Master Infusion Crystal does need Insanium. So this is actually not going to be enough. Oof. So I'm going to need to make one of these. So let's go back. So the thing is, is I can actually take the Imperium, turn it into Tertium. And so using the Tertium, I should be able to take the Prudent and make one of the tertium ones and so now we have one of each crystal here and so now we can go from the beginning so inferium here we just grab these four why did it just put a random crystal in there did i just get a basic one interesting i guess it just ran out there Probably going to need a lot more than this now that I think about it. I'm just going to go ahead and make these. Now we have the tertium one. So these get better and better as you go higher. Should make the Supremium one. And now I should be able to make the Supremium crystal here. And so I should be able to make one, two, three, four. Oh God, I just made enough. And so to make the Master Infusion crystal, I need the Supremium one in the middle. And bam, Master Infusion crystal. God, I hated doing that. That was uh, rough. So I'm going to just keep going because I need to hurry. And that's where I'm currently at. Uh, I was going to restart my computer, but you know what? This time, sometimes you just got to keep going. Okay, so now the thing about this 
is now I can use this to go upwards with inferior blocks. So I can use inferior blocks to just make stacks of these blocks instead. And so that's going to make me one Supremium block. I'd rather just keep these four. And so now we can keep this on me. Okay, cool. That's fine. And so the thing is now I actually got to teach this how to do the mystical agriculture. We're going to need watering cans. So we're going to have to teach it how to make all this basic stuff. We're going to have to teach it how to make a bowl because it doesn't know how to make a bowl. To be honest with you, I don't also know how to make a bowl. We're going to teach it how to make this. You can use bone meal for this. Wait, you can make, but well, hold on a second. Can I literally make a watering can before I can make this? Hold on a second. Can I actually do that? What? I didn't know you could make it like that. Are you kidding me, Rat Meow? That means we can make a watering can off the get go. Hello? I did not know that you could do that. That's actually going to make this a little bit faster in the beginning. Oh, man, I forgot I'm going to need all of these things. I think. Oh, God, because we need the ingots of each of these. Oh, my God. Bruh. I did not know this was the case, man. I cannot believe this. I was a fan today. They're actually doing pretty good. They're chilling today. Just relaxing. Um, Jace was a little rough. He was Jace and Toby. I mean, honestly, Toby's a little stinker, but, but he is, he, he does what he does. Okay. So can I make the watering cans now? Can I straight out just make a watering can? Like, can I make the inferior watering can? No problems. I didn't even know I could do this. I didn't even know this is how it was. I didn't know you could just straight up make watering cans. Can I go all the way up to Imperium? Okay, so let's say Tertium. Can I go up to Tertium? I'm missing the essence. And so this is um, this is what that Master Infusion Crystal is for. Because now I can take the essence here and make some of each. I think I need like eight of each. I want to say. I don't really need the giant watering can. Like the Supreme one, I pretty much I just need the Imperium one. I'll need two of these, but one will work for now. Okay. And so the other recipes that I need is I need the scythes. I need to go all the way up. So we got to go all the way up to this one, which I think we got the recipes for these, right? Do we get the recipes for this? I think we got the basic. Okay, so we got the recipe for the inferior one. We didn't get the one for the prudentium or whatever, because I've got to get that one. I had to make this by hand the last time I did this, which was kind of rough. And so we need this to go all the way to, I want to say it was Supremium to be able to use it without it breaking. I think I have the, all the stuff for this. I don't know if I have enough essence, man. So what scythe can I make all the way to Supremium? So what I, what am I missing? Literally two Supremium essence. Uh, which I can actually make. <laughs> missing three. Okay, okay. Hold on a second. What are we missing here? Okay. 
So now we're doing the do I have enough for each thing here. Missing four Prudentium. Okay, that's actually easy because I could just do Inferium with that. Do I have enough for this? One, two, three, four. All right, Scythe. Let's try this again. Can I make this a premium Scythe? Oh my God, I can make it. That's great. And so I need the activator modules and all that stuff. Activator modules. I need one for the watering can, two for the Scythe. So I need three. And then I need the speed upgrades. I'm going to need two sets. So 20. Oh, I'm missing sawdust. Two sets is actually 18. Still missing sawdust. Can I just make some paper with some sugar cane? And this is again for the speed upgrades, right? To make it. Okay, cool. All right. And so do I have the modular routers on me? Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and build this out. So basically this one needs that. Okay. And then the modular router is going to sit on top of this. And so this is where it's going to go down and up. So we're going to need one that goes down. Actually, we're going to need two that goes down and one that goes up. And so this one, we'll put one in here that goes down, one in here that goes up. We're not going to put the scythe in there just yet. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. We can put the scythe in here. And then we can put the speed upgrades in here. I'm going to take one out because it's going to harvest too fast. And then so now it needs to go. The rest of everything else is going to spawn right on top of this. So this is where we're going to put some dirt on top of this. So it's going to go one layer up like this. All right. This is where we're going to put the seeds. I'm going to try and put all the seeds. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put all the seeds. Do I have all the dirt? I can, do I have dirt in here? Oh God, I'm going to need more dirt. How am I out of dirt? That's kind of, that's kind of rough. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to come over here and act like I'm not just going to get a bunch of dirt. Okay. Nobody saw that. Where's my wand? Do I have the diamond wand in my backpack still? I do. All right, so there's all that. Now we're going to need some stairs. I don't know if I have any stairs in here, but we have stone. We have plenty of stone. We're going to go ahead and make the stone stairs. And I don't want to put them all the way around. I don't really care to put them all the way around. I really just want to make it where I can put some water on here because they're already going to be... Okay, that's not what I need. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this is so this is where I can waterlog it because I can't actually waterlog it otherwise. I see a slime out there and there's not supposed to be a slime out there. There's a lot of slimes out there. Am I tripping or is something happening? Oh, that must be from the slimes that I, I never got around to killing. That's kind of funny. From the, uh, the spawner things. Okay, so where's my eternal water block or thing? Because I'm just going to put this in here. Screw that. I wish I'd have had this before. This is real nice. Am I... Is there something wrong? Or am I off-centered here? Am I off-centered? I'm not tripping. I think I'm tripping. Okay, and so this should make it where I can effectively diamond hoe this whole thing. And so this one, I'm going to get a piece. I'm going to get a stone slab above this, so right here. And then this is going to be where another modular router sits. It's going to sit on top right here. We need the advanced item collectors. And so this is going to be another down one, but this is going to be my watering can. So this is a 9 by 9 watering can. So we're going to come down here, grab the water here. I'm going to put this in here and this is going to work down. This is going to get a full speed upgrade. So we need an advanced item collector here. So we need a regular item collector. We're going to make a couple of these. And then, so we're going to need some more ender chests. Two to be exact. One, two. Okay. And so this is where I need some dye. I'm going to grab some blue dye. I'm going to dye these out. 
And so the reason why I'm dying these out is because this is going to be separate. So this is going to be a separate system. We're just going to shift click it here, shift click it here. And then that means we need some ender pearls to upgrade this with. All right. And so that also means we need some drawers. I need to teach it how to make the four drawers. Are the two by two drawers. I need to teach it how to make that. I'm going to need like 30 of these suckers. 32 is fine. Okay. And so the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I'm going to actually, that's my chicken spawner. I'm going to actually put this on the front side, right? I think I can actually do this right here. And that's my controller right there. So I can actually put this right here. And so we're just going to go out just like this. And so this should be a good amount for now. And so we need the linking tool and the configuration tool. Configuration tool is good. We're going to lock these before we link it because if not, it's going to mess everything up. Okay. And so what we're actually doing here is we're going to do something else. I'm a sub. What a Frodo. We're actually going to do here is we're going to do functional and we're doing another extend our extension thing here. So I'm going to grab one of these controller extensions. So we need quartz. We're actually running low on quartz, which is not good. And then I need two drawers. And so the chicken spawner is just going to have to chill here for a second, but I'm going to connect all of these to this. So we're going to first going to configure this tool. So we're going to link this and that works. Here, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart my. I'm gonna restart my game just so everybody knows. Just so there's no like. Is it good? I'm gonna restart it. The only thing that I need right now is like nature seeds and stuff. Like making all these seeds is really annoying. Like really annoying. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're connecting this. We gotta wait for it to load a second. I also need to turn down the video settings here. You got one now. Okay, so now I can link these. Okay, so that should link everything. And now this is where the ender chest comes in. So we're gonna do an item pipe. Actually, we're gonna put the ender chest here. We're gonna do an item pipe out of this. We're gonna need a, one of those upgrade ones. So let me go ahead and grab the recipe for the upgraded item pipe stuff too. There you go. Bob, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. And for those who are confused, this is a live stream if you're watching on YouTube in the future, because technically, oh, why did I do this again? Hold on a second. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? This is technically in the future. I wonder how far in the future people are going to be watching. Like, what if people were watching from like seven years from now, you know? That'd be crazy. Alfred is one of the best. I don't know about all that. I just work here. At the time, I don't even do that. I used to say that all the time at work and they'd be like, shut up. Just shut up. Just stop. You just shut up. You shut up right now. Um, and so now we're just going to put in... Did I even make one of those pipe upgrades? Why do I feel like I hear somebody to my side not, like, dying? Are they all dying fast enough? I think they are dying fast enough. I just need one of these real quick. We don't even have enough power going for anything right now. So this will. this is from my seed stuff. Okay, and so on top of this... This is the router that's going to do the watering can. So on top of this, I'm going to do this. And then on top of this, I'm going to do an advanced item collector. And I'm going to make sure by doing, I think I do, I did six by, hold on, let's see. It goes out. It needs to go out one more, I want to say, on the this side. So that should cover this whole area right here. Cool. And so now whenever it breaks or whenever I get anything, it's going to come out of here. And so now I need as much essence as I can here. I can upgrade for a while. I don't actually have much essence. That's kind of wild. So we're going to do an entire crop on the top of Inferium here. And so the reason why I'm doing this is because this is going to be where I make all the extra seeds. I have too much stuff in my inventory, bro. Why don't you use the harvester pylon? In all the mods, eight is not as fast. 
So the harvested pylon's good, and it's probably it's not as fast, but it's it's like three seconds. And so that matters a lot in this speed run. If I was doing a regular playthrough, I would do a harvester pylon. If I'm playing on a server, harvester pylon. And so I'm just doing all of these right now. And then now I'm going to make myself some inferium seeds. So we can start growing some inferium. I don't know how many I can make here. How many to make? 64? I'm just going to go ahead and plant all of these here so I can have inferium growing. And so this should, I don't actually have to make Inferium anything other than Inferium seeds. I don't even need to know that I needed to make 64 Inferium seeds. Because I think now I should have some Inferium seeds chilling in here. Oh my god, we gotta make a spot for this. Uh, we need to do copper. Can we make some more upgrades yet? <laughs> We're missing the wood. Oh, God. Where's all the woods over here? And I haven't... Oh, God. I haven't even been growing any. Oh, no. And has this even been doing anything? This item is not usable as a seed. Can I not grow lily pads anymore? I think you can actually absolutely grow. Am I tripping right now? Can I put a... Okay. Where's my buckets at? That's not good because I needed that. And I needed that real bad. Because we need some wood seeds. That's going to be something we're going to make here in a second. Wood seeds. We just got to figure out how to make it. Can I not make wood seeds? Four inferium plus. Okay, so we're going to set this up too. So this can be turned off now. We'll just do a void upgrade for this real quick. Or not. Put this void seed up here. So it's just going to get rid of it. Water bucket is the soil for the lily pad. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of weird. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'll set this up. So I'm going to grab out some routers. I'm going to need more than, I'm going to just grab four more. And so I'm going to show you how I do this. So I like to do this in a specific way. So let's do it like this. Okay. And let's do drawers. And then let's do one more router. And then let's just do a chest. Do I have a chest in here? Okay, and so now we can do this. We want to set this up. We want to do those uh, modules here. We're going to need... I'm going to say we're going to need a couple of these modules here. I need two distributor modules. So that's six plus a tier two. So the seven should be there. We're missing wood. Oh, no. How much oak do we have right now? I don't, did I make a recipe for the oak yet? Oh God, module. We're missing wood, oh no. Okay, that should work. Mm -mm -mm. Do you make the RF tools crafter? I do, that's what I do. All right, so now we just need to do the ender pearls here. And then I think it's the distributor module is made like this, right? Module? How many blank modules do we have? Six! So we need one distributor. We need two distributor modules. And then we need two. We need a polar module. I need a polar module mark two. So that should make it. So there's the mark two. And so here's how I'm going to show you how to do this. We need the prosperity seeds too. Why do I have so much redstone going up right now? So we need prosperity seeds. All right. So this is where my prosperity seeds are going to go. This is going to go with the cinder module. So I'm going to make sure I grab this out. And so I'm going to make sure this is set to whitelist. And so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to shift click this. And then that's where that's going to go. So I'm going to place this in here. So cinder module is going to go in there. And as long as this... Oh, it needs to have, oh, I need to have the, uh, I need to make the functional storage thing. I need the puller upgrade. I think, yeah, it's pusher or is it a puller upgrade? It's a pu pusher upgrade. That's what I need. So I need to make a couple of hoppers. Oh God, I think I actually can't make a bunch of these. Can I make the, we can just do the distributor modules. Okay. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. 
and then this guy. So one of these guys are going to go in here. One of these guys are going to go in here. And so this is going to be how I'm going to set this up. And then this is going to be for my puller module. So I'm going to pull from here. And I'm going to make sure to not pull this. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to make sure this is set to a blacklist so that it doesn't pull there. And so then we could just throw this in here. And then I think I just need another cinder module. Can I just make another cinder module? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do a puller module for each of these two. And so I'm just going to send this here. Should be able to set this out to the right. And then I'm going to put this here. So this will pull in the seeds that I make and then push it out to the right. And so it'll go in here. Cool. And so now that all, all that's done, now we just need to get some more oak because I'm pretty sure that I'm out. Because I need three pusher upgrades here. So I need more drawers. I want to say. Can I make this? I can make this. Okay. And so now these all need to be set to down. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this. I don't just slam this in here. And so we need these all to be set down, which is good. Okay. So now let's say I want to make the, let's say I want to make four of these seeds. Okay. So let's go ahead and get 16 of these out. And we can only do four, so this is fine. So we're going to do this, 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 and this. Okay, so I'm going to throw four of these in here. I'm going to throw 16 of this Inferium in here. It's going to automatically throw all this into the thing. And then when it's done, it should automatically craft. And because it's waiting for something to happen in the middle, once that turns into a wood seed, which this should be on, uh, this is actually said off. So once this turns into a wood seed, it will get pulled automatically into this chest right here. And so it'll automate this. And so now I can come over here and place the wood seed. And so now I just need more wood. Giggity. And so now I have more wood seeds already right here. And so I don't even need more wood seeds right now. I just need to make a spot over here for the essence. So I put the essence up top. And so now that I have the wood essence, I can actually just completely craft from the essence here if I need wood. And so I can come over here and grab that wood essence. Oh, or not. And hit you on it. And I can craft myself the oak logs that I was making. Bam. So oak logs. And so that way, I my system will need to know. So now if I go over here and type in copper upgrades, I should be able to make three. And that should be able to upgrade some of these. And so that's a little automated system that you can do if you want to. And we'll put these there. And so this is going to also take in this uh, fertilized essence. So I'm going to put that in there. And so what I want to do, since I don't actually need any more of these seeds, I can pull these back out and then I can come over here. If I need more seeds, I can plant them here, but I'm not going to. We do need to make some red fertilizer. And so that's what I'm going to do on the second, like the bottom part here. So I'm going to go over here and get the recipe. And so the recipe is just bone meal. So we're just going to get the recipe for bone meal using bones since we have a lot of those. And I'm going to go ahead and throw those in here. Okay, so we should be able to make the red fertilizer. I need like 64 of them, but we need the red dye. And so that's what this is here is for. So we need bone meal. What do y'all think about that automated setup? Have y'all seen or done that before? I personally like doing that. So now I should be able to put this in here and get a bunch of red dye. And then I should be able to make the red fertilizer now. I think I need like, can I make 64 of these? I can make 76 of them, apparently. I'm gonna need a little bit more than 76, but that works. And so if you do this right, you should be able to reach every piece in here. Just don't wanna put it on that level. Except for the only problem is, is that I have, ow. Bro, really? We need to upgrade our axe to our uh, jetpack. So I don't really need a whole lot of seeds here. So I don't want to go too crazy on the wood seeds. It's just going to make me a bunch of essence is pretty much what it is right now. And so uh, eventually I'm going to switch this out and I'm not going to use the essence that I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to use the wood seeds there. I'm going to use the plant the wood stuff here so that I can get more essence out of them. That's kind of the plan for right now. 
Oh, I'm out of red fertilizer. Can I make some more? Yes. Instant crafting. Okay, I only needed three. Cool. And so now, hopefully, it's not going too crazy here. So if I go... I'm going to take the... I don't need any more wood seeds. So we're going to grab these two wood seeds here. And I'm going to grab them out of our seeds here. So we have 28. And I'm just going to plant them down here. And this... Oh, I need. I missed a spot. Um... It's in my backpack. I just threw them on my backpack, my red fertilizer. And then I'm just going to throw a couple down here. And so this is an almost instant farm. It's just really good. And all the essence and stuff can come down here, no problems. Okay. That should be good for now. And so now we should have a ton of essence. And we should have no problems getting the essence. We also should have a ton of inferium. Speaking of which... Uh, how's my farm coming over here? Are we too full here? We getting full here? We should be able to make as many copper upgrades as we want now. Like, we should be able to make, like, a full stack. Yep. How's Inferium stacking? Do we have too much Inferium in here? It can hold 295,000 blocks. Perfectly fine. So it's doing good. Okay, so let's see how we're doing on the Elemental Craft stuff. How many of these can we make now? So let's make 48. We can make 48. And so while that's crafting, all 48's done, we're going to go ahead and make a bunch of these element pipes. Can I make like two stacks of these? No, I'm going to, I need to let it go for a little bit longer. So we're almost done with that. And so while we're doing this, we're going to go over here and do mystical agriculture. And then I'm going to do seeds and I'm going to grab all the seed recipes that I want to make with everything. So I'm going to clear this up over here because I don't need any of this stuff over here. Minus the red fertilizer and the lily pads. So I'm going to grab all this. We're going to need the prosperity seed base in case I need that. We need each of the elementals. We have inferium already. We don't necessarily need stone, but I'm going to make it. We do need dirt. We already made wood. Giggity. We are going to make some ice eventually. I uh, don't need deep slate, so I'm going to chill with that. Uh, so right now we are doing all the mods eight, and I'm just setting up my uh, seed stuff. So we're getting the list of seeds that I need, which is actually going to take me a little while. We'll eventually need some all the body of unobtainium vibranium seeds, but for right now I don't need it. I do need dye seeds. I will need nether seeds. I don't need coal seeds. I don't need coral. I will need honey eventually. Don't need amethyst. Uh, we need some music. So I gotta put that back on. Um, let's see. Don't need chicken, sheep, squid, none of that stuff. We don't need slime. Don't need turtle. We don't need rubbers. We do. Hold on a second. We do need sulfur. Oh, we don't need aluminum. Appetite. I don't know if we need mystical flowers or not. Limestone, mineral, iron seeds. Don't need iron seeds. Don't need copper. Do need nether quartz. We do need redstone seeds. We didn't make that last time, but I'm going to make it this time. I don't know if I need lead or not. I don't think I need lead. I'm going to go ahead and just say that I don't need lead. We don't need Certus Quartz yet. We will eventually. We do need Quartz Enriched. We don't need in or Experienced or Gas. We need, need, we do, 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 do. We need Steel Seeds. Uh, we need Uranium Seeds. That's a definite. Um, don't need Flux Infused. We need Osmium? Question mark. We might not eat o o Osmium. We definitely need Fluorite. We do need... We're going to make the Refined Obsidian later. Um... We're going to need the Fluix ones later, too. These are all... We don't need diamonds. We do need netherite. So that's important. Platinum we don't need. We don't need iridium. We don't need enderium. And I think that's pretty much it. We don't need uraninite. I don't know why uraninite is level 5. That's kind of wild. And so we'll get all this stuff. Good night, Ma. Appreciate you. It's been a while. Life has been crazy, but I've been doing well. Hope things are going great for you. I'm. Uh, things have actually been going pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Life has kind of... It's been... It's had its ups and downs, but I'm actually really happy with the way things are going. I think that overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, things, you know, obviously going to have the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights. The You're going to get hit in the mouth, but I think that's part of it. And say I don't need lead at famous last words. Bro, I'm going to not, I'm going to need lead. I'm going to need six more of those. So we're almost ready for this. We're almost ready for the pipe element stuff upgrade. So we're almost there. So let's go ahead and get some of these seeds going. So we need the air seeds. So we're going to need the air agglomeratio. Ag I don't ever know how to say that thing. I don't ever know how to say it at all. I don't. I, every time I look at it, I'm like, bro, how? We're going to just make all of these things. Fire. 
We're gonna need lava buckets, stone. We we can make the stone seeds easy because I can just go one, two, three, four. And so again, so it's already got inferium out there. So if I throw this on here, right here, it should shoot this out and it should give me a stone seed into here. So there's the stone seeds. Stone is done. And then now we need some dirt. Oh, one, two, three, four. And so the dirt seeds are gonna go in here. And so that should shoot those out. So bam, stone seeds, throw this down here. And that should make me some extra stuff here. Uh, we need, got that, dirt's done. Let's see. Dirt's done, can't make ice yet. Nature seeds is gonna be kind of annoying. Because you need the nature agglomation, blah, 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 blah. That's going to be kind of annoying. Dye seed, same thing. You need the dye agglomation, blah, 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 blah. Nether, nether agglomeratio, agglo, uh, agglomeration, uh, agglomeratio. That's what it is. Agglomeratio is what it's supposed to be. We can make the silicon ones right now because we only need silicon. But that's prudentium. And those are past the tiers that we need. And so let's start with the tiers that we need. So let's start with the air stuff. Can I make these? Oh, I need glass bottles and that's it. Can I make the air? I only need like two seeds right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And so I should be able to throw this in here. And so that should keep up with this. There's our dirt seeds. Throw this in here and then take these. Oh my God. Why is the wood essence right here? Hold on a second. Is there not a void upgrade in this sucker? Oh God. Oh God. This is not good. Yo, thank you, Captain. Thank you for the follow. The worst thing that can happen is this overfills. So we're going to boop, 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 boop. Just make sure these all have those upgrades. And so the wood essence, I don't really need a whole lot of right now. But the thing is, is like these things are going to get seeds and these things are going to get essence. So I'm liking to put an essence up here and the seeds down here. And so same thing here, dirt seeds, essence. And this is kind of how I set it up during my speed run, my 100 days series, but you guys couldn't see it because that's what I did. And so I'm going to put these down here. I don't really need a whole lot of them. Oh my God. Okay, cool. Those plants are blinking. Yeah, they're fast. I love to see you. I love to see you thriving. I'm gonna be lurking, and playing Lethal Company. Yo, Lethal Company is the. I think a lot of people. Why did I have? Oh, that's my chicken thing. I was completely forgot. Lethal Company is the thing that a lot of people were like really excited about. I'd never, I've never played it, but I've heard it's really good. Uh, everybody's talking about it, bro. Everybody's talking about it. It seems like a really good game too. We need some more of those copper upgrades, and this is where I take all these copper upgrades and I literally just go ham on all my stuff over here. Because, like, everything just needs upgrades at this point. I don't really need upgrades for stone. Can I just upgrade all of these to max? I don't need all the modium upgrades, bro. What am I doing? Famous last words. I wish I could just right-click and fill everything up all at once. Because we just need all of this, to be honest with you. Yo, JC Steves, is that how you say that? Think of the follow, bro. Appreciate that. Are we out of gold? I'm stuck in my missing copper block. Bro, we don't have copper blocks. We're out of copper? That can't be right. Do I do Oh! Is it me or is this not compacting like it should be? Do we not have a spot for all this raw stuff? Um, we might have a problem. I don't know if that's going to fill it up enough. Oh, that's kind of, this ain't even been on. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is, this is like kind of weird that it's not even working like this. This should be all deleted already. Same with this. This gets deleted too. These things are annoying. Wait a second, that's the same thing. Oh, what happened? Oh, you didn't permission? What did you, oh, you tried to do song? This song is called In My Head by Juice World. Uh, Aglomeratio. Aglomeratio? Yeah, that's it. Aglomeratio. 
This should just be deleted. I don't need to be in there. I try to delete all the other stuff. Bro, we got all this copper that's just chilling in this thing. What you mean? Is there not a raw copper spot already over here? We got so much copper. Do we not have a raw copper spot? Oh god, we have a copper spot. Hold on a second. We're gonna need some more drawers, man. I don't the thing is, is I don't know if I can go up or down. Ooh, I need a new back or I need a new everything, honestly. So raw copper. We're gonna put the raw copper up there. But we need to configure it and link it all that stuff. So we're gonna configure it first. And then we're gonna link it all. And then so now we're gonna take the raw copper out of here. We're gonna take all the raw I don't think I even have a place for all this raw stuff. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Can we we probably just need to delete it all. I mean I need all the raw lead and I need all the raw copper right now because it's like not being smelted. And so we're gonna put it here and we're gonna put it here. And so the raw copper should immediately go into here. Right? Oh no, because it doesn't have a spot yet. Hold on. How's our drawer system going? How's our our the disc? Okay, so we're good. You're good. You're good. You're welcome, boss. What up, Amiris? How you doing? So this should start smelting fast enough. And so I should be able to make some more copper upgrades now. Can I make 64? Oh my god. Just like that, I can make 64. That's kind of crazy. And so now I can finish upgrading these. That was the last one, right? That don't need it, but man, I'm just going to give it to it. You never know, man. You never know. These things might need it sometimes. We're going to have so many seeds, it's going to hurt. I hope I made a seed spot over there, because if I didn't, we're kind of in a predicament. Okay, so now I can come back over here and upgrade these. This should be fine. Dude, I love Post Malone. Post Malone is so good. My favorite artist, hands down. Okay. So, did I make any more seeds? I didn't. So, honestly, I don't need these extra seeds anymore. Because I should have all the air seeds and stuff that I need to go down in the bottom. Because I'm just going to make a couple of them. And this is just for the extra stuff. Gotta need a better jetpack. I don't really even need that many air seeds. So, what other seeds do I have here? Stone. Wood, air. I didn't even make the other stuff. And then Ethereum. So we're good on for Ethereum and stuff too. Ethereum stacking up. So we're just pretty much in a good spot. I don't know if I need all of this stuff over here. Do I have anything in here that I don't really need? I don't think so. Let's turn this off for the time being. I don't think I need it. Could be the last thing I ever say. And I think I should be able to make more of those element pipes. I needed like two stacks, maybe a little bit more. Can't make another two stacks, but I can just do that. That's fine. And so this will give us a break on the seeds. So we can break all this up. And most of this is going to go into this damn thing right here. I hate this that it does that. That's annoying to me. This is, oh God, now I got too much stuff in my inventory. Oh, God, I need to just delete that. I'm going to be honest with y'all. The drawer is actually... Oh, my God, I have so many drawers in my thing. Oh, my God. I don't need the impaired element pipes anymore, at least I don't think. Question mark. At least I don't think so, anyway. I don't think I need these element containers either, so I can throw those in there. Oh, God, it's just deleting them all. I'm not even mad about it at this point. Okay. Okay. So here's what's, how this is going to go. It's going to go simple. Each one of these is going to have a three base at the bottom here. So it's going to be like this. One, two, three. Okay. We're going to give it three space. And then we're going to go three space like this. And you got three spaces this way. Good job first. Okay. And then now we get the element pipes here. So each of these element pipes are going to go. Can I actually just do the wand here? I think I could actually do the wand here. Yeah. And then so on top of these, I'm going to do three a piece. Oh, God, I done disconnected that. 
Off by one? Yeah. Wait, off by one. When am I off by one? Oh my God. Not anymore. We don't do that off by one stuff here. I got it. Good eye. I did. I messed up. I'm sorry. I have messed. I made a mistake. Oh God. Oh my God. I hate these pipes where they just do this. This is why you don't do this y'all. Cause, Cause if you do that, you make it where you're just going to automatically accidentally. Oh my God. You're going to disconnect things on X. Oh my God. Can I please just, did I? Okay. Yo, we should, this is a struggle right here. All right. So now we need more of those evaporators. We need a total of 12 evaporators. I don't know how many I have, but I'm just going to go ahead and make 12 more. I saw nothing. It was perfect. Did it perfect the first time. Okay. So we're going to do the evaporators on top of this. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, and so now we need four basic drawers. Okay, and so these are all gonna be item piped in. So we're gonna do item pipes, question mark. Item pipes, we're gonna need more item pipes. I think we're doing pretty good right now. I think we're okay. And then there's going to be a drawer at the top. Hold on. Can I do this? Where's my wand? Can I just do this? Ah! Ever since I learned that trick on accident, I've just, I'm just going to keep using it everywhere I go. Okay. Oh God, that's not what I'm going to do. I have messed up. And then it went in this backpack because I'm really good at life. What else went in this backpack? My element pipe. Okay. And then all of these are going to be sneaked right clicked here with a wrench on the bottom. Actually, I'm going to link, I'm going to con uh, configure all these first like these. I'll lock them all. And then we're going to do raw. And then I want to grab all of the big raw, big raw ones we have. So one is going to go for earth. One is going to go for water. One is going to go for fire. And one is going to go for, what are we missing? Air? Why don't we have any big air shards? We do have big air shards. Okay. And so now we can shift extract all of these on the bottom here. And this will pump out all of this. Okay. So let's just go ahead and go and grab as much of these as I can. Just going to pump all these out. Okay, that put all those in there. We just need enough to put them all in here. Here. Yeah, we have plenty. I ran that thing for way too long. Yeah, I ran that thing for way too long. Okay, these should all go into each of these things to start evaporating. Matter of fact, I don't know why they're not. Okay. Cool. Making sure they're all going in here. Are all of these full yet? I think they're all full. Cool. Sweet. So this should all, the thing is now is we got to set these to pipe out the top right here. We also want to pipe these out of the side here. So I'm going to make sure I do this and I'm going to pipe this out like this. And so this will pipe more out into each of these things at the bottom. We don't, we could do on the sides here. I don't, I don't, I didn't do it last time, but this should be enough. So we just got to make sure to tell it to all pipe out from the bottom here. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Well, you deserve it, man. I, I appreciate you for being around. Appreciate your support. I don't, I don't forgot where I was at. I don't know how much this means coming from me, but you know, I just work here half the time.
And so why I'm doing this is because we need a ton of each element. And so as you see, these are filling up these element containers. And as time passes, this is going to just continuously fill them up until all 12 of these jars are filled. And so that's the reason why I'm doing that is because it's going to fill 12 jars up for, of the elements that I need. And so we actually had way more element pipes and stuff than we need. And so normally I would do an importer and exporter system here, but we actually don't even need that here. So the elemental stuff, the elemental craft stuff is all set up. As long as these are all set to extract, these look like they're all getting some stuff eventually. So yeah, we're good to go. Now we can go back to seeds. All right, let's run it back. Let's finish these seeds. Okay, so we have a lot of seed stuff that we got to make. And so there's, a, I want to make all of these like, so, so we've got air, so I'm good on air. So earth, we just need some grass. So I need some shears. I don't think I've actually made any shears at all. And so we need some bone meal here. Where is my bone meal at? There it is. And so I'm just going to literally come over here, hit this, and then I'm going to shear it off. And that'll give me all the grass that I need. And so that'll make the earth. I need four pieces here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw four in here. And then so I need some more inferium. I think I need more of the basic essences, but we'll see. All right, so that makes all the that makes the earth. So now we have water. So I don't have water buckets, but I should have buckets. I need four of them. So I'm gonna need a, actually four water buckets and then four lava buckets. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. So water. Oh man, Joji is one of my favorite artists. If you don't know who Joji is, Joji uh, he is originally pink guy. If you don't know who pink guy is, well. I was a little bit different. He was originally um, Filthy Frank, I guess I should say. But yeah, he was he's great. I love Joji. I love Filthy Frank. Just hilarious all the way around. All right, so that should put all those out here. I don't need the black flowers now. Um, and so now so that makes the water, right? So we have all of these different seeds. We should start, well, we're going to start getting them towards the end. And so next up is fire. So we need the same thing, but we need lava. And then nature needs this. So we're missing the potatoes and cactuses. So we think, I think I have enough cactus growing over here somewhere. See, I told you it was temporary. Okay, so cactus. And this is where I needed the pumpkin. So we need potatoes too. So I'm going to grab the bone meal that I have. And I'm going to go back to the overworld. We're also going to grab some more buckets. Uh, question mark buckets. I need more buckets. I need four buckets and so let's go ahead and head back to the oh what do i need for nether the nether ones are something that i need so nature i need so fire i need that that's fine nature i need potatoes and cactus so really all i need is potatoes i think i have enough sugar cane uh dye i need the four colors nether i need nether wart soul sand so i don't have nether wart i have the bricks but i don't have the nether wart i don't think so we're gonna have to go to the nether too so we're gonna grab that one might as well just go straight to... I should have some potatoes over here. I do. And that should take care of the potato problem we have. And then now we go in here. We go grab a couple of things. And we should be able to grab all that we need. We should be able to grab the four buckets of lava. One, two, three, four. And then so now let's see if there's any kind of nether quartz or... Any, we haven't even explored anything out here. I just need nether, or sorry, not nether quartz. I mean, it doesn't hurt for me to grab the nether quartz, but um, nether wart is what I'm looking for. I would like the brown mushrooms eventually, but see if there's any kind of fortresses or anything that spawn nearby. What is all of that? That's kind of like a fortress right there, right? We just need nether wart. Honestly, I should have picked it up when I saw it. Oh. Hey, here we go. We found some nether ward under here. We we blaze. Wonder if it can grow in any other place. I don't need the crimson iron. Can you like bone meal this and it grow nether wart? Answer is no. Can you do it on soul sand? No. Somebody just shot at me. Uh, how dare you?
usually you find other word and chests and stuff on the in this, but I don't know where I would find it normally. Hacha. I don't really need to kill that dude had a bow? He's cheating. Oh hey, there you are. Alright, that's all I really needed this for. Should be able to go home. Okay, so nature. We need netherrack, which I have in here, which I also need to smelt down into nether brick. And so we need to grab another stack out here. We're actually going to make a couple of seeds here. So nature, I'm going to need four. One, ooh. Okay, so there's eight. And so this one, nether one's a tier two. So we need prudentium, prudentium, prude. We need something. So I'm going to just go ahead and make a couple of these. Okay, there we go. Is the RF Tools Crafter for Essence going to be done tonight or tomorrow? I forgot what you said. I might do it tonight. We'll see. Um, I can go to the garbage can. We need the other stuff real quick. Yo, Codemeister, thank you for the follow. So this is going to go in here. So we're going to need one, two, three. Oh, we're out of gravel. Oh, no. Do I have gravel in here? Oh, I do. Cool. So two, three. Four. And so this should go in this one right here, right? So there's those four. That'll make me another seed. All right, so that's grabbing the fire ones. Nature ones, we need to grab the potatoes out of here. And let's go see nature. We need one, two, three, four. And so the nature ones are actually pretty cool because the nature ones allow us to make... Um, the nature ones are what we're going to use for uh, getting infinite everything, really. Like, we're going to get infinite everything, like infinite um, water or infinite melons for power, which I don't even think we actually need the infinite melons for power at this point. So do we have appetite? We do have appetite. So we're just going to get one dye seed. This is how we're going to get green dye and how we're going to, we're pretty much not going to mess with anything else. So this is fool. This is real fool. So I'm going to grab this block of appetite out here. I'm going to go throw this in here. And so that'll give me cyan dye. Cyan. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's the sign dye. Orange dye. I don't remember what orange dye, the best way to get orange dye is. Red plus yellow, and yellow is a dandelion. Oh, no. We can just go grab. Okay, so we just go find orange, pink. I think we can make the pink. That's easy. We can make the pink. Okay, and so that'll do that. Lime. I thought we already made some lime. Okay, so now we just need to find orange. So we need to look for orange flowers. We could just mix... Isn't orange white plus red? Oh, it's yellow plus red. Oh, why am I, why am I thinking it's yellow plus red? Yellow, we can find yellow too. But there's pink flowers right there, Los. We can find some orange ones. That's the mystical yellow. We have red, so actually let's just grab this. And so let's just grab the orange. Oh, I didn't make the dye yet. So this should make us four. And so that will make us the die that we need for this too. So now I can come over here, do the same thing. I think we have inferior. Do we have inferior and everything? What is this? Why is this like this? One, two, three, four. Okay. And so that's, wait, shouldn't that work? Is nature tier one or tier two? I think nature might be tier two. Am I tripping? I think nature might be tier two. It is tier two. That's why it's not working. So it needs to be prudentium essence. There's a fly on my screen. All right. So that'll put that in there. And I think die seeds are die seeds. Tier one or tier two. They're tier two as well. Okay, and then we need 16 for this one. So we're making all the seeds all in one go. So that'll do, that's, did we get, was that nature or nether? I think it was nether. Yeah, okay. 
So we got the na nether, the dye, and now we need to make all the rest of these seeds because they're just annoying. Okay, so we have the air seeds, we have the earth seeds, water, fire. Uh, we'll do ice later. We have the nature, we have the dye, we have the nether. And so we can't do the other things. Okay, so this is all prudentium right here. So we need some silicon. So we need eight of these. So we'll put those back up and then now make the silicon seeds. Sulfur is the next one. Sulfur is going to need, be needed. Which I actually need to pulverize this, believe it or not. So we're going to go back and pulverize this somewhere. We'll do the pulverizer right here because it's like right in front of this. Or whatever. And we're just going to pulverize this down. And so that'll make the sulfur seeds. And so nether quartz seeds are tier 3. So that is tertium, right? I'm going to need a little bit more tertium. But thankfully, the Master Infusion Crystal is in my backpack. And so with all this Inferium we've been growing, should be able to just easily make a bunch. Okay, so that should be easy enough. Okay, so that's tier three, right? So nether quartz. So we just do quartz. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so we'll also have to upgrade the seeds in general. Here's all the seeds that I've made so far. So what did we skip? We skipped the sulfur because I needed to crush it all down. So we have four. This is, I think I need more than four, but we'll see. I think that should make the sulfur seeds. Yeah. Did I do all four in there? I think I did. Why does this thing not get enough power for this? This should be... Oh, does it not connect out of this front one? Am I really only connecting out of this front? Is there a reason why I'm only connecting out of this front one? What the? Why is that not connecting? That's interesting. So this whole time I've been running off of one thing of power? No wonder we've been kind of screwed on power. That's kind of wild to think about. That's crazy. All right, so there's our sulfur seeds. I'm going to make. go ahead and grab four more. I'll make sure that I, that I only put what I need in here. So this left one is going to be the first set of seeds. I don't think that there's any more in Prudentium in this one, so that grabs the tier two. We're going to need honey eventually. So nether quartz is tier three. So we're going to need about eight of these. So we're going to make two seeds worth. So quartz, um, tertium essence. And so then that'll take care of the nether quartz. We need redstone seeds, which is tier three. So we need, we need a lot of redstone seeds. So I'm actually going to go ahead and grab like enough for four. So that should have all those going. So we're just making all of these all at once. And then I'm going to go through and finish all this afterwards. So that gets the redstone seeds, obsidian seeds, same thing. I'm actually going to make two of these. So I'm not going to go too crazy. So that's still making the seeds. You can see with the redstone in there. And so it won't pull these until it's done. And that's fine. It'll make all the rest of these real quick. I'm not, the reason why I'm not doing this all in one go is because if I did all of this in one go, I would have to be constantly running back and forth with all the seeds. And that's annoying. This is like really annoying. Quartz enriched iron is actually not that bad. Quartz enriched. So I'm going to go ahead and make like 10, 12. Let's make four more. And so that's tier three. Let's just do two for now. And so that should pull the... Do we have the obsidian seeds already made? We do. Okay, so bam. And then we need eight tertium. And so that should take the quartz enriched. And so the next step is steel. Steel is actually a little bit harder. How much steel do we have? So eight. So we're going to make two of those. So then we're going to do the tertium blocks. Gonna make all the tertium out of that. And so we need a lot of steel seeds, like a lot. This should be fine. It made everything. Okay, cool. So we can put those up. And so that'll take care of the steel seeds. That's tier four. Uh uranium. Oh my god, do we need so much uranium? Like, if I can get some good stacks here, I will. I'm gonna get 16 of these. So that's four seeds a piece. 
This is Imperium, right? Well, that should make everything. So we're just going to have a whole thing of seeds here, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so that's the uranium seeds. Osmium. I don't think I need osmium. I think I'm fine on osmium. I definitely need fluorite, though. Fluorite's, like, really important. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight should be fine. Still making those uranium seeds. That's fine. Um, mm -mm -mm. I'm going to hold off on the refine. Obviously, I can't do the refine of obsidian. How much netherite do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the problem with netherite is that the netherite seeds are tier five, so you need supremium. So supremium wise, we don't actually have a lot of supremium, which is kind of tough. And so we'll have to go upwards. And so we actually need to make it for each individual one. Okay, so cool. So we can go like that. And so that'll make those seeds. And that'll finish the netherite seeds off. And so the problem with netherite seeds is that you don't get extra stuff here. So another thing, too, is that we're not going to get extra stuff here until we make um, all the way up. So we actually got to go inferior like this. And we got to go all the way up to get as much stuff as we can here. So I'm going to go all the way up as much as I can here. And so the thing is, is this is actually filling up my inventory or filling up my, um, and I do it like this. It's filling up my inventory or, uh, my, whatchamacallit, my, um, God, I can't even think about it. My system. So I've got to be careful with that, but we're just going up as far as we can to see how much Imperium and stuff I can make. See how much Supremium into Insanium, because I want to get this all to Insanium here. Eight blocks is pretty good because now I can take that, and that actually gives me enough to upgrade most of this. And so this is so that everything will give me a chance to get a seed. Can I do like that? No, I can't. So we're going to get rid of all these seeds here, and then we're going to plant the rest of these later. We'll have to get some more Inferium later, or Supremium rather. Or Insanium is actually what it is. Okay, so that, that's just going to have to stay that way. Unless I can make some insanium that I don't know about. Mystical ag. Block. How many blocks can I make of each? I think I can actually go up more until I can get insanium. Okay. I should be able to get enough. I'm going to autocraft this later. You didn't turn them all into uh, all the inferior into it. I didn't want to turn all of them, but I'm doing it now. I know I had some extra, but I, I was hoping that I would be able to go with what I had. That's okay, because we're going to automate this a little bit later. All right, so there's the rest of our Insanium. Boop, and then so that'll finish that off. All right, done. Cool. Now that's done. I don't know why I have this evaporator in my inventory still, and I don't know why I have all the rest of this in my inventory. Okay, so this is going to be the, the top side. So everything that's not tier 5 is going to go in the top side. So the netherite seeds are actually going to go in the bottom down here. It's going to go on one of these things right here. And so that's fine like that. The fluoride seeds, all of this, the rest of this stuff is going to go up top. The reason why is because it makes me more seeds. And so the th dangerous part is that if I don't do this fast enough, all of my stuff gets like... um. I get all these extra seeds and all these essences and stuff. And so now I'm going to come over here and make sure I put an e a spot for all the essence. Did I make two spots for another right essence? No. And so if I get an extra seed here, I can actually plant them. And that's what I want to do is I actually want to plant these seeds up here. And so eventually I'll get a bunch of these extra ones. I don't really need a whole lot of nature seeds and stuff. So like the nature essence seeds, stuff like that, like uranium steel, all that stuff I need a bunch of. We're going to need a ton of actually. 
And so that should plant as many of those. And so now we have to grab obsidian, redstone, and nether quartz. Now, redstone, we need a ton of seeds. Like a ton of seeds. A ton, ton. So I'm going to just plant as much as I can of those. And eventually I'm going to switch all these over. I don't really need, I'm just doing it so I can get the extra seeds for now. And so I'm just going to plant one of each of these in the back here. And then this is now officially full. Nether seeds, water seeds, silicon essence. Do I have nether essence in here yet? Nether essence. And so even if I put all the seeds here, I can easily pull them back out once I'm done. Like this is not hard to do at all. But we just got to make sure that all of these essences and stuff that has like doesn't have a spot finds a spot so that this doesn't back back up. need some more upgrades. Should have enough to make another stack. Yep. And it's fast enough. Okay, so. Oh, no. So now, if we ever do this, we need to unlock it and lock it. But the first thing we need to do is we need to switch this to remove and then remove this. And then we unlock it, take this out, lock it back, and then we switch this to add. And then we do it like that. Okay. And so that way I can go put this back in there. I don't want to add these. As up I want to add the upgrades into it like this. Cool. Okay. We have all these seeds out. Nope. We still don't have spots for these. We have all the essence and stuff. I think we got all the essence and stuff out. Okay, so this is keeping it clear. If we look in here, everything's clear. And I think I still have some seeds. Or is that all the seeds that I have? Okay, so let's look and see what seeds we have. So we have mystical seed. Okay, so what do we got a lot of? We got a bunch of wood seeds. Stone seeds, dirt seeds, uranium we need a ton of. So I'm going to make sure we plant. Um, I've got 12 of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and plant some of these over here. And so this is, I don't think I need a whole lot of seeds anymore for the uranium. So I'm just going to plant them here. And so that way I can start getting a bunch of, uh, a bunch of stuff with it. A bunch of, uh, regular, um, what's it called? Um, if I plant it down there, it gets more, you get way more essence out of it. If you plant it down on the first one, instead of planting it on this top layer. And so this top layer I'm using to get extra seeds. So like, I know I'm going to need a lot of steel for what I'm doing. So, and I know I'm going to need a lot of fluorite. So I don't mind actually having those extra seeds up there. Um, like redstone seeds, we're going to need so many redstone seeds, it hurts. Same thing with sulfur. I'm going to go ahead and put the sulfur here. And so I'm just using this as a place to make extra seeds as fast as I can. And so this will increase our chances of making more. So like we need more net. Actually, I don't think we need more nature essence. I know we need more fire. I'm going to go ahead and plant the fire here. Um, we're going to need more nether seeds. Core kit quartz enriched. Gonna need a couple of more obsidian. Actually, I don't even know if I need more obsidian now that I think about it. We're just gonna need a lot of redstone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plant a bunch of redstone seeds here. I don't think we need a lot of redstone seed or obsidian seeds. Because I somehow got a, most of what I needed before. So seed. What are what are we missing here? We got a bunch of air seeds. Steel, we got a bunch of sulfur planted. I don't think we have many sil uh, silicon planted. Seed. 
uranium seeds. I know we don't have a whole lot of uranium planted, but seed. I think we are pretty good on the rest of this. And so right now I'm just going to stack up on redstone seeds. So redstone seeds, we're going to need a whole ton of these. And so with all this set up like this, I'm just going to let this run for a little bit. And so we can go ahead. I don't want to call the seed towers just yet because we're not done with the towers. Okay, so one of the things is we need lily pads. We don't need the green dye anymore, but we need the lily pads, which there's 54 here. So you could actually make them with na nature's essence as well. And so now that I can do that, I could also make green dye using dye seeds. And so now you see what I'm saying, how this stacks up? So now I can go and make those lily pads pretty easily as long as I have the mob drops, as you can see. And then now I can make the lily pads because I have a ton of them. So I need about a stack and a half. That's about actually what I need to make another, like one of these right here. And so the thing is, is last time I messed this up, so I'm not going to mess this up this time. I'm going to go this way. And so again, I'm going to just go out and do small square here, here, here. Oh, did I throw my, okay. I was like, did I throw that? Hey, let's see, how are you doing? I, uh, I'm doing, pre I think the run's going really well. I'm going a lot faster than I expected. I'm just going a lot faster in general. And so now I need that eternal water bucket because this thing is actually really nice. We're going to need our building gadget. I don't know how to say your name. Think of the follow. I'm going to plant it all there. And so now we need a bunch of dirt to plant on top of this. We're going to break out the middle here. Yo, thank you for the follow, MB Duffy. Appreciate that as well. So we're going to place dirt here. I'm going to copy this. And so this farm is actually not even going to be, um, it's not going to be just dirt. I'm actually going to grab out some slabs too. It's uh, it's not even gonna, I'm gonna, not even going to use insanium on this. Insanium is not going to be here. It's going to be all red fertilizer. So that's going to be funny. Same thing as I'm going to do in the, the first one. I'm going to place it like, oh God, we need more slabs. I'm going to do like I did in the last one. We're going to go out to the side right here. We need to water log this one right here. And so on top of this, this is actually not even supposed to be this, right? Because we need to go down. Yeah, this is going to be a router. So bam. And then this is all going to be on the sides here. So I'm going to do the same thing and we're going to go up one. So I think, can I actually, do I have enough dirt for this? Where's all my dirt? I should be able to just make a bunch of dirt with this, the dirt essence. So I'm actually going to go, I don't want to go up like that. Can I just, okay, let's just do build to me. Ayo. Oh, <coughs> sorry. This one little gnat thing has been bothering me. I just woke up from my nap for my for my Saturday evening. We're progress. Have you made the star? So we're almost at the point where all of the generation stuff that I've done is almost done. I'm, at this point, what I'm pretty much missing is killing this gnat that's on my. <coughs> Did I get him? I don't know if I got them or not pretty much at the, So this part of the speed run is that we're pretty much setting up for as much as I possibly can. I'm just trying to set up as, um, for all of the resource gathering. Once I get all of the resource gathering, I'll be good to go. And so this part is for the nether stars. And this part is for literally all the rest of the stuff that I need. So that's where I'm at. And so I just got to make sure that I set this up, right? Post Malone's new album was so good, man. So the same thing here. Usually I do all the way around, but I'm not doing that this time. I'm just doing one little spot at a time. Oh, God. Just going to go around the center here. I don't really care if it has, like, messed up like that. Because it just needs to get... Where did that go? I can put more lily pads here if I wanted to, but I don't really care to. Just trying to do speed now. Thing is, is I could use leaves to waterlog this and it'd be easier. But this looks cooler. All right. And so now this should all be able to be tilled. I should have the diamond hose still, right? 
Should be able to till all of this. And so that should cover the water on this side. This should cover the water there. And that should cover the rest of this. Okay, and so now we need a modular router on top of this. So this is going to get another slab. So we're going to go slab, slab, slab. I'm going to break this. And then I'm going to do a slab. Can I do a slab under that? No, I got to do it right here. I don't want to, but screw it. And so now, as long as this stays tilled, and so this is going to be the up and down activator modules. I'm going to need three more. And so again, two of these, these are going to go in the garbage can. Two of these are going to be down and one of this is going to be up. And so one here is going to be down, one's up. And so that's going to get a scythe. I don't know if I can make the Supremium scythe. I'm missing eight Prudentium. So Prudentium. Do I have my infusion crystal? Do I not have my infusion crystal on me? Did I put it up? Bro, why? Uh, Prudentium. Do I not have... Oh, I have... Oh, I don't need it. I have this stack here. Okay. Scythe. Can I make this a premium scythe? Oh, sweet baby. Already passed the next release. That's good. Okay, so the scythe is going to go in here. We are going to need the... um, What is it called? Speed upgrades. I'm going to need another 20 of these. Do I have enough to make... Oh, I don't have enough to make the paper. Can I make paper? I can make paper by doing this... I can make the nature's essence do this. And then now I'm going to just make a stack of paper. And then, so now I should be able to do the speed upgrades. So we need 64. So one important thing is that these not are, these are not going to run if I do this. So if I go ahead and do this, they won't be able to, but I want to make sure that they can. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to my team. I'm going to go to this little setting up here. And I'm going to turn on uh, allow full uh, fake players. This is uh, all fake players hit true, except. And so now that'll make it to where it runs. But as you see, it's actually a lot slower. Now it's back to fast. That's okay. Hello. Um, so that should work now. So we go do the speed upgrades back in there. And so this one actually needs eight because if we do nine, it's going to be too fast. And so on top of this, going to be another router and this is going to be another watering can. Can I make the big watering can now? I think I can do a not. Oh, missing prud Prudentium. Prude. Maybe I should just turn all this into essence at this point. Oh, I have it in my inventory. What am I doing? Prude. Is that really I'm missing? Um, watering can. I'm starting to get tired. So things are starting to get a whole lot harder. All right. So the watering can is done. We're going to make sure we grab this. And then I'm going to snag some water out of that. And this is going to be in here with the down module. And then the speed module is going to go in here. And then we're going to need the advanced item collector, which is in my back of And we're going to need another ender chest with a blue die. So we're going to go grab another ender chest. And so we're going to make another blue die here. So we're going to grab all the stuff for this. Thing is, I'm going to run out of leather eventually. So I'm going to slap this down down here. And we're going to grab some blue dye. And we're going to stick it on the top here. And break it. And then we're going to shove this on top of this. And then we're going to do the advanced item collector. And so the same thing here. I think I can actually go five, five, six. I think it is. Got to make sure it covers all of the edges here. And so it's going to cover that. Maybe not six here. It needs to cover one. It needs to be five, six, five, because five, six, five will cover the bottom one right here. Why is there slime down here? Bro, what? All right. And so this, as you see, we've got a lot of extra seeds that don't have a spot yet. So we got to make sure we grab those out. Okay. So these extra seeds like die seeds, I don't actually need these die seeds anywhere. So we're going to put this up over here. Nether cord seeds. I don't even know if I place a lot of nether cord seeds or not. So I'm going to place them underneath here. God, we need to upgrade my jetpack. Did we even make a spot for it? Then now. All right. And so now this is basically once I change all this, we're going to go ahead and do this as well. And then I'm going to turn this range off. And so that's all going to get done here. All right. And now we need the red fertilizer. I'm going to go ahead and just, Ooh, we're missing some red dye. Okay. 
red dye. We're going to go ahead and just make a bunch of these with this. That's why that we have the dye essence. So then now we can just make a bunch of these. And so I'm going to need both levels of these to have red dye, a red fertilizer. And so unfortunately, there's not a good way to make this. But there is a good way for me to upgrade my god dang jetpack because, god, this is annoying. Okay. We need 11 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. And so then we need five of these. 1, 2, 3, oh. 2, 3, 4, Five. And so now we need one of these. I don't know if we have any furnaces made or not. Do we? We do. Cool. And so now I should be able to upgrade this to diamond. And so the next tier is emerald. So let's upgrade that. Because God, I'm so tired of this. Okay. We're going to make five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to grab one of these and i don't know if i have enough furnaces one two we definitely did and then there and emerald's fine for right now emerald is where i can now officially hover properly and so i should be able to come up and not come down which is good we're just going to turn this down to 60 because god it sucks if you don't so we're just going to go across here and we're just going to fill all this in so we need a lot of redstone so you guys know like a lot of redstone. Like a lot, a lot. Also, we need to go kill a charged creeper. That's going to be fun. What up, Minori? How are you doing? Okay, so next up, we're going to grab some more seeds here. We're going to have to figure out what seeds we actually want to use here. And so I know I'm going to need a bunch of obsidian, so I'm going to go ahead and plant these. So I'm going to plant these on the front, like the ones that I know that I'm not going to change. Like I need a bunch of obsidian is going to be it. So obsidian, I'm just going to plant a bunch of these down here. And so what else do we have here? We got to need, I don't know if we need that much fluorite, but we definitely need uranium. So I'm going to go ahead and plant a bunch of this. Okay, that should be fine. Seed. What else do we need? I know we're going to need a lot of quartz and rich iron. I think we're going to pretty much be solid on it, but I'm just going to go ahead and make sure. I don't know how much each of these, like, make per section. I wish that was something that I actually knew, and if I ever need any more, I'll just plant more. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, this grows almost instantly. So if I could figure out the math behind it, that would be good. I'm going to stick this in the middle down here. I haven't even filled in the first one yet. Do we even have a lot of water seeds planted? I don't think so. We need water to make, like, clay and stuff. It's nothing serious. I don't even think we planted a lot of air either. We don't really need a lot of air, but I'm just planting it just to plant it. Uh, dye seeds we're fine on. Nether quartz we're going to need a lot of, so I'm actually going to plant them over here. But hopefully everything is going to a plan. I kind of messed up a little bit, but otherwise it's not too bad. I actually didn't even plant much earth now that I think about it either. That'll be fine. So nether quartz is fine. Water is fine. Dye is done. Air is done. Nature seeds. I think I'm fine on a nature. We planted some silicon. We planted some nether. We planted the quartz and rich. Dirt doesn't need a whole lot. Uh, I think we still need a bunch of uranium and sulfur. We know. I know I need a bunch of steel, too. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these out. And so that should complete this first layer. I might have missed, like, one or two. And then so over here, we're going to... Oh, we missed a spot. 
And so we're going to come over here and do the same thing. So I'm going to plant a section of sulfur here. And I'm going to plant a section of steel. Because we need a lot of steel. And that should be enough of those two. And then we're going to do fluorite. I don't know if I'm saying that properly or not. We're going to need a bunch of uranium too. And so for the rest of these, I'm going to actually do redstone. We already have about 14,000 essence. This is kind of crazy. And so the reason being is because I actually need to do a ton of redstone for us to do um, the rest of the seeds and stuff that we need. So I'm actually going to have to make two more of these so I can do redstone. And I'm going to show you all that. We're going to do that after. Uh, we're going to do that a little bit later. Let me make sure that all of these are collecting properly. Okay, so we have a lot of earth. We didn't actually even make a spot for earth essence yet. Oh, man. That's currently where we're at. Do we have any void? I need to make sure that these are voided. So we're going to go ahead and make like 20 of these. Been playing Monster Hunter 2 the past two hours. Did anything interesting happen? We're doing crazy. We're like, I'm crazy. I'm insane right now. I'm crazy insane right now. I think these already have it, so that's good. And that should be as long as everything is going insane, huh? Crazy insane. All right, let's check on this. These should be still getting some stuff. One of these should be at least full, bro. Okay, we got a couple full. Cool, cool, cool. Only problem is, is this still pulling like it should be? 64, 64, 64. These should all be pulling and they should all be filling up, which they just take some time, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. All right, so now um, this is where I do the RF Crafter stuff. So we're going to go over here. We're going to go RF, cra RF Tools Crafter. And so we don't really need a whole... I think we actually get away with the Crafter Tier 3. So we've already got the recipe for the tier two just yonder man bro but we still got a life to give okay so crafters so we're gonna need a total of let's do three i think i should do three i think three would be fine missing wood oh no we need to we, that's because we haven't taught it how to do the oak trick yet we got to do oak and so we got to teach it how to convert oak into wood like this and then so now it knows how to make oak or the oak wood so now it should be able to make the crafter threes so let's just make four and so that should make it all you should be put in one of those hospitals for crazy people forgot what the name in insane asylum is that what you're talking about all right so this is what the cool part is so we can actually do this like this so two three four and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab mystical ag and then this time i'm actually going to go and do um i think it would do no craftables what is all of that okay let's do let's sort this by um name id last modified so that way i can see what's going in and out and so what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to set all of these to fast first. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the essences that I have and teach it how to do things with the essences. And so like the nature essence, I'm going to use eventually, or I'm going to use a little bit later. So we're going to go ahead and grab the day or nature essence. We're going to come over here and we're going to grab melons. I'm going to just teach it how to make melons with the nature essence. So just like that. And then I'm going to click extrude and then click apply. And so what I'll do is it doesn't have power, so that's fine. So we're going to give it four slots. And I'm going to tell it to remember these four slots. And so then I'll do this for each of these. So if I grab essence, if I say that I want to do, um, let's sort this by quality or quantity now. And so uranium essence, for example. So if we click here, do we click apply? We did. Okay. We click here. We hit U. This will give us the recipe. We click apply. And so uranium, I'm going to I'm gonna let this one have the whole bottom row. So we're going to click remember there. And so now we're going to go essence. We have uranium. We have stone. I don't think I need stone to be pulled out. Air, same thing. Don't need to air. We do need redstone to be pulled out, but I'm not going to do it in this one. Steel can be pulled out. Obsidian can be pulled out. Nether quartz can be pulled out. Dirt doesn't matter. Sulfur does matter. Fluorite does matter. Quartz enriched matter. Silicon matters. Okay, and so essentially what I'm doing here 
is now I can go to each of these recipes here and I can go you and say, hey, I want you to make these. So if I hit this, and we're gonna just let this one take the rest of those and then we're gonna put that in there. And so now if it had power, it would remember how to do those. Same, same thing here. We're just gonna make sure we click the first one, click you on it. We're gonna click this. And so it remembers the recipe and then we're gonna give it some room here. So remember those and then, oh, 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 click here, you, and then we're gonna give it the recipe and then click remember and apply. And so now, as long as we click remember, which is a good thing, and as long as we don't override the other ones, we can just do four at a time here. And so this should actually take care of all of these. Oh, did I override the fluorite one? Nope. Remember, and then silicon. Okay, and so now what it, this is gonna do is when I import from here, I'm gonna pull, um, I'm gonna import export from my system and so that way it'll automatically import an export. So if I do an exporter here and we go ahead and get this set up. So I'm gonna need a couple of ultra exporters. Let's do four. And then same thing with importers. Let's go ahead and grab four ultra importers. Missing the silicon. So silicon, we should be able to just automatically make a ton of. As long as these have spots. That's the one thing is they have to have spots. Like, if they don't have spots, we're kind of SOL here. Mr. Longstream Man, it's only going to be a while. Oh, my God, it's almost 12 o'clock. What up, Adam? How you doing? Such a short period of time blows me away. Well, thank you. I'm only nine hours in. Are we going to be get to base building the speed run? Probably not. I don't actually think I need all these other crafters. Okay, so let's do importer. Did we just grab? Those are exporters what we need to grab. I got notified when you went live when I started work. Dude, I've been going, man. Okay, so again, we're going to export on this side here. We only need these two right here, and then we're going to import on this side here. And so that way we can tell it what to get it out. So this one needs nature essence. This one needs steel essence. And so we need to make some melons first. We need to give a spot for all of this stuff. So we need nature essence. We need to make melons with it. So we're just going to go ahead and grab this. So that way I can tell it to make the melons. And so I can actually export it out there, but for the time being, I'm just going to put it up here because it has a spot. And so... I don't know if I still have the void upgrades or not, but we need to start putting void upgrades in everything. There's no way I can go higher than what I have, but it's just a good idea to put void upgrades in things just in case they get too feisty. So that way we don't back up anywhere. That's kind of the most important reason. That's definitely got to be void upgraded. I think it's already void upgraded. That one's got a void upgrade in it. That one does. Okay, and that should be all the void upgrades that I have. That's fine. Work nine hours, came out, got KFC, hit the gym, showered. You're still going? Dude, how's KFC? I actually don't really like KFC, believe it or not. I have yet to have KFC and be like, I actually like this. This is not me. Uh, so essence, we're going to grab the... So this one needs nature essence, steel essence, and uranium. So nature essence, steel essence, and uranium. I don't know if we have a spot for uranium yet. I think we have a spot for uranium. We have a spot for uranium over here. We can just double click right here to check. We do. Okay. Okay. So uranium's got a spot here. Okay. So as long as the uranium has a spot, we can grab out the uranium essence here. And so I can tell it, Hey, use these things real quick. So export these three different types of whatever. It remembers what the slots are going to be, and then it'll import all of it throughout here. So once we connect it all up, this will what it'll be. These things don't have recipes, so I'm actually going to use them. We'll use them later for something different. So let's go ahead and put these two up in my backpack, okay? I'm hearing some stuff, but I don't know what's going on over here. Is everything fine over here right now? I think it's looking good. But KFC got, has Popeyes, and they slap. I've never had it. Popeyes for the win? I don't know, man. I don't know about that either. Okay, so now I need some power, so let's just grab a point. I think I have a point in my backpack. I do. Point. So let's grab a point out. Bam. And let's go ahead and give it some power. 
Um, it's going to automatically tran it's going to put everything out here and that's fine. And so let's grab another flux duck and throw that sucker on top. One of the other things that I actually need is I need to convert everything up. And so let me show you how I'm going to do that. This is how I'm going to set everything up to Inferium. That's one thing I haven't done yet. So let me grab the crafter. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do everything into Inferium. Okay. So what I want to give this is I want to give this Inferium. Um, speaking of which, where is my Inferium? And I'm not making any more Inferium. Is it not going into my Inferium? Do I have not? Do I not have an Inferium spot over here? Am I just not getting Inferium over here? Where is all the Inferium going? Because I know I have Inferium growing. Or did I kill all the Inferium? I don't need any more seeds except for redstone. So I'm going to just go ahead and break all this and I'm going to grab my inferior seeds out. This is where it's going to be. And we're just going to go ahead and plant them all here. I think I did break them all. That might make a lot more sense. Okay. So I'm going to place inferior here and then I'm going to double click it here. And then we're going to go ahead and do surface. Do I not have enough seeds? So that should plant all the inferior there. wonder why they're growing so slowly. Oh, well. Okay, that should be fun. And so we'll do one more power here, which I need a flux duck for. Bam. And so let me show you how I'm going to do this. Okay. So this has power set to fast. I should have actually not given it this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my master infusion crystal. I'm going to make sure I do everything is going to be set to int like this all the way up. So we're going to take the our inferior blocks. So we're going to send Inferium blocks into here and we're going to go up from here. So we're going to apply it and then we're going to get some Prudentium, Prudentium, Prudentium. I don't even know if we have enough for a block or not. What's the next one? Tertium. Do we have enough for a Tertium block? Okay. And then Imperium. And then we'll go from there. So that's it. Make sure it's set to it. We're going to click apply. And then the next step, Int. We're going to do Master Infusion Crystal in the middle here. We're going to do the four Produntium or whatever. We're going to click Apply. This will make Tertium. Same thing. We're going to go here. We're going to make sure this is set to Int. And then we're going to do Tertium. This will make Imperium. We're going to click Apply. And then we're going to do the last one, which is Imperium. Or not the last one, but we're going to do the same thing here. Int. And then we're going to do Imperium. This will make a Supremium. So now that we have Supremium, now we just need to grab Supremium block. Do we have Supremium block? I can, all I need is one and then I can work from there. Okay. And so now these things, Oh, hold on, go here. We'll do int. And so this is actually going to be external C. So we're going to go here and then we're going to do the Supremium blocks and this will make me Insanium. And so Insanium, we can click apply. And now we have Insanium blocks. And it'll go all the way up. As long as it's set to int C, we're good to go. And so now I want to grab Inferium here. I want to grab inf a lot of Inferium blocks. And I want to just make sure that it remembers the first, that this row is going to be like this. Oh, hold on a second. On to activate. Okay, so we're going to put all this here. And then we're going to let it remember all of this. And then we're going to do ignored. Okay. And so now this will automatically output or give me uh, all the way to Insanium here if I have it. So if I have enough to make Insanium, it'll make it. And so now I just need to set up the importer exporter that I just did. So I'm just going to export uh, Inferium blocks into this. So that's how this is going to go. And so now I just need to connect it all up to my system with cables. I don't think you actually planted. What? I planted those suckers. We need some more cables. So now is where we start really having some stuff going on. Can I make the network things yet? I think I should be able to, right? Yeah, I have to use blocks. You can go, you can put Inferium directly into there and then turn the Inferium directly up. It's just easier and it saves you a lot more space if you do the Inferium and go up. That's what I do anyway. All right, this already, sh I should have already have the recipes for all of this stuff here. And so now we just need a network card. And I should have the recipes for all this too. So we should be able to make this using sugar cane. And so I should be able to put all this in here. And then I should be able to say, let me get a network 
I need a network receiver. I need a network transmitter and I need a network card. And so now I can just grab these out when they're done. And so now I can put the res the transmitter over here. Let's put this on top of this sucker. And so I can put the receiver over here like this. Oh, not there. Here. And then I can hit this with the card. And then I can come over here and put the card back in the receiver, even though I could have just piped it over here. And so now all of this should be connected minus this top side here. So I'm going to connect this like this. And now all this should be connected. And so the important part is, is when it's done, it'll output everything into the importer here and it'll pull it all out. And so this is just working so fast that you can't actually tell it's actually pulling everything out. Yo, thank you so much for the follow, Silent. I appreciate that. Two exporters on Last Crafter. Two exporters on Last Crafter. Two exporter, exporter. Oh, good, good eye. I didn't see that. This should be an importer. Good eye. Editor exporter here. And so now this should fill this up basically, and it should be making all the way up as long as it has a spot for everything. So premium, so premium. Does it have a spot for Prudentium? I don't think it does. Do I have a Prudentium block here? And so the thing is, is if I have Insanium in here, I can go backwards, right? But I have to make sure that it has a spot for the block because if it doesn't, that's not going to be good. So like that one's already done. So we got to make sure we has a spot for the block. So as long as I place this here, hold on, let's just click forget. And then, so now it's just going to fill this up. Ooh, I don't want that to happen because this is only going to go up from here. There's not a spot for production yet. So let's turn this off and then let's tell this to make this spot right here. And so remember that. And so now we should be able to turn this back on. And so now it should make all the way up. I don't think there's going to be a supremium block in here. Or uh, all the way up. This song's a bop. Hi, Shiloh. Are you still awake? And so now we're just constantly converting up. It's set on fast mode. It should be importing anytime it makes insanium. It'll, oh, God, we already made it seven. Or si yeah, we already made seven insanium blocks. So same thing here. We look in here. This is already done. It's already made everything. I hope that we had a sulfur dust spot. Do we have a sulfur dust spot? Oh, God. Sulfur. Oh, God. Do we have a sulfur dust spot? Sulfur? Oh, I only made a... Uh, wait, is that... Because it's not exporting yet. Cool. Okay, we didn't have a sulfur dust spot, but we have one now. So let me get the... Let me tell this thing to export the sulfur essence here. So this one needs to out, out, output sulfur, obsidian. So this is going to be sulfur. And so that'll fill that out. We need obsidian, which we should have an obsidian spot. And then it needs quartz, fluorite. Should fill that up. And so we have what? Is that steel or is that essence? I don't remember. Is that is that quartz enriched iron right there? And then we have silicon and sulfur. So silicon. And there we go. And so that should set all that up. And so now it's all crafting, as you see. It's, it's exporting pretty fast here. You just don't see it. You see how it's all counting up now? So we're going to actually Jason went me up. He had a potty. Is he okay? Oh, no. And so now all we have to do to continue this the way we want this, first I need to make more patterns. So I'm going to go ahead and make 64. And so now I'm going to just put the patterns back in here. And so now I'm just going to go from Insanium down. So I'm going to grab Insanium blocks. And so I'm going to teach it to make Insanium essence. And then I'm just going to teach it to make all the way down. So I'm just going to teach it to make Supremium. So if we go essence here, I'm just going to teach it to go all the way down. So anytime that I need anything. So in Supremium is what goes beneath Supremium? I think Imperium. I just want to feel good. What up, the wolf's den? How are you doing? And so all the way down, I'm not going to do Inferium because that would be kind of pointless, don't you think? And so we have Insanium, Tertium into Prudentium, uh, Insanium into Supremium. Um, this is, should be Insanium blocking into that. And then Imperium into Tertium and then all the way. So we got all the way down. So anytime that I need to make anything using those, I can have all the way down from there, which is really good. 
And so we put these up. We should see these essences going down minus the wood one. Like we should see these ticking down if they're going fast enough, which I don't even know if they're pulling fast enough. So the obsidian's done. So obsidian, we have 43,000, which is pretty nice here. Um, we're still going through the sulfur, which there's, so what is sulfur at the, I don't think sulfur was at the end. Was there, what's at the end? Silicon? But I just put, I think I just left those open, right? So sulfur's counting up. Yeah. Been here all night, but I heard someone being attacked and wanted people to feel good. Ooh, I go back to sleep. I'm going to go to bed here soon. I just want to set this up. And so the thing is, is I need to do two more towers of this. So I need to do two more just for redstone, but I think we save that for tomorrow. Because I think right now we're good. We can split this, and the next would be power reactor. So in nine and a half hours, are good. They were blank. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So yeah, so that's how I set this up. And so we're making a ton of inferium and ton of insanium and stuff. We already have how much steel? Bro, we got 20,000 steel already. I think I did need lead. I think that was actually one of the things that I needed to do. We needed to put lead over here in... Uh, this to smelt is one of the things that I needed to do. So when lead needed to be, let's do raw and see what we have in here. We still have raw iron. Is raw iron not smelting anymore? Raw iron. That needs to smelt too. What else is raw that needs to go in there? Raw platinum. Oh, I just put something in there. And so this will just constantly smell things down. It's good. There should be a hug command. You should be able to do exclamation point hug. I've had a hug command since like 1943, my dude. There's no way I don't have a hug command. Okay, so now these are the extra seeds I haven't made yet. How am I doing on osmium? I don't know why I just dropped. Osmium, I'm kind of okay on. Kind of. I think I'm going to need more osmium, actually. Maybe not. We'll see. You have to add someone? Yeah, hug at. Yeah. Okay, so we're kind of good on that. Honey is very easy to get. Prosperity C base. Okay, so we're pretty much good. We don't really need anything. Can I make blaze ra uh, blaze powders out of essence too? Do you have to have... Do you have to have essence or whatever? Can I make a blaze rot? You have to have blaze essence. Or you can just have molten cores. That's fine. So I don't really think it matters. And so how is this coming along? This is all going into Insanium. And so this is finally all pouring out. We still have a bunch of sulfur dust being coming out right here. Um, this should be importing properly. And so if I need to make speed upgrades, so if I come over here and grab a NIS, we're going to do refined speed. And so we got to come over here and we got to make the recipe. So it goes like this. Do I have the sugar recipe? I don't know if we do or not. Let's see if I have the sugar recipe. Sugar cane. And I don't think I have the sugar cane recipe, so I'm going to make that just in case. Do I have the sugar cane recipe? I do not. Okay, and so now I can just make this stack upgrade recipe too. That's because I'm going the wrong thing. And so stack upgrades I don't actually need right now, but I need the speed upgrades. I should be able to go. There you go. Hug me. Oh, thank you. And so now we pretty much have infinite resources between uh, this sucker over here plus the netherite, like the chest right here. This is full, obviously, because we just have so much stuff. Like, we just have so much stuff, and I think we're pretty much good. So speed upgrades. The cool thing about these is you need four per stack. So I can actually go over here and do four and make sure I turn that off. Four. And so this will just make it import faster. And so that way it actually gets it out of the recipe thing a whole lot faster. So like this is still going up. Like we're ticking. We're literally just mind-blowingly ticking right now. And as long as everything has a void upgrade, which I think I'm missing a couple over here, I think I'm just solid. Do I have everything taken up over here? I do. Um, I think we're pretty much solid. That doesn't have a void upgrade. I don't know if it needs one or not. It probably does need one, but it literally holds two points of one million, you know? And so if it gets a void upgrade, it just won't go past the void upgrade in the backpack. So like netherite, why is netherite not being made right now? Netherite's not being touched right now. And so I have netherite essence going over here. I just don't remember where I have it going into. Is it going into here? Where's my netherite essence going into here? Did I not set up a netherite essence one? Let's grab that netherite essence one. Let's make sure we grab that because that's kind of important. Okay, so let's grab netherite essence here. We're going to click remember. 
And then we're going to go down here and I'm going to do U here and we're going to give it this recipe here. And so now if I tell it to export netherite essence, we should start seeing netherite just skyrocket. Oh, uh, that's going through real quick. Cool. It's going down. And so now we should see almost all the essences except for redstone going down. I don't want those going down yet. So we have dye going up, earth stuff going up. Uh, nether essence, so we're going to use that later on down the road. Fire, water, all that stuff. There's a couple of recipes that I want to get from these, but this is pretty good. So yeah, we've got all the netherite stuff coming out here, all the sulfur. All this is done. Everything's pretty much done and gone down. And so all this, these melons that I'm making are going to be used for the melon power. But I think actually at this point, we're solid enough for us to just go straight into making power reactors. So we're doing, uh, we did the C towers. Those are pretty much finished. All we need to do now is I need to make two more seed towers for redstone and then I need to get, we need to get a charge creeper. So I think I'm going to do that first and then we're going to make this book and then I'm going to set up the stuff to show you guys how I, I do this specific thing. Okay. So we, this is how we're going to do nether stars, which is going to be kind of wild. And so I don't actually need much power to do this, but this is like the first time I've ever doing a nether star speed stuff like this. So if we mess this up, we might mess the whole speed run up. Let's go. Let's, let's got to get the lag out of the beginning. Okay. We gotta get the lag out of the beginning by like sorting and stuff. Okay, so here's our seed towers over here. This is our seed towers. We gotta build two more of these, okay? And so they have to be red fertilizer is what they've gotta be. Um, so we're gonna build this out. We, we're gonna need a lot more fertilizer. Can I make like a ton more fertilizer? I can make a ton more fertilizer. Okay, so we're gonna need to build all this out. We're gonna need some dirt. I don't know if we can, can we make the lily pads or not? I don't know if we can make all the lily pads yet. Lily pad of fertility. I should probably auto craft these things. Can I auto craft the lily pad? How are we doing on patterns? We got enough. Pa we got enough space. We do have enough space. Okay, so we're gonna do lily pad of fertility. I'm gonna grab this one. We're gonna grab that recipe, and then I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna grab this recipe. And I think I already know how to make green green dye, but I'm just gonna get the recipe just to make sure that I can make. It. Do I have green dye in here? I don't think so. All right, so now I can just do lily pads and make a bunch of them. What up, Fasty Dave, dude? I love you. Happy birthday. You know it's Ma's birthday today. We're oh missing. Oh, we're missing nature's essence for that. Did you know it's Ma's birthday today? I don't know if y'all knew that or not. And so we're gonna scoot this over a good bit here. I'm gonna do it like right here. And so we're gonna go, uh, let's go grab the small square here. It is Ma's birthday today. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. Do another nine by nine. So we're gonna do two of these. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, it's clap time. I probably messed that up, but it's okay. I'm trying to remember what I wanted to do. Hold on. Um, click, 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 click. Well, that's like a little delayed. Click, click, whatever. That's close enough. All right, water bucket. You're probably like, what is he doing? for my recordings. It's going to help me line things up. I don't like how delayed that was, though. That was going to be delayed. Okay, that should fill in the rest of these. Cool. And now we need the lily pads on the bottom. Can I make at least enough for one more lily pad thing in a boobler? Six to four. I think that should be enough. Can I craft it? Oh, here we go. Happy birthday, Ma. Happy birthday to them. Hell yeah. How's your, how's your progression and stuff going? Oh, that's not it. Bam. Okay, all these. Okay, now we need to do dirt. I like to take out the middle just because it's easier. I would, I probably should just copy paste all this, but I haven't decided to do that yet. Okay. Does it still put the hole in the middle? It did. Okay, cool. And so we need the slab in the middle. We're doing the same exact build over and over and over again. Okay. So slab in the middle, and then I will eventually do this thing for the thing here, but we're just going to, and then we're going to do slab, 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 and we're going to break this. And then the modular router goes on top of this. So router, router gonna go ahead and make four of those stick them in a stew so router here and then we're gonna build out it's supposed to be this way but that works we're gonna go this way we need to we need to fertilize all this first i think it's probably smaller let's do that red fertilizer and then we're gonna need that hoe i said shapeless Eight out of nine. Final boss is no joke. Wait, are you doing? Are you talking about mythic or heroic? Because if you're, are you talking about mythic? That's kind of wild. Y'all aren't on mythic, right? 
That'd be crazy if y'all were on Mythic. I don't think I, I don't know if I have enough stuff for watering cans or not. This part's like kind of bleh. Ten, there's ten bosses I can count. It's okay, I love you. Is this after the nerfs and stuff? Because that's kind of crazy. The thing is, is I'm colorblind, so for those who don't know, I can't see colors that well, so I have to, like, double-check to make sure. And so I can't see the little dots on these things when they're not watered, so this will work for now. And so now we can build this out. We just need a wound. Missed one? Did I miss one? Where did I, It says fertilized on all of these. We'll find it out of, eventually. It will, it will show itself eventually. You're hurting me. Cheap excuses. Don't hurt me like that. Oh, there is one right there I missed. Bam. Okay. It will show itself eventually. Honestly, I need to go ahead and plant the... Well, no, I can plant the red sun seeds, no problem. And so this is not going to get watered yet, but we are going to need some stairs here to water these. Can I just do leaves? Hold on a second. Can I just do leaves? Okay, so I think, does water go through the leaves at the bottom? Because if they go through the leaves, that'd be annoying. I don't know if they go through the leaves at the bottom or not, so I don't know if I want to do that or not. I don't care if it's messed up. Y'all are going to be like, oh my god, Alfred, you're going to go back and do your old tire speed run because you did the rocks wrong, or the sides wrong. Usually I would do the entire outside of this in stairs, but I'm not doing that because it's annoying and uh, having to water every single one of them. And so I would put more lily pads there, but it's not that big of a deal because it already goes fast enough that it doesn't actually matter. And so that should be everything that we need. So now we're just going to go ahead and replace this with some water. And uh, you could, like I said, I could put lily pads on top of these. It's kind of a waste, but this is to keep this all watered. Um, that's going to bother me. And then, so now we're going to hoe all of this. I wish there was an easy way to do the fertilizer. We're going to have to grab some more because I'm going to run out. I had the water. So the watering cans actually do keep the things watered, believe it or not. Believe it or not, even though it's called a watering can. But yeah, you're going to need to do the whole speed run again because you ruined the stairs. You hate me, bro. You hate me, bro. I'm not cookie blind. And I didn't see that. Well, I mean, I'm colorblind and green is not my specialty. And I'm almost entirely certain that this turns red. When, and uh, considering it's called red fertilizer. And so, like, I'm going to be honest with you. This is not my colors, okay? Nobody can see them, don't worry? Okay. Like, I just automatically assume that it's because I have, um, what is the word? A disability. I have a disability in the sense that I literally cannot see red green stuff that well. I actually busted my nose once because of that. I went and was hanging out with a buddy and we were, um, actually I can't tell the story. I guess I can tell the story, but I don't know. We are going to go clay shooting and we put a red dot on one of the, uh, the weapons. I'm not going to say much outside of that. And I went to go shoot it. And when I aimed it over the forest, I couldn't see because it was a red dot and a green thing. And because I was so confused trying to look for it when I accidentally shot and hit myself in the nose, I didn't shoot myself in the nose. Uh, that is not that we don't, we don't say that here. We, we don't, we don't say that. That is not, a, that is a no, no. Can I actually click these buttons? Uh, I, there's actually no buttons there. A disability does not mean the same thing. That does not mean the same thing. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's a no no. All right. Anyway, uh, we need to go uh, stone slab. That's gonna get rid of that, I think. Or does it not try? And okay, so this makes it. This is the up and down activator module. We're gonna go ahead and make like six, I think. So we need three for this. Again, two are gonna be down. One is gonna be up. And so one of the ups going here, one of the downs going here, and then we go scythe. Can I make two scythes? Missing inferium. Are we actually missing inferium or am I tripping? Oh yeah, because the inferium automatically gets put in here. That's the one downside of this is like, I have to come over here and turn this off to make the scythes or whatever, because that's the only problem. I need two scythes total, which I should have enough for all of them. I need the watering cans too have ability do you have i don't know i've got red cone deficiency can't tell the difference between dark reds and brown i also can't tell the difference between dark red dark reds and brown um i also there's like a i also can't just like i suck in general but um can i make these two 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 
Uh, I just, I have, I'm, re- I'm just colorblind. Like, why do I have the repair kit in my inventory? When did that happen? Um, so that's, I got that going for me. And I got that going for me. I, it's not, it's not a good thing. Um, so this is the scythe in here. And so we need the speed upgrades. Did I make a bunch of speed upgrades yet? Oh God. I felt like I made a bunch of speed upgrades. Am I just dumb? Uh, uh, uh. My wife got a new kitchen gadget. She had shown me this morning because of that most items say keep out of reach of children. This one said keep out of reach of mentally disabled individuals and children. I mean, like uh, you have to be, you have to be careful because you never know what can actually like injure somebody. And so some people just like don't know how easy it is to get injured on certain things. And so I completely get it. I mean, honestly, if there's like a mental disability or something, usually there's a lot of people, like, there's a lot of things going around it to like help and to maintain like safety. Okay. So we do need, we're going to need some more inner chests here. And, um, we're going to need two of the, or yeah, t- three of them. So, and we're out of leather. Do I have any leather at all? Oh no. Okay. So this is where the flesh comes from. Cause we're going to need to turn these into leather. And this is why I got this beautiful setup over here. So bam, and then it'll go in there. Colors are hard. It's true. In my backpack? Wait, what's in my backpack? Do I have leather in my backpack? I've got six leather in there. Good eye. Okay. Um, inner chest. That'll only make me one, but the uh, Dave is not here. I need one more. Have a great stream. I love you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you have a good one, my dude. Hope everything goes well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and switch. We're going to, we should be able to make the ender chest now. I need three of these. And so we also need some red dye here. I don't know if we have red dye or not. Can I make red dye? Don't we have rose? Can't we make red dye? Hold on. Red dye. This is going to be for redstone. This is a little excessive, but you know what? It happens. And so I'm going to set this up real quick. This is my first time actually doing this setup. So we're going to do red on the top here to change this into a different thing. And then I need some ender pearls to upgrade these all the way. And then we're going to break them. And so that works. And now what I'm going to do is this is going to be set up for over here. So this is going to go on top of this one like this. We're going to need an advanced item collector, which I believe is in my backy packy. It is cool. All right. We're going to throw that on top of here. And then this is going to be, what is it? Five. Didn't we do five, five, six? And so pick that up and then that'll complete this one. You just need redstone seeds. Uh, so this is going to stack up real quick. So we're going to see how this goes. We need to put all this extra stuff up that I have in my inventory back up. It's good. God, I have too much stuff in my inventory. Did we put speed upgrades in this thing? We did. Okay. So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to hopefully be able to plant all of these in one go with this. So I'm going to plant this down. And so these shouldn't really go anywhere. Oh, now that I just realized. This will go into this chest. Did I put the redstone essence over here? I put the rest of redstone essence in this thing, right? Okay, so yeah, we're actually going to use the blue one. So let me just grab the blue dye and switch it back. Because I forgot. We are going to... I'm still going to use the redstone essence somewhere else, but I'm, I don't mind it being in my system right now. So we'll just switch that back to blue. Did that change it to purple? Okay, no, it switched to blue. I was like, please don't, please don't double up like that. And so now I should be able to grab this and then I'll plant all of them at once. Plant all of them at once. And so that should all be redstone. And so this should just fill this up with redstone essence. And then not change the color, the red color. Wait, what? You got me tripping. So now we need to do this again. We need to switch this to small square and then break this out. You could do like this and just do... So three, three... And then I don't think it breaks past the block, but I could be wrong. I didn't even do what I said when I said like this. I think we should have enough nature essence now to be, oh no, we don't have enough nature essence. Do I not have a spot there? We don't have enough nature essence because I'm turning all the nature essence into, um, let's go ahead and turn this back on. We're turning all the nature essence into um, melons. We're going to turn that off for right now so I can get more lily pads. And mass forecasting, mass forecasting. So, oh, why are you have to hurt them like that? 
I have the glasses for colorblindness. It is not worth getting, in my opinion. They're good in the sense that it's cool, but like, oh, we're still missing. Oh, hold on. Am I missing enough for 14? We're missing the bones now. Ooh, that's kind of a problem. We're missing the bones now, so we got to turn this back on. We're about to have some lag, y'all. I could probably turn all these off and just do... Um, Wait, why can't I pick this up? Oh, did I put the water in there? Oh God, what have I done? Can I take the water out of this? Or do I need a bucket for the water to come out of it? Bucket. It's what, two buckets of water? One, two. Okay, that's not good. Is it gonna get experience now? Is it gonna keep pumping out experience? Okay, cool. This should give us everything back that we need. Let's see if we can do the lily pads now. Uh, We need another like a bunch of these. Oh God. Oh God, that's not good. So right now we have this working the way we need to, and we have the redstone essence coming in over here. Question is how are we doing on the rest of the stuff? I think we have plenty of silicon, plenty of seeds. What do you mean? We got plenty of uranium. So maybe we just hold off. Maybe we build the rest of this. Let's see. Let's just put a lily pad in the middle here. Is this off centered? No. Okay. So one, two, three, and then four, and then that's the middle. And so we'll just go ahead and build out the dirt on top of this. I don't, can I grab this? No, because it's got to be fertilized farmland. So that's not going to work. It has to be dirt. Can I, I don't know what just happened. Okay. All right, cool. And then we'll just extend this out. Bro, this jetpack is so fast. All right, we need the middle block, which should be right here to be gone. Yep, cool. We'll build that later. And so this needs to be a slab, water bucket. The slabs need to be, oh, God, I got to make some more slabs. Modular router. This is where we're going to need those activation modules. So one is going up, one and two are going down. So we have the scythe in here. Okay, and speed upgrades. The reason why I'm doing eight is because nine makes it way too fast, and that becomes a problem. Because as you see, it's growing fast. If not, there's like not a whole lot of time for it to harvest after it grows. And so it's not that big of a deal. Did I literally run out of dirt? I got enough dirt in here. Okay. So it's not that big of a deal for it to be missing one. It's just it ticks way too fast when you have nine in there. And that's a problem. All right. So now we just got to do the stairs. God, I hate doing the stairs. Actually, I wonder if I could just make the copy paste gadget and do this easier. Because I'm going to need the copy paste gadget anyway. So let's just go ahead and make that. And I just, I don't know if it copies liquids or not. So here, paste. Can I copy it like, can I? Cool. Let's rotate. Cool. I copied the bad one too. That's what the worst part about this is. And then there's those copied. Cool. I don't, I really don't like putting those stairs down. It's annoying. I copied the bad one. So now we got the bad one everywhere. Out of all the ones I could have copied, I copied the one that looks the worst. Okay, and so now these should be able to be hoed. Um, oh, God, I always forget that I'm on that and not shapeless. And so now we just have to plant. Do you know what I didn't do? I didn't plant the red fertilizer on this one. That's going to be fun. I don't even know if we have enough for red fertilizer. I'll have to find out. Let's put the speed thing up here. Oh, no. 24 hour nice. Oh, be nice for 24 hours. Can fluff do it? Can fluff do it? I don't have nature essence on me. Did I put the slabs up? I think I put the slabs up. 
So being a noob and only playing vanilla, yesterday you said almost all the mod players use streamers and such for info. How nice is the Discord if there is one? How nice is it? It's pretty it's pretty okay. As long as you're uh um RSU or sorry, as long as you're a um a2 user i mean people can be mean no matter where you go but i would still go to the all the mods discord personally i don't think there's anything wrong with going to the discord you should be fine um i think it's there should be no problem going to the discord so that should do the watering cans there and then this is where we put the inner chest i to change the color to blue well, we probably should take those out and then we'll put the advanced item thing on top and we'll switch this to that. So the reason why it's that is because if we don't turn it to this range, I think it might need to go seven, but it catches the things that falls out and that's important and it falls underneath. But yeah, they're pretty cool for the most part and I'll protect you. You have 51 speed upgrades in the backpack. Oh, I am dumb. There's the 51. Okay. Should is, is fine. We get, we got plenty now. And so now I got to do the red fertilizer on the first part, which if you don't do this, this is why I give them a space apart so I can get in here. Cause otherwise it's kind of annoying. I could probably make something for reach, but otherwise I just have to break all these down. These don't have lily pads, so that's kind of a problem, but it's okay. If it's like this, if it's on the red fertilizer, like the land is already tilled and watered, I can straight up see everything that I need to. Red fertilizer. Missing. Oh, do I not know how to make red dye? Okay. Don't need that many, but I'm making it. The shrink device. Oh, yeah. The shrink device could work. I completely forgot about that sucker. Shrink device could work. Man, I got to pee again. There was a time I was recording a B-roll for the mystical agriculture farm, whatever. And I, the cool thing was I was going to do this, but I was going to time lapse it and make it really fast. And so that it looked really smooth. And then in the middle of me doing it, I got distracted by something else and stopped and it messed the B-roll up. And I was like, that's just great. I like open my inventory or something pretty rough. Um, so that should take care of the those, and then now we just need to get the lily pads, which I don't know if the lily pads are... I can make the lily pads now or not. So we need, like, two stacks. Missing the bones and the uh, nature's essence. I don't know if that's, like, for everything. We should have the nature's essence for it. Like, that shouldn't take too long at all. Available is one. Is it outputting all the things in here? Is it outputting all the nature's essence in here yet? Or is it just not making nature's essence? Am I tripping right now? Do I not have nature seeds over here growing? I think I don't actually have any nature seeds. Don't you have a uh, be a patron to go to the into the all of my discords now? You could just join it. You can join either of them. Just ask in the Alpha Discord? Yeah, you could do that too. Did I not turn this off to where Nature Essence doesn't go in here? Yeah, Nature Essence should go off. Do we not have any Nature Essence? Am I tripping right now? Okay, it's making it. Just gotta make more. Kind of weird. Did I put up the Netherite Seeds? Did I break the Netherite Seeds? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Oh, God. That's not good. Because those have to grow. Otherwise, how are we doing on netherite? We're doing all right? 1.1k? That's still not enough. I have a bunch of nether quartz. We have a bunch of everything that we need. I think quartz and rich, I think we're in a good spot, too. But we'll see. Um, we need lily pads. So we need about two stacks of this. So we're missing three bones. So literally just three bones. Lily pads. One bone. One bone. Give me one bone. There we go. Should make it pretty fast. 
Can't believe I got gated by one bone. All right, same thing here. I'm just going to place this here, and then I'm going to go this, and I'm going to click there. So cool thing is, is this actually also will fill in that middle hole that I've never filled in over here. And so that will work perfectly. And so I don't know how many redstone seeds we have, but I need to get more of them. How much redstone seeds are we working with? I'm going to need way more than that. We need to plant some more redstone seeds over here. This is all Inferium, which we should have plenty now. I need, like, a ton of redstone seeds. I'm probably going to just need another stack, basically. What, you get, like, extra channels? Oh, yeah, you get extra channels in the Discord, if that's the case. All right, let's see how fast we can make these redstone seeds, or how fast they can go in there. Because we need, like, a good bit to finish this out. And that should take all 48 that I have. I still have a bunch that I need to plant. But we're getting a ton of redstone essence. I guess while we're getting waiting for the seeds, let's go see. Redstone. Yeah, we're going to wait for some seeds. And so while we're doing that, we're going to set up the crafter thing right here. And so I don't know if I put the crafter back in the inventory or in my backpack. Right there. And so we're going to need one more crafter, I think. I want to grab another crafter. It doesn't have to be a tier three, but I'm just going to... Are tier threes faster? Do we know? I don't know if tier threes are faster or not. So, oh yeah, we need a lightning creeper before we do this. So let's put up the redstone seeds. Let's put up all the stuff. Are we set up the rest of that? Okay, yeah. Did we set this up to be the right range? Okay. Let's put up everything that I don't need. Oh, my backpack is full. Mr. Cheese Bastic, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. All this can go up. I don't know why I have all this in my inventory still. We're almost out of food. If you set like the recipe twice, maybe I just, then you would be limited to buy, uh, buy export or whatever. Essence, nature essence. Well, we can just go ahead and convert a bunch of things into seeds again. Okay, cool. That's dope. All right, now we just need the redstone seeds. We're gonna go put this stuff up real quick. Um, the cables can come out. Okay, and so now we need to go get a redstone creeper. I'm pretty sure what we're going to do is we're going to do Tome of Alchemistry is what it's called. Alka 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 I don't know what that's. Basically, we're missing a witch's hat, which you can get, and an eye of the storm. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to make a mob yoinker. Okay, very simple. Bam, we got to get some more iron bars here, and we got to get a lead. Or lead or whatever. What up? How you doing? Uh, would giving an avocado tree be better for food? Yes, we could probably get one. And so we get a mob yoinker. And then so we have to go in here and we got to specifically turn this off and we got to get a creeper. Alka has to kablam. Yeah. All right. So we got to find the creeper scale or spawner. So that one, we're going to turn that on real quick. And then I'm going to just grab that creeper and then I'm going to turn this off. And then I'm going to try not to die here. Can I slide through here, please? <laughs> I move so fast that we turn that back on. We get that going for a little bit longer because we need the emeralds and stuff. I'm eventually have to convert those over. Okay, so now that we have a creeper, we need to make a lightning bomb. There's a couple of ways to do this, but evil craft has to make, we have to make lightning bombs anyway. So lightning bombs or lightning grenades are pretty easy to make. You need the thunderstruck one. So we need the weather ob containers. So we're going to grab a couple of these because I actually need to go find a couple of these. So we're going to grab out one of them is for actually, hold on. Let me grab one more. One of them is going to be for um, the star and the rest are going to be for um, water. Basically, we need our structure compass. So I don't know how I have so much health. Do I have what is giving me so much health Four health? Three health, seven health, six health. I guess those are. What up, Danger Dragon? 
All right, we're going to go like this, and we're going to find the nearest uh, evil craft dark temple. I'm going to select it, and we're going to find it, and the nearest one is this way. I'm going to turn up my jetpack to go faster. Wee! Over by the end, too. Is this the one that I used already and that is probably still charging? If it is, that's not good. Oh, yeah, this one might be the one because I tore that whole place up. Maybe. Hope weekend's better than mine. It's going pretty good. It's chill right now. It doesn't look like it's charging. Might be a good thing. Okay, you're going to throw this in there. That'll give us my only sunch. Of course it starts raining literally right afterwards. Actually, I wonder something. Where is my staff? I wonder if this works. It does work! That sucker... Wait. What is happening? What is hurting me? Something was hurting me. Is this spit? What is going on? Oh, is it? Why is there a tortoise here? I'm so confused. Does it just give you random effects? Bro, that's kind of dumb. I don't know why there's a tortoise that spawned there. That was kind of weird. Okay, so cool thing is, now that this is raining, we can actually just straight up make this into the eternal water blocks that we need. I need like eight. Tortoise was getting buried too. What? We need dark blocks for this. We're going to make two of these. And so then we need to turn this into the water one by doing two water buckets like that. And so cool thing is, is the water essence, we can actually make water buckets. And so same thing here, we're going to do the water bucket here. And so these are the two rain ones. So we need one that turns into a lightning charge here. So it's going to be like this. And so we've got to give it glowstone to turn into that. We're going to need two of these. Because one of these is going to be turned into lightning grenades. And actually, no, we didn't even need to make two. That's cool. Because now we can just turn this into a lightning grenade by making some TNT. And we just need one of those for the star. And so there's a lightning bomb so they can go up. And then we just need a lightning charge. And then so what we're going to do is we're going to take the mob yoinker. I'm going to throw this down. I'm going to hit him with a lightning grenade. And then I'm going to kill him. And that should give me the lightning charge lightning creeper, right? Am I tripping right now? Did I just not get a lightning thing? Did I just not get lucky? Oh, God, we got to grab another one. Oh, God, I got my... Oh, God, I got my magnet on. Oh, God. I don't know where they all went. I'll turn this on. Spawn some creepers. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to just leave this on for now. Damn. Can you drop it, please? Do I have to make more than one? Or does it not work for no AI creepers? Did I grab a skeleton? You're lucky. Hopefully this works. Because we're charging a creeper. There it goes. Okay, it does work. Cool. Okay, so now we have this. Now we come over here and we grab a witch's hat out because I know we got a couple in here. And so now we just use this to make the Tome of Alkahestry or whatever, and bam. All right, and so now we can go turn this back off. I don't know if I need the mob drops or not. I know I need emeralds, but we'll eventually... I'm just going to turn this... We'll just leave this. Good morning, April. All right, so now we got to get the Tome and stuff set up. So we're going to put those up for real quick, and then we get these two set up. Okay, so the first one is going to convert all the redstone essence. Oh, there's no center here. We're going to get this one to convert all the redstone essence into redstone. So if I go redstone, 
and I do click here and then I go redstone and then we're going to do this. I click apply. This needs to be int so it stays inside of it. And so then we're going to grab redstone out here. Actually, do I want, we're going to turn this into blocks is what it is. Yo, Can, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. We're going to turn this into redstone blocks, which I think it might be easier to do like this. And apply. And so I'm going to need that redstone essence out here. And so that I can teach it, hey, use this many slots to make the blocks. Ooh, hold on. No, we're going to do that. Because it's going to make a lot. You know what? Actually, hold on. Let's just take these out. Let's just do like this and make that remember it and then use this for the blocks. Okay, and remember that. And so then we can apply and so this will be fine. And then this is going to go out into another crafter here. And so this one is going to, we're going to need to do something specific. Okay, so this tome can charge with redstone blocks. And so what I want to do is I want to set this to where we grab some redstone blocks real quick. And what I want to do is I want to char charge this up like this, and then, well, we forgot to do that. We forgot to click this. And so I'm gonna just put this in here. We're gonna charge this up and we're gonna do int. So that way it stays in and this will charge this up. And then, so eventually I want this to charge enough to get to the nether star one. So the nether star is 256. So I'm gonna do like this. So that's 72, 144. 216 and then we need to take out some redstone here until I get to 256 270 261 is it 256 I think it's 256 because with this you can duplicate a nether star 256 okay so yeah this is what 261 252 so we grab redstone and that's 256 okay and so now we grab a star out and we teach it this recipe here the next recipe will be this plus another star. And we want to int this because we want, or we want to X C. Actually, the problem is, is you have to keep one nether star in here. Because if it loses another star, it like it has to cycle back and forth. And so what I can do is now I can put these in here. And once I give this power, so if I do a point here. All right, do I have a point in here? Do, 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 do. This is how I'm doing my nether star farm. So point, we're going to do this, and that should give these things. We're going to set these to fast. Set this one to fast. Oh, I set that one slow. Set this one fast. And so I've already duplicated one star, right? Because that's how it works. And so this has to be exported into here. So we're going to grab some cables out. And we're going to grab an exporter here. And so we're going to export here and we want to give it redstone essence. And then we'll grab the cables and we'll link them up over here. And so that will export the redstone essence, which will finish the redstone into the blocks. And now we need item pipes with our wrench. And so the thing is, is the redstone blocks immediately get like, uh, it should immediately get used up. So let's go ahead and make another one of these pipe upgrades. And so just in case it doesn't, we can grab the redstone blocks out and we'll turn this to off. And then, so I'll tell this that this is what it needs to remember. Um, and we'll do nether stars out this way. And so it remembers that. And then we can turn this on and then it should just eat up all the redstone. And so now when I throw this pipe upgrade that I never got in here, it should speed up the process and it should make us some more nether stars. So it's ignored. It's on fast and it's going to charge this up as much as it can to get nether stars. So this is kind of faster. The only problem now is that tome is not working fast enough. So maybe I need to do another one. It's two in about two nether stars per second, right? Would you say? It's running out of power, though. Interesting. 
I think it's I think it's running fast enough. Cause it's gotta convert all this over. And this is also running out of power. Am I just running out of power? There's no way I'm running out of power, because this stuff should be keeping up. Need more power? I don't think I need more power. I'm about to switch this here in a little bit, but for now, this should work. How much does this do? 132? It's using as much power as it needs. And so now it's just going to keep pumping this all in here. And I mean, it's making, it's like, it's almost a couple of nether stars per second. I might actually need to make another tome to make this faster. But I don't know if it's because it's doing the one craft. And that's as fast as it can go with the tome. So like, what if we sped this up? Can it go faster? It's still only going one. It's not really going faster. And it has the redstone for it. That's what I'm thinking is another crafter with another tome. Unless this is just not going fast enough over here. Which that doesn't make any sense. You know what we should do? We should actually just, instead of making blocks of redstones like this, we should actually just, oh. We're actually going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a regulator upgrade so it at least keeps one star in here. So I'm going to grab an upgrade. I'm going to need to get this recipe eventually, but for now I'm just going to grab the regulator upgrade. Can I not make this? And what we're going to do is we're going to do an importer or an exporter. We're going to grab another exporter here. And we just want to make sure that one nether star is put in here. And so if this setup works right. If I throw the exporter on here. And I make sure that this just keeps one nether star in here with a regulator upgrade. I just want one regulator upgrade in here. That's all I want to keep is just one. And then I should be able to connect this up. And so it should keep one nether star in here. And then we would need an importer to keep the redstone coming. Well, here's the problem. I would have to set this one to XC. And now we would need to do a drawer and get those copper upgrades. And so we would take the nether stars out here, throw it in here, and then we grab an item pipe and go bam and there. And so now, as long as it keeps one nether star in here, if you see the blue items when you hover a crafting recipe, you can control shift click the plus and it will auto craft for you. Yeah, I know the auto crafting things, but like I'm not, I'm, I haven't set up some of the things for it. So, so far we have 800 and something, which is good. We need an external storage on this too. Actually, I should have just imported this into my system. Let's just do an external storage. I don't have a recipe for that yet. Can I, you said, let's see. Let's just grab the recipe for that. Because I have all the stuff for this one. And this way, this is where my nether stars go. Because I can't connect it to my system yet. This is where I, this way, if I need to craft with some nether stars, I can do that with this. And so the same thing here, I'm going to set this to priority one. And so now I can see my stars in here. It'll tell me how many stars we have. So we've created a thousand already, which is pretty good. 
And so this is full, but it's not actually keeping a nether star in here, which kind of sucks. So this is not going to work. Hmm. So basically this would be have to be manually taken care of. Let's turn this off and then let's do uh forget the remembered layout. Let's take these out. Well, we'll have to turn off the redstone thing here. And so while it has a bunch of redstone blocks here, we can do nether stars across the board here and then click remember. And then we can turn this back on and turn this back on. Because it really doesn't need anything but the nether stars at this point. And then this can go back in there. The thing is, this will need to be periodically like I don't know how I would set this up to make it where it... Hold on. Let's pause and think. Let us try this. Let's try this. Okay, so if I take this out, I don't have to pump it as fast. And then so that will still pump out the things here. Let's take out the regulator upgrade, right? And so the problem is now that's not keeping up. because So the regulator upgrade just makes sure that there's one in here. And so it's also exporting from my system, which is a bad thing. And so that's, that's going to not work. Why did it not remember the layout? Why did it not remember the layout? Why is it not remembering? You switch from int to x on the recipe. That might actually work. is still not remembering the recipe. It just literally imported all of my nether stars in here. You can see that I set the crafter to keep one of the item in the internal storage and set the output XC. To keep one of the all items and inputs, keep one item in every input. So, okay, let's try that. Oh. This should work though. Am I tripping? Why is this not working anymore? So if I switch this to keep, it does that. So it actually can't go to keep. Take one item for, or take out one item from the inside. What do you mean, take out one item from the inside? I want to actually let me pick these up. These things are so buggy for whatever reason. Like, I can't even pick these up that well. See, now that if I do XC or whatever and I take out the regulator upgrade, it's going to fill this whole thing and it's going to keep the nether stars in here, but at least it's stacking up. So without the regulator upgrade, it's just going to fill this sucker up as much as it can. 
That works. Just big buffer stars. Yeah. Is the question is, is it doing one per second? Because if it's doing one per second, I think I need to set up another crafter. Because that is not a good thing. It needs to do more than one per second or we're literally never going to get it done. So let's do that again, I guess. We get a lot of unobtainium in nine. I think you could just make seeds for it. Where is my mob yunker at? Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Where's my lightning grenades at? See if we can get another one. How lucky we are on this one. Bam. Did we get it? Oh, yeah, we got it on our first try. Cool. We probably still need to do a different system for this. But I think this should be fine right now. We got a flawed gem of the warlord for that. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and make another tome real quick. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to need two more crafters. I don't know if they... Okay, do we know if they... If a tier one is faster than a tier... Or tier three is faster than a tier two? Like some good spawners from iron? Yeah, that's that one's pretty good. In, in eight or in nine. We could do it like... Ooh... They're equally as fast unless you infuse them. I forgot about the infuser. I think I can actually make the infuser. I forgot about the machine infuser. Infuser. We should infuse these machines. I wonder if they lose their thing. I wonder if they... That's a crowder. I wonder if they lose their um, power or whatever, or the recipes in here. Can I just... Ooh... Shard. The only difference is the recipe numbers. That's what I thought too. I forgot that I can infuse the crafters. Where's my other tier one crafter? Did I only make one other crafter? I thought I made two crafters. I must have done something with it. Like. Speeding this up makes it a whole lot faster to infuse these things. Okay, so same thing here. That's an infuser. Let's see how much faster this works, because having two is not going to hurt here. Do we know if flux ducts actually have a limit or not? Does anybody know? Because if they do... They don't? Okay. What is the difference of an infused crafter? They're supposed to be faster. I don't know what that slot's for. No star yet? Why do you hate me? Can I get the exporter, please? I'm hungry, me too. Let me know if you're hungry. I am kind of hungry. Ooh, 
I actually wonder something here. I wonder if I do this, if it's, is if it's going to do like that. And that should work. Uh, what am I looking for? What's the word that I'm looking for? Pipe upgrade. I need to just like make five, four of these for later. I'm having egg salad for lunch. Oh, egg salad. And so this should put the redstone in here. Hold on a second. And this is on slow, right? Let's turn this off. And that should turn this off too. Let's turn this to fast. And then we're going to do the same thing. So tome, we need the tome recipe for this. So we need to get this up to 256. Two hundred sixteen, two sixty one, two fifty two. I don't know if you actually need this to be two fifty six at the initial recipe. So it needs to go. I wonder if it actually reads. Um, I wonder if it actually reads if it's like the MBT of it. Because if it does, that kind of suck. All right. And so that made the Nether Star recipe. And so we put the tome in there. And it should. Where is it outputting to? It's not because it doesn't have another star in there. Wait, it should have another star. It should have made another star. Okay, I made I made two nether stars. Is this gonna all right? So then we need to drag an exporter under here too. Why do I have that in my third slot? Oh, that's not good. Where's my other exporter at? Before I set this up properly, I need to make sure that this has enough room for redstone and everything. So really, we should have another star here. Hold on, let's turn this off. Let's put the another star here. And then click remember. Well, actually, hold on. Let's get all of these slots filled first. And then click remember. Remember, 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 remember. And then, and external buffers. Remember, 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 remember. And then we should be able to click. We should be able to turn this on with another star. And so that'll keep nether stars in there. And if we turn this on, this should use up all the nether stars. And then we just need another item pipe. And this time we don't actually need it to do um, pipe upgrading. How many are we getting nether stars by a lot now? Is it still working slow? Oh, it's because this is filled up. Oh, no, it's because this is turned off. Still not as fast. You don't use integrated dynamics? I don't know how to. We need to turn the exporter off real quick. And we need to let this remember the redstone, where the redstone goes. And then we can turn this back on. Set to slow, turn that to fast. I set to fast. And now let's see what we have here. Star. Okay, now we're getting more of the star. Woo! Whoa! All right, that's our nether star set up right now. Now we're getting more than a couple of stars a second. Yeah! So now we gotta get plant the rest of these redstone seeds. Which we got a lot. We need a lot more. Because I gotta plant all of them.
And so now we have a lot of redstone growing. Like a lot of redstone growing. Hey, look, there's my other crafter. Today is the day. All right, cool. We got all that going. Dope. And the redstone essence is actually going down so fast. I wonder if we can keep up with how we're doing this because I've only set this up for one. Oh, no. Or do we have it? Will this keep up with it? Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what I should do? And then we set the exporter on this. Half the exporters. And the redstone essence should work better. Now it's a round robin thing. There we go. There we go. Now this should work. Theoretically speaking, until I run out of redstone essence. Because this is not keeping up, I guess. I wonder if we need more uh, lily pads. Because we're emptying it out over here. It is empty over here. But that should actually keep up with our star crafting right now. I mean, it's not as... Ooh. Ooh. It's just not as fast. Maybe we need more redstone. Maybe we need more redstone essence. Oh, because we have this whole entire thing that I could literally use to plant redstone on. Where's my redstone? Never planted. wonder if that'll keep up with it. I think we're pretty good to go on everything. We'll have to replace some of those with different seeds, but that should actually keep up with the stars. Yeah, we're getting a little bit more than one a second now, which is good. Alternate in a circle, a little bit of a round robin. Yeah, round robin just makes it where it goes out into each individual thing. Okay, now we got to do power reactors, okay? We got to do power stuff next, so we're just going to get the power reactors going. That's actually not that bad. Let's go. So we're going to have to get some netherite crafters first because we don't have enough crafters right now. It's going to go ahead and we're missing netherite blocks. Oh, we got to teach it how to make netherite blocks. That's what we got to do. Is there not an easy block recipe for me to grab? There it is. And then now that it knows how to do netherite block recipes, we should just do netherite crafters. And uh, crafter, we should be able to make like four of these. All right, and once those are done, I'm going to replace these, everything that's in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put up everything that's in my inventory that I don't need for right now. Because I got a lot of stuff that I don't need in here. I guess the witch's hat can go in there. Screw it. So basically, at this point, our limiting factor is uh, for the stars are the um, redstone production. The redstone production is not fast enough. Okay, and so now that those crafters are made, we're going to replace them. So I'm going to put two crafters, one right here, one right here. And then I'm going to just go ahead and get everything out of here. And put it all in the top. Why are redstone seeds still in my inventory? I think you can put speed upgrades in the crafter, the netherite crafters, right? I want to say. I don't think I need half of these recipes anymore, but this will be, this will be all right for now.
That one's full. And then now we can break these two out. And then we place these two down. And then now let's grab some speed upgrades and fix them. Uh, anyone else be able to find soul lava? Yeah, there's a there's a lot, but you just gotta you gotta look. It's in usually you can find them in the villages. So if you look for the villages, you'll find it. I wonder why that's taking so slow. That's weird. I shouldn't have taken that slow. That was slow. That was weird. I saw that was. Had any effect on crafters? Oh, they do. You see, uh, it's 225 speed, 220. So it's 225. Or sorry, it's 200, 200 speed to 220. We can put the de those crafters back in there. And so now we got to get a bunch of recipes. Okay, so now it's kind of time to get all the patterns or power recipes. I really hope this nether star thing works out because that would suck if it doesn't. So we can grab a bunch of recipes here. So first off, we got to get all these basic capacitors. So that's got to be done. Um... All the different kinds of reactors have to be done here. We'll have to get the dielectric paste one. Or, or actually, let's do this one since we actually have the lava bucket recipe. That should be easy. And I don't know if I've taught it to make a bucket or not yet, but we have all of that. So that should be fine. And so we should be able to go up. And so these, we're going to have to do the hardened capacitors and stuff too. That's fine. We're just going to grab all the recipes for these. Hit A for those because we're going to teach it how to make all of those. But we're going to teach it how to make the blocks instead of the regular ones. And the nitro. Except for the nitro crystals. We're just going to have to teach it how to make the nitro crystals on its own. And so we're going to put that aside because that's a processing recipe. And so I'll just go ahead and shove all of these in there. Um, and then let's go ahead and keep going with the recipes. We need to teach it. We need to teach it all the battery recipes, but we need to teach it all of these recipes first. So it knows how to make most of these. So I don't double up on recipes here. Did I get this recipe yet? No. Okay, and I should make the first one. Then we want to make the second one, which is the upgrade. We should be able to go here. Block a smoky quartz. I hope it's not set to exact, because I think this should be fine. And then, so that was the, this goes into the basic one. So we hit U, go to the next one, U, go to the next one, U, go to the next one. We're going to have to make a bunch of these all the way up to nitro. And so those are those recipes. Let's go ahead and teach you how to make an energizing orb. I only need one, but I don't feel like making it. That's fast. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach it how to make. We've got the batteries. We don't need it. We can teach it how to make the reactors because that's easy enough. Because we're going to need 36 of each of these. And we got to go all the way up until it's done. I don't know if we have the uraninite. That's the one thing is the uraninite is the most important part of this. I wouldn't say the most important. It's a pretty important part of this recipe. Because you need one per. And so that can go into the crafter. And then that's all the reactors that I need. We're going to need the player transmitter and stuff later. So it doesn't hurt for me to make these. But we'll just upgrade from the bottom. We're going to need the batteries too. So now I need to make the blocks. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab the energized steel blocks. I want to make them. I'm going to directly craft them. And so that means this will be my processing one. And then I want to break these down from the blocks. So these are, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to basically grab the recipe on how to make this as a processing one. Then I'm going to teach it how to make these. Oh, we're going to need some blaze rods. I just realized that we're going to need some blaze rods. I just realized that we're going to need to go get that blaze going. Interesting. So block of niotic crystal. Same thing here. We're going to teach it how to make the processing one. And then we're going to give it how to go break it down into the little ones. And then where are we at? Spirited. So we're going to teach it how to make the block recipe. And then we're going to break it down into uh, the little ones. And so that goes all the way up. And the reason why I'm not putting it in there for the 
the nitro crystal because the nitro crystal doesn't need that. So we do need to get, we did get that blaze. Yeah, we got the blaze thing. So we just need to replace one of them with a blaze and that's easy because we just need a seed plus a bucket of experience. Do I still have a bucket of experience in here? Am I blind? I'm pretty much blind. I know I had, oh, I think I used that bucket of experience for something else, but it doesn't matter. You can use any seed I think in here, but this will be fine. Pretty sure I used it on something else. And then, so my chicken spawner is actually right here. Spawn me a chicken. Good. Congratulations. I don't know why I thought my turn off switch was right there. So which one do we want to replace? Skeleton, wither skeleton. I think we've got plenty of wither, ske wither skeleton skulls. Witch, enderman. Enderman gives me air, evoker, slime, cave creeper. Let's do the sm I think we're good on this wither skeleton. We can replace that anytime. Plus, it's also really bad, so we need to actually upgrade that sucker. That was a really bad spawner. I just remember we didn't fully upgrade these spawners. That's okay. We just want the blaze ones to be upgraded. So now we need clocks. Do, 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 I probably made too many. Bro, this is taking a while to go down. Good God. Forgot just how much you need for this. Okay. What it so we have spawn count. Do we have the max entities is gas tiers, right? We should have some, but I'm gonna go ahead and make some more. You can make them with these catalyzing glands. I don't feel like upgrading the rest of the stuff. That should work. So as long as it has no AI, when I turn this on, should get a bunch of blazes. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, I only had the bottom one on, didn't I? Ow. I only had the bottom one on, huh? Is the blaze spawner not going to work? Am I tripping or is the blaze spawner just not going to work? It started working. Interesting. Okay, started working. That's fine. We have any blaze rods in here or is it going directly into my blaze rods? Okay, cool. That's great. Now we need to set this place up to where it'll work off my system, which I don't really know. We can get rid of that ritual, but I don't like getting rid of things. How are we doing over here on elemental craft? Are these all full? They're getting pretty full. Cool. When I first set it up, it seems like it. Do we do it? I'm going to do it right here. Okay, so we're going to need a router for this. Did I put the routers in my backpack? No. So we're actually going to need some new kinds of things for this. So modular routers. We need a detector module is what we're going to tell it to make. I think I've told it to make the comparators, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell it, tell it to make it anyway. We need a detector module, and then I think we do a detector polar cinder, right? I don't think we need a cinder, but I think we just need the detector module. That's going to tell it to pull it out. Ragtech is crazy for making their own version of the star. Dude, they are constantly working on stuff. Uh, Gibraltar has made it. Okay, so we have that, and now we just need to tell it. I usually do a camouflage upgrade, but I don't need to in this one. Do I have the speed upgrades in here as well? I do. And so we need a stack upgrade is the other one. We got to teach how to make a stack upgrade. And stack augment. That's augmenting the things. I want the stack upgrade. Stack upgrade looks kind of similar. There it is. Does it know how to make bricks? It definitely doesn't know how to make stone bricks. I don't even know if I have any bricks in here. I have 31. I wonder how many I can make. Is it all? I think max is, is like six, right?
Well, I can make it, so it doesn't matter. All right. So, the way I'm going to do this, energizing orb, router, and then I'm going to need the network cell. I'll see how it looks. Um, if one of my mods want to ban you, sure. What up, no matter how you doing? Did you know? What up? It's like jujitsu. And then we're going to put the receiver right here. We're going to do a crafter. Diamond crafter works. It's, it's limited by space, so it doesn't matter. And so we're going to need a network card. Did I get the network stuff out? I didn't. We need an importer. Why is that a, why it's been following you? I have no idea. We're going to do a detector module. We're going to say it right on this one. We're going to throw this in there. And then we're going to get the puller module to pull from this. We're going to throw that in there. And we're going to give the speed upgrades and stack upgrades. I think six is the max. Want to say six is the max. Okay. And so then this will import it in once it's done. Okay. And so now we can put that up. We got to go. Put this up over here. Uh, network card. And so now if I put these recipes into the crafter, we're going to need a power or we need to make the um, energizing thing. So we need to start with these basic ones, I think. Not the starter, but the basic ones. Did I not? Okay. Let's do nine. Missing smoky quartz. Why is that trying to do smoky quartz? Hello? Which one's trying to do smoky quartz here? Is it the basic or the starter one? Definitely not the starter one. It's got to be the basic one. It's just missing blocks of quartz in general. So I need to teach it how to make the blocks of quartz. Because I don't have that as a thing. That's what it is. There it goes. Yeah, I don't have any quartz blocks. I didn't teach it how to do that. Oh, you know what? One thing I just realized is I haven't started the mechanism auto crafting stuff. So I'm actually using like not good cables for this. So I'm going to go ahead and teach it how to make the power stuff. Yo, the matter thing with the follow. I appreciate that. I just realized that. Oh, wait, I can go straight to the basic energy cables. I actually don't need that. Ooh, wait, why don't did they, did they attach to flux ducts? I don't even know if I have the flux ducts recipe. I don't know if they attach to flux ducts or not. Love it, by the way. I'm so glad that you're enjoying it, man. Let's see if they attach. They do attach. Cool. No. Oh, okay. And so what we're going to do, this is the center right here. Where's my wand at? What Am I just tripping or did that not? Thank you. Hey, that didn't work. Thank you. I love you. You okay? Okay, still hot enough where we can play for a little bit. And then we'll come back to eat it. I just got to remember to eat it. That would suck if I forget. Okay. And so these basic ones can just go right here on the edge. Right? Can I not place that on the... Am I tripping? Is there a reason why I can't place it right there? What? What is going on? Ok, 
Okay, guess we can't use that wall. Note to self, do not use the building one to do that, because it's not going to connect. Lesson learned. Do I have any? Did it suck up something? I could have. Is that nine? That's nine. Okay, cool. Undo the wand. How do you undo? What's the undo button? Undo. What is this? Building gadgets, building tool. Control Z. Yeah, it didn't work. Control Shift. No, nope, it's just an invisible block there. All right, anyway, that's going to take us some time. Um, we're going to get the... Let's do... Let's try and get to the hardened. Let's try and make nine of these or ten of these. And so now it should craft. Oh, it put all of them all in there at once. Oh, because I didn't set this to uh, inserts next set. So we basically got to go tell this to... Okay, so that should do it. It should zap in there. And so hardened. There's four of them. These aren't going to have any power to them either because I have to get a point on this. Point, point, point. We're going to need to make some points eventually. We could bypass the limit. I don't know if I need to do, let's see, hardened. I don't know if the, this is why we have the crafting monitor, because we have to cancel. And now we can do hardened. Let's see, we can make four of those. How many do we try to make? Five, ten, something like that? I still want fig Newtons, dude. They're so good. Well, there's those five. And so now we should be able to make, what is the up from that uh, blazing? See how fast it makes that. So it should put it in there as long as there's like it needs it or whatever. Blazing. Is it going to work? Redstone pulse inserts next set. Oh, I am a dummy. Because this gives off a redstone signal. This is supposed to be right beside this. Well, actually, it can be. No. It could be. It should be. Just got to make sure we pull from the right place. No, it's actually not supposed to be. It's supposed to be right here beside it. I did that right. Something just messed up. And so now we need to put the network receiver back. And we got to get the card again. Did I do that right? Do I have to go do my own tutorial? Not a type of omelet? You got an omelet? Omelette? I wonder if it's because I got it too fast. It did it for the first one, so I'm just kind of tripping. Is something happening over here? Am I just out of power? Is that what's happening? What's the crafter monitor say? Blazing? Made five of those. Craft a block of blazing crystal. Let's do blazing. Let's do two blaze crystals and see if it's something's...
Is it because it's too fast of a crafter? Blazing rod block. Uh, that's because well, Batania's in there now. Was it giving? Was what is giving it a redstone? I don't know. Nothing should be given a redstone thing. Let me pause this and double check. I had a guide for this and I might have just be, be forgetting on how to do this. I literally have a guide for this. Oh yeah, okay, so I was right. It's exactly what I thought it was. This is not supposed to be here. This is supposed to be like this. It needs to pull, so it needs to go like this, not the diamond crafter. Okay, so we need the modular router to go right here. And so it's going to do the puller module first. So it's gonna pull from this slot and then it's gonna give a redstone signal and then it's gonna come off to the right. And so now I just need the network receiver to be back here so it gives it power. And then I can do a cable off the top like this. And then I need an importer over this. And so this will lock it or whatever. And so as long as this crafter is set to redstone set whatever, I need to grab this network card. Oh, did I pause, resume the thing? I didn't. Uh, I'm going to resume that for a while. I've got to, don't forget to eat. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to forget I've literally had so many times where I've paused or like had milliseconds where it wasn't there. Okay, and so that should actually set it up. So let's go cancel the cues that I have. I just forgot to do that. I thought I was doing it wrong. Okay, blazing, cheating, dun dun dun. So let's say if I wanted like three blaze, it'll shoot it in here, it'll pull it into here, and then it'll go to the next one. So then that should work like that. And so now I should do the blazing rods. Wonder how fast it'll create the blazing rods. Oh, it created them pretty fast. So now we can actually replace the bottom ones here. Blazing, 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 blazing. As long as these are blazing, I don't want the regular ones. Okay, and so now we go to the next one, which is Niotic, right? That's the next one. Oh, we forgot a blazing loss. Should be faster now. By the way, we have to set this up where it's really fast or we're going to be screwed. We can also fly really far over it because we're fast. And we could slow my speed down to 60 so I fly like normal and then I could... Oh. It's done. You have one more in your inventory? I'm guessing you were talking about the one from before. And so we're going to build the other flux ducks over here. That's too far back. It'll work, but I'm just building it up over here. Note to self, do not use the building tools. I know I have more niotic than that. Did I get a bunch of niotic? Am I tripping? Or did I just place them up here? Okay, I gotta place them up there. Okay, now we need another point. We gotta make some. Oh, I was talking about the rods. By the way, why won't you craft infinity one? Wait, why won't you? What, what are you talking about? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Having cave creepers versus normal. Cave creepers give you diamonds, emeralds, gold. It's pretty nice. Okay, and so now we should be able to craft the spirited ones. And we're going to keep going up. 
And we should be able to speed this up. Oh, the infinity one? I didn't have another thing when I... I think the speed now is the problem. The crafting speed, like getting enough power to this. Because yeah, this is needing 50,000 FE per tick, and I don't even know that we can cra or we can produce that. That one's producing 25. So it's literally pulling everything that it's got here. And so how much are we doing for the spirited? And so this is why I'm making all of this stuff for this. I wonder if we can make the spirited reactor stuff yet. We can probably make a couple. That's 100,000 FE. And that would work, and then I can just upgrade it from there. Where is it? What? Po oh, wow. No power in range. Lols. That's not good. So we could just turn the priority off on this. Oh, did it finish? Is it done? Hello? What is it making? A problem. That's what it's making. Are you done? This doesn't need to be power surge. This one problem. I mean, I guess it could be power surge, but it needs to be power surge at like 25,000. Because it doesn't need to... Oh, we did turn a by bypass limit. Let's do 5,000 here so we don't run out of power. And this one needs to be like 20,000. It's going to take a little bit. Can't you make some reactors rather than middle form? Or at least have some... That's what I'm working towards. Um... I'm just wanting the spirited crystals here or whatever, which I can actually just disable. I can just do this and make a spirited reactor because the spirited reactors are actually pretty good. Crafting 10, crafting 10. What is it still making? Oh, scheduled niotic crystals. So it basically has to do five blazing crystals for, so we're just going to cancel that craft. And then, so that's not going to make any of the spirited stuff, but we can make the spirited reactors. I need 36 to make one reactor. I'm missing uraninite. Do I have any uranium? Raw uraninite? Oh, I have a bunch of raw uraninite. And I could just tell this to export the raw uraninite. So that makes it. And then we're doing uh, reactor. We're going to do spirited. So that way, I don't think I can make the nitro. Stuff. Can I actually make a nitro reactor right now? I wonder, can I make the 36 needed? I wonder how much it's going to take to make this. That's totally how you spell nitro. It's got the, it's some power for it, but what is it going to need to make this? Oh, wow. It actually doesn't actually need to make a whole lot. It just needs to process the blazing, which has already made all the other things for it. It didn't say no. It's got to make blocks of spirited crystals and stuff, so that's going to take a little while. By the way, why does there no rainbow linker nine? I have no idea. It's probably there. It's probably just bugged right now. I just didn't want to make a nitro reactor right off the bat because it's it's going to take a while. So let's check out our nether stars to make sure our nether stars are still working properly. Stars? That one's working properly. This one's just not making. Ah. You know what we should do? We should disconnect right here, and then we should do an item pipe across. And so that way it just goes directly into this, and they both work independently. Same issue, though. We're going to run into. Okay, so how is my nitro reactor? Reactor. Do we have 36 yet? How, what's it working on right now? It is currently working on... We've got six more spirited crystals to make. Oof. Oh, and then it's got to make all the nitro stuff. 
Hold on, let's just go ahead and make a spirited reactor. Because we need, what, 16 more of these? And so that way it has enough power to do the initial oomph. So let's see, what does it need to do the 16 of these? It's just got to make those. It made the diamond, the niotic one fast. Niotic is only 25k. And so right now it's just pretty much waiting on... We're going to turn off the power or turn off the limits on these and so that way he can get his oh why is this not working oh that's not good this should be my highest priority system over here this should always be power surged so that way it gets the highest limit and it does whatever why is it inserting two is it because it's going so fast? Or did I... I'll be going too fast. Because it's got the speed and stack upgrade. Ooh. How are these suckers going? You know, we've not upgraded either of these. Like, we've not really done anything to upgrade these. Like, the crusher needs to be upgraded. I don't even think I have the speed upgrades for this at all. We don't have any infused alloys because I haven't even touched it. And so we're, this is really what we're working on the power right now. So, uh, reactor. We have 20 of them right now, so we're just waiting for these to, to fill in with the rest of them. Because we don't have enough power to do everything else. It's still scheduling six. Here's what I'll do. We're just going to say, uh, we're going to cancel the spirited one because that's going to take too long. Um, we're going to cancel that and we're going to just go reactor, right? And so we have 24. So let's just go ahead and make 24 of these real quick. Cause I'm gonna have to make some more later down the road. That should actually be fast enough and it shouldn't actually, okay, come on. It's cause it canceled it is why. If I cancel it, it just does all of this at once. And I should have the reactors in no time. What did I say? I needed 16. How many do I have right now? Oh, no, I needed 24. Okay. Should be able to craft all that. <laughs> we almost had enough for the spirited. This is just going to give us some extra oof. I should be going faster than this. I was here. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, this is not actually getting any power. We're limited by power. Still got nine more to go. So we're pretty much at this point just limited by power because these things aren't going to make enough. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab our redstone out and we're going to grab our iron out. We don't actually have a lot of iron. Where did I put my infuser at? Did I ever pick that sucker back up? Is it in my backpack? Do I not have a metallurgic infuser? Did I put it in a chest? Am I, is it in my backpack and I'm blind? Metallurgic infuser. Is it somewhere on the ground? Metallurgic infuser? Am I blind blind? Is it in a backpack? Is it in this backpack over here? Am I blind? Yo, thank you for the follow, Dying Branch. Nice light show, thank you. Metallurgic infuser? Did I line it up over here somewhere? And I just don't know about it? What did I miss? Oh, I just got the, the Chunk Destroyer. Is it in this backpack over here by chance? Okay. 
We solved the missing metallurgic infuser problem we had. Okay, so we're just going to make a bunch of redstone alloys here. I don't think this has any speed. Oh, it does have some speed upgrades in it. And so the problem right now, the bottleneck or whatever, is that we don't have enough. The crusher's not crushing enough. And so I've just got to make some speed upgrades here. We can also do a basic tier one. Somehow I got to get to this sub while watching your vlog earlier. So whoever it was. Yo, thank you for saying thank you. Appreciate that. Do we have the reactor done yet? We're literally missing 16. What is it doing right now? Is it making 16? Scheduled. Crafter is locked. Ah, uh, because that's messed up. Okay. So at this point, we're just going to grab these out. This should have all the energy that it needs. And so this should... Can I make the basic tier thing yet? Basic tier installer? That should work. Does this have enough? It does have enough. We'll show when, uh, when and who gives subs. It should. How's the hydrogen? Is it not keeping up with hydrogen now? Oh gosh. But that should actually increase our burn rate. It should keep increase how much we're making, which increases the overall power that we have here, even though it's not really doing a whole lot here. It's not powering nothing. Let's turn the power surge off of this one and turn it on this one. And so we're only making like 5k right now. That should be faster than the other one. And here's what we can also do. Oh, did I ever put a pipe upgrade in this sucker? I don't think I did. And so now we've got about 20k to work with. We just need to get over this little bottleneck and I think we'll be all right. Which we're almost done. As soon as it makes this process, once it's processing this one, we should be good. Like, it should just make it. It's just got to get this ooh, ooh, reactor. Hey, we have an Iotic, which is only 25K. But I'll take 25K right now. Do I not? Did I not give it a water bucket recipe? Did I not give it the water bucket recipe? Can't believe I didn't give it the water bucket recipe. It's okay because I don't even need it because I have the infinite water blocks right here. And then boop, boop, boop. And so now we need some kind of, I, I don't know if we have any ice at all, but now we just need to put a plug on this sucker. Do I have any plugs in here? Plug. There's greed, hell yeah. What up, Tater Hog? So we need to make some more of these. I don't know how many we have to make. We need to make one or two of these. Am I out of flux dust? We need to go take some redstone down to some obsidian. I'm stuck right there. I just realized that's where those blocks were. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the overworld. I don't. Okay, do we know if the flux things works now on blocks? Hold on, let's do on uh, in the mining dim because it didn't work before. I have to go really far down. What am I thinking? This would be a dumb here idea here. How do you get water out of RS system if it's on fluid cards? I have no clue to be honest with you. I don't do fluids with RS personally. That's just me, though. Mm. 
Remember, I am... Oh, that's a subsidiary. Okay, where's my torches? I haven't had to use torches in a while. Can I do it? Can I throw these in there without picking them all up? Answer is yes. Shouldn't need four points, but I'm or plugs, but I'm gonna do one for right now. Does that connect? No. Okay, so let's go back to those nitro reactors i don't know what we can do let's do the spirited reactors we'll see if we can make the 16 of them now or the 12 that we need now hold on a second i need 12 of these missing three clay we should have everything to we need to make clay though this clay is just water plus dirt plus fire or whatever dirt plus water and so now we should be able to go back to those spirited reactors i should be able to make 16 of them or 12 of them what is wrong with me? My brain is literally melting right now. So that's power surging. That's not power surging. But this should actually keep up with a lot more power. And plus these are upgraded right now. So these should actually burn a little bit better. And come out a little bit more. That's going to be full. That's fine. Because now I need three pressurized reaction chambers to be able to make this. The next speed up upgrade I would need is actually for this. For the... This. But man, is it going to burn through some fuel. Did you eat yet? Oh my god, no, I haven't yet. I can probably eat a little bit while I'm doing this. Where's my hand? I just put my hand directly in some, like, nasty stuff. I shouldn't have anything going, like the Chunk Destroyer or anything. Hmm. This is so good. Thank you for reminding me. Edward, thank you for the follow. Hey, we got a spirited reactor. Oh, that's not it. I'm really good at this game, I promise. <clears throat> Generating 95k. Okay, so then now we should be able to do nitro reactors. So we should be able to do 36 of these. And see how that goes. How far uh, did you get along with Elemental? We finished the setup. I don't really know if I need any of this stuff going right now, so I'm going to turn this off. Wait a second. It should have already been turned off. It's This is on right here, right? Okay, no. should have been turned off. I think we're good on literally all of that right now. But yeah, it's all set up. It's all... They're still stacking up and building up, so these are all good to go. And so right now, this is being made, and I think this has plenty of power now. Do we have this bypassing the limit? Yes. And so I think we've got enough power. Yeah, we have plenty of power now. So I think now 
Oh, we were supposed to make the spirited things before we do the nitro reactor, I think. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually going to make it fast enough or not. Let's see. Where is it at? Where are we, what are we looking at? Crafting? We'll just watch this for a second. Let me try and word it better. I'm in a nasty farm. It's three times spawn chambers. Wait, what? In a nine by nine by nine area for the energizing orbs. Mm hmm. Centered around the orb. It's basically, yeah. Basically, think like a farming plot, but like imagine a nine by nine area all the way around. Thank you. Thank you for the food, child. We're going to cancel this and we're going to go spirited. I'm going to make 10 of these real quick. I wish I would have set up the power a little bit smarter here before I did this. But yeah. I was thinking, damn, what is it called? Obtain alloy ingots? The alloy ingots are take forever. Like, they take a very long while. I like how we have just rods just chilling there. This would make things a lot faster. And so now to make the rest of the nitro stuff, we need 12 more of these. So that's got to go up. Sorry, seeds at instant growth, maybe 60. I think I might have to go seeds. Halfway point soon? Yeah. And so now we want to do 36 of these. Seeds can be OPM. Yeah. And growing at max rates. Have you seen my seed setup farm yet? I don't know if you've seen it yet or not. Lost. You didn't happen to look at, uh, you didn't, did you look at YouTube? Did you watch on YouTube for a guide by chance? Did you notice who the person who wrote the guide was? Cause it's probably me. It's probably my guide. Did you read who posted? Yeah. I was like, it's, pro it's probably me. I'm probably the one that made that guide. Yeah. I was probably the one that made that guide. <laughs> so I, I think it's funny. All right. So now we have another nitro reactor or we have a nitro reactor going. Let me check. <laughs> you probably have used a couple of my guides and not known it yet. Yeah. It was you. Yeah. That's hilarious. I love that. All right, now we can actually make the nitro rods here. And it was yours. It was only used one guy. I have a couple of guides that like people could absolutely use. Your vids just keep popping up all over my feet as well. Hell yeah. YouTube keep doing it, okay? Since I'm a, a god or since I'm just a god at throwing junk it together and it works. That's I mean it it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to like play modded Minecraft and just see what you can do. How do you get make the infinite water bucket? Uh, it's made using a weather container and three dark gems. And so the weather container is, the, is basically just a basic weather container 
then you throw it into a um you'll those little like evil craft structures with a beam coming down you throw a weather contain empty weather container in there depending on if it's raining or not you'll get um one of these so if you get the only sunshine which is just daytime no rain no nothing you can just add water buckets and it gives you the rain one it's part of the star too so use a sink but the thing is eternal water blocks are way better eternal water blocks work like um they just infinitely like they push you don't even have to pull push anything out but they're like way better than most of them uh energizing rods how many rods do we have right now we got the 10 nitro rods right here hold on nitro i use them for my reactors i use them for my reactors and that's pretty much it okay Ooh, we're going to need more room. Uh, flux ducts. Are we sure that these are infinite? I feel like these are not infinite and I'm getting juked. I think these still connect. What is it? Four blocks up? All right. Reactor. I'm going to need literally eight of these. So I need 360 to begin with. Should have a limit as far as I know. Should have a limit. I don't know what the limit is. But these are all these have these are all full, so maybe they don't have a limit. Is this power surging? They shouldn't? Okay. Just energizing rods. Eventually I'm gonna replace all these with the big ones. See, this is weird. Did it actually fix my rod problem, Giggity? Are my rods fixed, Giggity? Can I use this back wall now? There is a different mod, though, for Flux. Um, reactor. God, we need a lot of these reactors. We can also just take these spirited ones and reuse them. So, like, this one is just going to be out of power real soon. Are these out of power? Oh, God, these are out of power. Yo, Brutal, thank you for the follow. So, we'll set this up eventually. We just need exporters for this. Actually, we only need one exporter. Do I have one? Drawer? We need uraninite. We need coal. And then we need redstone. And so then now we just need to make sure that this is... A, do we have a regulator upgrade in here? We do. And so we slap the exporter on the back of this. And then I'm actually running a cable from over here. We're going to run it down because I'm going to need it to go down. Because I need that upper space there. I don't, I went too far. And so now I'm just going to regulate this. We're going to grab and do, uh, I don't know if I need a crafting upgrade with a regulator upgrade. We should be able to say that we want to at least keep 64 in here. And then, so same thing with the block of coal and the block of redstone. I should be able to say, I want to craft. I want this to be like a block at a time. And so that way it keeps a block in each. And so now what I can do is I can grab an item pipe and run this along the outside of this. Let's just do pipe because I'm going to need the netherite thing too. And so now I can just run this here. And then, so that should connect to all of them that I have there. We need my wrench. And then I need to give it a pipe upgrade. And so now it'll automatically keep these things stocked. 
uh, full of everything that it has. It should all have water too. 